I was originally a zombie that had reached the level of a drought demon, but I was suppressed by a yellow talisman from the Maoshan Five Taoists for a thousand years. Now I am displayed in a museum for people to visit. Apart from being unable to move, my visual senses are normal. I can only watch helplessly as tourists mock me. At this moment, a few tourists, tempted by the jade beads hanging around my neck, are attempting to pry open my coffin. Just as I am burning with anger but powerless to do anything, a voice sounds that even makes this zombie's bones go weak. Ding! Zombie ancestor system binding in progress. Restoring host's century-old cultivation. Beginner's task, break out of the coffin. Reward, three lifetimes dragon blood and millennium cultivation. Instantly, a powerful force merged into my body. Although the corpse sealing talisman on my forehead still affects me, I feel that I can now easily tear it off with a raise of my hand. Just as I was adapting and slowly regaining my strength, a loud noise suddenly came from the coffin. It turned out to be a bald tourist wielding a hammer, smashing the coffin lid. This scene shook my whole body. How dare they lift my coffin lid? Does the mighty king of corpses have no face? Originally, I didn't want to attract attention. I planned to quietly come out after the museum closed at night. But at this moment, my uncle could endure it. But the zombie uncle couldn't. I slowly raised my withered hand and reached towards my forehead. In the instant that I tore off the corpse restraining talisman, a visible black moisture overflowed from my body, instantly covering the originally transparent glass coffin with a thick black moisture. Although the moisture did not leak out, the temperature around me suddenly dropped drastically. The tourists shivered in unison, not wanting to stay here any longer. However, just as they lifted their feet and before they could leave, with a crack, the 20 centimeter thick tempered glass shattered as I gently pushed it, followed by a strong burst of moisture, and the putrid smell instantly entered everyone's mouths and noses. They all leaned against the walls, bending over and vomiting. The bald tourist was terrified at this moment. He saw me standing straight on top of the glass coffin, with a pair of hollow eyes scanning the crowd. Then I raised my hand and waved, releasing a dense and almost tangible mist that sprinkled onto the crowd. Instantly, all the museum visitors fell into a coma. I smirked at this scene, knowing that once the mist entered their bodies, their lives would soon come to an end. As for sucking their blood, I had no interest in it anymore. As a flying zombie, my craving for fresh blood had greatly diminished. Moreover, a thousand years ago, I had already reached the level of a drought demon. Now, as long as I could refine the three bottles of dragon blood awarded by the system, I might be able to directly restore my drought demon cultivation. Although I currently have little competition in the world, I knew very well that caution was necessary. Until I reached the invincible realm, I would not recklessly wander outside. The most urgent matter at hand was to find a stable place to improve my strength. After leaving the museum, I looked around. The museum was located on the top of Chung Mountain, and next to it was an undeveloped hill which I chose as a temporary resting place. With a thought, a wooden basin filled with golden blood appeared out of thin air. I immediately smelled the aroma of a latte, as fragrant and mellow as fine wine. I lifted the wooden basin and drank the dragon blood as a toast. In an instant, a pure energy burst forth from my dantian, flowing through my limbs and body, gradually transforming my black-purple flesh into a green color. I could clearly feel that my physical body had become several times stronger than before. However, before I could be too happy, a loud bang suddenly resounded, and the previously clear sky became covered in dark clouds. My face turned pale. Drinking too much dragon blood at once had unexpectedly triggered a breakthrough. Before I had time to prepare, it seemed that the thunder and lightning in the dark clouds had already locked onto their target. Flying zombies are generally very afraid of the thunderous tribulation. Less than 1 in 10,000 flying zombies can survive the punishment of the thunderous tribulation. Before I could react, a thick golden lightning, nearly a hundred meters long, came crashing down. However, after the lightning dissipated, I was completely unharmed, and there was a hint of the aura of a five-clawed golden dragon in my every move. It turns out that the dragon blood I just drank came from the highest bloodline of the five-clawed golden dragon, and all kinds of resistances in my body have increased nearly a hundredfold. With a single thought, I can transcend the five elements and no longer be bound by the laws of nature. To a certain extent, I have already transcended the category of zombies. Sure, here is the translation, sure enough. I shrank to the size of an inch and took a step to a small stream thousands of miles away. I looked at the reflection in the stream and nodded in satisfaction. After going through the thunder tribulation and transforming into a demon, my appearance returned to what it was when I was alive, sharp eyebrows and bright eyes. My handsome face from before came back. I clapped my hands and disappeared from the spot in an instant. 
only to reappear at my destination in the blink of an eye. However, what surprised me was that the museum was heavily guarded, with nearly 1,000 cameras installed within a hundred miles. The next morning, the entire process video of me jumping out of the coffin and crossing the tribulation spread online. Such a rare scene quickly caught the attention of many people and caused a stir on the internet. It also attracted the attention of some special groups. At the foot of a deserted mountain, inside a temple, an old monk with a weathered face sighed after watching the video. He couldn't believe that a great calamity was about to come, and such a monster had emerged in the world. Amit Bab Buddha, there will be consequences for every cause. Since this was caused by your Taoist sect, it is only natural for your Taoist sect to resolve it. With the abilities of the old monk, he could naturally see that the talisman on your forehead is a corpse restraining talisman. Originally, a hint of golden light flashed in the compassionate eyes of the old monk. This zombie doesn't seem so easy to deal with. Your Taoist sect has been developing behind closed doors for so many years and has already shown signs of recovery. Let your sect handle it first. Buddhism and Taoism do not coexist. Even though the old monk has profound Buddhist teachings, he will also face difficulties in overcoming this obstacle. Meanwhile, deep in the Kunlun Mountains, an old Taoist with white hair and a youthful face had a gloomy expression on his face. He was also holding a tablet and watching a video of me crossing the tribulation. I saw a hint of shock in his eyes, and he muttered to himself, this zombie is at least at the black zombie level. But back then, it was only a black zombie when it was handed over to the museum. How could it break free from the corpse ceiling talisman? However, judging from the location of his tribulation, which seems to be Gue Tu Mountain, I believe that person won't allow this zombie to run wild in his territory. Thinking of this, Lao Dao immediately looked at the young Taoist next to him and said, Go and inform the Wudong and Mashan sects to come as soon as possible to discuss countermeasures. Almost all the major forces rushed over as soon as they received the news. Although their reactions varied, they all had their own thoughts. However, their ultimate goal was the same, which was to meet me, the black zombie who was crossing the tribulation. Besides these major sects, something strange also happened in a small town. The roads leading to the town were sealed with reinforced concrete, and the concrete was covered with talismans. In the spacious center, dozens of coffins were parked, each of them looking dilapidated. The strange thing was that these wooden coffins were arranged around a bronze coffin, forming a pattern of stars surrounding the moon. Just then, there were several consecutive loud bangs, and the coffin lids were all lifted. In the bronze coffin, the corpse king opened his eyes, revealing golden pupils and fangs. He was still wearing thick battle armor, indicating that he was a general in his lifetime. He scanned the surrounding zombies and said in a deep voice, such a familiar aura. This is the sign of Jiang Zhu's return. Tonight, we will break the seal and follow Jiang Zhu. Meanwhile, in a dilapidated house in a village called Fengmen in the Central Plains, a stunning woman in a red cotton coat was speaking to the villagers, who were all ghosts except for her. Dear villagers, as the only survivor of Fengmen village, Fenglinger swears to find the expert who can help us overcome this calamity, even if I have to serve him and be his slave. I will avenge the destruction of Fengmen village 20 years ago. Afterward, the woman bowed to the house and left. The world situation is influenced by me, and a great calamity is about to come. I need to prepare in advance. I believe it won't be long before the people sent by the sex can find me. Before the terrifying calamity arrives, I must establish a foothold in this world. Just as I was arranging the formation, the voice that made my bones soft sounded again. Ding! Fengmen village's Fenglinger has faith in you. Faith value plus 500. Tengteng Teng Town's Golden Armored Lion King has faith in you. Faith value plus 1. 0, 0, 0. Then, two solid energies appeared out of thin air and entered my body. Only these two faith abilities were far away from himself. The source of the slightly weaker energy in them was getting closer to him. That Fong Linger, is she coming for me? Ren Fong said in his heart, but the current faith value has broken 1000, so the system mall should be able to be used, right? Ding. The system mall is officially opened. Ding. The progress of the host's mission has completed 10%, rewarding a mystery gift pack, current progress, 30%. Hearing the system's words, the corner of Rin Feng's mouth spread into a smile. There was another gift pack, I wonder this time, what was in the gift pack? Extract the gift pack. A golden gift pack appeared in front of Rin Feng. After opening it, Rin Feng laughed softly, it's really what's missing. Within the gift pack was a large bag full of array materials. However, soon Rin Feng shook his head with slight dissatisfaction. All of these formation laying materials are in materials ah. Purple river cart, ghost cutting grass, night fork stone, shura jade. All of them were things that were extremely in and cold. 
In this big bag of materials, a stone monument shaped thing in the center was the most precious. The entire stone monument was more than three feet tall and was as white as jade. Borer Monument. Even in the heavenly realm, this Borer Monument was an unrivaled treasure. Legend has it that even an ordinary person, after death, if his descendants have the ability to get the lacewing monument to carve his tombstone words, this person, even if he goes to hell, under the shelter of the lacewing monument, even the two masters, black and white, would have to back away from his ghost. Using this lacewing monument, the effect of making a formation-based stone monument is naturally the best. But the materials are still a bit insufficient ah. Ran Feng sighed with slight regret. Although these materials, were enough for him to make do with. But Ren Feng, who had fused the corpse nurturing formation codex, knew. Among these extremely yin and cold formation materials, if a few pure yang materials were added, the effect of yin and yang complementing each other would definitely increase by tens of times. I wonder if there are any for sale in the system mall. Ren Feng opened the system mall. After browsing for a moment, a smile appeared at the corner of Ren Feng's mouth. This system mall had everything. The several types of supreme yang materials that he wanted were also for sale. These formation stones were definitely not enough to set up an entire mountain. But to create an extreme corpse raising formation, that was definitely more than enough. Moreover, under the influence of the roiling yin qi, Ren Feng's strength would also be increased to a certain extent. As for the others, under the erosion of the yin qi, their strength would be cut down by at least 30%. Looking around, Ren Feng realized that his location was the perfect place to set up the formation eye. Let's use this house of mine as the center. Ren Feng glanced at his matchbox, and the corner of his mouth twitched again. In the future, when he had the chance, he would definitely cultivate a beautiful designer descendant. Enhance the compulsion of one's palace. However, just as Ren Feng took out the formation stone. Foom. Ren Feng frowned and turned back to look at the large green stones that he had taken out earlier. Just now, the moment he took out the borer monument. It was obvious that he felt that there seemed to be a pair of eyes staring at him amongst those lapis lazuli. Ren Feng penetrated a trace of divine thought. After a split second, Ren Feng understood. To his left, about 30 paces away, there was a lonely grave. This lonely grave had been deserted for an unknown number of years. Even the grave bag had lost its traces under the erosion of the years. There was only a stone tablet lying there. It so happened that Ren Feng didn't take a close look at it, and moved this stone tablet along with it as if it was an ordinary large green stone. Ren Feng used his divine mind to discover that the residual soul of a teenage girl was attached to the monument. At this moment, that little girl was secretly hiding in the stone monument with a scared face and looking at herself. So it's a little girl ghost. Ren Feng realized in his heart and said happily in his heart. Through divine sense penetration, Ren Feng saw. Although this little girl's face was a bit whiter, she looked powdery, and was considered a beauty in life. She should be the owner of that lonely grave. For some reason she didn't go to reincarnation, and her soul had been attached to her stone monument. But soon, Ren Feng realized. This little girl, could only perceive the outside environment through the tombstone. Yet, she could not leave the tombstone at all. It seems that she should have been put under some kind of evil spell. Ren Feng had a conclusion in his mind. Generally after a person's death, if one's hand was moved before the soul left the body, the soul would be forever imprisoned in the grave unable to break free. Although I don't know what kind of person is so unethical. But, this just cheapens me. Ren Feng's eyes flashed with a brilliant light as he walked over to the dirt-dappled tombstone. Since you were able to run into me, it's considered your good fortune. Ren Feng walked to the front of the little girl's tombstone and said in a faint voice, I need an eye of the formation, if you can resist it, you will naturally break free from the tombstone, if you have to resist it or not, then it is your life. Judging from the degree of decay of the tombstone, I'm afraid that this lone grave has long been erected for hundreds of years. Hundreds of years can only be rested in the stone monument cannot act, replaced by ordinary people I'm afraid that cannot use a few days to go crazy. Fortunately, this little girl in the world before her death. Only then did she not choose to dissipate her soul on her own in the midst of these boring years. But currently for her, perhaps failing was not a relief. Run Fong gently lifted the tombstone and placed it on the borer monument. His eyes were slightly closed, and when he opened them again, the pupils in his eyes suddenly dilated to the entire pupil. A monstrous and hideous aura was released from Run Fang's body. The surrounding trees and weeds suddenly became dry at a speed visible to the naked eye. Even some of the beasts in the mountains were unable to withstand such might, instinctively falling to their knees and making a pilgrimage towards the top of the mountain where Rin Feng was. Drought Domain When the Drought Demon Domain appeared, the world was shocked. This was Rin Feng's true aura. Rin Feng injected his power into those Yin materials. After setting up the basic formation base, he pointed in the air with one hand. A strand of native Yuan Qi, following his fingertip, was injected into the little girl's tombstone. 
Subsequently, one arcane hand seal after another was formed in Rin Feng's hand. Yin Qi was originally abundant between heaven and earth. Under Rin Feng's guidance, this Yin Qi surged towards the tombstone and the Bora monument as if it didn't need any money. The little girl's tombstone was about the same size as the Lacewing monument. Under the guidance of Rin Feng's native Yuan Qi, the two monuments gradually fused. The stone monument vibrated rapidly, and both monuments were bulging with support, as if they were going to burst apart at any moment. And the little girl hiding in the tombstone was full of enjoyment at first. But as the Yin Qi grew more and more, the little girl's fat-like belly was propped up and bulged, and some painful colors flashed in her big eyes. After less than a moment, the two stone monuments had turned into a bizarre black color, and the entire monument revealed a gloomy aura. Formation completed. It seems that your willpower is not bad. Ren Fong looked at the stone monument, and faint praise flashed in his eyes. Now, the Bora monument and the little girl's tombstone had completely fused into one. Not only did it not become thicker, but instead, under the quenching of the majestic Yin Shi, the excess impurities were removed. Although the little girl was small, her will was strong. Otherwise, under such a majestic Yin Shi, once she couldn't hold on, not only would the formation not work, even her own ghost life would not be preserved, I'm afraid. Ren Feng stepped forward to check. It was found that the little girl had already entered a short slumber to digest this absorbed Yin Shi. When the little girl awoke, she could help him control the formation. Normally, if there was anything, there was also a little one to help with the work. The more Ren Feng looked at his heart, the more satisfied he became. Now, the eye of the formation had become a reality. The yin and yang were harmonized, plus the living formation eye. This corpse raising formation had become an extreme divine formation. The tombstone and borer monument combined to form the formation stone monument was firmly set into the earth. Other than Ren Feng, even the few great magi in the world would not necessarily be able to pull it up. Not long after, a system beep sounded in Ren Feng's mind. Ding! Congratulations to the host for gaining the faith of Kid Hitomi, faith value plus 1000. Has the progress been so great? Ren Feng was slightly surprised in his heart. The faith value that a believer provided him had a direct relationship with the believer's own strength. Before, her strength wasn't even necessarily comparable to that of an ordinary person. Now, the faith value she provided was the same as the golden armored corpse king that she had never met. This also proved. In terms of overall strength, Hitomi was already on par with the golden armored corpse king. At this point, Hitomi could already leave the formation monument and move freely. However, with her current strength, the scope of her activities could not go out of this ghost head mountain at most. But even so, for Hitomi, who was sealed in the stone monument, it was already a great gift. After a short period of shock, Hitomi quickly reacted. There was still fear on her face, but more than that, there was a look of surprise. Thank you master for helping Hitomi get out of the trap. Hitomi flew to Rin Feng's side, and because she was too low, she could only look up at Rin Feng. Not bad, quite polite. On Rin Feng's face, a rare smirk appeared, don't call master master in the future, just call me big brother. Being called master by a little girl, Rin Feng felt strange in his heart. He didn't have that kind of bad taste. When Hitomi heard this, she immediately nodded her head like a chicken pecking at rice. She was still a child. Seeing Rin Feng being so pleasant, the fear of Rin Feng in her heart was greatly reduced. After greeting her, she stood behind Rin Feng in a well-behaved manner. Hitomi, from now on, this big mountain, I'll leave it to you. Ren Feng assigned tasks to Hitomi, now, activate the formation. Yes. Hitomi nodded obediently, then closed her big eyes and silently recited a few words. While she was refining the Bora monument, the laws regarding the operation of this corpse cultivation formation were also grasped together at the same time. After silently reciting a few sentences, Hitomi formed a hand seal. The formation stone emitted a faint halo of light, and the entire corpse raising formation acted like a maelstrom, pulling in all the surrounding Yin Qi. Ghost Head Mountain instantly blew up the wind, surrounded by roaring gusts, as if there was a pair of invisible big hands in the general control. It was also fortunate that it was now getting late. The tourists of Green Mountain have also long since dispersed, and did not see this scene. Otherwise, Hitomi's operation, I'm afraid it will be hot again. It's not just the Yin Qi that is being drawn. In the corpse raising formation, Rin Feng also added a lot of young formation materials. With Yin and Yang complementing each other, even the spiritual Qi of heaven and earth was swept away. In a short while, the spiritual Qi and Yin Qi on Ghost Head Mountain were intertwined, and the entire Ghost Head Mountain was as hazy as if it was covered in a mysterious veil. Like this, my strength is growing exponentially almost every second. Ren Feng nodded with satisfaction. Nowadays, he had already metamorphosed into a drought demon and had long since ascended to the divine rank. Plus, the drought demon itself was transformed from a stiff. Both Aura and Yin Qi could be used for him. However, Ren Feng did not know. 
Hitomi's move was undoubtedly an explosion for the other mountain elves and monsters. There were still quite a few elves and monsters in these deep mountains. Under the deterrence of the Special Energy Bureau's Castle Peak Branch, they could only obediently suck in the heaven and earth's spiritual chi to cultivate, and didn't have the guts to lay their hands on humans. At this time, quite a few of the elves and monsters noticed the abnormality. Heaven and earth spiritual chi, how could it suddenly be less? What the hell is this? However, most of the elves and monsters dared not speak out in anger. When Rinfeng unfolded the drop domain just now, they had clearly felt Rinfeng's terror. However, there was a very small number of great demons with strong cultivation, but they were very unhappy about this matter. This was too overbearing. The aura of heaven and earth had almost been siphoned off 30%. Not even a way to live? But fortunately, they weren't overwhelmed by anger. Even if they thought about it with their toes, they would know. Those who could have such great powers, their cultivation was absolutely unfathomable. It wasn't long. Within the deep mountains not far from Ghost Head Mountain, three great demons with a thousand years of cultivation gathered together. The one on the far left, with a tiger face, was wearing animal skin. The muscles on his body were coiled like the roots of an old tree. On the right was a peach tree spirit, a peach tree embraced by three or four people topped with a human head. These two buddies were both half human and half demon. But sitting in the center was a stunningly beautiful and charming woman. Whether it was her appearance or her figure, even if it was described as a demon, it wouldn't be too much. Behind her were six fox demon tails that were as white as snow. The six fluffy tails covered the absolutely beautiful face in a way that could not be concealed, and the way she was holding a peepa half hiding her face caused the tiger demon and tree spirit to swallow their mouths. You guys should have felt it, the aura of heaven and earth has decreased. The tiger demon removed his gaze fondly and swallowed hard, saying. The tree spirit next to him also nodded his head loudly, what a strange thing, can it be that this is the precursor before the great catastrophe of heaven and earth comes? Who knows? The tiger demon shook its huge tiger head, but I have a feeling that this is definitely not a good thing. Saying this, the two of them looked at the fox demon in the center in unison. It seemed that amongst the three, the fox demon that looked the most harmless was the strongest. You guys don't guess blindly, I've already found out what happened. The fox demon's plump lips slightly opened, her voice like a valley, these heaven and earth auras, they didn't disappear out of thin air, but were sucked away by the ghost head mountainside. When the two demons heard this, their faces changed in unison. Ghost head mountain? Can't it be that the ghost king did this? I don't think it's quite like that, what's the point of a ghost like him wanting so much heaven and earth aura? But this means is definitely a great magical power when a clear-eyed person looks at it. Besides sister Shallow Yun, in this 800 mile radius, only that ghost king can have this ability. The tiger demon tree spirit analyzed with your words and mine. However, in the end, nothing was analyzed. Your thoughts are too simple. While the two demons were staring wide-eyed at each other, the stunning fox demon hid her mouth and laughed lightly, you guys are indeed right, among the demons and elves in this 800 mile radius, other than me and that ghost king, there isn't anyone else who has this kind of ability anymore. Speaking here, the demon fox faintly said, but you guys have overlooked that even if it is the two of us, taking all of our family's assets out, we definitely can't do a tenth of this effect. So, the demon fox turned her big eyes and smiled softly, there are only two possibilities in my eyes. What possibilities? The two demons asked in unison. Either, it is that there is some kind of heavy treasure that has appeared in the world, causing the heaven and earth to change. Either that, or that the Lee Fire Ghost King has gotten some kind of benefit. Speaking here, a flash of certainty flashed across the demon fox's jinshua like autumn pupil. Right. The tiger demon slapped his hands together and scratched his head with a silly smile. Big sister's original body is really worthy of being a jade-faced fox, her brain is just better than the two of us. The tree spirit also laughed, its dry branches kept on trembling, then what should we do now? What to do, what to do? The demon fox stretched out. The perfect curve, immediately nearly made the two demons' eyes almost didn't fall off. Unfortunately, they knew that no matter how sexy and charming the demon fox was, it was not their cup of tea. The three demon kings had long known each other for hundreds of years. The two demons knew it very well. They remembered that when the demon fox had just taken form, it had made an oath. Only the one who fulfills the oath can be her aspire. For so many years, how many demons, devils and elves, had tried for a kiss? Nay, all of them failed. Even though the two demons were now unfathomably strong, they were still unsure as well. Soon, nightfall came. Tonight's moon was different from the past. Although it was still very round, there was a layer of bizarre red color around the moon. Under the illumination of the red moonlight, the entire land looked dark red, making people shiver in their hearts. Under the operation of the Grand Formation, the Yin Chi and Spiritual Chi of Ghost Head Mountain became more and more abundant. Ghost Head Mountain. Ren Feng had long since closed his eyes to cultivate. As for little Hitomi, she was still running around with a face full of excitement because she had regained her freedom on the first day. 
At this moment, in the belly of Ghost Head Mountain, a ghostly shadow continuously emerged from the ground and floated in the air. MMM, smells so good. A ghost shadow greedily inhaled the air and said with a face full of intoxication. From the shadow alone, this ghost shadow was much more solid than the other ghost shadows, and should be considered to be at the alpha level. This ghost shadow was called the sedan chair ghost. It was also considered one of the leaders under the fire ghost king. His cultivation level could be ranked in the top 10 of the ghost king's men. General ruffled sedan chair, how come the yin chi in this heaven and earth has filled up so much? He he he, just by inhaling a mouthful of it alone, it feels like my body's ghostly chi has solidified quite a bit more. I'm afraid that it won't be long before we can also take shape like the ruffled sedan chair general. The other ghostly shadows also slowly awoke and coiled around the sedan chair ghost. The tone of their voices was full of respect and bows. Jejia, this is natural. The sedan chair ghost laughed strangely, and the ghost shadows trembled lightly, however, have you not thought about the yin chi in the heavens and the earth, and why it is so dense? As soon as the sedan chair ghost's words came out, the other ghost shadows also froze. Right. They all hid in the ground during the day to slumber and digest the yin chi. But why did the yin chi between heaven and earth suddenly become so dense when they woke up this time? The little ghosts were really a bit puzzled. Or an old ghost eyes turn, currying favor, with this mind, how can compare with you ah, uh, you quickly say why. The other ghosts heard this and also curried favor. The sedan chair ghost gave the old ghost an appreciative look. Then with a face of certainty, most likely, there is some kind of in warrior heavy treasure coming out. When these words came out, the other little ghosts immediately felt that it made sense. Just like a cultivator's heavy treasure coming out, it would either cause a change in heaven and earth. If this heavy treasure was something like medicinal herbs, then the aura in a radius of tens of miles would be tens of times denser than usual. The same was true for the ghost realm's heavy treasure. Lord Li Hua's departure is imminent. If we can get this treasure back and offer it to the Lord when he leaves the gate, perhaps it's a miraculous feat. That old ghost advanced to ruffled sedan chair ghost king. That's for you to say, I'll go, and come back. The sedan chair ghost king smiled smugly, don't worry, if Lord Ghost King rewards me, there will be no shortage of benefits for everyone. Once these words came out, another chorus of compliments rang out. Listening to the compliments of the crowd of little ghosts, the sedan chair ruffling ghost nodded his head in satisfaction, and then transformed into a cloudy wind and drifted towards the outside of the mountain. However, ghost treasure present? How can I be left out of this credit? In the middle of the corner, a sorrowful voice was heard. Immediately afterward, another gloomy wind followed, chasing after the sedan chair raising ghost. In terms of the solidity of the ghost shadow alone, this ghost shadow was even more solid than the sedan chair ghost. A few moments. The sedan chair ghost had already appeared near the matchbox where Rin Fong was. Eh? Why is there a matchbox made of stone here? The sedan chair flirting ghost hid behind a stone and peeked. Ren Feng's house was really a bit uncomplimentary. For a moment the sedan chair ghost didn't even see that it was a house. It's hard to believe that it's other forces fishing over the line? These stupid guys already don't put Lord Li Hui in their eyes? The sedan chair ruffling ghost was slightly enraged in his heart. In order to prevent a sneak attack, it directly transformed behind the stone. A ripple rippled through the air. In the next instant, the sedan chair ruffling ghost transformed from a ghostly shadow into a pale-faced stern ghost covered in pus sores. Coming to our ghost head mountain to set up a stick, I'd like to see how capable you are. The sedan chair ruffling ghost snorted coldly and was about to step forward. Sedan chair raising general, wait. A sorrowful voice sounded behind the sedan chair ghost. Hearing this voice, the sedan chair ghost's hideous face immediately sank. Sharp colored ghost, why are you here as well? Jia Jia, if you can come, why can't I come? The sorrowful voice smiled wryly. Then another stern ghost with a peach blossom face, deep eye sockets, and white skin stood beside the sedan chair ghost. At a glance, in his lifetime, he had been emptied of his body by alcohol and sex. Damn it, old me's credit, I'll have to share you again. The sedan chair ruffling ghost grunted and said no more. It was also considered a tacit approval of the anxious colorful ghost's existence. Although they were both generals under the departing fire ghost king. But the ruffled sedan chair ghost knew that he was slightly weaker in terms of strength. In that case, I'll go up first and try their strength. The sedan chair ghost ran its ghostly chi around its body, preparing to go up and find out what was going on. Wait. The anxious colorful ghost at the side, however, held him down and nudged his mouth forward, be careful, something is coming out from inside. The sedan chair ruffling ghost sniffed and looked in the direction that the sharp colored ghost was pointing. Sure enough, a petite figure came out of the house with a bounce. A little girl ghost? The sedan chair ruffling ghost was disdainful, then glanced at the anxious color ghost next to him, and instantly despised, quickly put your saliva away, how old is this little girl? You still have this demeanor. That little girl was no one else. It was precisely Hitomi. What a tender little girl. 
The lustful light in the eyes of the anxious colorful ghost won greatly, ruthlessly swallowed a mouthful of spit, ruffling sedan chair general, this time I won't snatch the credit with you, but there is a prerequisite that is to give this little girl to me. Good, just what I want. A smile also appeared on the sedan chair ghost's face. Both sides were happy. The two didn't even put this harmless little girl in their eyes. In their eyes. This little girl must be a lonely ghost that ran away from nowhere. It just so happens that there is a ghost treasure present here, which attracted her over. Maybe that ghost treasure is hidden inside this matchbox. However, what the two ghosts don't know is, all they needed to do was to take one more step forward, and they would step into the range of the formation set up by Rin Fong. Whether it was a human, a cultivator, or even a demon or devil. As long as interests were involved, there would always be a struggle. However, in terms of cruelty, the struggle between demons and ghosts was 10,000 times more brutal. Humans and cultivators have to consider the moral code, public opinion pressure, etc. The means are generally not so obvious. But demons and ghosts are different. In the struggle between demons and ghosts, it's either you die or I die. Once they fight, there is almost no room for moderation. This was especially true for these two severe ghosts under the Fire Ghost King's banner. They were originally people who had done evil things in their lives, and now that they held themselves to be strong, coupled with the name of the off Fire Ghost King overshadowing them, they acted even more in their own way and were lawless. He he he, I'll strike first. The rush color ghost stuck out its scarlet tongue and licked its lips, I'm afraid that you'll strike too hard and injure this little guy, that would be bad. After saying that, without waiting for the ruffled sedan chair ghost to speak, he directly attacked towards Hitomi. This LSP. The sedan chair ruffling ghost snorted coldly. But it didn't stop the anxious colorful ghost. Taking such a milquetoast little girl, wasn't it just a matter of having a hand? However, the rush color ghost had just taken a step out when the formation sensed his presence. Who is it? Hitomi instantly sensed something and looked towards the urgent color ghost. Although Hitomi was still in her ghost body now. But with Rin Feng's help in the afternoon, she had completely fused with this formation. Without reaching the ability to break the formation, it wouldn't be able to hurt Hitomi in the slightest. As soon as Hitomi turned around, she saw a miserable white figure coming towards her. Little girl, let uncle come and play with you. The rush color ghost let out a fierce laugh, its sharp ghostly claws probing directly under Hitomi's body. However, just when the sharp colored ghost was about to get his hands on her, stagger, there was a golden sound. The sharp colored ghost's claws seemed to run into a solid wall of air. It directly grazed a spark less than an inch away from Hitomi. What a strong defense. The anxious colored ghost's face revealed a shocked expression, and the attack in his hands couldn't help but slow down. Just now he was afraid of hurting Hitomi, that strike did not use much strength. But the anxious colored ghost is also considered to be a veteran among ghosts. From the judgment of just that hit, I'm afraid that even if he and the sedan chair ghost attack together, they wouldn't necessarily be able to break it. On this little girl, could there be a heavy treasure? The anxious colorful ghost's mind turned sharply. This little girl, no matter how one looked at it, was a world-weary brat. In terms of combat power, I'm afraid that even the weakest of their men was inferior. But it was this little guy with no hands. Surprisingly, he was able to block his attack, unharmed? Thinking of this, the anxious colorful ghost was certain in his heart that this little girl definitely had an extreme defensive ghost artifact on her. Dot Zapper. General Ruffled Sedan Chair, come help me. The sharp colored ghost flew backward and shouted behind him. How useless, you can't even handle this little girl. The sedan chair ghost snorted coldly and appeared beside the rush color ghost. Seeing the hostility on the faces of the two ghosts, even the uninitiated Hitomi knew that these two did not have good intentions. However, she was not fearful. Instead, her small face was filled with excitement. So it's the enemy. Hitomi had an excited look on her face, big brother taught me so many skills today, it's just the right time to try them out. The anxious colorist was slightly stunned. Big brother? It seems that this little girl has a backer behind her? Cood. It be that it's not a ghost treasure coming out. The anxious colored ghost's heart sank, and then his face changed drastically. Even a little girl has such a strong defensive ghost weapon on her body. Then behind her, what kind of existence is it? Such a heavy treasure given to an insignificant little ghost. Even the departing flame ghost king doesn't have such a large amount of money. The anxious colorful ghost was shocked in his heart. Just now, he was so enamored by wealth and color that he didn't take this into consideration. But now, the sharp colored ghost had already beaten a retreat in his heart. In his opinion, the great power behind that little girl was most likely inside that matchbox shaped house. In case the anger of this great power, the anxious colorist couldn't help but have a cold back. There may be only one end, and that is to be slapped to death. The anxious color ghost was about to signal the sedan chair ghost to retreat. However just then, Big Brother said that anyone who breaks into the formation has to stay obediently. 
so you guys just stay here obediently. Within Hitomi's pitch black pupils, red light suddenly flourished. As he spoke, he even made several hand seals in his hands. The formation, catalyzed. The surrounding in chi and spiritual chi operated crazily. The originally incompatible in chi and spiritual chi, strangely combined. It abruptly condensed into substance. Under the two ghosts' dumbfounded gaze, this path of yin and spiritual chi eventually coalesced together, forming four chains coiled behind Hitomi. It looked like a blackened tentacle lowly in an island nation manga. Wow! The chains condensed from the yin spirit chi unexpectedly made the sound of iron cables. Go! Little Hitomi reached out and pointed. Shoo! Swoosh! The four chains, like four shooting spears, scurried towards the two ghosts respectively. The speed of the penetration was such that even the two ghosts, who had already become a stern ghost, only saw four black residual shadows. The hearts of the two ghosts were cold in unison. I Nima, a little girl who had just become a little ghost could make out this ability? If it was an ordinary chain, it naturally couldn't hurt them. But these were chains condensed from Ian's spirit chi. It is undoubtedly the nemesis of ghosts. And at this speed, as long as they took a hit, I'm afraid they would be pierced through and die again. Escape! Escape! the two ghosts said in unison. Under the crisis of life and death, the two ghosts simultaneously erupted with unprecedented speed. The two ghosts were even more remorseful at this time. Why did they come here? In the belly of the mountain, waiting honestly for the ghost king to leave the gate is not good? Why do you have to rush to brush the goodwill, out to make a merit? Especially anxious colorful ghost, the heart is more on the sedan chair ghost hate teeth itchy. If you do not hear this stupid ghost words, I would have ended up in such a situation. However, he had forgotten that it was he himself who came here uninvited. The sedan chair ghost's heart was also secretly hateful in his heart. Just now, if it wasn't for the anxious colorful ghost shouting for his help just now, perhaps he wouldn't have died. Unfortunately, no one had the right to choose a second time. Even if it was a ghost, it wouldn't work. Put. The ruffled sedan chair ghost's cultivation was slightly weaker, and he was quickly pierced by the chains. Seeing this scene, the anxious color ghost instinctively lowered his head, and the chains grazed his forehead. However before he could breathe a sigh of relief. Lock. Behind him, came little Hitomi's petulant voice. The chain at the front end, under Hitomi's control, strangely tied a knot, binding the sharply colored ghost who was caught off guard. The moment the two ghosts landed on the ground. Yikes. I just had to catch them, didn't think it wasn't very skillful. I wonder if big brother will be angry if he finds out. Hitomi muttered and mumbled. Afterwards, Hitomi seemed a bit unwilling. While gently kicking the ruffled sedan chair ghost, she said, I'm messing with you, are you dead? Rush color ghost. God damn fooling around. This sentence alone sounded fine. But combined with the current scene, even for the anxious colored ghost who had already died once, his heart was jolting. Too scary. Even a little girl could manage to hide her breath. The so-called big brother in her mouth, just what kind of existence was it? Hitomi spoke while kicking the long dead sedan chair ghost again. The anxious colorful ghost's face jerked fiercely. Listen to this, is this speaking human language? After a long time, Hitomi realized that the sedan chair ghost still didn't respond. In desperation, she could only disperse the chains on the sedan chair ghost. However, just at the moment the chains were dispersed, the body of the sedan chair ghost instantly turned into a cloud of black mist that floated away in the sky. His body was transformed from a ghost. Just now, in the instant he was pierced by the chains, he had actually already scattered his soul. It was only that the chains condensed from the in spirit chi came with a spirit detaining function. After the chains dispersed, the sedan chair ghost's already dead soul was not bound and disappeared into the world. Seeing that his life was at stake, the anxious colorful ghost couldn't care less and directly yelled at the top of his lungs, that ghost race powerhouse inside, I implore you to let me go. The sudden shout startled Hitomi as well, and she instinctively looked back. However after a moment, Renfong did not appear, and only then did Hitomi let out a slight sigh of relief. Seeing that this move did not work, the anxious colorful ghost pondered bitterly in his heart. A few moments later, the sharp colored ghost's eyes lit up and he continued to shout, Senior, I implore you to let me go, I'm willing to exchange the secret of this great calamity. HM? The secret of the great calamity? Ren Feng's voice came from the matchbox-shaped house. The anxious colorful ghost finally breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. It seemed that his life, for the time being, was saved. In the next instant, a handsome youth appeared in front of the sharp colored ghost out of thin air as if he had moved in an instant. This youth was no other than Ren Feng. Senior you are not a ghost? The anxious colored ghost asked in a small voice. He wanted to continue asking something, but when he saw Ren Feng's indifferent look, he was too scared to say more. Ren Feng glanced at Hitomi indifferently. Well done. Hitomi only had the second control of the formation. The first control was still in Ren Feng's hands. As early as when these two uninvited guests had barged in, 
Run Fong had already discovered their presence. However, since he had previously said that he would let Hitomi manage the formation, Ren Feng had no intention of interfering, and in the meantime, he would see how Hitomi would respond. Overall, apart from a little mistake in the middle, he was still very satisfied with Hitomi. It was impossible for Ren Feng to do everything himself, and with a little bit of tutoring in the future, Hitomi would also become a good help. Alright, you can say it. Hopefully, what you say interests me. Otherwise your end will be ten times more painful than the one that dissipated just now. Ren Feng cast a sidelong glance at the anxious colored ghost who was tied up and unable to move, his voice indifferent. Yes, 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 I'll say it now. How dare the urgent colored ghost slow down and hurriedly said, Senior, do you see that blood moon in the sky? Ren Feng sniffed and looked up. Sure enough, the moon in the sky was different from before. Around the moon, there was a faint layer of red color surrounding it. Eh? Right at this moment, Ren Feng's face suddenly changed slightly. He realized that while he was looking at the blood moon, the flow of blood within his body had unexpectedly sped up by almost 30%. After metamorphosing into a drought demon, the blood in Rin Feng's body had resumed its flow, but it was flowing very slowly. However, the moment he saw the blood moon, Rin Feng's blood flow rate, unexpectedly, became slightly faster. However, very quickly, Rin Feng withdrew his gaze. Tell me everything you know. Rin Feng said indifferently. Regarding this so-called great calamity, Rin Feng was still very curious in his heart. Even the system didn't explain in detail what this great calamity was and when it would come. Unexpectedly, a little stern ghost knew something. Ren Feng gently waved his hand. The chains binding the urgent colored ghost immediately disappeared. But even if he regained his freedom, the sharp colored ghost had no intention of escaping. Even if he thought with his toes, he knew that this senior powerhouse in front of him could easily kill him with just a thought. Escape? Even if he had eight legs, it wouldn't work. After regaining his freedom, the anxious colorful ghost hurriedly stood up with a pandering and pleasing smile on his face. However, in his heart was a cold grunt. When I get out of the trap later, I must report the news here to the departing flame ghost king at the first opportunity. Even though Rin Feng was unfathomable. In the anxious colorful ghost's mind, he still felt that the departing flame ghost king was stronger. Now that the ruffled sedan chair ghost was dead, even if he didn't get the treasure, just by bringing this news back, it would be considered a strange feat. At that time, not only the man in front of him would not be able to save his life. In case the fire ghost king is happy, reward that little girl to himself. Thinking of this, the essence of light flashed in the anxious color ghost's lowered eyes. In order to get out of the trap as early as possible, the anxious colorful ghost pandered. When I was alive, I saw a similar sight. The sharp colored ghost told the story in no uncertain terms. Before I was born, I was originally from the capital city of the Ming dynasty. At that time, an identical blood moon also appeared in the sky. Even though he had been dead for many years, when he thought of what happened at that time, fear still surfaced on the face of the anxious colored ghost, under the blood moon, the ghost car bird stayed at the observatory in the capital city, wailing day, and night, and on the northeast corner of the sky there was a cloud that looked like a flag, and also looked like a sort of guan, which was white at first, and then turned red and purple. Ran Feng slightly stunned, frowned, what you said, but the great apocalypse? Exactly. The anxious color ghost did not dare to hide, truthfully said, then the sound of the earth-shaking voice came, and I died. In the greenhouse. Said here. The anxious color ghost shivered up. When I turned into a ghost, I actually saw the surrounding houses, which had all turned into ruins. So that's how. It is. Ren Feng gently nodded. It was at this time. The long silent system voice sounded in Ren Feng's mind. Ding. The blood moon is only a heaven and earth anomaly caused before the great tribulation, it cannot be determined here. The system voice interrupted Ren Feng's thoughts. Ren Feng's heart was slightly shaken. The system had actually taken the initiative to send out a prompt to himself. Ren Feng's face remained unchanged as he asked in his heart, System, do you mean that the calamities ushered in by the blood moon precursor include, but are not limited to, the apocalypse cataclysm? Ding. Host's guess is correct. Ding. This world's apocalypse cataclysm is merely one of the many cataclysms with the highest level of destructive power, this cataclysm cannot even be accurately predicted by this system, so please make adequate preparations as early as possible. Hearing this, it was Ren Feng who was inevitably a little shocked in his heart. This world was similar to the earth of his previous life though, but the power of the apocalypse cataclysm was many times stronger than the previous world. In the capital city of this world, there were countless capable people, but even these great magi. Under this world's apocalypse cataclysm, all of them died without even half a reaction. It seems like it really can't be underestimated, Ren Feng said in his heart. Afterwards, Ren Feng looked at the acute colored ghost, is that all you know? The sharp colored ghost nodded repeatedly. All right. Ren Feng turned back blandly and waved his hand, Hitomi, send him on his way. The sharp colored ghost was instantly shocked. 
My lord, you can't kill me ah, I'm willing to serve as a dog and horse. Put. Before the words were finished, the head of the anxious colored ghost was pierced through by a powerful chi. After half a day, it's all this useless information. Renfone casually waved his hand, next time there is an invasion of this kind of unimpressive goods, just directly slaughter it. Hitomi nodded her head like a chicken pecking at rice. Oh right. I was negligent this time, it seems that there are other forces on this ghost head mountain. Renfone was just about to go back to the house when he had a second thought. These two ghosts were definitely not stepping in by chance. He had been busy all day during the day, and he hadn't used his divine thoughts to scan. Ron Feng's eyes steeply turned black again. The terrifying divine thoughts fluctuated out in all directions. After a few moments, Ren Feng smiled faintly and withdrew his divine thoughts. This mountain, there really is a neighbor. It's just a small ghost king, not enough to worry about. But well, saying this, Ren Feng's head turned and looked at the clouds not far away. A moment later, the corner of Ren Feng's mouth revealed an intriguing wry smile. 016. In less than a moment, the smile on Ren Feng's face was put away, and he returned to the stone house as if nothing had happened. After another moment, two heads poked out from among the clouds. They were none other than the tiger demon and tree spirit that were with the demon fox earlier. They had already arrived long before the anxious colorful ghost and the sedan chair ruffling ghost came. Only their heads were quite a bit more agile than the two stern ghosts. After arriving they didn't rush forward, but instead hid in the clouds and observed the situation in Rin Fang's stone house. The battle between Hitomi and the two ghosts just now, they naturally saw all of it. Tiger, did this kid discover us? The peach tree spirit cupped his large head in a hand tied with a tree branch and looked at the tiger demon next to him. Ghost knows. The tiger demon blankly glanced at him without any good humor. It's fortunate that I didn't listen to you silly thing just now, or else if I stepped into the other side's formation, it wouldn't be clear in a sentence or two. Regardless of whether it was an animal, a human, a cultivator, a ghost, or a monster. All existed a sense of territory. If they stepped into the formation just now, they were invading Rin Fang's territory. It was the same as a cultivator who trespassed on a clan. Even if they were killed, they could only consider themselves unlucky. Of course, this was only in the case of class parity. Only the class, the strength is equal. Only then would they be so scrupulous and respectful of each other. If the invasion was the territory of the weak, for them, it would undoubtedly be the same as idling in their own backyard. However, in their eyes, Ren Feng was not a weakling. Is he a human or a demon, why can't I sense it? The tree spirit was reprimanded by the tiger demon, and was not annoyed, scratching the big head in his hand with a silly smile. The tiger demon shook his head, I didn't sense it either, but the weird thing is that I smelled a familiar scent on him. The tiger demon was transformed from a vicious tiger in the mountains. The ability to smell was naturally not comparable to the peach tree spirit. Although it was thousands of meters away in the clouds, the tiger demon still detected it. On Rin Feng's body, there was actually an air of deja vu. The tree spirit was puzzled. What kind of aura? The tiger demon pondered for a moment. Do you still remember the Rin family town? Of course I remember. How many years have passed? The tree spirit nodded his head greatly. I remember that time when we were still small demons, together with big sister. We followed the demon king of that year to go to Rinja town to participate in the battle between good and evil. And Rinja town was also destroyed because of that battle, right? The tiger demon also gently nodded. If I'm not wrong, this aura of his is very similar to the aura of the zombie lineage in Rinja town. You're saying this kid is a zombie? The tree spirit was slightly stunned, it's impossible, even flying stiffs don't have the ability to set up formations. Then the tree spirit was uncertain, and tiger, we both became demons for I don't know how many years, we have seen a lot of zombies and whatnot, have you seen such a handsome zombie? The tiger demon shook his head, then I don't know. Seemingly afraid of being heard by Ren Feng, the two demons exchanged whispers. But then again, the aura of heaven and earth being drained away is not some heavy treasure present at all. That's right, he did it. To be able to make such a huge stroke, his strength must be unfathomable. Although he didn't make a move, the way he just looked at this side inexplicably made my heart drum. I feel the same way, just now, with just one look, I felt as if I had been seen through by him. Speaking of this, the two great demon kings looked at each other. They both saw the shock in the other's eyes that they were trying their best to hide. With the skills of their two great demon kings, they could naturally see something. That little girl, herself, didn't have much strength at all. Even if they gently blew their breath, they could easily kill that little girl. What was truly powerful was the formation that the little girl controlled. The two ghosts from earlier had both died under the formation as well. With this kind of handiwork alone, the two demons were willing to bow down and sigh to themselves. Soon they made a judgment. Regardless of the formation, they were afraid that they were no match for Ren Feng in terms of strength alone. If they went together, they might be able to go 50 to 50. We'd better go back and tell Big Sister about the situation first. The tiger demon glanced at the tree spirit and signaled to leave. 
Tiger, should we notify the stone demon? All of them are demons. No need. Before the tree spirit could finish his words, he was interrupted by the tiger demon, that one-track-minded guy, stone demon, is always speaking out of turn to big sister, let him run himself into the muzzle of a gun. Soon, the two demons took off in the clouds. They were unaware that their conversation had been heard by Rin Feng. These two demon kings are quite interesting. A smile flashed across the corner of Rin Feng's mouth. Ever since he had discovered their existence, Ren Feng's divine thoughts had never stopped. It was only that the cultivation of the two demons was no match for Ren Feng and did not detect Ren Feng's divine thoughts. It's a pity that they didn't even trespass. Otherwise, I would have been able to beat my teeth in today. Ren Feng gave a joyful sigh in his heart. Whether it was in his previous life or in this life, there was only one maxim that Ren Feng believed in. If people don't offend me, I don't offend them. If a person commits a crime against me, I will eliminate them. Now, it seemed that the two demon kings still understood the rules and did not do anything out of the ordinary. Ren Feng was naturally too lazy to bother with them. But now, there is a problem. It stands to reason that the security level has been raised. But why is the progress still 20%? Ren Feng secretly pondered in his heart. He had already set up a yin yang formation at the base camp. Ordinary severe ghosts and whatnot were naturally easy to kill. Even if a demon king came, it could be easily trapped. This level of security, it could not be said to be any less high already. Remembering that the system had said that the base camp security level increase would also be counted as the progress of the mission completion, but there had been no half reaction until now. The night was already late. Run Feng was still sitting quietly in the stone house. After the incident of the two ghosts coming to attack, Ren Feng had been thinking hard. What he had laid down was an extremely high-grade divine formation in the Corpse Raising Formation Codex, the Nine Spectres Gathering Formation. Moreover, the eye of the formation was still based on the pupil, and the entire formation was alive, not only could it absorb the Yin Qi and Spiritual Qi of Heaven and Earth, but it could also automatically defend against the enemy. But even so, the completion progress still didn't improve. Where exactly is the problem? What a strange thing. Ren Feng was puzzled, but in the end, he could only shake his head and continue to meditate and cultivate. The dragon blood that he had taken earlier, although he had already drunk all of it. But most of the power and true dragon chi was still within Rin Feng's body and had not been refined. After refining these true dragon's chi, as long as Rin Feng's drought domain came out, it naturally carried the pressure of the true dragon. The true dragon's chi was the natural enemy of filth. It would be even more so if it met a great demon. Tiger is the king of all beasts. The dragon, on the other hand, is the king of all beasts. The suppression of the bloodline alone was enough to make those great demons pale in comparison. Coupled with Ren Feng's domain pressure, it could make most opponents directly collapse without a fight. Even for those who could barely resist, their strength would be greatly reduced. Before he could figure out the situation of the Great Tribulation, Ren Feng had to make full use of all the power he could use to make himself stronger. Meanwhile, in the belly of Ghost Head Mountain. Strange, how come General Teasing Sedan Chair and General Rush Color haven't returned yet? Couldn't it be that the heavy treasure was too important and the two generals directly ran away with it? Nonsense. The two generals are loyal to Lord Ghost King. How could they do anything to defect? The crowd of little ghosts were murmuring. However, just at this moment, a hoarse voice came from the entrance of the mountain's belly. Here, is this the residence of the departing flame ghost king? The voice was like a broken gong, making people feel uncomfortable. The crowd of little ghosts, too, frowned at it. Who dares to clamor in the land of the departing flame ghost king? A little ghost condescendingly said. However, just after going out and seeing the visitor, that little ghost's already insubstantial ghost shadow steeply trembled unceasingly. You, you guys. The little ghost looked at the person coming in front of him, and in his incoherent words, he carried a strong sense of panic. The other little ghosts, too, looked towards the entrance. However, this look was what caused the crowd of little ghosts to directly explode. Holy shit. Run, run. Lord Li Hua Ghost King, quickly come out of the gate, a great enemy is coming. The crowd of little ghosts didn't even have the slightest sense of resistance. After seeing the visitors, their first reaction was to flee in all directions. He he, don't worry guys, we don't mean any harm. The visitors shouted. Only after hearing these words did the crowd of little ghosts quiet down. Only a pair of ghostly eyes carried a strong fear. The visitors, there were a total of two. For these little ghosts, the big names of these two were simply like thunder. The two visitors were tall and thin, with scarlet tongues sticking out more than three feet, vaguely carrying a faint aura of blood. In their right hands, they each carried a wailing rod and on their left hands were chains used to hook souls. Although the two look similar, the clothes on their bodies are one black and one white, each with a black and white tall hat, and are looking at the crowd of little ghosts with a bland face. At the sight of the birth of wealth, the world is at peace. 
Two lines of big words, one on the left and one on the right, were printed on the tall hats of the two visitors. If Rin Fong was present, he would definitely recognize them at once. The two men were no one else. It was the mythological black and white irregulars who specialized in detaining souls and holding ghosts. Black impermanence had a face like black charcoal and a hideous expression. And white impermanence, although his face was like a sick ghost, he was born with a smiling face. See all the little ghosts quiet down. White impermanence took a step forward and asked smilingly, Is this the mansion of the ghost king of departing fire? The little ghosts nodded their heads in succession. Very good. White impermanence nodded with a smile, quickly let the departing fire ghost king come out to meet this official. This official has something to discuss with him. If we follow the definition of modern people, black and white impermanence, they were also considered to be middle-level officials in the hell. As soon as he came on stage, white impermanence struck an official tone, and although he had a smiling face, the pressure on his body was vaguely released. A little ghost trembled and stepped forward, Master Bai, our lord is currently in seclusion. Oh, retreating? White impermanence frowned. The little ghost nodded, not daring to say more. Just as well. White impermanence reached into his pocket and took out a piece of paper. On top of the paper seal, the three big words warrant were written. After Li Hua leaves the gate, have him come to the nearest ghost gate to receive the warrant. White impermanence glanced at the brat, opened the warrant in his hand, and read aloud, I hereby appoint the ghost king of Li Hua as the city god of Castle Peaks 800 mile city, specializing in the affairs of the netherworld in this area, detaining the evil ghosts, and being worthy of the people of the city. After a long time, the little ghost heard the words, only then came back to God, the color of fear on his face faded, replaced by a strong joy. The title of ghost king was only a title after the strength reached a certain level. And, these ghost kings on earth, although it sounds imposing, but they have to be careful all the time, afraid that one day they would play too big and attract the armies of hell. But it's different now. City God, this is a registered official of hell. It's equivalent to a village bully, who has been exploiting the township, suddenly has an official background. Doesn't that mean he can go anywhere? They, the little ghosts, are also equal to having a legitimate identity. So although the city god is a small official in the hell, but it is also enough to let many ghosts grab their heads. When the off-fire ghost king leaves the gate, he will be able to receive his warrant of appointment and officially become a hell establishment. These little ghosts under the departing fire ghost king's command will no longer have to live the days of hiding in the east. Second master black and white collected the warrant and left the leaving fire ghost king's mansion. Old White, this departing fire ghost king has clearly done a lot of evil. Black impermanence incomprehensible white impermanence a glance, face disdainful color, the hell does not apprehend also just, why also appoint this kind of evil ghost as the city god. City god, that is the existence of protecting the peace of a party. Although the official position was not big, it was almost always held by a loyal warrior or someone with a very high folk reputation. From this aspect alone, leaving fire ghost king scoring zero was considered polite. Old Black, a great calamity is coming. I heard it from above before, although it's not clear what exactly this great calamity is, according to reliable sources, absorbing the power of faith is the only way to resist this great calamity of heaven and earth. White impermanence sighed leisurely and pointed to the blood moon in the sky, it's time for us, the hellmouth, to come back to earth as well. Black impermanence grunted coldly, humph, but even so, I'm afraid it would be counterproductive to have this kind of evil ghost serve as the city god, right? Black impermanence's concern was not without reason. Once the departing flame ghost king had the official refuge of the hellmouth, in case he did something that would cause heavenly fury and human hatred. At that time, not only would he not receive the power of faith, it might backfire instead. Old white, if you can think of something, how could the top not think of it? White impermanence sighed deeply, but, currently, do we have any suitable ghosts to choose from? Black impermanence sniffed and also sighed deeply, that's right, in this world now, the hearts of the people have long since gone out of fashion ah. The two of them were talking while floating back to the ghost gate pass which was the closest to this place. Unbeknownst to them, they were getting closer and closer to Rin Feng's matchbox-shaped house. After a few moments, black and white impermanence had indeed seen Rin Feng's matchbox house. Hitomi had also returned to the room. The color of dissatisfaction on black impermanence's face suddenly increased, the departing flame ghost king even allowed other forces to station themselves in his territory? I think the hellmouth should really retract this decision. He was already dissatisfied with the appointment of the city god by the ghost king of Li Hua. Seeing this scene, his heart was even more furious. However, right at this moment, white impermanence's body trembled slightly and pointed not far away, old black, look, what is that thing? Black impermanence looked in the direction white impermanence pointed. Then he said in disbelief, what can it be? It's not just an ordinary stone tablet. Before the words were finished, black impermanence abruptly stopped his mouth. The throat was like a fishbone stuck in the throat, unable to speak. A 
Originally hideous eyes, suddenly stared round, how do I feel the breath of the Borer Lacewing Monument? Borer Monument, a heavy treasure of hell. Even if an ordinary person dies and uses the Lacewing Monument as a gravestone to carve his name, the hell will also open the door to him. Not only do they not have to suffer the pain of the 18 layers of hell. On the contrary, after arriving in the hell, the level of prosperity, blessed shade of the children and grandchildren. For the black and white impermanent, this lacewing monument is naturally a treasure. Even if you take off a small piece of it and carry it with you, the speed of absorbing in chi will increase dramatically. A small piece of lacewing monument in the hell can be sold to the sky and still have a price for the kind of market. Isn't this borer monument only born in the most in places? How could Ghost Head Mountain have? Black impermanence was alarmed in his mind. But a moment later, he discovered the anomaly, no old white, this borer monument seems to have been artificially polished? Is that so? White impermanence sniffed and took a look, and then he also looked shocked, it's true, it seems that this borer lacewing steel is already owned. For the black and white two masters. The lacewing monument, after all, was a rare thing. Although it was already something with a master, the two masters were unwilling to leave. As an official of hell, they can't do anything by trickery. But it was always possible to take a look, right? The two of them looked at the Borer Monument in the distance. But who threw such a valuable Borer Monument in the middle of this barren mountain? Could it be the handiwork of the departing Fire Ghost King? Black Impermanence was first astonished, but then his face returned to a businesslike expression, since it's the departing Flame Ghost King's thing, it shouldn't be too much for me, as his superior, to touch it, right? Saying this, Black Impermanence prepared to walk towards the Borer Monument. However, Old Black, stop. Behind him, came the alarming voice of White Impermanence. Black Impermanence turned back in confusion. White Impermanence pointed to the ground, Old Black, look at your feet. Black Impermanence instinctively looked down and was shocked. Near his feet, a hidden energy fluctuation came out. Crap! A formation. Surprisingly, it's so stealthy that it's even hidden from me. The hallowed Black Impermanence burst out, such a means. Is it hard not to be the handiwork of the departing Fire Ghost King? White Impermanence didn't care about Black Impermanence's astonishment, and said to himself, to be able to set up a formation so stealthily, it is definitely a great magician who has studied the Tao of formation to the extreme. Black Impermanence also nodded repeatedly, Old White, it's fortunate that you're sharp-eyed, or else I would have fallen into the path. White Impermanence smiled in shame, to be honest, I didn't see it at first either, I was just simply skeptical. If White Impermanence hadn't sensed it carefully, he wouldn't have been able to sense the existence of the formation. Only compared to the reckless black impermanence, white impermanence was much calmer. From the very beginning, he had noticed the problem. Once the lacewing monument was released, it was bound to be madly snatched up by ghosts and monsters from all walks of life. A polished lacewing monument randomly thrown on the mountain? Not to mention them, even the ten temples of hell didn't have such a big hand. It was because of this hint of suspicion that white impermanence had been vigilant in his mind and had seen the end of the formation beforehand. No wonder I feel that this ghost head mountain has a lot more abundant in chi. White impermanence lamented, it seems that there is a great avatar of the ghost realm who has taken a fancy to this part of ghost head mountain, and that is why he has gone out of his way to use the borer lacewing monument to set up such a formation. Saying this, white impermanence glanced at the four square stone house not far away, that great avatar, might be inside, once we step into the formation, he will be the first to notice. Then what do we do now? Black impermanence glared, should we go in and pay a visit? It might be possible that this ghost race's great avatar can become a great help to the hell with our persuasion. No way. This is too hasty. White impermanence directly refused, then rolled his eyes. Let's go back to the hellmouth first, and we'll visit with a generous gift another day. Said here, white impermanence glanced back at the location of Lihua Ghost King. Tonight's matter go back must be reported to the hell. Perhaps Lihua that guy, when not the city god of the castle peak area. Said here. The two masters fondly looked at the borer monument. Then they left as if they were thieves. They didn't step into the formation, so Ren Feng didn't know yet. Ren Feng also didn't keep spreading his divine sense to cover the entire ghost head mountain. One, because it was impossible to concentrate on cultivation that way. Secondly, because, with that little strength of the ghost king of departing flame, there was no need for him to do so. At this time, Ren Feng did not know. It wouldn't take long for his existence to reach the years of the ten temples of hell. Early in the morning of the next day. Ren Feng, who was still cultivating, abruptly opened his eyes. HM? Is it coming? Ren Feng looked at the bottom of the ghost head mountain, and the corner of his mouth arched. He sensed that a force of faith that had gotten closer and closer to him. This power of faith was from Fonglinger. However, Ren Feng felt that there was a hint of panic in the power of faith coming from Fonglinger. Can't it be that this little believer of mine has encountered some danger? A hint of amusement appeared on Ren Feng's face. 
Through the faith transmission, Ren Feng knew. This Fenglinger was an actual human. A human, yet she believed in him, an evil god who set a thousand miles of red earth at the drop of a hat? Interesting. Ren Feng smiled with interest. Then his body moved, and only a residual shadow remained where he was sitting still. At this moment, underneath Castle Peak Mountain, the purple pupil woman who was in Fengmen village earlier, also known as Fenglinger, was running away at a rapid speed. Although she was a woman, the speed it displayed. I'm afraid that even the long-distance running champion of the Blackfeet continent could only look on in awe. At this moment, Fenglinger had already arrived at the foot of the mountain. Within a pair of purple pupils, there was a slight color of grief and hatred. While she was escaping, she covered her left side of her abdomen with her left hand, and even the breath on her body became disorganized. On her right hand, she was also holding a broken sword. It looked as if it had been injured. See him before dying. Even if things don't work out, I'm willing to die. In Fenglinger's eyes, a flash of determination flashed. For so many years, she had been growing up in Fengmen village. Now it was hard to have hope for revenge, but she didn't expect to be targeted by her previous enemies before she even met Rin Feng. It was also fortunate that when she had left, she had brought with her the power that had been passed on to her by those good ghosts of Fengmen village. Otherwise it was unknown if she could reach the foot of this green mountain. Put up a fight. I hope Shang Xian is still around. Feng Linger glanced at the towering ghost head mountain, grit her shell teeth lightly, and struggled to dive in headfirst. Her intention was to come to pay homage to her master. Since it was to pay homage to her teacher, she should have brought enough gifts, and only entered after the other party had agreed to three times in nine kowtows. But right now, Feng Linger had no time to prepare these things. She had no choice but to barge in first. As a cultivator, Feng Linger knew. In this ghost head mountain, apart from Ren Feng, there were other mountain spirits and reclusive masters. Once there was an offense, it was bound to be a nine deaths and one life situation. If she didn't have to, Feng Linger really didn't want to rush into it. But now, there was no time for her to think more. The pursuers behind her were already close at hand. Let's give it a shot, whether we live or die depends on God's will. The color of determination in Feng Linger's purple pupil flourished, and she plunged headlong into the ghost head mountain. Less than three breaths after Feng Linger left. Swoosh. A man and two women, three figures had appeared where Feng Linger had just been. These three people looked strange and unusual. The young man in the center looked even weirder. Obviously, he had a human appearance, but his pupils were pointed, looking like a poisonous snake. She went into the ghost head mountain. The young man's tone was grim, and as he spoke, his mouth unexpectedly spat out snake letters. He, originally, was a son of the Northeast Ma family. The direct descendants of the Northeastern Ma family, each of them was an Exodus immortal. Looking at this man, he should be possessed by a willow immortal, snake, which caused his eyes and tone to be so cold. I heard from the elders in my family that this ghost head mountain has recently produced a demon. He then glanced at the two women beside him. Two elders, what should we do? If we can't catch her, I'm afraid we won't be able to deliver back to the Ma clan. Young Master had personally ordered at that time that her soul must be detained and refined into our Ma clan war spirit. But she has now entered the ghost head mountain, in case she offends the one who transited yesterday. The young man's tone was grim though. But when he looked at the ghost head mountain, there was a strong scorn in his snake eyes. Behind him, a middle-aged woman nodded her head, if it was just the ghost king of departing flame, it wouldn't have the guts to refute my ma family's face, but that person's temperament hasn't been mapped out for the time being, in case of an offense. Before she could finish her words, she was interrupted by another woman. Hee hee, sixth elder is growing others ambition and destroying his own. Another middle-aged woman laughed coldly, who in this world's cultivators dare not give my northeast ma family three points. Can it be that the sixth elder has chickened out? You. The sixth elder was furious when he heard this. Although the Ma family was a prestigious family, but it was also not an ironclad one. The one who had just ridiculed her was the third elder of the Ma family. The two of them had been fighting with each other for many years, and the grudge had been built up for a long time. When the young man saw the two elders fighting, he couldn't help but have a big headache. Seeing that the two were still fighting endlessly. The young man hurriedly said, the two elders, if you want to fight go back and fight again, I have not been attuned to Lucien for a long time, I'm afraid I won't be able to hold on for long. While speaking, the sharp pupils in the young man's eyes gradually laxed out. It was clearly a sign that the immortal had left his body. It was only when they saw this scene that the two great elders each stopped their mouths with a cold snort. In the end, it was the third elder who made the final decision. As long as we are in the perimeter of Ghost Head Mountain, there shouldn't be any danger. And why do I need to look at other people's faces when I'm working for the Ma clan? Go! Hurry up and grab her and go back to deliver. The third elder waved his big hand and said in a cold voice. Subsequently, the three of them also entered the ghost head mountain. After almost ten minutes. Damn it, the immortal power has weakened. 
I can't smell the woman's odor anymore, the young man said with chagrin, only then did his snake-like eyes return to normal. The man reached out and pointed towards the mountain, but according to the last message from the immortal family, she should be heading towards the top of the mountain. The third elder nodded slowly, how much longer will it take to get to the mountain? It's estimated to be another half an hour. The man thought about it and said, we can only put up a fight when it comes down to it. The third elder coldly said, let's head towards the top of the mountain first, and wait for a while before you ask the immortal to come up and feel her aura. The sixth elder still frowned, but, once we have offended that, don't worry, if he's a smart person, he should give my ma family these few moments of face. The third elder sneered, besides, we are only capturing a woman, it's not like we are infringing on his interests, so hurry up and get going before it's too late. The sixth elder heard this and could only let out a long sigh and said no more. Soon, half an hour passed. Fong Linger was already close to reaching the top of the mountain. However, at this time, her strength had also been almost exhausted. The clothes on her body had also been scraped into a line by the strange branches across the forest, and her snow-white skin had been rubbed out with a trail of blood. Her left hand was still covering her belly, but the broken sword was still held tightly in her right hand. It seemed that for her, this broken sword seemed to have a very important meaning. Could it be that I, Fong Linger, can only die here? Fong Linger smiled sadly. From the beginning until now, she hadn't seen that upper immortal. It seems that he has already left after the tribulation. Fong Linger sighed leisurely and straightened up with her broken sword. Fong Linger then glanced at the mountain top that was close by. Even if I die, I can't let them have their way. Fong Linger's teeth clenched as she continued to struggle towards the top of the mountain. As long as she could hurry before the enemies behind her arrived, if she could take the first step to fall off the cliff and kill herself. By the time those people found themselves, I'm afraid that their souls would have long since dissipated, and what they would get would only be a corpse. Fong Linger didn't walk for long. As she rounded a patch of large boulders, she steeply saw that at the corner of the mountaintop, there was a huge cave. Below the cave was a four-square matchbox-shaped house. In front of the matchbox, a youth with a handsome face seemed to be looking at himself with a smile. Fong Linger's big eyes suddenly lit up. Just as she was about to say something, steeply, the eyes that had lit up with hope darkened once again. She did not feel a trace of a strong aura from the youth in front of her. Instead, it gave off a very calm feeling, just like an ordinary person rubbing shoulders. So it's an ordinary person. Perhaps it's a youth from the big city who came to live in seclusion after getting tired of the noisy life in the city. What an ignorant person. Foam Linger muttered darkly in her heart. In her heart, instead, she somewhat began to envy this youth in front of her. However, a moment later, Foam Linger withdrew her gaze. It's dangerous here, you'd better leave quickly. Foam Linger casually said, preparing to get up and leave. The Northeastern Ma family had always acted in an overbearing manner, and if they didn't find themselves, they would inevitably force this youth in front of them to ask about their whereabouts. Although there were special abilities bureau ordinances, it was not allowed for any special ability person to strike at ordinary people in any form. But in the middle of this mountain, who could know? At that time, perhaps the Ma family, after interrogating their own information, would directly silence and destroy their bodies, seeing that the youth did not respond. Fong Linger added, don't go yet, it will be too late to escape later. She didn't want others to be involved in this karma. That was why she kindly reminded the youth in front of her. But seeing that she had reminded him twice, the youth did not respond. Fong Linger could only leave helplessly. However just at this moment. Not good, they're so fast. Fong Linger's heart was startled and she subconsciously looked back. A man and two women from the Northeast Ma clan were already less than a hundred meters away from her. Fong Linger just wanted to flee. It was at this moment that the young man from the Ma family silently recited a few sentences in his mouth, and then the snake's letter was spat out. A dark green venom shot directly towards Fong Linger's body. Fong Linger subconsciously raised her arm to resist it with her chi. Snort. The moment the venom touched Fong Linger's true chi, a sickening aura emerged. What a strong snake venom. Surprisingly, it's the toughest willow fairy? Fong Linger's heart, instantly, went half cold. Of the five great Exodus immortals, the Willow Immortal's attacks were the most bizarre and tricky. If she ran into other Immortals, Foamlinger was still confident that she could escape with her last breath. If not, she would be able to disperse her soul on her own before these children of the horse family could get their own souls. However, facing Lu Xian, Foamlinger knew. She was afraid that she would not be able to escape. Just in the moment Foamlinger was thinking that Green Venom had already corroded her true chi, Foamlinger didn't dare to be slow and hurriedly pulled off her sleeves that had been shredded into strips of cloth. An ear-piercing corrosive sound rang out. In just less than a breath of effort, the sleeve had already been corroded into a dark green liquid. Fong Linger, remnant of Fong Min Village. Let's see where you can escape this time. It's better to obediently go back with us, so we can deliver. 
The third elder looked at Fonglinger with a cold smile, without a trace of emotion in his voice. On the contrary, it was the young man from the Ma clan on the side, his pair of snake pupils sweeping around Fonglinger's body ceaselessly. The immortal he had invited was the willow immortal. To put it bluntly, it was a snake spirit that had cultivated a certain amount of Tao. After half an hour of rest, he had recovered his vitality and once again invited the willow immortal to possess him. Only then did he accurately find Fong Linger's exact location. Such a beautiful little girl, what a pity. The man's icy snake eyes swept over Fong Linger's body without any concealment, and the snake letters in his mouth kept on gulping. Snake nature was inherently lustful. And this Fong Linger in front of him was just too beautiful. Leaving aside her figure, just that pair of purple eyes like purple jewels alone was enough to make any normal man think about it. Fong Linger saw that there was no hope of escape. She simply put the broken sword in her hand across her chest and made an offensive gesture. Go with you guys? Like great grandma, to be refined into your ma family's battle spirit? In order to ingest grandma Tai's soul, you guys went so far as to slaughter hundreds of people in Fong Men village back then. This enmity is irreconcilable, today, even if I have no hope of escaping, I will still use this broken sword to drag you all as my back. Fong Linger's violet eyes suddenly turned red due to her monstrous hatred. The broken sword in her hand trembled even more frequently. From time to time, there were wails and roars that emanated from the broken sword. Oh, this broken sword. You even sealed those ghosts from your sealed gate village into the sword and brought them out as well? The third elder raised his eyebrows and laughed coldly, his bloated body shaking non-stop. A moment later. Back then, the old family master was merciful and didn't break their souls, now it seems that these Fongmen ghosts are still thieving, since this is the case. The third elder's smile faded, her eyes narrowed slightly, a flash of killing intent flickered, then today, my old self will exterminate them as well, lest I leave any more hidden dangers. The man possessed by Lu Xian also smiled and stood out. Fomlinger, I advise you to spare yourself the pain of skin and flesh. The strength of the two elders is both at the divine profound realm. And the Lu Xian behind me is even at the Jin Dan realm. How can you, a small woman at the foundation establishment stage, fight with us? The man's snake letters gulped and stared tightly at Fomlinger. The two elders beside him were both peripheral elders of the Ma family. They were experts that the Ma clan spent a lot of money to hire, and what they cultivated was not the Ma clan's Dharma sect. This young man, however, was a rooted Ma family descendant. The cultivation method of the Ma family was different from the cultivators who formed Jin Dan and cultivated Yuanin. They cared more about communicating with immortals. If the fit with the immortal is high, as long as the golden mouth is opened, not only can they live the same life as the immortal, but they will also inherit 100% of the immortal's strength for a sustained period of time after the immortal possesses them. Therefore, in the case of immortal possession, in addition to Rinfong, the person present with the strongest cultivation is this Ma family child. Capturing a little girl at the foundation establishment stage? That would naturally be a handful. However, just as the Ma family man was about to make his move, hmm, the aura here, it seems to be abundant. The third elder inhaled and looked around suspiciously. The sixth elder seemed to have noticed something as well and looked around as well. It wasn't until then. Only then did the two men notice. Not far away, there was a young man who was looking at them with a smile on his face. The immortal hall burns a furnace of incense in a hurry, and the incense transmits information to the four directions. The northeastern Ma family is on business, idle people leave quickly. The third elder's complexion was cold as he drank coldly at Rinfong. Although it was a business-like expression, a flash of greed flashed in his eyes. The aura here was too dense. On top of that, there was also a thick yin chi that was all surging towards this place. If one were to cultivate here, it didn't matter if it was the Ma clan's immortals or them, or even the Ma clan's war spirits, cultivation would definitely increase by leaps and bounds. Greed rose within the third elder's heart, and he immediately had the idea of taking this place for himself. Just then, let me leave my land? Is the so-called Ma family so overbearing? Ren Feng gently clapped his hands, a derisive smile in his eyes. Hearing Ren Feng's voice, Feng Ling'er's body trembled slightly, and her pair of already large eyes suddenly glared round. Although she had never seen Ren Feng's appearance. But, outside, there were videos circulating about Ren Feng's tribulation, as well as the video of the broken coffin, which she had watched no less than a hundred times in a row. This voice, it was just too familiar. Supreme Immortal, is it really you? Feng Ling'er covered her mouth and exclaimed in shock, a pair of purple pupils filled with an unbelievable expression. At first, she had treated Rin Feng as an ordinary person. After all, Rin Feng did not have half the aura of a strong person on him. But now, listening to the voice, Feng Linger could be 100% certain. This man in front of her was the person who had crossed the threshold that day. He he, what a rush. Without waiting for Rin Feng to speak, the third elder let out a faint laugh. A mere ordinary person, and you call yourself an immortal? Could it be that you want to scare us off? 
She had only heard about Ren Feng from the Taoist way. There was no video that she had seen. Plus, there wasn't a single breath fluctuation coming from Ren Feng. The third elder instinctively treated Ren Feng as an ordinary youth who was traveling the mountains. Only this ordinary youth seemed to have gotten lucky. Surprisingly, he had set up camp in this precious land. Even if it was out of secrecy, the seemingly unrelated youth in front of him should be left behind. Thinking of this, the third elder looked at Rin Fong. Since you saw the scene, there's no need for you to leave. The Special Energy Bureau has a rule that we can't take action against mortals. But if we let you out, it's inevitable that word will leak out. So, sorry. Saying this, the third elder looked at the Ma Clan man, first, capture Fonglinger, and then this man's soul, I'll leave it to Lucien to deal with. This is naturally no problem. I haven't tasted a fresh soul in a long time. The man from the Ma Clan spat out his snake letter and smiled sinisterly. However, the sixth elder was pondering. A moment later, the sixth elder's cloudy eyes suddenly lit up. When she looked at Ren Feng, there was a hint of panic in her eyes. She was different from the third elder. She had watched the video of Ren Feng's tribulation. From the moment Ren Feng had just spoken, she felt as if she had heard this voice somewhere before. Now, she remembered. This was Ghost Head Mountain. It was the place where that great avatar had transited. And that great avatar was most likely this ordinary young man in front of her. Retreat quickly. The sixth elder shouted violently and violently utilized his true chi. Then, utilizing the momentum of the recoil, his body flew back violently. The sixth elder's sudden reaction startled the third elder and the Ma Clan man. Isn't it just an ordinary person? As for being scared like this bear? I really don't understand how someone as timid as a mouse like you managed to mix into the Ma Clan to be on par with me. The third elder took in the look of terror in the sixth elder's eyes and smiled disdainfully. Hearing her sneer, the sixth elder instinctively sneered back, he is. However, halfway through her words, the sixth elder closed her mouth. She and the third elder had always been at odds. If this young man in front of her was really that high person, perhaps it wasn't impossible to get rid of the third elder by borrowing his hand. Thinking of this, the sixth elder hurriedly shut her mouth. It was at this time. The Ma Clan man opened his mouth and spoke, forget about the sixth elder for now, what she did just now is enough to get rid of her name among the Ma Clan's outer elders. Speaking here, the Ma Clan man looked at the third elder again, what, do you need me to ask an immortal to do something even for such a small matter? Naturally there is no need. The third elder smiled fawningly, then his gaze turned cold and attacked Fonglinger. Fonglinger was only at the foundation stage, so how could she be a match for the third elder of the Avatar realm? After only a few moves, put, a mouthful of hot blood sprayed out from Fonglinger's vermilion lips. The broken sword in her hand even flew directly out of her hand and was directly inserted into the rocks next to her. At this moment, Phone Linger's injuries were compounded by her injuries, and her thin body looked shaky. Even stabilizing the breath in her body became a problem, let alone fighting. Humph, a mere foundation establishment stage, and you dare to speak loudly. Now that we are right in front of you, what can you do to us? The third elder's expression was cold. Phone Linger forcibly suppressed the blood in her throat, first looking at Ren Fong who was watching the show not far away, then looking at the broken sword not far away, her eyes filled with regret. In the end, it was me who made a fool of myself, the Hall of the Immortal, and how will accept me as a disciple. Unfortunately, folks, Linger can't avenge you. Saying this, Phone Ling Air closed her eyes in despair. It seemed to have given up resistance. Seeing this scene, the Ma family man nodded in satisfaction, alright, take the person back. However it was at this time. The third elder came to the Ma clan man's ear and muttered a few words in a low voice. What did you say? The Ma clan man let out a cry of surprise, then recited a few sentences silently. After reciting the mantra, the man shouted, invite the immortal to leave his body. As soon as the words left his mouth, the willow immortal detached from his body. The Ma clan man took a deep breath and his eyes lit up. It's true what you said, the Yin spirit chi in this place is nearly dozens of times thicker than the Ma clan. When the immortal family was possessed, he was unable to feel the aura around him. Now that the immortalist had left his body, the Ma Clan man noticed the difference in this place at the first opportunity. The third elder nodded his head in agreement. At the same time, he also made glances in Rin Feng's direction from time to time. The Ma Clan man waved his hand impatiently, deal with it cleanly. Obviously, he was also like the third elder. This place had a strong interest in the richness of the Yin spirit Qi. As for Rin Feng, they simply couldn't feel any semblance of cultivation in Rin Feng's body. In their eyes, it was not as threatening as Fonglinger. In order to prevent the news from leaking out, they were simply silenced altogether. Kid, you are really unlucky. Remember in your next life, don't come wandering around the mountains with nothing to do. Don't worry, I'll give you a hard time. The third elder's eyes did not fluctuate in the slightest. The life of an ordinary person was no different from a mole cricket in her eyes. This was in the middle of nowhere. 
As long as it was done cleanly, it was absolutely impossible for the Special Energy Bureau side to find out. Hearing the third elder's words, Ren Feng was happy in his heart. Did he seem to have no deterrent power at all? The reason why he had stood by coldly just now was because he wanted to see how capable this believer of his was. Ren Feng naturally wouldn't just watch Feng Linger die. First of all, regardless of anything else, if Feng Linger died, then would his share of the faith value be reversed. For this reason, Ren Feng would also save Feng Linger when it was a matter of life and death. However, it seemed like it was not necessary now. This Ma family elder, it was obvious that he had hit on his idea. Ah, are you so confident that you can kill me? Ren Feng asked with interest, seeing Rin Feng's indifferent expression. The third elder was even happier. Kid, have you ever read a metaphysical novel? I am the legendary cultivator. Don't worry, when a cultivator strikes, you won't feel any pain. Third elder laughed out loud. Possibly because her nemesis, the sixth elder, was about to roll up and leave, she was happy to bleep a few more words with this mediocre youth in front of her. However, in her extreme excitement, she failed to notice. The eyes of this young man in front of her were really a bit strange. Within this pair of eyes, it seemed to be filled with the care for mentally retarded children. However, just when the third elder thought he was winning, Hitomi, Ren Feng, who originally seemed harmless, steeply spoke out. Swish. The female ghost, Hitomi, suddenly appeared in front of Ren Feng. In the middle of the formation, she could appear in any position at will. Send her on her way. Ren Feng indifferently said. The words just fell. Wow. A chain condensed with Ian's spirit chi suddenly turned into a cold light, directly piercing through the third elder's bloated body. Speaking out against Big Brother. Seek death. Hitomi's eyes carried not a single ripple. She had already endured this non-stop mouth-breathing third elder for a long time. If it wasn't for the fact that Ren Feng hadn't been able to issue a word, I'm afraid that Hitomi herself would have sent that old fellow to the west first. Now when Ren Feng opened his mouth, Hitomi was even more direct and painful, fearing that Ren Feng would back out in general. After a long time, only then did the third elder react and look down at the chains on his chest. His mouth opened, still wanting to say something. Nay, the strength in his body drained away like a flood that broke the dike. With just two sideways tilts, the third elder fell straight to the ground. Even though she was already dead, the third elder's eyes, which had long lost their luster, were still filled with panic and shock. If she was given another chance, she would definitely hide far away, not even daring to set foot near the ghost head mountain. Unfortunately, the current her had already cooled off long ago, and there was simply no second chance to choose. The Ma clan man and the sixth elder, who were watching the battle from the side, were even directly frozen in place. Even though the third elder is a peripheral elder, but it's also a powerhouse of the avatar realm. Surprisingly, he couldn't even last a single round. The Ma clan man was appalled in his heart. At this moment, he remembered. It couldn't be that this man in front of him was the terrifying existence that had crossed the threshold before? Originally, he had thought of capturing Phone Linger and returning to hand in his orders. Obviously, he had already been careful enough. But he never expected that he would still run into the person they were most unwilling to run into. At this moment, the Ma clan man's intestines were almost green with remorse. This person in front of him obviously looked unthreatening, but never thought that he was the one who had crossed the threshold of the great power. According to the family intelligence, the one who had previously crossed the threshold is not a flying stiff? Zombies are not all long crooked, hideous face, face paralyzed, hard body? In front of this big brother, how to look like a human being, not even see the appearance of half a zombie? The Ma family man suspected that there was something wrong with the world. Then look at Rin Fong, from beginning to end his face was a faint smile. It seemed that the one who died in front of him was not an expert of the Avatar realm. Rather, it was an insignificant beast in general. Holy shit, what a hell of a point. How did I get into trouble with this bogeyman? A strong sense of crisis chilled the Ma clan man's heart. Foamlinger, who was secretly healing her wounds at the side, saw that the third elder, who had just beaten himself into spitting blood in a few moves, couldn't even go around in front of a little kid. Moreover, looking at that little kid, he seemed to be very respectful to the immortal. It seemed that the immortal that he believed in his heart. His strength must be even higher than what he had imagined. Thinking of this, an exquisite light suddenly flashed within Fonglinger's large, beautiful eyes. Then Fonglinger thought again. She had just treated Shang Xian as an ordinary person who was playing with soy sauce, and had even kindly told him that this place was dangerous and asked him to leave to save his life. Her pretty face immediately turned red. In her heart, she was even more embarrassed to the point that she wanted to find a corner to drill into. A hallowed immortal bumping into these few small characters. You want to run away? The ones who wanted to run away were the ones who were right. Ren Feng's strength, in an instant, in Feng Linger's heart again upgraded and grade. The idea of worshipping the master also became more and more firm. 
Just as Fonglinger was fantasizing that she would soon be able to worship under the door of the upper immortal, officially stepping onto the peak of her life. You too. Run Fong spoke steeply, his expression indifferent, if you guys dare to move half an inch again, your end will definitely be the same as his. The complexion of the Ma clan man and the sixth elder abruptly stiffened. Especially the Ma clan man. He was the first to react just now, knowing that he couldn't afford to mess with this man in front of him. Wanting to draw back and flee. However, he did not expect that just after taking half a step, he was discovered by Ren Feng. Although Ren Feng's tone was flat, he knew. As long as he moved half an inch further, he would inevitably end up like the third elder. Because he was preparing to escape, one of the Ma clan man's feet was still in mid-air, in the golden cock stand-alone position. Hearing Rin Feng's words, it was even more difficult to land or not to land. It looked so funny. After a long time. Only then did the Ma family man turn back with great difficulty and said with an awkward smile, Senior, we had no intention of intruding, please give our Ma family face and let go. However, his words were not yet finished. Rin Feng raised his eyebrows, the Ma family? How much face can the Ma family have? Seeing Rin Feng so disrespectful, the Ma family man's smile instantly froze on his face. After so many years of precipitation, the Ma family's heritage was considered quite deep, although it was not comparable to those great sects with thousands of years of history. But even so, the Buddhist and Taoist families would usually give the Ma family three thin faces. Unexpectedly, this person in front of him actually really did not put the Ma family in his eyes? It seemed that there was no way to make peace with this matter. Fight! The Ma family man's heart was ruthless. Instead of sitting around waiting to die, it was better to take a chance. Thinking of this, the Ma clan man's heart murmured. The Golden Flower sect master is a guest in the hall, and has a reputation on the five immortals altar. My brother Ma invites me to his home this morning, and invites the immortals to show their power. Please ask immortal Lu to come to my altar, I'm in a hurry. After reciting the mantra, the man of the Ma family closed his eyes tightly and sat waiting for the Lu Xian to come on. However after a long time, there was no movement at all. This can't be. The Ma family man's tightly closed eyes suddenly opened with an unbelievable face. At this moment, thousands of miles away from the Ma clan, a soul drifted in at an extremely fast speed and fused into a large snake the thickness of an arm. Crap, so close to being pitted by that kid. The large snake's letter gulped. It was a cold-blooded animal, not to mention that it had already become a climate. But just a moment ago, he still clearly felt a strong sense of fear. This snake was none other than the willow immortal that the man from the Ma clan had hired. With his methods, even if I went there, I would still be killed in one move. This man's strength is definitely not something we can look down upon. Now it seems better to inform the situation first. At this time, the Ma clan man didn't know. It wasn't that his mantra had failed. Rather, it was the fact that Lu Xian had directly quit. However, while he was reciting the incantation, the subtle energy fluctuations still allowed Ren Feng to detect it. It's you guys who are looking for death. Ren Feng waved his hand casually and turned around blandly, Hitomi, do it. Can't, you can't kill me. The special energy bureau has. Put. Halfway through his words, the Ma family man's head was directly pierced through by the chains. Even the sixth elder, who was not far away, did the same. Pitifully, he had calculated everything and after pitting the third elder to death, he had incidentally pitted himself to death as well. At the moment of death, the two of them vaguely heard Ren Feng's indifferent voice. Special energy bureau? What does it have to do with me? A tease worth of work. Under Hitomi's control, a deep pit automatically appeared within the range of the formation. The three corpses, which had already been dealt with, were buried tightly, and no traces of the fight could be seen at all. Big brother, it's all taken care of. Hitomi obediently walked to Ren Feng's side. Good job, go play. Ren Feng gently nodded his head and said. Only after getting Ren Feng's approval did Hitomi leave with a bounce. Feng Linger, who was next to her, still felt a little confused in her head at this moment. Three formidable enemies, and they were just seconded? Only then did Feng Linger come back to her senses. From start to finish, Ren Feng hadn't said a word to her. It was as if she had become an air person. Seeing that Ren Feng was turning around to return to the stone house, Feng Linger could not sit still. Supreme Immortal, please wait. Feng Linger steeply spoke out. Ren Feng looked back at the words and let out a faint smile, I almost forgot about you. Don't worry, since you are my believer, as long as you are within this ghost head mountain, I will definitely protect you. Ren Feng continued, just find yourself a random place to settle down. Feng Linger froze at his words. Believers and whatnot, she wasn't very clear. But the purpose of her trip was to come and worship the Master Ah. Listening to Ren Feng, he was only saying that she could stay on the mountain and had no other plans. If she couldn't learn the skills from the immortal, how else could she avenge the great hatred of Feng Men village? Thinking of this, Feng Linger struggled to stand up. Then with a straight face, she walked over to Ren Feng and directly fell to the ground with a thud, upper immortal, 
please accept me as your disciple, I will definitely work hard. Feng Linger's tone was firm, and there was a hint of begging on top of the firmness. Ren Feng frowned slightly. He did not know that Feng Linger's purpose for this trip. The reason why he had stepped in to save him was simply because he didn't want the faith value to be reversed after Feng Linger's death. Now, it seemed that this girl was a drunkard. Ren Feng didn't say anything, he just looked blandly at Feng Linger who was kneeling in front of him. Feng Linger, in turn, firmly met Ren Feng's gaze. After a moment. Correction, I'm not an upper immortal. Ren Feng shook his head and refused, moreover, I don't accept disciples. Just kidding. In his original form, he was a drought. Strictly speaking, it was an existence that everyone in those righteous paths had to kill. If even a drought demon could become an immortal, then I'm afraid that the most evil people in the world would just flat out soar. Besides, there was no telling when the great tribulation of heaven and earth would come. Ren Feng had that time to collect disciples, he might as well think about how to complete the progress of the quest and get more rewards to enhance his strength. He's not a good disciple. If you look pretty, do you have to accept it? Ren Feng wasn't so bad that he couldn't move when he saw a pretty woman. Before, he accepted Hitomi because Hitomi would be helpful to him after she fused the formation eye. If this Feng Linger's strength was still passable, so be it. She could handle some things for Ren Feng. However, it was not enough to enter Ren Feng's eyes at the foundation stage. In Ren Feng's opinion, the most important thing right now was to improve his strength, or to collect enough faith value to exchange things in the system mall. If at this time, the system issued him a mission to kill a sister to prove the Tao, as long as he completed the task, it would allow him to instantly gain full strength. Run Feng would definitely do it without hesitation. Thinking of this, Run Feng looked at Feng Linger with a smile on his face. Please go back, I'm not the kind of immortal who saves people from the hardships of the people. On the contrary, I'm the kind of person who has always been unprofitable. Worship me? Do you have that leverage? Ren Feng lightly laughed and shook his head, turning around to return inside the stone house. Feng Linger's face instantly turned deathly white, sitting there on her knees in a daze. The words of Ren Feng just now were rough. It was. From the very beginning, one had defined him as a great avatar. But then again, does a great avatar have the obligation to help himself out of his misery? What qualifications did he have to beg Ren Feng to accept him? Was it just because she was pretty? Feng Linger suddenly realized that she was wrong. Very foolish, very naive. Then again, Ren Feng had just said that he needed leverage if he worshipped him as a teacher. But herself now. Besides this body still being intact, what leverage did she have? But, even if he were to fall back on himself, he wouldn't even be moved, right? Feng Linger still for the first time had doubts about her own body and appearance. But after a fleeting moment, Feng Linger, who was already dead in the water, seemed to suddenly think of something. Just now, he seemed to say that I could stay in the mountains. It seems like he didn't directly drive me away. Thinking of this, Feng Linger's eyes lit up. Although right now, he wasn't willing to accept himself as a disciple. But one could stay on the mountain all the time. As the saying goes, where there is sincerity, there is strength. Feng Linger believed that as long as she was diligent and knew her colors, maybe after a long time, he'll be soft enough to take him in. Thinking of this, Feng Linger secretly clenched her pink fist. As long as the kung fu is deep, the iron pestle will be sharpened into a needle. I'll definitely be able to worship under the door of the supreme immortal. Until then, Feng Linger swept a glance around and stood up slowly with her broken sword, walking towards the surrounding trees with strange branches. At this moment, inside the stone house where Rin Feng was, looks like she still doesn't intend to give up. Rin Feng dispersed his divine sense and sensed that Feng Linger had not left. However, this was good. If Feng Linger left and accidentally hiccuped, his share of the faith value would have to be deducted backwards. Since Feng Linger chose to stay on the mountain and didn't get in his way, Ren Feng simply let her go. Afterwards, Ren Feng closed his divine sense and entered the state of cultivation. The sun set at dusk. Ren Feng also woke up from his cultivation. Just after leaving the stone house, Ren Feng frowned. Here, how did it change? Ren Feng looked at his surroundings with a puzzled expression. Although that stone house of his was still a four-square matchbox, but the surroundings, however, had long since changed drastically. Those trees that had corroded earlier when he had cast the drought domain had been dug up by the roots. Even the pits on the ground had been filled in. The trees that were intact around them looked as if they had been artificially cropped, no longer having strange branches growing across them. At first glance, it looked much smoother than before. Could it be that Foam Linger did this? Thinking of this, Run Foam looked toward the distance. Sure enough, not far away, Foam Linger was busy. A simple grass hut had been erected beside her. In front of Feng Linger, there was also a fire set up, not knowing what was being roasted. I'm afraid that these tasks would take a long time for an ordinary person to complete. However, Feng Linger was already at the foundation establishment stage. Although she was injured, these small jobs were not a problem for her. But at the sight of that grass house, 
Run Feng's face twitched slightly. Is this trampling insulting my level of construction? That grass house of Fonglingers. Although it looked minimalist, the styling was much better than this matchbox type house of his. No, I must find a beautiful designer to redesign a set for me in the future. Ren Feng secretly made up his mind. With Ren Feng's current strength, it was hard for anything to attract his interest. Except for the matchbox house. This was always a piece of Ren Feng's heartache. At this moment, Fonglinger also realized Ren Feng's presence. Fonglinger hurriedly wiped her hands picked up the things that were on the fire and respectfully handed them to Rin Fong. Only then did Rin Fong see. In Fong Linger's hands, she was holding a roasted rabbit that was already cooked through. The entire roasted rabbit was roasted to a golden brown color. Because it had just left the fire, the golden colored grease was bubbling out, emitting a tantalizing aroma. Ren Fong was not polite and directly took it. At this time, he had already left the realm of corpses and did not need to suck blood anymore. With Rin Feng's current strength, he didn't need to eat anything, he only needed heaven and earth aura to survive. However, since crossing over, other than dragon blood, Ren Feng had yet to eat a single bite of food. There was really still some nostalgia. Ren Feng was not polite and took a shallow taste after receiving it. A moment later, the craftsmanship is good. Ren Feng then nodded lightly. However, this seemingly ordinary sentence alone. Yet it was enough to make Feng linger ecstatic. I must double my efforts in the future. Only if I make the immortal happy will I be able to enter the immortal's eyes. Fong Linger excitedly cheered herself up in her heart. With a clear mind, even the injuries on her body didn't feel so painful. In fact, from the time Rin Fong closed his door, Fong Linger opened up to clean up. Under Hitomi's guidance, as long as it was within the range of the formation, she didn't even spare a single nook or cranny. A day passed. The entire mountain looked, well, brand new. Fong Linger had injuries on her body, although these jobs were nothing for her though. But the moment she moved, she would involve her wounds. However, in order to get Ren Feng's approval, Feng Linger still endured the pain and cleaned up the entire mountain. She knew that although she was pretty. But in Ren Feng's eyes, she was just a relatively pretty mole cricket. If she wanted to attract Ren Feng's attention, she had to be sincere and start with small things. Now it seemed. Her own efforts for one day were worth it. Thinking of this, Feng Linger's heart felt like it was smeared with honey. It's not polite to come and not go. Ren Feng put down the roasted rabbit in his hand and said in his heart, System, exchange a primary healing pill. Ding. Redemption completed, deducting zero. One faith value. Ren Feng. This primary healing pill, it was really cheap. For the 500 points of faith value that Feng Linger had contributed, this zero. One faith value was simply a drop in the bucket. However, with Feng Linger's current strength, she could only use this primary healing pill. Otherwise, the raging medicinal power would instead burst her meridians and aggravate her injuries. This primary healing pill is considered to be worth that roasted rabbit of yours. Run Fong looked indifferent and threw the healing pill into Fong Linger's arms. Thank you on. Thank you senior. Fong Linger joyfully took it. Originally, she habitually wanted to call Shang Xian, then remembered that Ren Fong seemed to dislike this name and hurriedly changed her mouth. After thanking Ren Fong again and again, Fong Linger returned to her grass hut and prepared to heal her wounds. Just after taking the pill, Fong Linger froze. This healing pill, surprisingly, melted in the mouth. Just as it entered her throat, it transformed into a stream of pure medicinal power that nourished her limbs and bones. The internal injuries from the previous battle were healed in just a moment. And even more bizarrely, even the dark injuries from many years ago had hidden signs of getting better. Hiss. Fong Linger immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air. Listening to Senior's tone just now, this is still just a primary healing Dan. Elementary. Just thinking about these two words, Fong Linger felt her brain buzzing. An elixir in your hand has such an effect. It seems like I really made the right choice. I must work harder in the future. Fong Linger clenched her fists with a face of longing. The delicate and pretty face was even more filled with a look of exuberance. It seemed that for the future, it was already full of hope. At this moment, Fong Linger's heart also only had a strong sense of awe for Rin Fong, and her heart was also more and more curious about Rin Fong. To be able to make such a big move, one hadn't even heard of his name before? But a moment later, Fong Linger shook these miscellaneous thoughts out of her mind. It's better to cultivate properly. What I can do for Senior in the future will be more than just cleaning. Fong Linger secretly cheered for herself in her heart, then closed her eyes. However, as she began to absorb the heaven and earth spiritual chi, Fong Linger was dumbfounded again. How is the heaven and earth aura so dense? Fong Linger mumbled as if she was stupid. Then on second thought, it must be Rin Feng's handiwork again. Fong Linger. If others were to know that all of Senior's cultivation places have such a majestic aura, I'm afraid that they would be so inferior that they would die on the spot. 
At this moment, Feng Linger finally understood why Ren Feng was unwilling to accept her as his disciple. Even she herself felt. It was as if she was a mountain cannon entering the city for the first time. Seeing everything was fresh. If it was herself in her place, accepting a mountain cannon? Or forget it. Even if it was himself, he wouldn't accept this Iles disciple. Fortunately, Senior didn't see my current dilemma. Otherwise, I would really have to find a crack in the ground. Thinking of this, Fong Linger's pretty face slightly reddened. If her mountain cannon appearance just now was seen by Rin Fong, then one would really have to find a crack in the ground. It's better not to think nonsense, cultivation is important. Fong Linger weeded out the miscellaneous thoughts in her mind before she entered the state of cultivation. Nightfall. In the belly of Ghost Head Mountain. Greetings to the departing flame ghost king for his departure. Hundreds of little ghosts gathered joyfully, kneeling on one knee towards the mountain belly's secret chamber. A monstrous scene she filled out from the secret chamber. In the next instant, the departing flame ghost king, whose body was wrapped in black mist, appeared in front of the little ghosts. Why aren't General Ruffled Sedan Chair and General Sharp Colors visible? Knowing that this king's departure is imminent, how dare you not come to greet them? The departing fire ghost king's voice was icy cold, and his gaze slowly swept over the crowd of little ghosts. Every little ghost that was gazed at by him couldn't help but lower their heads, not daring to meet his gaze. In the end, it was one of the generals who bowed and said, Lord Ghost King, General Teasing Sedan Chair and General Rush Color went out yesterday and have not returned yet. H.M.? The departing fire ghost king frowned, headless, bodiless. In. In. In the corner, two winning voices rang out. Two stern ghosts then stood out. One had only half a body. The other had no head. Headless ghosts, bodiless ghosts. These two types of ghosts, most of them died horizontally, and their own grievances were overwhelming. Now that they had been cultivating for many years, they were the right-hand men of the departing fire ghost king. A strong cultivation, second only to the departing fire ghost king. The two ghosts, sharp colors and ruffled sedan chair, have gone AWOL. You and others are specially ordered to catch the two ghosts to meet me within a day. The leaving fire ghost king said in a cold voice. Yes, ghost king. The headless and bodiless two ghosts answered in unison and were about to leave the mountain belly. It was at this moment. Li Hua, what a great official authority. At the entrance of the mountain belly, a cold voice came from the mountain. It sounded as if it didn't place the departing flame ghost king in its eyes at all. The departing fire ghost king frowned at the words and looked out. After seeing the visitor clearly, a flash of scorn suddenly flashed across his originally warm and angry face. People from the Special Energy Bureau, why are you guys here? At the entrance of the mountain's belly, there were two people dressed in black Chinese mountain suits standing. At the collar of the tunic, there was also a dragon symbol. This was precisely the Special Energy Bureau's work uniform. However, very quickly, the Ghost King of the Flame calmed down. These two people in front of him, although they were also considered experts. However, the two of them together, at most, they could only compete with the Ghost King. It was not them that the Ghost King was afraid of. Rather, it was the Special Energy Bureau behind them. I, Li Hua, have not violated the rules of the Special Energy Bureau, have I? What is the purpose of the two of you coming to my place? Soon, the departing fire ghost king calmed down and asked. A person's name, a tree's shadow. The influence of the Special Energy Bureau. Although it was limited to this region. But amongst the entire region. All the awakened special abilities, the Exodus Immortals, the Cultivators, and even the most prosperous Buddhist family had to follow the rules of the Special Energy Bureau. It's just that compared to the other forces, Buddhism generally just listens to the tone but not the announcement. But even so, they didn't dare to violate the Special Energy Bureau's orders in full view of everyone. This was all thanks to the official background of the Special Energy Bureau. The Special Energy Bureau itself only had two core jobs. The first was to prevent some special abilities or cultivators with ill intentions from committing crimes in this region. The second was to constrain the special ability users of other countries, so that both sides could maintain a balanced situation. Such a strong background. It wasn't something that a single departing flame ghost king in this region could afford to mess with. The departing flame ghost king looked at the two men and waited for the following. Introduce yourself. I'm the Special Energy Bureau, member of the Castle Peak branch, Lin Hualong. A rather burly member of the Special Energy Bureau stepped forward, there's no big deal for us to come here this time, it's just a routine visit to pay a visit to the newly appointed city god. After saying that, Lin Hualong arched his hand perfunctorily. Judging from his attitude, he didn't take the so-called city god, the departing flame ghost king, seriously. City god? The departing fire ghost king was slightly stunned. How did he become a city god when he had just left the gate? Could it be that the previous operations in hell had taken effect? Just as the departing fire ghost king was puzzled, a little ghost next to him whispered, Lord Ghost King, the second master of black and white visited yesterday when you were in seclusion and specifically spoke about this matter. 
I see. The departing fire ghost king came to a sudden realization. It seemed like his previous operations in the hell had really worked. Not waiting for the departing fire ghost king to speak, the relatively thin man beside Lin Huarong spoke out. The attitude, however, was much more polite than Lin Huarong. Li Hua, no, I should call Lord City God. The skinny man laughed softly, my name is Qin Zijing, this time, the great calamity is coming, the city god should also assist the castle peak branch more and deal with some of the evil ghosts that are plaguing the earth. This is natural. Li Hua's complexion, then looked better, as a city god, this is my part. Although on the surface, he was so polite. But in Li Hua's heart, he had already greeted all 18 generations of Lin Huarong's ancestors. Qin Zijing was okay, his manners were at least in place. That Lin Huarong, looks like a blind bear, looks more vicious than himself as a ghost. And as soon as he entered, he had an interrogative tone. The off-fire ghost king had done a lot of evil things in the past. Seeing Lin Huarong with a foul face, he thought that the special energy bureau was going to invite him to tea. Really damn scared me to death. The departing flame ghost king's heart palpitated as he secretly said. However, after a split second, the departing fire ghost king's heart was complacent again. In the past, this kind of miscellaneous army of theirs couldn't even get into the eyes of the special energy bureau. Now he himself had transformed into a city god. Even the special energy bureau had to give a few points of face. The departing fire ghost king was pleased in his heart, but on the surface, he showed a smiling face, we, the hell and the special energy bureau, are naturally in the same breath, and we are jointly preparing for the great tribulation. Eat begging ghost, come here. The departing fire ghost king waved his hand. The words just fell. A ghost behind him that still looked slightly like a human hurriedly walked over to the departing fire ghost king. The departing fire ghost king ordered, you now go to the nearest distillery to ghost head mountain and grab. Oh no, buy a few barrels of good wine and come back. I want to get drunk with my brothers from the special energy bureau. Ghosts themselves have no form. But once it becomes a stern ghost, it can condense into an entity. Now that the off-fire ghost king had stepped into the ranks of the ghost king, this wine was naturally drinkable. The food beggar ghost hurriedly led the order and left. However, forget it, drinking is exempt. Lin Huarong waved his hand rudely, other than that, we have another matter to inform you of. What matter? The departing flame ghost king froze. Lin Huarong continued, recently, a great avatar has come to Ghost Head Mountain. A great avatar? I wonder how capable this so-called great avatar is. The departing fire ghost king was slightly stunned, then shook his head disdainfully. He had been entrenched in this Ghost Head Mountain for an unknown number of years. There were thousands of miles in the vicinity. To speak of strength, there was only the demon fox that could compete with himself. As for the other demons and ghosts, even the tiger demon, tree spirit, and stone demon, who are also demon kings, are slightly inferior to the fire ghost king. How capable are the so-called great avatars? Ghost King Li Hua did not take Lin Huarong's words to heart. He had just taken up the position of city god and was very inflated. Lin Huarong didn't know what was on his mind. Lin Huarong said to himself, anyway, until it's clear whether the other party is an enemy or a friend, try not to start a conflict with him. Said here. Lin Huarong arched his hand perfunctorily, alright, I've brought my words, farewell. Qin Zijing also smiled politely. The two of them then left the hinterland of Ghost Head Mountain. After leaving, old Lin, can you restrain this violent temper of yours in the future? Qin Zijing rubbed his forehead, just now, you look like you're contacting your feelings, it's clear that you're here to fight, at least he's also the city god appointed by the ten hells of hell, can't you give some face? Oomph, face? Lin Hualong let out a cold snort, both of us are the old backbone of the castle peak branch, to say that the evil deeds committed by the ghost king of Li Hul in the past, is to kill him eight times is not enough. I really didn't expect that this kind of evil ghost that has committed so many evil deeds could become a city god? Doesn't that mean that all the evil people in the world don't have to suffer the punishment of the 18 layers of hell? The more Lin Hualong spoke, the angrier he became in his heart. He himself was a straight person, plus the reason he practiced kung fu. So he had always been happy and angry. It was also fortunate that he had outstanding skills and a knife's mouth and tofu heart, otherwise he would easily offend a large number of people even in the special energy bureau. Qin Zijing sighed. Now is not also no way. Seeing the great calamity coming, even our special energy bureau is in desperate need of manpower. Isn't the hell also facing the same problem? The most important thing right now is for all of us to be united against the great tribulation of heaven and earth. Qin Zijing explained to Lin Hualong, who was beside him. I naturally understand this. Lin Huarong waved his hand impatiently. Both of them were of high cultivation. While talking, they quickly sped along. In just 10 minutes of effort, they had already reached the halfway point of Ghost Head Mountain. Old Qin, we're almost there. Take out the things we prepared. Lin Hualong couldn't wait to say to Qin Zijing, I really don't know what goodies the top has prepared this time. 
Qin Zijing nodded and reached out with a wave of his hand. In the air, a ripple appeared. In just the blink of an eye, an exquisite jade box appeared in Qin Zijing's hand. I really envy your newly awakened ability. Lin Hualong gave Qin Zijing an envious look. Qin Zijing smiled faintly. What's there to envy? I've only opened up one cubic meter of micro wormhole space so far. Subsequently, Qin Zijing cradled the jade box in his arms. Let's go, we're going to visit that great power in the mountains. You must temper your temper. The order from above is to unite all the forces that can be united, unless forced to do so you must not strike. Lin Huarong scratched the back of his head and laughed, don't worry, although I'm a bit reckless, I'm not stupid. Saying this, the two of them traveled towards the top of the mountain. The employees of the Special Energy Bureau, apart from some cultivators who had no sex or factions, more members, were folk awakened special abilities. Although these abolites practiced in a variety of ways, the most important thing was the word strange. Some powerful special ability users, once they used their supernatural abilities, even cultivators with profound strength would be forced into a desperate situation. Take Qin Zijing for example. One of his special abilities was micro wormhole carrying. Within a certain range around him, wherever there was air, he could launch an attack at any time. Most likely, while the two were conversing, a sharp, sharp blade poked out of the air behind the other person and stabbed directly into the back of his heart. In addition to that, ability users who had awakened that ability also had a rather convenient skill. That was to open a micro wormhole space. As long as the item could fit inside, he could directly store it within the micro wormhole space and take it out any time when he needed to use it. This was similar to a cultivator's treasure, the nascent ring. These special abilities were difficult to cultivate. Moreover, there was no mature gong method system. If they only practiced on their own, it would be difficult for them to improve. However, the victory lies in the fact that once these abilities are awakened, they will all be hired away by the ascending dragon empire. The depth of the empire was absolutely unimaginable to ordinary people. Even the most prosperous Buddhist sects, as well as some hidden cultivation-grade aptitudes, would not offend the behemoth that was the empire. If one did not have this ability, there was no way that the Special Energy Bureau would be able to restrain their actions. Soon, another ten minutes or so passed. Qin Zijing and Lin Hualong had arrived at the top of the mountain. At this time, the night was already deep. In the sky, the scarlet color of the blood moon intensified. It illuminated the earth in a blood-red color. Seeing the sight before them, the corners of their mouths twitched in unison. This wasn't the same as what was imagined. In front of them, there was only a simple grass hut. There was also a giant matchbox. Seeing this odd scene, the two people were really a bit puzzled. Just ask those great avatars. Which one's mansion wasn't grand and brilliant, or fresh and unassuming? The scene in front of them didn't look like the residence of a great avatar at all. Instead, it looked like a temporary shelter built by a group of starving survivors. It's hard to believe that that giant matchbox is some kind of special magic weapon? Qin Zijing beeped in a whisper in Lin Huarong's ear. Lin Huarong was also dumbfounded, if you ask me, who should I ask? The two men looked at each other face to face. In the end, it was the acute Lin Hualong who said, don't think about it so much, don't we just go up and ask? Saying this, Lin Hualong directly went up, ready to explain his intentions. However, when he had just stepped into the formation, who is it? A petulant voice came out. In the next instant, Hitomi appeared in front of the two. A brat? Can it be that it's the little maid of that great avatar? Lin Hualong was slightly stunned. From the breath sensing, Hitomi was just a brat that was too weak to be a brat. However, without waiting for the two to speak, Hitomi steeply erupted with a cold aura. She remembered that Ren Feng had explained it before. If any unimpressive goods stepped into the formation, they would be slaughtered directly. Hitomi was still just a little kid and didn't know what it meant to be an unimpressive commodity. In her mind, in addition to Ren Feng and Fonglinger, the rest of the people were all classified by Hitomi into the scope of the uninitiated. Without waiting for the two to speak. Wow! A chain condensed from mean spirit chi then headed straight for Lin Huarong's vitals. Holy Nima! Lin Huarong instantly felt his scalp go numb. This one word and you're going to make a move? Lin Huarong had just wanted to open his mouth to explain his intentions when the Yin spirit chains were already close at hand. I'm afraid that before he finished speaking, his head would be pierced through. This speed, it's too fast too. Lin Huarong said in his heart. He was a strength type aberrationist, and there was no time to dodge. Under instinct, Lin Huarong subconsciously activated his special ability and held his hands directly to the large green stone beside him. Crunch! A toothsome sound rang out. Lin Huarong's skin, then, turned into stone skin. Looking at its sturdiness, it was several times harder than the large green stone he had touched before. Watch out! Dodge! This chain can break your defense! Qin Zijing's stern voice came from behind him. Lin Huarong could not cry at the sound of it. 
This is no way to dodge. Can you dodge it? Looking at the Yin spirit chains that were close at hand, Lin Huarong simply gave up resisting and directly closed his eyes and waited for death. However, right at this moment, at Lin Huarong's forehead, the air suddenly distorted. The chains that had been heading straight for Lin Huarong's forehead suddenly seemed to have entered an alien space, directly disappearing within less than an inch of Lin Huarong's forehead. Ah, uh, not far away, Xin Zijing let out a muffled grunt. Just now, it was him who had used his micro wormhole ability to save Lin Huarong's life. But even so, when he had used his ability, the super fast speed of the Yin spirit chains had still shocked him. There's another one? Hitomi gave Qin Zijing a surprised look. He then pinched several spells with both hands. The speed was so fast that only gusts of residual shadows were left behind. In the next instant, Qin Zijing and Lin Hualong were directly dumbfounded. An endless number of Yin spirit chains emerged from behind Hitomi. Seeing this scene, even Qin Zijing's heart was completely cold. Just the residual power of a single chain had caused him to suffer a slight internal injury. This is a big pile full of it, how can it be broken? What the hell is there to break? The two never dreamed that this ghost head mountain's great avatar would be so straightforward. At least ask clearly the intention ah. What kind of netherworld operation is this? Looking at the black chains flying all over the sky, both of them felt their scalps explode, even their heartbeats slowed down by several beats. Under the edge of life and death, the two men directly froze in place, having forgotten to think. At this moment, in their hearts, there were only a few questions. Who am I? Where am I? An ordinary brat has such means? I must be dreaming. It's this world that is deceiving me. The thoughts in the hearts of the two were as one. A little brat with a weak breath actually had such a terrifying killing move? This scene was simply more amazing than a big girl running around naked. Wow. Clatter. A yin spirit chain flew through the sky like a gnarled dragon with a hideous face. A chain then directly bound the two tightly and hung them in midair. This scene. It was like the evil fan. MP4. Only the only thing that was a little bit spicy was that the ones being tightly bound were not delicate little fairies. Instead, it was two big old men. Kill. Hitomi droned out. The Yin spirit chains on the two men slowly tightened. It was only the intense pain coming from their bodies that managed to bring the two back from their shock. It was only at this time that the two remembered to explain their intentions. However, the chains on their bodies had already strangled them and they couldn't breathe. Wanting to speak? It was even harder than climbing up to heaven. However, just when the two were in despair, Fong Linger carried her broken sword and walked out from the grass hut. She was still at the foundation establishment stage and also needed sleep. As early as a few hours ago, she had ended her cultivation and entered the sleep state. The sound of the fight outside just now directly woke Fong Linger up from her sleep. Just after leaving the grass hut, she saw two men being hung in midair by Hitomi. However, after seeing the clothes on the two men, Fong Linger was shocked in her heart. Hitomi, stop. Fong Linger's voice came from behind Hitomi. Hitomi froze slightly and turned back to look at Fong Linger. The movements of her hands also stopped. Lin Hualong and Xin Zijing felt like their lungs were about to explode as they felt the chains on their bodies loosening, and hurriedly sucked in large gulps of air. After getting air, Xin Zijing hurriedly shouted, Senior spared our lives, we didn't mean any harm. Lin Hualong, who was on the side, also rushed to speak out, Senior, we are members of the Special Energy Bureau, and we are specially visiting with a generous gift this time. At this moment, Lin Hualong's reckless behavior had long disappeared. Just kidding. A small life could be much more important than personality ah. Only the two of them were clear. Just now, how close they were to the gates of hell. Even the always rough Lin Huarong had turned into the most polite little child at this moment. The two of them spoke one sentence after another as if they were in a continuous stream. They were afraid that if they spoke slowly, the chains would tighten again and strangle them alive. Foam Linger's body shook. Her beautiful big eyes instantly glared round. Surprisingly, it's really someone from the Special Energy Bureau? Just now, after she saw this specially made Chinese mountain outfit, she had doubts in her heart. Now that she had gotten the two to admit it in person, Foamlinger was even more shocked in her heart. As a cultivator, she naturally knew about the Special Energy Bureau. That was a supreme level existence. Within the Ascending Dragon Empire, all cultivators, ability users, and clans were subject to its management. An ordinary cultivator, or ability person. If he can become a cadre in the Special Abilities Bureau, that is the blessing of having smoke rising from one's ancestral grave. No, it is the blessing of having a big fire on one's ancestral grave. Behind the followers, it is the front and back of the flock countless. If back in the day, even one of them Fongmen village, just in the Special Energy Bureau as an ordinary employee, I'm afraid they wouldn't have ended up like this. But now it seems, the hallowed Special Energy Bureau, it even sent someone to pay a special visit to the senior? How big of a card must this be? Fonglinger was dumbfounded. Immediately, 
Hitomi, they came to visit Senior and have no malicious intent. Foam Linger stroked Hitomi's little head and laughed. Only then did Hitomi seem to understand and nodded. But even so, Hitomi still didn't disperse the chains. Although she and Foam Linger had gotten acquainted over the course of the day, Hitomi only listened to Rinfeng's orders. At this time, Foam Linger looked towards the two people hanging. I'm sorry, I can't let the two of you down yet. Please wait for a moment. I'll go inform Senior. Foam Linger blinked her violet pupils and slightly owed her body. With her exquisite face and graceful figure, and her curtsy without losing her manners, she almost didn't make the two men's eyes fall out of their heads. But they also knew. No matter how beautiful this woman in front of them was, it was not their cup of tea. Once you offend the one inside. Possibly being strangled by chains was the easiest way to die. Foamlinger walked to the entrance of the stone house. Elder, the special energy bureau's people have come and said that they want to pay Elder a visit. Foamlinger whispered. Run Fong slowly opened his eyes, special energy bureau? What kind of sect is this? It's not a clan, it's an agency set up by the empire that specializes in controlling cultivators and ability users. Foamlinger was slightly surprised in her heart, but she still explained softly. Elder actually didn't even know about the Special Abilities Bureau? It was probably because of the reason that he had been cultivating in seclusion for many years and purifying his mind that he didn't know about the Special Abilities Bureau. This heart alone is not something I can compare to Ah. Thinking of this, Fong Linger's heart worshipped even more, and her purple pupils were filled with little stars. Senior is senior. It's really extraordinary. Unfortunately, she didn't know that if Rin Fong knew about her brainstorming, I'm afraid he would burst out laughing. He had only just crossed over to this world a few days ago, and even the fragments of his memories were residual. How could he know these things? I see, let them wait for a moment. Ren Fong said with an indifferent voice. After Fong Linger left, Ren Fong frowned and thought. In fact, as early as the moment the two of them stepped into the formation, Ren Fong had already realized it. However, in order to further clarify the situation, Ren Fong did not make a move. It seems that the level of technology in this world is very similar to the previous life. But the system, and some forces, seem completely different from the previous world. But what are they doing here now? Even if it's a visit, can't they wait until I find a beautiful designer to build a house? Ren Feng said with slight irritation in his heart. This matchbox had always been Ren Feng's heart problem. As a dignified drought. The matter of living in a matchbox, once rumored by these two people. Just thinking about it made Ren Feng feel uncomfortable all over. Forget it. It's better to meet the person who reaches out and doesn't fight. It's better to meet them. Ren Feng lightly said in his heart, and then his figure flashed. In the next instant, it appeared in front of the two, Hitomi, let them down. When Hitomi heard this, she hurriedly pinched her hand. The chains that roamed the sky disappeared as if they had suddenly disappeared. Only then did Lin Hualong and Qin Zijing regain their freedom. The two of them managed to land on the ground. Special Energy Bureau Castle Peak Branch Qin Zijing, Lin Hualong, meet Senior. The two bowed and said respectfully. Just by listening to the voice alone, they already knew. The plain-looking man in front of them was the zombie that had crossed the threshold earlier. As for why this man didn't look half as zombie-like, they did not want to ask. Also dare not ask. Simply a little girl ghost, nearly killed two people. If this person in front of me, what's wrong with that? I'm afraid that even a thought did not have time to send, will go directly to the hell report it? Such a heavenly means alone was enough to make the two people feel awe. This is a thin gift we prepared, please accept it. Qin Zijing slightly took out the jade box in his bosom and respectfully handed it over. Feng Linger took it and handed it to Ren Feng. Ren Feng slightly lowered his head and looked at it, and happily said, The empire is still really generous, this is not a thin gift. Where where where? Treasures can be won by those who can. Qin Zijing looked respectful and smiled. Subsequently, another blah 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 blah. All of them were words of flattery. Directly, Lin Hualong next to him listened in a daze. Good fellow, I haven't seen old Qin so good at flattering ah. Lin Hualong said in shock in his heart. Seeing Qin Zijing being so complimentary, Lin Hualong originally wanted to say a few words as well. Nay, his mouth was stupid and he couldn't hold back a sentence even after holding his tongue for half a day. However, on his face, reverence was also written all over it. Although, they belonged to the Special Energy Bureau and were the revered of the entire Ascending Dragon Empire's cultivation world. But facing Rin Feng, they had to be respectful. Weak flesh, strong food, survival of the fittest. These eight words, amongst the world of cultivators, were even more penetrating. The two of them knew very well in their hearts that with Rin Feng's skills, if they wanted to kill them, it would only be a matter of waving their hands. For such a strong person, the two were respecting him from the bottom of their hearts. Seeing Qin Zijing talking more and more smoothly, Lin Huarong was depressed in his heart. Also a member of the same class, why was it that he, old Qin, was able to swipe the favorites here at the senior? However, at this moment, 
Lin Huarong suddenly saw the matchbox-shaped house not far away. Why did Senior build the house so strangely? Is it because he likes this look? He he he, I know what to say. Lin Huarong suddenly felt that he was like a crouching dragon phoenix descending into the world. Isn't it just kissing ass? I know how to do it too. At this exact moment, Qin Zijing's words came to an end. Lin Huolong scratched his head and laughed nervously, seniors are really seniors, even the architectural attainments are extraordinary. Speaking here, Lin Huolong pointed towards the matchbox not far away, look at this house, how chic. The air, suddenly, froze. The entire mountain, suddenly eerily quiet. A needle could be heard. Quite chic, Ren Feng's voice went cold. A cold aura suddenly flashed across his eyes. Lin Hualong was still immersed in the joy of horses s laughing, but when he saw the scene, the smile suddenly froze on his face. Even Qin Zijing, who was beside Ren Feng, couldn't help but shiver. This reckless man, Qin Zijing's heart snapped and he looked at Lin Huarong in anger. His brain was better than Lin Huarong's. Naturally, he could see that this great senior in front of him, although his cultivation was unfathomable, but it seemed that he had been quite resentful of this matchbox, ah, good guy. Lin Hualong, this stupid big man, is not mentioning which pot is which pot. Thinking of this, Qin Zijing secretly kept winking at Lin Hualong, signaling him to apologize as soon as possible. However, Lin Hualong stood still with a confused look on his face. It seemed like he couldn't figure out why Rin Feng was suddenly much colder. However, under Rin Feng's gaze, Lin Hualong still felt unsettled, cold sweat rubbing off on him. Soon, more than 10 seconds passed. The two men stood awkwardly in place, neither standing nor walking. For them, these ten seconds or so were like a full century had passed. Feng Linger. Ren Feng spoke abruptly. Feng Linger hurriedly walked to Ren Feng's side. Go. Ren Feng gently waved his hand, find me a beautiful woman to design. No, just find a house designer, male or female. Feng Linger was slightly stunned, then hurriedly nodded her head. Seniors this is angry ah. Feng Linger said in her heart, then secretly glanced at Lin Huarong. This silly big man was so eyeless. In the end. It was Qin Zijing who had the bright idea, Senior, there's no need to be so troublesome. Qin Zijing stepped forward and smiled, I'll call the branch office and ask them to transfer the branch office engineering team to create a perfect mansion for Senior. At this moment, Lin Huarong also came back to his senses. Even if he was stupid, he knew. His own horse's ass just now. Directly padded to the horse's leg. No, it was the horse's hoof. Lin Huolong hurriedly wiped the sweat from his forehead and laughed awkwardly, Please rest assured Senior, just leave such a small matter to us. However, once these words came out, Qin Zi Jing didn't explode in place. Lin Huarong, you don't know how to speak, can you say less? Qin Zi Jing beeped in a small voice. Sure enough. Oh, Ren Feng raised his eyebrows, my palace is just an insignificant little thing? Ah this. The smile on Lin Huolong's face froze. Himself. Seemed to have said the wrong thing again? However, just when Lin Huarong didn't know what to do. Forget it. Ren Feng waved his hand, you guys better get down to business. He knew that the two were definitely not simply visiting him this time. Ren Feng was not so bad as to get into a fight with the two just because of a sentence or two from the district. Otherwise it would be a bit petty indeed. Seeing that Ren Feng had uncovered the matter, the two of them then slowly let out a sigh of relief. Qin Zijing glared at Lin Hualong, signaling him to shut up. Then he respectfully said to Ren Feng, Senior, nowadays the heaven and earth cataclysm is no longer a secret. As members of the Special Energy Bureau, we naturally take maintaining the safety of the empire as our first principle. But the current situation is not optimistic. Ren Feng did not answer, quietly waiting for the following. After all, Taoism is the state religion of the empire, and has already promised to come out to resist the heaven and earth cataclysm, but such as other sects and forces, their attitudes are ambiguous. Speaking here, Qin Zijing hesitated for a moment, even the most prosperous Buddhist sect is like this. The words fell. Although Qin Zijing bowed, but his ears were tightly perked up. This time, their mission was to unite all the forces that could be united. Ren Feng's attitude was important to Qin Zijing. Well, I know, you guys go back. Ren Feng's tone was calm and did not have a clear attitude. This, a look of difficulty flashed across Qin Zijing's face. Seeing that Ren Feng did not take a stance, Qin Zijing gritted his teeth and continued with a stiff upper lip. And there's currently a most headache problem. The Western Vatican, Hinduism, all of these more well-known forces abroad, have all been dumbfounded and are likely to be unfavorable to the empire. Don't worry. Ren Feng interrupted him and lightly said, I'm not yet the kind of banana person who wears a yellow skin and eats the inside out. Hearing these words, Qin Zijing was finally relieved. Ren Feng's attitude. It was extremely important to the entire ascending dragon empire. After all, a great avatar who didn't follow a set pattern was messing around. Even if the Special Energy Bureau could handle it in time. 
the damage caused would still be incalculable. In hindsight, it was worth being thankful, although Rin Feng didn't take a stance on the internal fight between the sects. But externally, he was at least on the side of the Special Energy Bureau. Senior, then we won't disturb you. Qin Zijing glanced back at Lin Hualong and signaled to leave. But a moment later, Qin Zijing seemed to remember something again and said to Rin Feng, Senior, I will send you information about this great calamity tomorrow. Right, there is one more thing. According to the Special Energy Bureau's intelligence, all the major powers have become intensely curious about Senior. Recently, there might be strong people coming to Ghost Head Mountain to disturb Senior's purification. I wonder if Senior can be magnanimous to them and not harm the living forces of the future Great Calamity? Finishing the last sentence, Qin Zijing carefully looked at Ren Feng. Ren Feng frowned slightly, according to you, I can only endure when others offend me? Of course it's not that, it's just. Alright, stop there. Ren Feng's eyes narrowed slightly, I'll handle my own matters, it's not your turn to tell me what to do. Yes, yes, yes. The late generation has been abrupt. Qin Zijing secretly swallowed his spit and cursed himself for getting ahead of himself. To be able to make Rin Feng maintain his current attitude, it would already be a heavenly good thing. If some cerebral palsy didn't know the depths of the world and came to send them to their deaths, let them do it. What was the point of having this last extra word? Elder, then we'll take our leave. Qin Zijing hurriedly pulled Lin Hualong and said to Rin Feng. Ren Feng nodded bashfully. The two of them then hurriedly left the place. As for the matter of repairing the house, Qin Zijing didn't dare to ask more. Since the mission had already been completed, it was better to try to shut up as little as possible if they could. After the two left the mountaintop, Old Lin, your broken mouth. I'll be killed by you sooner or later. Qin Zijing said to Lin Hualong without a good breath. Just now, Ren Feng had merely given a look. With just a faint aura emanating from his body, he made them feel as if they were carrying a huge mountain on their backs and couldn't catch their breath. No matter what, we've kind of accomplished our mission. Lin Hualong smiled and scratched his head, after we deliver the information about the Great Tribulation to Senior tomorrow, the mission will be considered completely finished. After the two left, the top of Ghost Head Mountain. Senior, this great calamity, is it really that terrifying? Foam Linger blinked her big eyes with a curious expression. She was still only a Foundation Establishment Stage Cultivator, and her sense of the laws of heaven and earth was still shallow. Moreover, ever since Fong Men Village was slaughtered, Fong Linger had completely turned into a loose cultivator, so she didn't know much about the heaven and earth cataclysm. Not bad. Ren Fong gently nodded, with my means, I don't even have enough certainty. Ha! Huh? Fong Linger's eyes widened as she covered her mouth and exclaimed in shock. Even with Senior's great divine ability, he didn't have enough certainty. Then just how terrifying should this great calamity be? Thinking of this, Fong Linger couldn't help but feel doubly fortunate in her heart. If she hadn't chosen to stay at that time, when the Great Calamity came in the future, the consequences would certainly be imaginable. However, at this time, Fong Linger had another question in her heart. Senior, since this Great Calamity is not something even you are certain of, why don't you join forces with the Special Energy Bureau? The resources held by the Special Energy Bureau are definitely not something an ordinary clan can imagine. Why don't you accept their pull? Although she didn't know what was contained in the jade box that the Special Energy Bureau gifted to Rin Feng, but just now, she heard Rin Feng's tone. Within this jade box, it must be some sort of extraordinary treasure. Just the first time they met, they gave such a heavy gift. If one accepted their solicitation, the benefits would naturally go without saying. Fong Linger looked at Rin Fong in puzzlement. Rin Fong stared back, staring blankly at Fong Linger. With his straight eyes, he stared at Fong Linger's body as if it was crawling with ants, making her uncomfortable. After a long time, only then did Rin Fong withdraw his gaze. This IQ of yours and your face value are completely inversely proportional. Rights and obligations, they are equal. If I join the Special Energy Bureau, I can enjoy their resources though. But likewise, I will inevitably fulfill the obligations within my scope of duty. Ren Feng softly opened his mouth to explain. There was no need for him to explain. But judging from this period of time, Feng Linger's behavior in Ghost Head Mountain was quite good. Although Ren Feng still had no intention of taking on a disciple. But he did not wish. The believer by his side was a chesty fool. Only after hearing Rin Feng's explanation did Feng Linger nod thoughtfully. Those two people just now, in terms of talent, any one of them would be the object of contention for an ordinary sect. As long as they nod their heads, they will definitely be treated with courtesy by those sects. But, they joined the Special Energy Bureau. Without knowing whether I'm an enemy or a friend, yet they had to come to visit me with a stiff upper lip. Without the Special Energy Bureau's orders, would they risk offending me by coming up to the mountain? Ren Feng continued indifferently. So that's how it is. Thank you for your teachings, senior. Feng Linger owed her body, and had a feeling of sudden understanding. 
After entering the Special Energy Bureau, although there were many benefits, but personal freedom, I'm afraid there would be a lot of restrictions. Many times, one would have to go and play with those evil cultivators who were endangering humanity. This was something that Fong Linger didn't see. Couldn't Ren Fong see it? But there was another point that Ren Fong did not say to Fong Linger. Even if personal freedom was restricted, accepting the Special Energy Bureau's solicitation would still have more advantages than disadvantages in general. But Ren Fong was different. As a drop demon, he had long since jumped out of the three realms and was not among the five elements. Regarding the Special Energy Bureau's solicitation, Ren Fong is disdain in his heart. It is not that he is arrogant. It is just that until now, there hasn't been a person or power that is truly equal to him that has appeared. At this moment, Fong Linger put her hands on her fragrant cheeks and looked up at the sky muttering. I really don't know when the Great Tribulation comes. What will this world become like? Ren Fong subconsciously looked up at the Blood Moon. In just a day's time, the Blood Moon had already changed from light red to scarlet. The Yin Chi was even several times thicker than when Ren Fong left the coffin. I'm afraid that this great calamity will soon come. Ren Fong sighed lightly and did not answer Fong Linger's words. There were only two immediate priorities. Enhancing his own strength and the security level of Ghost Head Mountain. Thinking of this, Ren Feng's eyes turned black once again. The aura around his body immediately covered towards Ghost Head Mountain. It seems that this Ghost King of Li Fire has already come out of the gate ah, Ren Feng said softly. But then, the corners of Ren Feng's mouth spread a trace of arc, but, in addition to the departing flame Ghost King, this Ghost Head Mountain has come a guest again ah, guest? Feng Linger was slightly stunned and immediately looked down the mountain. But she was only at the foundation establishment stage now, and her divine sense could not leave her body yet. Coupled with the fact that the blood-colored moonlight had illuminated the surroundings in red, the visibility was truly touching. Fong Linger looked for half a day, but didn't find half a silhouette. All right, leave it alone. He's here to find the departing flame ghost king. Run Fong gently waved his hand. Give me the jade box in your hand, I want to refine one thing. Upon hearing this, Fong Linger hurriedly and obediently handed the jade box to Ren Fong. Ren Fong took it and returned to the stone house. At this time, in the belly of Ghost Head Mountain, the Ghost King of Departing Fire was sitting upright. In front of him was a pile of human-shaped boulders. The entire boulder was more than three meters tall. The back of it had long been covered in moss due to the fact that no one had taken care of it for a long time. The rotting scent on the moss was a little too much for even the leaving Fire Ghost King to bear. Brother Li Hua, I heard that you became the city god? The big stone steeply acted like it was alive and spat out human words. The voice was like a bell, like a thunderous tremor. Even the dust at the top of the mountain's belly was shaken down. The departing fire ghost king frowned when he saw this scene. However, a moment later, a smile appeared on the ghost king's face, yes, the warrant is still in Master Bai's hands now, but it's a done deal. The departing fire ghost king had a warm face. In his heart, however, he was secretly slandering. This stone demon, still so unhygienic. It's fortunate that I'm a ghost, otherwise I could really let him stink to death alive. No wonder the three great demon kings are unwilling to take him along. Although he thought so in his heart, the ghost king of Li Hua still pretended to be enthusiastic and said, I don't know what brother stone demon's business is here in my ghost head mountain? What the hell? Stone demon yelled in a loud voice, I came here smelling the scent of treasures. The scent of treasure? The departing fire ghost king frowned, then laughed lightly, I don't have any treasures here. He he he. Certainly isn't the treasure you have here. The stone demon spoke while stretching out his willow tree thick fingers to snap his feet. Gotcha gotcha, after a few crunching sounds, a few pieces of very flavorful stone chips, were attached to the finger, followed by stretching the finger to the side of the nostrils and sniffing it. Brother stone demon, collect the divine power. The departing fire ghost king covered his mouth and nose with a look of disgust. However, stone demon acted as if he hadn't heard it and casually flexed his fingers. The refreshing stone debris fragments were immediately ejected to the side. The fire ghost king saw the scene face suddenly black. Good guy, really take this place as his own home ah? Seeing that the stone demon seemed to want to scratch his armpit, the departing flame ghost king instantly completely collapsed. Stone demon, stop it for this king. The fire ghost king suddenly shouted harshly. The sudden stern shout directly roared stone demon into a stupor, subconsciously stopping the movements in his hands. Only then did the ghost king of the fire release a sigh of relief. Let him go on like this. This cave simply do not need to live. He should just move directly. I'm really sorry, brother stone demon. The departing fire ghost king smiled faintly, quickly tell me, what exactly is the treasure? Stone demon instantly became interested as well, stopping his hand movements. He he he, just now when I came, I saw the two guys from the special energy bureau go down the mountain. And on them, there is still the scent of the treasure remaining. Stone demon smiled and said, I guess, they must have placed this treasure on ghost head mountain. 
The departing fire ghost king pondered slightly, then some indignation rose in his heart. He was much smarter than Stone Demon. The two people from the Special Energy Bureau that Sher Demon had spoken of should be Qin Zijing and Lin Hualong who had come to him earlier. At that time, the two of them had come empty-handed, where would they have any treasures? In that case, there was only one truth. That was, after visiting themselves, these two had gone back to the one on the mountain with thick gifts? How outrageous! The departing fire ghost king cursed in his heart. He was the new city god. No matter how big or small, he was still considered a registered member of the earth's government. Is he that faceless? The ghost king of flying fire huffed in his heart. Originally, when Lin Huarong had reminded him not to anger the great avatar on the mountain, he hadn't taken it seriously. Now after carefully pondering over it, in the heart of the ghost king of flying flame, his displeasure towards Rin Fong was even greater. It was at this moment. The departing fire ghost king glanced at the stone demon not far away, and his heart moved. Isn't there still this stupid big guy? Why don't we let him go and try how capable that so-called great avatar really is? Although he is also highly ostracized in the demon realm, he is still a demon after all. A demon king perishes, even if the other demon kings dislike him no matter how much, they will still do him justice. Once the two sides clash, no matter which side wins, it will be favorable to me. The departing fire demon king's mind raced. Soon, there was a countermeasure in his mind. Brother stone demon, you don't know anything. The departing flame ghost king let out a long sigh, pretended to be sad, and talked to stone demon about the matter regarding Rin Foam. About ten minutes or so passed. Li Hua, is there really such an overbearing cultivator on this mountain? Stone demon frowned and raised his voice an octave. Not bad. The departing fire ghost king nodded, I guess that treasure should be in his hands. That's hard to do ah. Stone demon scratched his head and murmured. Then without waiting for the departing flame ghost king to speak, stone demon got up and said, since that's the case, I'll go and meet this cultivator. After saying that, a fierce wind suddenly rose underneath your demon's feet and flew out of the mountain's belly. However just after leaving the mountain belly, stone demon then flew away from ghost head mountain. Want me to trip the thunder for you? Dream on. The stone demon snorted lightly in disdain. No matter what, it was considered a demon king and still had a few moments of wit. How could it allow others to snore beside its couch? Would the departing flame demon king stand by and watch a cultivator, acting as a bully in his ghost head mountain? If that was the case, there was only one possibility. That was that the ghost king of Lihua did not have the certainty to subdue that cultivator. Stone demon was still very clear about his own strength. It was slightly weaker than the departing flame ghost king by that much. Looks like we have to go back and find a helper ah. But who is good to find? Stone demon frowned as he flew. He also knew that his own demon fate was very poor, this helper is really not so good to find. The whole night was uneventful. The next morning, the city. Many people who were running around for their three meals got up early. However just after going out, people were attracted to the attention of strange bird calls. Look at the sky you guys. An ordinary citizen pointed at the sky with an excited face. Then seemingly remembering something, he hurriedly took out his cell phone from his pocket and pressed the shooting button at the sky. Karma. G.A. A horse crow caw rose and fell. The entire sky was filled almost entirely with crows. These crows were like headless flies crashing around, and from time to time, a portion of them ruthlessly crashed into a tall building, and then fell to the ground, their wings fluttering a few times before they were no longer moving. But even so, in the entire sky, the crows still covered the sky. At the same time, some sharp-eyed people noticed that the moon didn't seem to set in the sky as usual. Instead, it had gone to the far west. And the sun, too, had risen in the east. The sun and moon were in the same sky. This was originally a very common natural phenomenon. But the strange thing was that the scarlet moonlight from the moon had overwhelmed the daylight. It lasted for a full two hours. Only then did the blood moon manage to set. At the instant the blood moon set, the crows that were originally hovering in the sky suddenly flew towards a place as if they had found a direction. On the ground, only the corpses of the crows that had their necks broken were left. There were also scattered traces of blood. But they've all flown away, it's really a bit creepy to look at so many crows. Boy, what kind of scientific phenomenon is this? Hurry up and send it to your friends. It's the first time I've seen such a weird phenomenon. The young people were excitedly talking excitedly while opening up Jitterbug, Slowhand, and other small videos online to share their filming results. A part of the old people, on the other hand, looked at the corpse of the crow on the ground with a sad face. I seem to remember hearing an old saying when I was a child. Crows fly in flocks, trouble comes from the sky. An old man looked at the dim sky with a heavy face for a long time. Several other old men, too, nodded their heads in deep thought. However, what these ordinary old people didn't know was, just a few minutes ago, Run Fong had abruptly opened his eyes from his cultivation. Then with a flash of silhouettes, Rin Fong had gone out outside the stone house. 
Feng Ling'er had also woken up early and when she saw Ren Feng, she hurriedly stood behind him like a little maid. It seems that the rules of heaven and earth have gone awry. I'm afraid that this great calamity will not take long and will come. Ren Feng said with a gloomy face. Feng Ling'er was startled by Ren Feng's gloomy face. Senior, could it be that the great calamity has already arrived? Not yet. Ren Feng gently shook his head. I can sense that the rules of heaven and earth are still struggling to support them but I'm afraid that it won't be long before some of the heaven and earth prohibitions will be completely collapsed. Feng Linger opened her mouth and was about to speak. It was at this moment. Senior, Qin Zijing is visiting. Qin Zijing's voice came from the distance. He had long since developed a psychological shadow over the formation laid down by Ren Feng, and had long ago stopped at a place far away from the formation and shouted. Ren Feng gently nodded, come in. Only after receiving Ren Feng's permission did Qin Zijing carefully walk in. Are you the only one today? Ren Feng raised his eyelids. Qin Zijing hurriedly nodded his head, Senior doesn't know, this morning there were frequent strange occurrences all over the place, even within the territory governed by the Castle Peak Branch, there were quite a few strange occurrences, and the brethren have all gone out. Speaking here, Qin Zijing hurriedly handed over a stack of information, Senior, this is the information about the great tribulation of heaven and earth. Ren Feng gently nodded his head. Feng Linger, who was on the side, hurriedly took it. Qin Zijing was still about to continue saying something when the cell phone in his pocket suddenly rang. Senior, excuse me, it's from the bureau. Qin Zijing smiled apologetically at Ren Feng and picked up the phone. However after a moment, Qin Zijing's eyes suddenly glazed over. The face that was originally lightly smiling was suddenly covered in horror. After muttering a few sentences, Qin Zijing hung up the phone. Senior, something big has happened. Qin Zijing looked at Ren Feng and stuttered in his tone, in the northern realm's winning mouth city. A giant dragon has actually fallen. H.M., a giant dragon? Ren Feng raised his eyebrows. This matter, after all, made him slightly more curious in his heart. Yes senior, this is a rare event that happens once in hundreds of years ah. Qin Zijing rubbed his hands together excitedly. I remember the last time there were records of falling dragons. It was all during the time of the Great Ming. Ren Feng nodded his head gently. Sure enough, the heaven and earth prohibition, has it really started to collapse? Ren Feng said in his heart. In the morning, he had sensed it. Now it seemed to be true. It was the weakest dragon, and its strength was definitely not comparable to those demon kings or ghost kings. If it was a five-clawed golden dragon, or a dragon emperor of other dragons, even if the current Ren Feng was up against it, the chances of winning would be 50 to 50. Even if it's a true dragon, can't it be spared under the collapse of the heaven and earth prohibitions? Ren Feng murmured softly in his mouth. Then he seemed to think of something and said to Qin Zijing, What color is this huge dragon? It's not clear yet. The brethren over there are rushing over. Does Senior want to go and take a look? Seeing Ren Feng pondering without saying anything, Qin Zijing hurriedly said again, If Senior wants to go and take a look, I can contact the branch site to prepare a jet for you. No need. Ren Feng waved his hand. In his heart, he was weighing the situation. This true dragon, even if it was a weakest black dragon, it was still considered a divine beast level existence. If it could be subdued, it would undoubtedly be a great help to the current Ren Feng. Even if this dragon had a thin life and had died, the dragon's corpse alone was an unrivaled treasure. The treasure was naturally for those who could get it. If he didn't go, it would just be a matter of time, since he was going, Ren Feng didn't intend to share the spoils with others. Even the Buddhist and Taoist families, and even the Special Energy Bureau, could not. Thinking of this, Ren Feng made a decision in his heart. Go! No matter what the outcome of this trip was, it would be beneficial to Ren Feng. Thinking of this, Ren Feng lightly said, Hitomi, Fenglinger, come here. The two girls hurriedly came to Rin Feng's side. You guys watch this ghost head mountain for me. At most one morning, I'll be back. Rin Feng explained a few words to the two women. Just as Rin Feng was about to leave, Feng Linger gritted her teeth and whispered, Senior, can I go with you? When Rin Feng heard this, he frowned lightly. Feng Linger was startled, fearing that Rin Feng would get angry, she hurriedly whispered. Senior, Linger knows that her shallow cultivation will drag you down. But my twin pupils have several special abilities. It should be able to help Senior. Feng Linger spoke while quietly looking at Rin Feng. Because Qin Zijing was still beside her, Feng Linger did not say the specific abilities. Good, then let's go. Rin Feng thought for a moment and nodded his head in agreement. He naturally knew that Feng Linger was afraid of Qin Zijing and did not want her abilities to be grasped by the Special Energy Bureau. Perhaps bringing her along would really help. Senior, I will arrange for someone to prepare the jet for you. Qin Zijing hurriedly said once he saw that Ren Feng had decided to go forward. It's dispensed with. Ren Feng waved his hand slightly, and his eyes narrowed slightly, then suddenly opened. A golden aura that was as solid as substance emanated from Ren Feng's body. It was only a few breaths of effort. 
The golden aura flourished out, but in an instant, it transformed into a Zhang Long golden dragon in front of Rin Feng. Dragon Qi. This was when Rin Feng was refining the dragon blood in his body, part of the functions that were born. Now Rin Feng had not yet absorbed all of this dragon blood, and once he did, the golden dragon phantom that was formed would be several times larger than it was now. Although the entire golden dragon appeared to be composed of breath, but it was as if it was alive, hovering around Rin Feng for a moment. Only then did it land on the land beside Rin Feng. Aang. A dragon's roar went through the heavens. Around Ghost Head Mountain, some timid small animals such as rabbits and bulls were directly frightened by this monstrous pressure and spasmed on the ground, foaming at the mouth in no time. Obviously, was the dragon way alive scared to death? What kind of operation is this? Qin Zijing, who was on the side, was directly dumbfounded. Powerful Qi transforming into a dragon? I've never even heard of it before. I didn't expect to just see Rin Feng strike for the first time and have such a big scene. It was only after a long time that Qin Zijing came back to his senses from the shock. This scene in front of him was definitely not the means that an ordinary great avatar could have. Perhaps the strength of this senior in front of him was much higher than what the energetic bureau had assessed. It seems that the organization has still underestimated the strength of the senior. When we go back, we must feed back the real data so that the special energy bureau's assessment team can reassess it. Qin Zijing was stunned in his heart. Ren Feng looked at the golden dragon in front of him and nodded with satisfaction. This was not a living dragon. It was just an energy body that he could export the golden dragon's chi in his body after sucking the blood of the golden dragon and condensed it. It's more than enough for catching up. Ren Feng gently leaped up and slowly landed on the golden dragon's back. Fonglinger, let's go. Ren Feng said softly. However, after a long time, there was no movement. Ren Feng frowned and looked towards Fonglinger behind him, and his heart was filled with joy. Good fellow. This silly girl, she was still clueless where she was. Although she had also settled down in Ghost Head Mountain, the same had never seen Ren Feng make a move. Seeing it for the first time today, Fonglinger was also shocked. This means. I'm afraid it's the legendary immortal's means. Heavens, what kind of existence am I planning to worship as a master ah? Fonglinger was confused in her mind. Now that she had taken a look at Ren Feng's strike, she thought about how she had asked Ren Feng to take her as a disciple at that time. With the senior's means, it would have been strange for him to look at himself at that time. Feng Linger's heart then burst with embarrassment. Feng Linger. Ren Feng couldn't help but raise his voice a bit. Ah. Only then did Feng Linger react, not daring to be slow, she hurriedly leaped onto the dragon's back. Hold it steady. Ren Feng lightly droned out, then he looked at Qin Zijing, are you going to? Qin Zijing quickly shook his head, I still have a mission to attend to, but Lin Hualong took a leave of absence to return to his old home in Inko after he came down from the mountain last night, so if Senior has any needs you can notify him, and the side of the Inko branch will also facilitate Senior. Ron Fong nodded his head indifferently. The entire golden dragon then rose into the air and flew towards the northeast. In just the blink of an eye, it disappeared into the sky. The Ghost Head Mountain and the Northern Realm were separated by thousands of miles. But with Ren Fang's cultivation nowadays, just after less than an hour's effort, he had already entered within the Northern Realm. Just after entering the Northern Realm's range, Rin Feng frowned. Sure enough, there is the aura of a true dragon. Only this true dragon, its aura is extremely weak. I'm afraid that it indeed has a short life ahead of it. Ren Feng said in his heart. Although there was still a small distance from the origin of the true dragon's aura, the small distance was just a blink of an eye for Ren Feng. Soon, the sky above a small, quiet village. Ren Feng found a place where there was no one, and only then did he disperse the golden dragon chi that had condensed into a golden dragon. The two of them slowly landed on the ground. That true dragon's aura is just ahead. Ren Feng pointed towards the mountain pass in front of him and led Feng Linger there. At this moment, however, in Ren Feng's heart, there was a very uncomfortable feeling. It's really strange, ever since I left Ghost Head Mountain, this feeling has been following me like a shadow. It's better to hurry up and finish this matter and go back earlier. Ren Feng said in his heart, and then he sped up his steps. After about 10 more minutes, the two reached their destination. At this moment, the two were in the middle of a reed field. The reeds around them had already been blown to pieces by the strong wind generated by the true dragon's fall. Ren Feng looked into the distance. Sure enough, in front, a group of people were surrounding a behemoth and pointing at it. That behemoth was clearly a dragon. Wow, it's really a dragon. Feng Linger said in surprise. Although this dragon in front of her was black in color, it was much larger than the golden dragon that Ren Feng had manifested before. It was more than 10 meters long. Its body was covered in scales, and some of its whiskers and horns had been broken. It definitely looked like it had been seriously injured. As a cultivator, she naturally knew that dragons were real. However, the movements of real dragons were erratic. Normally, they were either hidden in the clouds or submerged in the deep sea, 
and many ordinary cultivators could hardly see them in their entire lives. Now that a true dragon was right in front of her, how could she not be surprised? It looks like we're the farthest away, but instead, we're the first to arrive. Ren Feng just glanced at it and said with slight amusement. Within the fields, there were only a few members of the Special Energy Bureau wearing Zhongshan uniforms. Most of the others were ordinary people doing farm work in the fields. The two of them slowly walked towards the gathering of people. The conversations between the members of the Special Energy Bureau and the villagers also gradually came. Sir, I really don't know anything. We were doing farm work in the field, and all I heard was a qua plug and it fell to the ground. Not so good, put my mother-in-law are on the spot to scare confused circle. Your mother-in-law is okay, my mother-in-law directly gave scared pants. Really? Let me take a look. Fuck off. You old machine budang, why don't you buzz over? Sir, look at the crops and fish ponds that have been damaged. Will they subsidize it? The villagers surrounded the members of the Special Powers Bureau, and you said one thing and I said another, making those members of the Special Powers Bureau have two big heads. They were only responsible for psychic events, and evil cultivators causing trouble. It really wasn't their turn to be in charge of this subsidy or anything. At this time, Ren Feng brought Feng Linger to the side of the crowd. As soon as the people from the Special Energy Bureau saw the stranger, they all looked towards Ren Feng. However, with just a glance, they were alerted. A high-level expert. Although the man in front of them didn't have any semblance of a chi, but with perennial intuition, they could still feel it. The man in front of them was unfathomable. A member of the Special Energy Bureau, who looked like the leader, gave a wink to the others. The other Special Energy Bureau members instantly understood. Not long after, after they promised various promises, the villagers were reluctantly evacuated away. After the villagers left, the members of the Special Energy Bureau vaguely formed a closed circle around Rinfong and Fonglinger. Sir, I am the backbone of the Special Energy Bureau's northern border branch, Lu Xiong. The leader shook the documents in his hand, may I ask which force you belong to? The leader of the Special Energy Bureau asked. Ren Feng had yet to speak. At this moment, a motor roar sounded. Lu Xiong subconsciously looked towards the edge of the field, a shepherd SUV had stopped at the edge of the field. From the car came down a big and thick man. The Han Yu jogged all the way to Ren Feng's side and smiled heatedly, Senior, we meet again. The person who came was none other than Lin Hualong. Ren Feng gently nodded his head, considered to have met him. Lu Xiong was similarly affiliated with the Special Energy Bureau, so he naturally knew Lin Hualong. However, he didn't wait for him to open his mouth. Lin Hualong just patted his shoulder and laughed, Old Lu, long time no see ah, why are you still alive? Lu Xiong's face darkened, and he didn't choke to death on his own spit. This Lin Hualong, his speech was notoriously unpleasant. On the contrary, he himself didn't have any bad intentions at all. There was almost no backbone of the Special Energy Bureau that didn't know about it. But before he could speak, Lin Hualong turned towards Ren Feng again and smiled, Senior, I was still on vacation just now, and after receiving old Qin's call, I rushed here without stopping, if there's anything you command, it's fine. Hearing this, Lu Xiong was slightly startled. Elder? Can't it be that this man in front of him has a great deal to offer? Lin Hualong seemed to have seen the doubts in Lu Xiong's eyes and whispered to him, This is the senior who crossed the threshold at Castle Peak before. Lu Xiong's heart immediately shook when he heard this. Which of these was an expert? It was clearly a great god. Luckily, he didn't get rough just now, otherwise he would have caused a lot of trouble again. Lu Xiong secretly celebrated in his heart. At this time, Ren Feng had already walked towards the dying true dragon. With just a glance, Ren Feng knew that the dragon's situation was not optimistic. Six and a half inches of the dragon's body had been attacked by something, directly opening a blood hole the size of a face basin, and the blood red heart was vaguely visible, still twitching. Every time it throbbed, a stream of hot dragon blood sprayed out from the bloody hole. What an overpowering tactic. Ren Feng was slightly startled in his heart. Although this dragon's body looked bruised and battered, but those were all from falling from a high altitude. The wound that really killed it was this bloody hole. And it was clear that just a single strike had caused a black dragon to not even be able to react in time, and it was directly seriously injured. Senior, is this dragon still saved? Feng Linger whispered beside Ren Feng. Ren Feng nodded, it can, but at a great cost. Feng Linger heard this and immediately stopped talking. And at this moment, Ren Feng was also pondering in his heart. Saving, it was definitely possible to save. Only once he saved this dragon, the faith value he had accumulated for such a long time would be completely gone. But on second thought, if this dragon is willing to believe in himself, the faith value harvested should be enough to recover the cost. And although the black dragon was the weakest race amongst the dragons, it would be able to help himself with a lot of things. It was at this time, Feng Linger looked at Ren Feng, wanting to speak. Ren Feng gently nodded his head and reached out his hand. 
The members of the Special Energy Bureau suddenly felt that they were pushed by a soft force and passively retreated a distance away. Lu Xiong opened his mouth to speak, but he was directly pulled aside by Lin Hualong. He could tell that this senior didn't have a good temper. After the people from the Special Energy Bureau left, only then did Ren Feng gently raise his hand. In the air, a translucent prohibition rose up, isolating the two men and the dragon from the outside world. All right. Ren Feng spoke faintly, now the outside can't hear our conversation. The black dragon, which looked like its life was already hanging in the balance, had its eyes tightly closed. Feng Linger boldly reached out her hand to touch the dragon's whiskers, but the black dragon still didn't respond half-heartedly. Senior, we have to make him wake up, or else I won't be able to use my abilities. Feng Linger looked toward Rin Feng and said. Run Feng slowly nodded his head. He knew that this dragon was conscious. It was only that the dragons were arrogant by nature, plus he thought that the two didn't have the strength to save him, which was why he didn't react. Forget it. Run Feng turned around, since he wants to sit and wait for death, let him have his way. After saying that, Run Feng prepared to leave without looking back. However, right at this moment, the black dragon slowly opened its eyes. Senior, it woke up. Feng Linger said excitedly. When Ren Feng heard this, he looked at the black dragon bashfully, can you speak? The black dragon had just opened its mouth, and a stream of blood gushed out along with it. No. Ren Feng frowned, this will only accelerate its death. It was at this moment. Senior, feel free to ask. Feng Linger spoke, then looked at the black dragon, whatever you want to say only needs to be in your mind. After saying that, Feng Linger sat down on her knees and slowly closed her eyes. When she opened her eyes again, purple light flowed in a pair of purple pupils, and a moment later a soft purple ball of light was reflected on the black dragon's head. We have no malicious intent, we just want to help you. Don't resist, or I won't be able to read your thoughts. The black dragon relaxed its guard when it heard Feng Linger's words. Senior, you may ask. With my current cultivation, I won't be able to hold on for long. Feng Linger's voice said urgently. Ren Feng nodded, then lightly said, How did you end up in such a state? Although the black dragon was extremely weak, a flash of fear flashed through its eyes after hearing these words. A moment later, Feng Linger's plump lips slightly opened, it said that it didn't know either, it just suddenly suffered an attack and couldn't even react in time before it was seriously injured. Ren Feng gently nodded his head at those words. Sure enough, it was the same as what he had guessed. Ren Feng decided to go straight to the point and spoke to the true dragon. To save you, I have my own means. As a dragon, you should know better than me about the terror of this heaven and earth cataclysm. Now, there are two paths before you. Saying this, Ren Feng paused. The black dragon's expression twitched at his words. Even though he was a noble dragon race, upon hearing that the person in front of him could save him, a flash of radiance still erupted from the black dragon's already dimmed eyes. Facing the black dragon's inquiring eyes, Ren Feng had a light smile on his face. It's simple. Ren Feng's eyes narrowed slightly, submit, or die. After these words were said, Ren Feng stopped opening his mouth to say more. He was not a holy mother. Saving this black dragon would cost him all of his faith value. With the great tribulation approaching, the more faith values he had, the more things he would be able to exchange in the system mall at that time. Without the faith value, when the great calamity really came, he would probably be behind bars. Ren Feng wouldn't try to be a good old boy. The black dragon listened without any expression. Feng Linger turned her head to look at Ren Feng with a somewhat awkward expression. Even without Feng Linger relaying it, one could tell. The black dragon had rejected Ren Feng's conditions. However it was at this moment. The black dragon's mouth opened and blood poured out once again. This time, however, the black dragon spoke. What an arrogant young man. Even if this dragon dies, it will definitely not bow down to anyone. But this dragon can give you some favors. Although the black dragon's tone was weak, the words still carried condescension and disdain. Even the weakest black dragon would never bow down to a human. However, driven by the desire to survive, the black dragon still hoped that Ren Feng would save him and exchange a condition. What favor? Ren Feng raised his eyelids and said with interest, If you can really save me, after the great calamity comes, I can guarantee that you will become an immortal. Speaking here, the black dragon's weak words carried a strong sense of confidence. He saw Ren Feng as a human cultivator, and the ultimate dream of every cultivator was to become immortal. He felt that this condition was not too generous for a human cultivator. No matter which cultivator heard the word become immortal, I'm afraid he would agree without hesitation. However, just as the black dragon felt doubly confident in his heart, become immortal? Oh, Ren Feng let out a light laugh, I thought it was some kind of favor, just this? Hearing Ren Feng's disdainful light laugh, the look on black dragon's face suddenly froze. Just this? What did it mean? Could it be that becoming an immortal was so worthless now? A mere cultivator, he had given him a chance to become an immortal, but he didn't appreciate it in the slightest? The black dragon heart huffed. 
If he wasn't dying from his injuries, with his past character, I'm afraid that he would directly tear apart the human who offended him. However, at this moment, Rin Fong, however, laughed softly and spoke, Do you think, I need to become an immortal? After saying these words, the aura on Rin Feng's body suddenly erupted all over. A pair of eyes, too, directly turned as black as ink. His body was filled with an evil aura. This was Rin Feng's true aura after he became a drought demon. Evil god, unstoppable evil. Before this, Rin Feng had already laid down an isolation restriction. The members of the special power bureau in the outside world, still deliberating about this dragon, did not notice it in the slightest. Even Feng Ling'er's body, a faint layer of halo surfaced. If there wasn't this layer of halo, and Ren Feng's aura was in full swing, I'm afraid that in just an instant, she would have to be crushed by such a terrifying aura of Ren Feng. All of the pressure, all of it, enveloped the black dragon. The black dragon was already seriously injured, and with the addition of Ren Feng's terrifying pressure, another mouthful of blood sprayed out from the dragon's mouth. You're surprisingly, the black dragon said in a strained voice, looking at the man in front of him whose pupils had completely turned pitch black in color and was covered in an evil aura. The large dragon eyes were filled with incredulity. Drought's aura. What kind of existence was a drought demon? Not to mention himself, even if it was Lord Black Dragon Emperor, he would have to give three thin faces off. Spare. Spare my life. The black dragon strained to say, and blood was even spurting out of his mouth and wounds for no money. Just when Black Dragon felt that he was going to be crushed alive by this horrible aura, Ren Feng's aura converged in an instant. It was then that the black dragon slowly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. It's still the same words. Submit, or die. Ren Feng's words once again reached his ears. Only this time, the voice was much colder than before. The black dragon believed that this time, if he didn't make a choice, it was likely that he would actually die. Looking at the glint of killing intent in Ren Feng's eyes, the black dragon could not cry out. Who the hell knows that your original body is a drought demon? If I knew that, then I definitely didn't have that attitude. Otherwise, a dragon submitting to an ordinary cultivator? Even if he survived, he would be laughed at by the other dragons and live in shame for the rest of his life. Thinking of this, the black dragon was aggrieved. The arrogance that belonged to him before had long since disappeared. Seeing that Ren Feng seemed to have a displeased face, the black dragon hurriedly said, Lord spare my life, I will submit. In the heat of the moment, the black dragon even sprayed out a lot of blood again as he spoke. But at this time, the black dragon could not care less. Even if he lost more blood, he could still live for a little while longer. Moreover, the Ren Feng in front of him was so powerful that he might actually be able to save himself. But if he spoke a little slower, then the little life would really be gone Ah, Very well. Ren Feng nodded and slowly raised his hand. A golden dragon's chi came out turbulently from Ren Feng's palm and was injected into the black dragon's body. This is the breath of a golden dragon. The black dragon's eyes widened at once. Even he himself did not have such a pure dragon's aura on him. And yet this drought in front of him had such a pure aura? It's hard to believe that. He once killed a golden dragon. The black dragon was stunned in his heart. As a dragon, which one hadn't lived for at least a thousand years. What the black dragon knew could be many times more extensive than humans and the demon cultivators in the mountains. There was only one possibility for this situation in front of him. The drought demon is a zombie. This unfathomable drought demon in front of him might have personally killed a golden dragon and sucked its blood. Thinking of this, the black dragon's heart became even more terrified. Although they were also dragons. But ten black dragons together couldn't even defeat a golden dragon. Even the golden dragon had died in the hands of Ren Feng. Not to mention himself. But despite the fear in his heart, the black dragon felt it. After that one pure golden dragon's chi struck into his body, his wound seemed to no longer hurt so much. Although the fatal penetrating wound in his abdomen still showed no signs of healing. But there was no longer blood flowing out of his mouth. Many thanks for your help, my lord. The black dragon's fear was accompanied by a hint of joy after the rescue. He knew that if nothing unexpected happened, he could survive. Ren Feng gently nodded his head, his expression flat. This golden dragon's chi can only delay your injuries, treating the symptoms but not the root cause. If you want to be completely cured, you still need something. Ren Feng pondered for a moment and was about to remove the isolation prohibition. At this time, the black dragon suddenly said, Evil God, there is one thing that I must make clear to you in advance. What is it? Ren Feng's movements were stifled. The black dragon glanced at Ren Feng slightly nervously and whispered, Lord Evil God, do you know what the prohibitions between heaven and earth are? Ren Feng shook his head slightly. Whether it was a drought demon or a zombie, all of them had already jumped out of the three realms and were not in the five elements. The heaven and earth prohibitions had a weak influence on them. Plus, Ren Feng was a traveler, so he didn't know much. An expression that was really like that flashed in the black dragon's eyes as he said, 
Does your honor know that during the Deming period, Lu Bowen chopped the dragon vein? Ren Feng nodded his head and waited for the following. At that time, there was one more prohibition between heaven and earth. That was to prohibit the heavenly court, the divine beasts, and the Buddhas from manifesting themselves in front of people. This prohibition was already technically a rule of the great Tao. Even the West, and the main gods of other regions, have to abide by it. The black dragon's injuries seemed to have really healed quite a bit, and even after saying so many words in a row, he only felt slight discomfort. Ren Feng sniffed and slowly nodded his head. Judging from the situation of the past two days, it was indeed the case. Even if it was a thousand miles around the Green Mountain, there were only some streams of demon kings and ghost kings, as well as reclusive cultivators. There were simply no strong people who could truly be on the same level as the Black Dragon. Could it be that this was the reason for the so-called heaven and earth prohibition? Ren Feng secretly pondered in his heart. Thinking of this, Ren Feng slightly raised his eyelids, then what? What exactly are you trying to say? The Black Dragon fixed his mind and said somewhat unnaturally, so, Lord, for the time being, I can't submit to you. Seeing Ren Feng's brows furrowed, his face showed displeasure. The Black Dragon did not dare to slack off, hurriedly said again, Lord, not the Black Dragon is unwilling, just the current heaven and earth ban is still in, if I hastily submit once violated the heaven and earth ban, the entire Black Dragon clan, will suffer the disaster of extinction ah. Speaking here, the Black Dragon trembled in fear. Some of the tiny wounds that had just healed, once again crumbled open. There's still this? Ron Fong was slightly stunned. This was something that he had indeed neglected. Once the Black Dragon submitted himself, then he would definitely return to Ghost Head Mountain with himself. In case it was noticed by someone with an intention to do so, then it would really be a violation of the Heaven and Earth Prohibition. However, at this time, Rin Fong had one more question in his mind. Could it be that you were injured and fell down this time, exposing yourself to the civilian population? Doesn't it count as violating the Heaven and Earth Prohibition? Rin Fong said with slight doubt. The Black Dragon nodded and then shook his head, this rule is known even to the Special Energy Bureau, those few villagers who witnessed it, they will arrange it properly. I see. Ren Feng suddenly came to a realization. No wonder. In his previous life, he remembered that there was a similar rumor of a falling dragon. But after making a lot of noise for a while, a so-called expert or something would come forward to dispel the rumors, saying that it wasn't a dragon, but a whale carcass or something. Soon after the heat had passed, the matter would be over. Thinking of this, Ren Feng asked, since that's the case, what makes me believe you? The collapse of the heaven and earth's prohibition was imminent. Even if the Black Dragon submitted to itself only after the collapse of the Prohibition. But what if it changed its mind along the way? Ren Feng was not willing to do a costly deal. The Black Dragon thought for a moment, then its mouth opened. A goose egg sized sphere was spat out by the Black Dragon. My lord, this is Little Dragon's Dragon Ball. If Little Dragon dares to have second thoughts, once the Dragon Ball shatters, Little Dragon will definitely die on the spot. The Black Dragon swore with certainty. Oh, Ren Feng raised his hand and invited the dragon pearl into his hand, scrutinizing it. This dragon pearl was only the size of a goose egg, but it looked as crystalline as jade emitting a soft light. However, because the black dragon was seriously injured and dying, the light on the dragon bead flickered. Alright, Ren Feng put the dragon pearl into his hand, then added, however, I still need to ask you to borrow one more thing. Your Excellency, but there's no harm in saying it. Give me a portion of your heart scraps, I have a great use for it. Ren Feng glanced at the black dragon's hideous wound and said softly. Hearing this, the black dragon let out a sigh of relief. It turned out to be heart scraps, which was much better. The black dragon endured the pain and slowly shook his body, and the pitch black heart was wrapped in a burst of green light. Soon some green colored crumbs were separated by the black dragon and floated in front of Ren Feng. My lord, is this enough? There was a slight pain in the black dragon's voice, any more in the current me might not be able to withstand it. It's enough. Ren Feng slowly nodded his head, then glanced at Feng Linger, what are you still staring at, take it. Feng Linger hurriedly nodded her head like a chicken pecking at rice. First, she cupped the dragon's heart scraps in her hands, then with trembling hands, she took the dragon pearl. Feng Linger held the dragon bead in her hands. It was like holding a supreme treasure that had been passed down for many years, for fear of losing it. The scene in front of her today once again refreshed her three views. In front of her was a genuine dragon, although it is a black dragon but it was also an existence that she, Fonglinger, was not even qualified to look up to. Now such a black dragon. In front of her predecessor, she also had to bow her head. No, I must work hard. As early as possible, let Senior accept me as his disciple. Fonglinger clenched her pink fists, cheering herself up in her heart. However, there was still something she didn't understand in her heart. If the dragon pearl was left behind, it could prevent the black dragon from not honoring its word. But this dragon's heart scraps, what was it for? Don't care what it's for first. 
It's a good treasure anyway. Feng Ling'er's heart was elated, as if she was hiding a treasure, rushing to pack the dragon's heart scraps and the dragon pearl, fearing that they would be snatched away. At this moment, Rin Feng was also pondering in his heart. Ever since he left Ghost Head Mountain, there was a very uncomfortable feeling in his heart. Then Rin Feng thought carefully, it might be because of the weak defense of Ghost Head Mountain. Rin Feng decided that when he went back, he would go and capture a few demon kings and come back. Then expand the range of the formation and integrate these few demon kings into the formation as well. Together with Hitomi's cooperation, the defense on the Ghost Head mountainside should be able to be upgraded by several notches. And the dragon's heart scraps would be of great use in subduing these demon kings. Black Dragon, what is your name? Little Dragon's real name is Candlelink. Very well, then you can wait here at ease. Among the dragon clans, there was a difference between high and low surnames. For example, in the Golden Dragon Clan, they all had the surname Ao. The Green Dragon race, most of them had Yen as their surname. The other dragon species had Hu surnames and Yuan surnames mostly. As for the Black Dragons, they had the Candle surname. Ren Feng raised his hand and withdrew the isolation prohibition. As soon as the prohibition was withdrawn, the people from the Special Energy Bureau walked up. Senior, is this dragon still saved? Lin Hualong asked in a hurry. Ren Feng nodded. You guys, go prepare a quieter place for me. I need to prepare something. Upon hearing this, Lin Hualong looked at Lu Xiong beside him. Although he was also a member of the Special Energy Bureau, this was not the Castle Peak branch, and the one who was really in charge was still Lu Xiong. All right senior, I'll send someone to prepare. Lu Xiong hurriedly said. Just now, while Ren Feng was conversing with Black Dragon, he had already known about Ren Feng's methods from Lin Hualong. This great god in front of him was an existence that would strike at the drop of a hat. How could Lu Xiong dare to be slow? Soon, under his orders, the people from the Special Energy Bureau got a caravan from who knows where. Senior, no one will disturb you. Lu Xiong went up and personally opened the car door for Rin Foam, smiling he he he. However it was at this time. There were two more silhouettes that came from not far away. One of the people coming was a youth with a back full of tattoos and a large gold chain. Beside him was a Taoist priest wearing a plain robe with a dusty aura. Feng Linger came to Rin Feng's side and whispered, It looks like the people from the other forces have finally arrived. Ren Feng nodded. He did not intend to cross paths too much with people from other forces. The Great Tribulation was coming, and it was unknown whether they would be enemies or friends in the future. There was no use in pulling those useless things now. However, just as Ren Feng was about to get into the car, Ma Xing one of the Ma family, meet the Great Avatar, the tattooed man said with a smile. The accent carried a strong local flavor of big ballast. The winning mouth also belonged to the northeast of the northern realm, where the hinterland of the Ma family's power was located, and it was normal for the Ma family to be the first to arrive. However, Ma Xingwen just opened his mouth. Ren Feng turned around and his eyes narrowed slightly. Even Feng Linger's brows furrowed. This Ma Xingwen, although he called Ren Feng a great avatar, anyone who heard it would know that the words were filled with an air of teasing. Dare to speak out against Senior, looking for death. Feng Linger already had a blood feud with the Ma family. Seeing Ma Xingwen speak in such a manner, Feng Linger's eyes were filled with anger as she snapped. He he he, you're that Feng Linger, aren't you? Ma Xingwen didn't look angry in the slightest, glanced at Feng Linger and teased, that useless guy Ma San, he couldn't even get a little girl, he deserved to die. You. Feng Linger was shocked and angry. It was at this moment that Ren Feng patted Feng Linger's shoulder, his eyes narrowing slightly. In this world, there are always too many goods that aren't afraid of death. Could he not understand that this Ma family might have already known that he had exterminated their people? Since this was the case, Ren Feng didn't bother to beep. A mere son of the Ma family? Just exterminate it. Among Rin Feng's code of conduct, either, don't offend, either, offend to death. The hurdle between the Ma family and him was definitely not something that could be passed casually. However at this moment, Senior, can you give the Special Energy Bureau face? It's not appropriate to start a conflict right now. Lu Xiong seemed to have sensed Rin Feng's killing intent and hurriedly pleaded in a small voice. When Rin Feng heard this, the murderous aura in his heart slightly tightened. Although he acted indifferently, he wasn't the type of person who would be beneficent. During this period of time, the Special Energy Bureau had first paid a visit with a generous gift, and then shared information about the Great Calamity. He himself had just arrived in the Northern Realm, and the Special Energy Bureau was again busy. For the Special Energy Bureau, Ren Feng was still slightly favorable. Just as well, I'll give you Special Energy Bureau this face. Ren Feng put away his killing intent and looked indifferent, if he dares to speak out of turn again, then don't blame me. Lu Xiong wiped the fine beads of sweat on his forehead and nodded repeatedly. He then even glared fiercely at Ma Xingwen. Other people might be afraid of the Ma family's power. But the Special Energy Bureau wasn't afraid. Under Lu Xiong's warning gaze, Ma Xingwen grunted twice and said no more. 
It was at this moment that the Taoist priest clenched his hands and bowed. Blessed Shang Infinite Heavenly Father, late senior Wodong Ching Xuanzi, meet senior. After bowing, Ching Xuanzi glanced at Ma Xingwen next to him and dodged a short distance away without leaving any traces. Run Feng nodded slightly, considered to have met him. Don't let anyone come to disturb me. Run Feng spoke to Lu Xiong, then entered the caravan with Feng Linger. Lu Xiong waved his hand. Four members of the Special Energy Bureau went back and forth, surrounding the entire caravan. After closing the door, Rin Fong took a look at the environment inside the caravan and nodded with satisfaction. In the end, it's the Special Energy Bureau, this rehearsal is different. The entire inside of the caravan was clean and tidy. Various utensils were available. In the center was a parlor table, but now it had been dismantled and a layer of soft carpet had been laid. It looked like Lu Xiong had specially adjusted the arrangement for Ren Fong when he was looking for the car just now. Ren Fong walked to the center of the carpet and sat cross-legged. As for Fong Linger, she stood lightly behind Ren Fong, not daring to say anything to disturb him. Source-born cardamom. If it was only used to heal a black dragon, half a pill would be enough. Ren Fong took out a delicate jade box from his bosom. The origin life cardamom in the jade box was exactly the worship gift from the Special Energy Bureau earlier. This source life cardamom was also considered a great gift from the Special Energy Bureau. As long as it was used appropriately, the source life cardamom even had the efficacy to make the dead flesh white. However, this was only useful for cultivators. If one wanted to treat candle ink, there were still some other things needed. Open the system mall. Run Fong recited in his heart. At this moment, he still had less than 3000 faith value. And if he wanted to heal a black dragon, it was definitely not something that could be dealt with by the primary healing pill that he had previously exchanged for Fonglinger after spending only a tiny bit of faith value. Soon, Run Fong purchased many supremely masculine herbs in the faith mall. Ding. Host exchanges one dragon's baleen herb, faith value minus 500. Ding. Host redeems a strain of heavenly green and earthly white, faith value minus 100. Ding. The host redeems an octagonal lotus leaf, faith value minus 700. Ding. The host redeems a blood smoke stone, faith value minus 1500. The system beep after beep really caused Rin Fong to have a flesh ache. It was a good thing that the source life cardamom was a gift from the special energy bureau. If it was exchanged through the faith mall, it would have required a full 3,000 points of faith value. It seems that next, a wave of faith power must be accumulated. Or else I'll really become a pauper ah. Run Fong secretly said in his heart. After this incident was over, he would decisively go back to Ghost Head Mountain and figure out how to get faith value. Fong Linger, who was on the side, looked at Rin Fong as if he was doing a magic trick, a strain of medicinal herbs directly appeared out of thin air in his hands, and his face even had a look of having seen a ghost. These medicinal herbs, no matter which one, in Fong Linger's opinion, were all at the heavenly material and earthly treasure level. So many heavenly materials and treasures were piled up together. In the entire caravan, the aura emanating from the medicinal herbs alone was so dense that it was beyond compare. Ordinary cultivators would extend their lives for months if they were to even just inhale a breath here. Are these all the handiwork of Senior? Fong Linger was surprised in her heart. Thinking of her earlier, the ghostly look of excitement because of a primary healing pill bestowed by Rin Fong, Fong Linger lowered her head, her pretty face reddening. She felt that her mountain cannon disease was acting up again. A toad at the bottom of a well has never seen how big the sky is. Fong Linger's jade neck moved slightly as she swallowed hard. Following Senior, every day was filled with excitement. Fong Linger felt that she had lived for a full 18 years, but she had not seen as much as she had in these two days. Next to the medicinal herbs, Rin Fong was sitting upright. He didn't know Fong Linger's inner thoughts. Under Rin Feng's drive, a golden dragon's chi was emitted from Rin Feng's body. These chi eventually converged together, as if they were alive, and converged towards those medicinal herbs. In a short while, the medicinal herbs were melted and the white jade-like medicinal liquid slowly flowed out. Seeing this scene, Ren Fong took a deep breath. Carefully controlling the golden dragon chi, he wrapped the medicinal liquid into a potion shape. Ren Fong was not a cultivator, so he naturally did not know how to practice pills. But with the help of the golden dragon's chi, after letting the black dragon take it, it would take less than a hundred breaths to recover as before. After another moment of work, the medicinal liquid completely solidified and the golden dragon's chi was also absorbed by the solidified medicinal liquid, although it didn't sell very well, the golden light around it flickered, and the energy contained in it was definitely not something that an ordinary cultivator could withstand. There, Ren Fong gently exhaled a mouthful of turbid breath. He only needed to wait for Candle Link to take it and heal, then he could return to Ghost Head Mountain. Let's go out. Ren Fong stood up and slowly said to Fong Linger. However, just at this moment, Aang, a dragon's roar that penetrated the heavens and the earth suddenly came in from outside. Run Feng's face changed slightly. 
This dragon roar was emitted by candle MO. However, it sounded like the dragon's roar was filled with pain. Senior, something won't have happened. Fong Ling'er's heart shook as she looked towards Ren Fong. Ren Fong didn't say anything and opened the caravan to walk outside. At this moment, outside in the middle of the field, many more Ma family children had come. Lu Xiong and Lin Hualong were leading the people from the Special Energy Bureau to negotiate something with them. Underneath Candle MO, a wooden platform was set up. From time to time, some of the Ma clan's children came from the river to fetch water and poured it over Candle MO. Every time a basin of water poured down, Candle Mo's complexion became a few points more painful. An old man was sitting on his knees in front of Candle M.O., his eyes closed tightly, his mouth chanting. Ren Feng's figure moved, then appeared directly behind the crowd. Qing Xuanzi was, at this moment, arguing loudly with Ma Xingwen. Ma Xingwen, this must not be the case. Although it is said that a dragon cannot ascend to the heavens without a ruler of wood, the current situation is different. Qing Xuanzi looked at the true dragon and said with an anxious expression on his face. However, Ma Xingwen did not buy his face at all, what? Could it be that the insights of our Ma clan clan elders are inferior to a little Daoist like you? Your Ma clan is not good at the science of feng shui. Qing Xuanzi said sharply, earth begets water, wood begets fire, for you to build a dragon platform like this, you are simply roasting the dragon alive. Speaking here, Qing Xuanzi seemed to realize something, and his face suddenly changed. Ma Xingwen, could it be? Your Ma family, you want to kill this dragon? As Qing Xuanzi spoke, he secretly brought his hand to his waist. Ma Xingwen snorted lightly, Qing Xuanzi, think clearly, this is the northern realm. Hearing these words, Qing Xuanzi's face sank. In the end, he could only sigh helplessly. He had understood at this point. The Ma family might really not have any good intentions. Unfortunately, this was the hinterland of the Ma family's power, and he, Qing Xuanzi, did not dare to offend. That's right. It was only after seeing this scene that Ma Xingwen snorted coldly, my Ma family is acting on its own territory, why do I need to explain myself to you? However it was at this moment. Feng Ling'er's face changed when she saw that old man. A light of hatred suddenly radiated from her purple pupils. Elder. They are trying to refine Candle M.O. into a Ma Clan battle spirit. Feng Linger clenched her silver teeth with indignation in her voice, the scene, I will never forget it until I die. Run Feng heard it. This group of Ma Clan members were trying to get a piece of the pie on their own heads? He he, it's not my fault. Run Feng lightly laughed and shook his head with a slight sigh. Immediately, Rin Feng moved. Swoosh. The air was suddenly torn apart with an ear-piercing sound. Puff. By the time people reacted, only a muffled sound was heard. In the next instant, people realized. Ren Feng had already appeared beside that old man from the Ma clan at an unknown time. With his right hand, he had already stabbed into the chest of the old man from the Ma clan, clutching his heart. His pitch-black eyes stared icily at the Ma clan's old man, without a trace of emotion. The old man of the Ma family only felt a coldness in his chest. Before he could react, sweet and fishy breath filled his entire throat. Cough. You, you are. Looking at the person in front of him with pitch black pupils and a ferocious aura, the old man of the Ma clan coughed out a mouthful of blood. He couldn't recall when he had offended this person in front of him. Go ask the black and white irregulars. Ren Feng's voice was icy cold, and his right hand clenched fiercely. The heart in his hand was directly pinched and burst open. That old man didn't even have time to make a sound, his head tilted, and he directly died of gas. Pitifully, he had spent half of his life, not expecting that this time, without even inviting an immortal, he was directly killed by Ren Feng. When Ma Xingwen saw this scene, he immediately froze in place in fear. After a full half a moment. You you you, why did you strike at my Ma clan's clan elders? Ma Xingwen pointed at Ren Feng with an unbelievable face. Killing is killing. Why is it necessary to explain to you? Ren Feng slowly turned back, cold icy eyes, staring Ma Xingwen's spine cold. The same words, but from a different person. However, in Ma Xingwen's ears, Ren Feng's words sounded so harsh. It was well known. 
The method of cultivation of a horse immortal was different from that of a cultivator. Cultivators cared about cultivating the inner self, Jin Dan, Yuan Ing, in order to live with heaven and earth and achieve immortality. Or they may refine their physical body and use their strength to prove the Tao, breaking all laws with one force. However, the immortal horseman takes a different route. That is to invite the gods to possess the body, also commonly known as inviting the immortal to the body. Instead of a fairy. Rather, it is better to say that all kinds of demons and monsters. In the past, the Taoists did not avoid the world, the Buddhists are still the original Buddhists, they are self-proclaimed decent people, will eliminate the demons as their own duties. F.A. High of the Golden Mountain Temple, even because of two snake demons, blood slaughter thousands of miles. At that time, the demons were so suppressed that they didn't dare to show their heads at all. They had no choice but to seek refuge in the Ma family, and eventually made a pact with the Ma family. Of course, these demons and elves are not peaceful masters. So in the beginning, there were often instances of backlash. Once a backlash occurs, then the Ma family member who invites this immortal into his body will become seriously ill, or even go insane or even die. The reason why the Ma family's current method of invoking the deity is so pure. It was completely summarized using the bloody lessons learned from generation after generation. At the end of the day, the Ma family discarded those demons that were prone to backfire. Those that remained, there were only five. These are what later generations call the five immortals. The five immortals are fox, yellow, willow, white and gray. Corresponding respectively to a fox, weasel, snake, hedgehog, and mouse. Each of the five immortals specializes in their own abilities, and the people of the Ma family can live with the immortals. However, the Ma family also has people with profound Taoist skills. These people with profound Taoist skills were completely out of the realm of the five immortals. With their abilities, as long as they opened their golden mouths, recited talismans, and stomped the ground, they could even invite real gods to possess them, and their battle power would definitely explode. This Ma clan elder in front of him had this strength. Unfortunately, he hadn't even stomped the ground and recited the incantation to invite the immortal to possess him. He was directly taken away by Rin Fong in a lightning fast manner. At this time, Ma Xingwen was looking at Ren Feng with a face of fear. The corpse of the Ma clan elder had long been tossed aside by Ren Feng. At this moment, Ren Feng was standing in place looking at Ma Xingwen with a smile on his face, the blood on his fingertips, drop by drop, fell to the ground. Today, I won't kill you. It was at this moment that Ren Feng spoke blandly, however, I hope that your Ma family can learn a long lesson. After saying that, Ren Feng's body suddenly blurred, then became solid again. Ma Xingwen was startled, and immediately prepared to recite a spell to invite the immortal to his body. However, right at this moment, Ma Xingwen suddenly felt his own ears, as if they had been set on fire, a strong sense of burning pain entered his mind. Ma Xingwen subconsciously touched it, but felt a warmth. Then he raised his hand to see that his hand was already full of blood. At the same time, Ah! My ear! Why are my ears gone? Hiss. Surrounding. Cold breaths and miserable screams were continuously coming from the mouths of the Ma clan's children. It was only then that Ma Xingwen realized. One of his ears was suddenly missing. And everyone in the Ma family, none of them were spared. Hiss. Ma Xingwen sucked in a mouthful of cold air. The surprise in his heart made him briefly forget the pain. How did he do that? In just the blink of an eye, he attacked us at the same time. And all of them scored a single hit? Ma Xingwen's heart was like a raging wave, setting off shocking waves. Immediately afterward, the intense burning pain caused his lips to shiver nonstop, and he couldn't even concentrate on reciting the incantation. Eventually, Ma Xingwen glanced at the crowd of Ma clan children. Let's go! Three words popped out of his mouth as Ma Xingwen cursed and left. All right, take it and give it to him to take. Ren Feng casually threw the drug in his hand into Feng Ling'er's arms and blandly said. Feng Ling'er nodded her head repeatedly and rushed to Candle Mo's side, feeding it into his mouth. Thank you Lord. For your honor's rescue. Candle Mo's grateful voice came out. 
At this point, he had long since convinced Rin Fong. It was only when he thought of the heaven and earth prohibition that Candle M.O. hurriedly changed his mouth. Soon, the medicinal power emanated in Candle Mo's abdomen, and a burning breath wrapped the hideous wound in Candle Mo's abdomen. A moment later. Look guys, that dragon moved. Lin Hualong staggered as he pointed at Candle M.O. The crowd looked in search of the sound. The penetrating wound in Candle Mo's abdomen, although it hadn't grown back yet, had stopped bleeding. With just a slight sideways tilt, Candle M.O. stabilized his body. Aang. Ka Ching. Accompanied by a dragon's roar. The originally clear sky was covered in dark clouds in an instant. In just a flash, thunder rolled and resounded through the heavens and earth. Senior. I didn't expect that you really saved this dragon. Lin Huadong's mouth opened wide as he stammered. After a few more moments, new flesh grew on Candle Mo's wounds at a speed visible to the naked eye, and apart from the scales that hadn't grown yet, the rest of the place had long since recovered as much as possible. Ka Ching! A bolt of lightning suddenly illuminated the cloudy sky. It was only then that people saw that the black, black clouds seemed as if they were about to press down on one's head. Everyone except Rin Fong felt a touch of intense oppression. Suddenly. Tick. A drop of rain fell. Before the crowd could react, the rain poured down. Everyone was caught off guard and drenched. Only Rin Fong was surrounded by a faint halo, and even Fonglinger was also covered in the halo. In the midst of the wind and rain, Candle M.O. stood in the air. However, his pair of eyes were always respectfully looking at Rin Fong. A great favor is not appreciated. Candle M.O., farewell. Candle Mo's mouth spat out human words, and his voice was like a thunderous tremor. Everyone was shocked by Candle Mo's high flying gesture that rose from the rain. However, they were unaware. While Candle Mo was spitting out human words, he also secretly transmitted a message to Rin Fong, my lord, when the heaven and earth prohibition collapses, Candle Mo will definitely return to serve. The corner of Rin Feng's mouth hung up in an arc and gently waved his hand. Only then did Candle M.O. charge up into the sky and introduce himself into the rolling clouds. Just as Candle M.O. had just left, the originally cloudy sky suddenly cleared up again, as if nothing had happened. All right, let's go back as well. After Candle M.O. left, Rin Fong said faintly to Fong Linger. Fong Linger hurriedly nodded. Senior, this dragon. Lu Xiong wanted to speak. Originally, he had orders from the Special Energy Bureau. After previous investigations, it was found that the chances of this dragon surviving were slim, so the Special Energy Bureau had given him a task. That was to pull back the entire dragon corpse. Now, the dragon had flown, what's the point of pulling it? But despite this, Lu Xiong still didn't expect that this great avatar, as Lin Huarong called him, would have such heavenly abilities. To be able to bring a dragon back to life, what kind of means is this? Thinking of this, Lu Xiong swallowed hard, Senior, today's matter, I will truthfully report to the Special Energy Bureau, this is the duty of. That's your business. Before he could finish his words, he was interrupted by Rin Fong. Under the dumbfounded gaze of the Special Energy Bureau crowd, the Golden Dragon once again appeared beside Rin Fong. It then shot up into the sky. At this time, Rin Fong was still on his way. Unbeknownst to him, amidst the clouds above Ghost Head Mountain, there were two big sneaky heads poking out. Only these two heads, one was made of stone and the other was made of wood. Stone Demon, after this is accomplished, will you really give me the treasure you've treasured for years? A large tree that was hugged by several people held a human head in its hands. That human head glanced at the stone demon next to it. These two great demons were no one else. It was none other than the two demon kings, the tree spirit and the stone demon. The stone demon nodded his head up in a big way, and the rotting moss on his back rubbed off, when have I, stone demon, ever not kept my word? Hearing this, the tree spirit's heart settled down a bit. Although this guy, stone demon, was a stinky mixer in the demon circle. But words, however, still counted. Then hurry up and get it done. My big sister won't let me play with fools. Speaking here, the tree spirit gave the stone demon a slightly disgusted look, in case she and the tiger find out that I'm with you, it'll be troublesome. 
As the tree spirit spoke, he glanced around. He was originally unwilling to deal with Stone Demon much either, but under the temptation of Stone Demon's treasures, he still decided to sneak out behind the back of the two Demon Kings, Tiger Demon and Demon Fox. As long as we hurry up and finish it, they will definitely not know about it when we go back to Big Sister. The tree spirit thought as such in his heart. Although Rain Fang's cultivation was profound. However, in his eyes, if he and the tiger demon were together, they should be able to fight against Rin Fong. And the stone demon beside him was even a tad stronger than the tiger demon. Against Rin Fong, it should be a sure thing. However, the two demons hid amongst the clouds for a long time without seeing any sign of Rin Fong. Only that little brat, from time to time, walked out of the stone house to look down the mountain, and then returned to the stone house as if nothing had happened. Ah, it's really heaven's help. Stone Devil slapped his head, this brat shouldn't be there. Then what are you waiting for? Hurry down. The tree spirit couldn't help but urge. Brush. Brush. The two great demon kings landed sharply and reached the ground. And at this moment, Rinfong also managed to arrive on his golden dragon. Eh? Our family has a guest? Interesting. Before he even landed, Rinfong sensed the presence of the two major demon kings, and the corners of his mouth arched. These two demon kings are not as strong as Candle M.O. But they are after all the more powerful ones in this thousand mile radius. Runfong was slowly in the middle of the clouds, and he lucked his eyesight to slowly sweep over the two major demon kings. Afterward, Renfong slightly shook his head. No way. These two guys are too ugly. Originally, I was planning to, directly, knock them into the formation to enhance the strength of the formation. But these looks. TSK TSK. Renfong sighed with slight regret. That stone devil, covered in moss, was covered in mud. Although he was high in the air, Renfong still smelled a trace of a foul odor. As for the tree spirit, that was even more needless to say. Growing just like the Maokai inside the twisted forest, just this shape can scare the children alive. Renfong didn't want, as soon as he opened his eyes every day, to see a huge twisted strange face that disliked him directly in front of him. Fonglinger also saw the situation below. In a worried tone, she said, Senior, can Hitomi handle the two demon kings? Although there was Rin Fong, Fong Linger wasn't worried at all. After all, Rin Fong was in existence that could even suppress a true dragon. A mere two major demon kings? In his hands, it was estimated that at most, they would be able to go a few moves. But Hitomi wasn't necessarily the same. Although it had been enhanced by the formation, the opponents were after all demon kings, and were by no means comparable to the small fry from before. It had been before. A medium-sized empire that didn't have a very long history had angered two demon kings. Subsequently, in less than a night's time, the entire empire was directly slaughtered by the two-headed demon king without a single survivor. It can be seen that for ordinary cultivators. The strength of a demon king, just how terrifying. Just as Fonglinger was feeling worried for Hitomi. It's not a big problem. Just in time to try out, the strength of my formation. Ren Fong said with a relaxed face. With him here, even if the two demon kings broke through the formation, he would be able to save Hitomi in an instant. Hearing Ren Feng's words, Fong Linger was slightly stunned. However, for some reason, Fong Linger's heart, which had been slightly lifted, relaxed. Even she didn't realize it. At some point, Ren Fong had become her backbone. If at this moment, Rin Fong suddenly popped out and pointed to the sky and said that the sun was green. I'm afraid Fonglinger would also believe it without hesitation. And at this moment. Boom. Boom. The two great demon kings erupted in unison with a terrifying aura, and the air around them was directly blown apart. Even the trees that Fonglinger had trimmed earlier were instantly blown away. The aura of a demon king was definitely not comparable to that of the two lich demons. Do it! The stone demon's eyes flashed with a brilliant aura, and he took the lead in breaking into the formation. Both of them, the two demons, were not people with profound formation techniques. The only way at the moment was to break in hard and forcefully smash through the formation base. 
The tree spirit, in order to have a quick battle, also stepped into the formation right after him. At the moment the two demon kings stepped into the formation, Hitomi sensed it and appeared outside the stone house. The aura of the two demon kings once again skyrocketed. Even Fonglinger, who was high in the sky, felt the terrifying aura emanating from the demon kings, and her face turned slightly pale. And at this moment, Hitomi had already struck. Clatter! Clatter! Severaline spirit chains swept towards the two demon kings. Ha, ah, mere chains, I, stone demon, am not afraid. Stone demon laughed out loud, allowing the Ean spirit chains to come towards him. Choke! The Ean spirit chains rubbed out several sparks on stone demon's body. However, when he looked at the stone demon again, it only dropped a few pieces of stone debris and did not hurt him at all. When Rinfoam in the cloud saw this scene, his heart sank. Sure enough, this formation was still imperfect. No wonder, when the mission progress reached 20%, it stopped increasing. If the formation was reinforced again, maybe the quest progress would have scaled up a notch and one could still receive rewards. At the same time, the tree spirit also transformed into an insto tree and rooted itself directly to the ground. The entire trunk leapt to hundreds of meters high in a short period of time. The thick crown of the tree steadily blocked out all the daylight, and the entire area around the stone house darkened as if it was dark. A vine swept out from the trunk and entangled with the Ean spirit chain. Hitomi's eyes flashed with a flash of gravity as she saw her attack being easily neutralized. Lock! Under Hitomi's soft drink, the Ean spirit chain changed from a thorn to a tangle, binding the stone demon firmly. Just this? The stone demon laughed hideously and exerted his arms. The Ean spirit chains were overwhelmed and made a piercing ringing sound. ka -ching. With a crunching sound, several Ean spirit chains were directly shattered apart by Stone Demon. This time, Hitomi completely panicked. Her own means were useless against the two major Demon Kings. Stone Demon, hurry up! Just now, Big Sister might have sensed my aura. If she knows that I'm with you, that would be bad. The tree spirit's flooding voice came from high above. However, just halfway through his words, the tree spirit's voice came to an abrupt end. He had already transformed into his own body. The entire trunk of the tree was hundreds of meters and was already about to be rooted into the clouds. Yet at this moment, he saw. Within the clouds not far away, a handsome-looking youth was riding a golden dragon and looking at himself like a fool. He's back. The tree spirit's heart was suddenly startled. He had previously spied on Rinfoam from within the clouds. Naturally, he knew that the youth riding the dragon in front of him was the owner of the stone house below. Wait a minute. Riding a dragon? The tree spirit seemed to have thought of something and his face changed wildly. Holy shit. He's actually riding a dragon. And. It's a golden dragon. Although the tree spirit was a bit puzzled in his heart as to why this dragon looked several sizes smaller. But even so, it didn't make its big heart burst open in fear. Golden Dragon Ah! All the demon kings in the world all have to look up to the existence of Ah. But it was willing to be ridden by this man? The tree spirit's heart was greatly frightened. Caught up in extreme panic, he didn't even realize. The golden dragon was just an energy body not a physical object at all. At this time in the tree spirit's heart, there was only one question left. That was. He himself had underestimated Rin Fang's strength. And it was a serious underestimation. A great power that could even subdue a golden dragon, even if he cultivated for another thousand years, he was definitely not a match ah. Escape. If we don't escape, our lives will be over. The tree spirit's heart tightened. Under the fear, he couldn't care less about the stone demon below. His body suddenly shrunk to normal size. Then with a brush sound, the tree spirit directly transformed into a residual shadow and disappeared towards the bottom of the mountain. However, Rin Fong was in no hurry. Come back, or Die. Sound waves rolled out from the top of the mountain. In a split second, sand flew and rocks moved, and the wind and clouds rolled back. Even some small trees were directly scraped down hard by the sound wave. 
The tree demon that had already fled to the mountain stream suddenly stopped in his tracks. At this moment, he suddenly realized a problem. It seemed like he can't escape? With his own little bit of broken speed, in front of this strong man, he might not even be as fast as a turtle. If he wants to chase, he might catch up to me in the blink of an eye. What should I do? The tree demon panicked, stuck in the mountain stream. The wooden head that wasn't much of a mover was also racing at this moment. With that great power speed, catching up to me is just a matter of blinking. It would be better to actively admit my mistake and apologize. Maybe the great power will even spare my life. The tree demon thought as such in his heart. In his opinion, Rin Fong was unfathomable. If he had a more positive attitude, he might be generous and let himself go. Thinking of this, the tree demon's heart was ruthless. Putting his life on the line. The tree demon had just returned to the top of the mountain and realized that Ren Foam had already slowly landed. That golden dragon had also disappeared to his side. The stone demon, on the other hand, didn't seem to notice this. The sound of Ren Feng's voice just now had also put him on guard, and the aura on his body was still growing. In his eyes, if he and the tree spirit joined forces, even if he might not be able to defeat Rin Fong, he would still be able to retreat in one piece. Unfortunately, what Stone Demon didn't know was. The tree spirit was having trouble protecting itself at this point, so where would he have the courage to join in to fight against Rin Fong? You are the owner of this stone house, right? Stone Demon's expression was cold, and the aura of a demon king exerted pressure towards Rin Fong. He did not notice in the slightest that the tree spirit, who was meticulously standing on the side, was frantically winking at him. Seeing that Ren Fong did not speak, Stone Demon even laughed strangely and said, hand over your treasures and leave this place, we might even spare your life. However, Ren Fong acted as if he had never heard of it. He just murmured to himself, sure enough, dealing with a demon king is the limit of the formation. Seeing that he was being ignored, Stone Demon's heart was suddenly enraged. Good fellow. He was a hallowed demon king, but he was ignored? However, right at this moment. What's that smell? Why does it stink so much? Ren Fong inhaled his nose, and then his gaze converged on Stone Demon. Stone Demon was just about to speak. Ren Fong suddenly picked up a leftover lapis lazuli brick on the ground that he had used earlier. Such a dirty fellow, killing it is dirty in your hands. Ren Fong said softly, and the stone brick in his hand was casually thrown towards the stone demon. Seeing this scene, the stone demon was happy in his heart. He himself was a stone devil. To put it bluntly, it was a stone that was born after millions of years of wind and rain. His body was known for its defense. A random stone wants to break his own defense? The stone devil laughed loudly, not dodging or avoiding. However, at the moment the stone brick flew close, Stone Demon suddenly felt a strong crisis of death suddenly descend. Stone Demon was startled, it can't be. The words were not even finished. The lapis lazuli brick bloomed directly on his head. Rumble. There was a loud bang, like a landslide. Looking at the stone devil again, he didn't even have time to let out a miserable scream, but even directly exploded in place. The entire body first shattered and then turned into powder along with the lapis lazuli brick. Ren Fong gently waved his hand, bringing up a palm wind. When the wind blew, the powder all over the ground dissipated into the sky and earth. However, Ren Fong did not notice. The moment the stone demon was smashed, a breathless, rice-sized stone from the stone demon rolled into the cliff. Only after disposing of the stone demon did Ren Fong let out a sigh of relief. Phew! The air is much more refreshing. Ren Fong then looked at the tree spirit again, the corner of his mouth slightly hooked, say it, how do you want to die? The tree spirit did not see that scene either. Being asked by Ren Fong, it was immediately startled. Although at this moment, Ren Fong didn't show half a bit of killing aura on his body, but that faint smile didn't make the tree spirit cry out. The stone demon, which was known to have the strongest defense, was actually slapped to death by an ordinary brick and it was directly slapped into powder. I'm afraid that even a fool wouldn't believe this when it was said. However, the fact happened right in front of one's eyes. 
My lord, this matter is all the stone demon's fault. It was he who tempted me to come, please spare my life, my lord. Within the tree spirit's voice, there was a strong sense of fear. Thinking of this, the tree spirit's body suddenly bent down. The scattered roots under its body converged into two legs and knelt on the ground. Each branch of the tree ambled to the ground in a kneeling position. Spare you? Do you think it's possible? Ren Fong let out a soft joyful sigh. He was still in a good mood today. First, he had subdued Candle Ink, followed by detecting the formation problem. My lord don't kill me. I can submit, even if it means doing odd jobs here. I only beg you to be magnanimous and spare my life. At this moment, where did the tree spirit care about the dignity of a demon king? The wooden head was filled with old tears. When it was a matter of life and death, he only begged Rinfone to let him live. Whatever he was allowed to do was fine. Do odd jobs? You can't just steal other people's rice bowls. Ron Fong pointed at Fong Linger and smiled faintly. Fong Linger also blared fiercely at the tree spirit at this moment. Just kidding. She had managed with great difficulty to get mixed up to stay and do odd jobs, in order to be closer to her seniors. This tree spirit, wanting to steal her job? Not to mention the door, there was no window. When the tree spirit heard this, his heart was completely cold. I am a demon king. As a result, I'm not even worthy of being an errand boy here. It was simply a tragedy. Just when the tree spirit was doubting the tree life. Ren Fong looked at the tree spirit's dry and parched head and smiled faintly, if you didn't look so twisted, perhaps I could still keep you as my mountain protector formation general, but unfortunately, your twisted looks really don't meet the standard of a mountain protector formation general. Saying this, Ren Fong gently stepped forward, so, I'd better send you on your way. My lord, spare my life. My lord, there's still a use for leaving me behind. The tree spirit was startled when he saw Ren Fong take a step forward. Luckily, he was a plant-formed spirit and didn't have that organ. Otherwise now, there was a real possibility of being scared alive and pissed. Seeing Ren Feng's hand slowly lifting up, the tree spirit didn't even have the thought of resisting, just shivering in place. However just at this moment, the tree spirit inadvertently saw the matchbox-shaped stone house behind Ren Feng. That elmwood brain, which was already close to necrosis, abruptly flashed with a flash of wit. He wasn't sure if Ren Fong liked this style or wasn't very good at building houses. Now when it was a matter of life and death, there was only one thing to gamble on. Thinking of this, the tree spirit hurriedly cried out in grief, My lord, don't kill me. I can build a house, I can build a house. Build a house? Ren Feng's expression moved, and his hand movements slowed slightly. This matchbox could always be his heart problem. However, in Ren Feng's heart, he still hoped to find a beautiful designer to come. Because of the crossing, Rin Fong always maintained a human mind. Although he was not a face controller, but after all, a beautiful designer looked eye-pleasing ah. However, after taking another look at the crude and unattractive matchbox, Rin Fong decided in his heart that he would first try to see how capable this tree spirit really was. Good, then you can try it. Rin Fong said indifferently as he withdrew the attack in his hands. If the tree spirit could really build out a pushy palace for him, he naturally didn't mind sparing the tree spirit's life. After all, it would have to be repaired from time to time in the future. Moreover, with Rin Feng's means, he wasn't worried that a mere tree spirit would be able to commit the following offense. Many thanks to Master for not killing. The tree spirit could breathe a sigh of relief when he heard this. The little life was finally saved. The legs that the tree spirit's roots condensed into once again knelt down, and the entire tree body prostrated even lower, in a situation where his little life was threatened, he simply didn't dare to have any second thoughts. Perhaps how is this not a chance for me? To be able to work under such a great power, even if it's just to be a small scavenger. For me, it is by no means comparable to before. The tree spirit secretly weighed the situation in his heart. Although he was a noble demon king, he was considered in existence to be looked up to amongst the demons. But he didn't have any background, and everything was up to him. To put it bluntly, compared to those cultivators with backgrounds, he was poor and forced to drink. Compared to the stone devil who was slapped to death by a brick before, 
the tree spirit felt that he was really too lucky. Even if for now, it was still just a temporary laborer. In the future, if he was diligent and lively, he would inevitably have great opportunities. Just as the tree spirit was secretly celebrating in his heart. But I'll say it ugly in advance. If the house you build makes me unsatisfied. I don't mind tying you up as a firewood maker. Run Feng's faint voice rang in the tree spirit's ears. When the tree spirit heard this, he didn't just plop down there. He had already become a demon king, and the branches on his body could regenerate at any time. And it was also thief resistant to burning. Run Feng's words were undoubtedly killing the demon and killing his heart for him. Okay, master, I'll do it now. The tree spirit hurriedly said, then glanced at Hitomi in slight embarrassment. This mountain was protected by a formation, if the formation wasn't broken, he really wasn't able to move the earth. Hitomi, the formation is temporarily removed. Ren Feng said blandly, after accepting the tree spirit's results, this formation he would have to continue to improve it a little bit, withdraw it, just need to recycle and reuse the materials used to lay the formation before. Hitomi hurriedly nodded her head and pinched her hand with several spells. Buzz. The Bora monument let out a buzz, and then the formation was withdrawn. The tree spirit mouthed the magic decree and immediately rooted itself in the ground. The surrounding heaven and earth aura steeply became furious, crazily surging towards the tree spirit's trunk, which was embraced by several people. The tree spirit's branches shook madly, and with a shake of its body, several tree seeds were scattered around the stone house. Rumble. A sudden rumble came from the middle of the earth. Immediately afterward, sapling after sapling broke out of the ground, and after about less than 10 minutes, the mountaintop that had become bare due to the battle was restored to a lush and green appearance. Under the control of the tree spirit, a dozen large trees looked like they had come to life, entwining with each other and coiling their roots. It wasn't long. The large tree, then, drooped its branches. The branches carried the fragrance of the trees. Coupled with the clouds and mist at the top of the mountain, it was a unique flavor. Not bad, not bad. The compulsion is there. Ren Fong looked at the tree spirit with a faint smile, but what about the house? Master, you wait a moment. The tree spirit answered and didn't dare to be slow, rushing to utilize his divine power. Buzz. In the air, ripples rose. The branches hanging down from those trees danced madly, forming a wooden fence wall that circled the palace compound. A purely solid wood mansion rose up from the ground, and although it was all made up of tree branches, it looked tightly sealed. The entire palace was not decorated with colors. But it was this simple feeling, combined with the mountain scenery, that vaguely leaked out a magnificent aura. Simple, but not simple. Only after doing all this did the tree spirit return to its previous size. Respectfully prostrate on the ground, Master, do you see if this is satisfactory? If not, I'll change it again. Not bad. Run Fong nodded his head indifferently. However, in his heart, he was indeed speechless for a while. Sure enough, when it came to architecture, there was still a difference in talent. Although this tree spirit in front of him was a bit ugly, but in this aspect of architectural attainments, it was indeed impeccable. After a long pause. All right, you can stay here. The more Rin Fong looked in his heart, the more satisfied he became, and he gently nodded. Thank you master, little demon will certainly work diligently in the future and serve my master. Hearing that his little life was not in danger, the tree spirit was then completely relieved. Get up. Ren Fong gently waved his hand. The peach tree spirit, who was originally prostrate on the ground, suddenly felt his surroundings being wrapped in a soft aura, and uncontrollably stood up straight. Tree spirit, do you have a name? Master, since the birth of spiritual wisdom, the little demon has called itself the tree spirit and does not have a name. The tree spirit's color was respectful. Not to mention him, even the tiger demon didn't have a name. The only great demon with a name in this vicinity was the big sister Sushan Yuan in their mouths. It was said that this name was still given by a great power of the fox clan once. There is no name. In the future, you will be called Mao Kai. Ren Feng remembered that in his previous life, the name of the tree spirit in the twisted jungle was Mao Kai. This peach tree spirit in front of him had some resemblance to the twisted tree spirit. 
Thank you master for the name. The tree spirit, that is, Maokai, was thrilled as his branches trembled. With the custom of the demon race, only the elders of the clan, or the generation of great aptitude were qualified to bestow names on their juniors. Both he and the tiger demon were waiting, after Su Shan Yun was promoted to demon emperor, to bestow their names. But now, there was no need. I have a name too. Maokai said in surprise in his heart, and when he looked up at Ren Feng again, there was a look of excitement in his eyes. He himself, this time, had been blessed by a misfortune. Before, he only had a strong fear of Rin Fong. But now, in the tree spirit's heart, it was already filled with awe towards Rin Fong. Ding! Congratulations on obtaining the faith of the demon king peach tree spirit, faith value plus 900. The system's voice sounded in Rin Fang's mind. 900 faith value? It's not as good as that golden armored corpse king, but it's not bad. Ren Feng lightly said in his heart. Through the power of faith, he could feel that that corpse king was also on his way to Ghost Head Mountain. It didn't know what the reason was, but it was moving very slowly. However, through the distance, the corpse king was also not far from Ghost Head Mountain. After a few moments. Eh? Finally planning to give up? At the corner of Ren Feng's mouth, a mysterious smile suddenly appeared. He had just realized that when the stone demon and the tree spirit had released their chi, there were countless divine scents covering the ghost head mountain in the surrounding area. These divine senses were all demon kings of the mountain, or strong people who had been cultivating in the hidden world. At first, they thought that it was the two demons, the stone demon and the tree spirit, fighting each other. But now, it seemed that it was not the case. A divine sense was quickly withdrawn. Among them, the one closest to the top of the mountain was the departing flame ghost king who was hiding in the belly of the mountain. He, precisely, was the originator of instigating the stone demon to go forward and provoke Rin Fong. However, what he never expected was. The stone demon, who was only a tiny bit weaker than himself, had been directly killed by a single move. A great demon king was actually slapped to death by a stone brick. This kind of death, it was simply suffocating to the point that it couldn't be suffocated anymore. As for the tree spirit, it also surrendered to Rin Fong. This result was not only not expected by the departing fire demon king. The other peeping demon kings in the hidden world powerhouses also did not expect it. Including the departing flame ghost king, all the powerful people in the vicinity of Ghost Head Mountain had a strong look of scorn in their eyes. Only at this moment did they realize. It turned out that the one at the top of Ghost Head Mountain was a strong person. It was an absolute powerhouse that they simply could not match. In the belly of the Off-Fire Ghost King's Mountain. At this moment, on the face of the Off-Fire Ghost King, the joy of being a city god had long since disappeared. Huddled in the mountain belly, he didn't dare to utter a single breath. Fearing that he had offended that great power on the mountain because of his breathing, he was also slapped to death with a brick. Luckily, the stone demon is dead. If the one who defected was stone demon, he might have told him the news that I instigated it. That way, I would be dead beyond death. The departing fire ghost king's heart palpitated. It seems that this ghost head mountain can't stay. At the same time, the tiger demon, who was originally sitting cross-legged in the demon cave, suddenly opened his eyes. Tree spirit this fool. He even went to actively provoke that person? And he's even hanging out with that stone demon fellow. Could it be that Big Sister's words have fallen on deaf ears for him? The tiger demon was anxious and angry, and slapped the stone table in front of him. Boom! With a loud bang, the entire lapis lazuli table was directly slapped into pieces. The tiger demon stood up and anxiously walked back and forth in the cave. Their siblings and three demons were extremely affectionate. The tiger demon naturally couldn't bear to watch the tree demon being detained by Rin Fong. But at this time, tiger demon was considered to truly understand Rin Fang's strength. Not to mention himself. Even if he was united with the demon fox, which was Su Shan Yun, he was definitely not that man's opponent. What to do, what to do? The tiger demon's heart became more and more anxious. Then the tiger demon seemed to think of something and clapped his hands together, maybe big sister has some good ideas. Thinking of this, 
The tiger demon hurriedly went out of the cave and set up a demonic wind to fly towards the place where the demon fox Su Shaloyun was. Compared to the tiger demon and the departing flame ghost king. The other experts only had strong scorn for Rin Fong. This ghost head mountain, I'm afraid it will become a dangerous place in the future. Damn it! I should have known that I would have gone ahead and made good connections like the Special Energy Bureau. AI, it's a pity that I didn't befriend this expert early, or else I would have something to fall back on when the Great Calamity comes. Never set foot in the future. They originally wanted to befriend Ren Fong, but on second thought. Could such a great power look to befriend them? In the end. Whether it was those powerful demon kings or reclusive cultivators, there was only one thought left in their hearts. That was to never set foot on Ghost Head Mountain. Their reactions were naturally clear in Rin Feng's mind. But this was good. In the future, there would be no need for any cats or dogs to idly come up to the mountain to provoke. He would also save a lot of trouble and could concentrate on figuring out how to get the power of faith. Nowadays, the power of faith, together with the 900 points contributed by Makai just now, only amounted to just over a thousand points. Then he looked at the things in the Faith Mall. The things that Ren Fong could no longer use at this level were cheap as hell. But what he could really use, this amount of faith value wasn't even enough to stuff his teeth. This 10,000 evil faith value ah. Ren Fong gently rubbed his forehead and was about to find a place to sit down and think about countermeasures. Master, sit. Mao Kai gently raised his hand and said in an urn. Several small saplings then grew up in front of Rin Fong, transforming into a table and several wooden stools. TSK TSK TSK, the young man is quite on the ball. Good eye. Rin Fong smiled faintly. When Mao Kai heard Rin Fang's compliment, he was even more hefty and giggling as he scratched the back of his head. Rin Fong sat down and pondered. If I want to obtain a large amount of faith power, I still have to start with humans. Ren Fong gently rubbed his chin and secretly pondered. There were only so many demon kings at the level of Makai in a thousand miles around. Each of them, even if they provided Ren Fong with 1000 points of faith power, it would only be a drop in the bucket. Humans, however, were different. The tour guide and the old man from before had each provided Ren Fong with 100 points of faith power. Both of them were ordinary humans. In other words, each ordinary human could provide Rin Fong with 100 points of faith power. It wasn't easy to find a demon king. With 10 humans, it wasn't a handful? But there was a dilemma now. The people in this world were different from the previous world, most of them were lost in materialistic desires. Those who truly had faith were few and far between. If one didn't plan well, it would backfire. It was at this time. Master. Maokai has something to say, I don't know if I should say it or not. Maokai was slightly hesitant. Ren Fong raised his eyelids, but there's no harm in saying it. Maokai organized his words, Master, it's about the stone demon. Stone demon? The one I just slapped to death? Maokai nodded his head loudly. Actually, when stone demon approached me earlier, he said that the reason he came to Master's realm. On the one hand, it's because of the treasure given to Master by the Special Energy Bureau. On the other hand, he was abetted by the Off-Fire Ghost King. Before Stone Demon came to me for cooperation, he had been to the Departing Flame Ghost King. And got the Master's message from the Departing Flame Ghost King. Mao Kai didn't dare to hide and told everything he knew. Seeing that Ring Fang's face did not change in any way, Mao Kai continued, but today, this Departing Fire Ghost King cannot be moved. How can't it be moved? Ren Fong raised his eyebrows. Master, the departing fire ghost king is the recently appointed city god of hell. Although he hasn't officially taken office yet, but if we move him, we are afraid of offending the earth's government. Mao Kai whispered, although master is powerful, but the hell side. This you don't have to worry about. Ren Fong waved his hand slightly. How the hell was, he couldn't care less. But as long as the departing flame ghost king messed with his head. Not to mention the hell. Even the heavenly court could not protect him. But right now, what really made Rin Fong care? Still, it was the issue of the formation. 
seeing that the heaven and earth band is getting looser and looser. This kind of formation that could only barely fight against the demon king, how could it resist the heaven and earth cataclysm? How about this? Ren Feng flicked his hand at Mao Kai. A ray of green light appeared and floated towards Mao Kai. Mao Kai subconsciously caught it in his hand, then fixed his eyes on it. The green light in its hand faded, and a small handful of green-colored powder appeared in its hand. This, this is. Mao Kai sucked in a breath of cold air as he looked at the cyan-colored powder in his hand. Although he didn't know what it was. But the energy contained within it was extremely majestic. This is the dragon's heart crumb. Only my mountain protector formation general is qualified to take it. Ren Feng's indifferent voice rang out. Mao Kai's body shook when he heard this. Mountain protector formation general Ah. Could it be that he was going to become a full-fledged laborer? Under the envious eyes of Fonglinger on the side, Mao Kai was overjoyed in his heart. However, just when he was secretly smug in his heart. But you have to remember. If you dare to have a rebellious heart, then you will have to turn into firewood. Ren Feng's words seemed to pour a pot of cold water over Mao Kai's head, instantly calming him down. This is a great chance given by the master. In the future, I will definitely follow my master well. Determined not to become firewood. Thinking of this, Mao Kai's heart shook, and then his expression was even more respectful. All right, find yourself a place to absorb it. After saying his words, Ren Feng's figure flickered and disappeared in place. Mao Kai originally wanted to find a place to absorb the dragon heart crumbs. But suddenly, Mao Kai's eyes turned. It seemed as if he had thought of something and took a deep look at the mansion where Ren Feng was. Then he quietly left the mountain and took off in the clouds. At this time, it had already returned to the mansion. Ren Feng looked at the scene inside the room, and his heart became more and more satisfied. The tree spirit's level of construction was really nothing to speak of. Inside the room, all kinds of wooden furniture, too, were available, and it looked like it had a kind of ancient feeling. Open the Faith Mall. Run Fong read silently in his heart. As soon as the words fell, the mall panel appeared in Rin Feng's mind. After obtaining the corpse nurturing formation dictionary before, what Ren Feng had currently laid down was the strongest formation in the corpse nurturing formation dictionary. But now, it seemed that this formation was no longer enough. One had to be thinking of a way to do so. Formation? Can I use this immortal formation? Ron Fong browsed through the system mall and murmured softly in his mouth. In the faith mall, besides the things that Ren Fong could directly use. All kinds of formations, magic weapons, and even ghost weapons, as well as ghost cultivation methods, were all available. It could be said that apart from living things, as long as they were contained between this heaven and earth, there was nothing that Faith Mall didn't sell. Ding! Host may not use immortal formations or cultivator formations. The system's voice sounded in Ren Feng's mind. Ren Feng's heart was clear. It was really like this. He himself was originally from a zombie, even if he had morphed into a drought demon now and was out of the category of zombie. He did not have enough of the cultivator's true chi and the immortal yuan power of the immortal family in his body. These things used by immortal cultivators, he was naturally unable to use. Soon enough, however, the system's voice rang out once again. Ding! The host doesn't have to be presumptuous. Now that the host's body is a drought demon, he already has a third of the divine power. Some of the divine formations can already be used. And because the host has the golden dragon bloodline, part of the golden dragon's divine abilities the host can also use. The system's beep made Rin Feng's eyes light up. Right. It was fortunate that he was from a zombie background. If he was a cultivator, even if he took the golden dragon's blood, at most, he would be able to make the true chi in his body solidify. But zombies are different. After drinking the blood of the golden dragon, the power of the bloodline in the blood chi was similarly refined by Rin Feng. Moreover, certain divine formations were also usable by themselves. System, help me sift through the available formations. And some attacking means. Rin Feng said silently in his heart. 
Previously, when he obtained the gift pack, because of his bloodline, Rin Fong could only cultivate in five thunder. The means of attack was too single. As for means of defense? As a drought demon, there was no need for them at all. Currently under the influence of the heaven and earth prohibition, heavenly immortal gods could not manifest themselves in front of people. Just the ones bouncing around on the ground, there were not many that could break Rin Feng's defense. In less than a second. Ding. Screening completed. The system has automatically finished screening for the host based on the current host's specific situation. The system voice sounded in Rin Feng's mind. Then, the results of the system's screening appeared in his mind. The formation cannon, seven stars refining god. The disposable flying sword version 4. Zero. The dragon soul forbidden technique. A large list of formation secrets were arranged in order. However, very quickly, under Rin Feng's screening, one of the most useful formations at the moment was identified, along with the means of attack. Formation Cannon, 7 Star Refining Spirit Disposable Flying Sword Version 4. Zero Foot. The 7 Star Refining God was currently the most suitable formation for Rin Foam. In each of the seven directions, a Mountain Protector Formation General was required to sit in the center. Each Mountain Protector Formation General had different attributes, and the higher the formation bonus. Although currently, the only Mountain Protector Formation Generals that Ren Fong could use under his command were Mao Kai and Hitomi. However, even if they were the only ones, they could still perform it initially. Hitomi was Yin, and Mao Kai was Wood. As for the Corpse King that is coming is a human-made corpse break. The Fury is also a fire. The current three major formations have different attributes. And this formation is progressive. Even if there is a Mountain Protector Formation General, it can be initially set up. And after that, every time one of the Formation Generals returned to the Seven Stars, the strength of the formation would increase exponentially. As for the Disposable Flying Sword Version 4. Zero. Renfong was, at first, attracted by its name. This name, compared to the others, was a little too. Modernized. The author, a single name White. However, after reading the introduction, Ren Fong had an understanding in his heart. This method, strictly speaking, is considered a weapon refining method, is also a means of attack. All the flying swords that were refined were disposable. But the good thing about it was that it was easy to take materials and quick to make. As for the crafting materials, the dense tree branches with demonic chi are the best material to make. Imagine, casually striking out with thousands of flying swords, to be how great the compulsion are. However, once he looked at the price, Ren Feng's face jerked fiercely. The Formation Codex 7 Star Refining God costs 10,000 faith points. The Disposable Flying Sword Version 4. Zero needed to cost 25,000 faith value points. Poor. Ren Feng wailed in his heart. However, right at this moment, Ding. Green Mountain Little Demon Willow Ghost has believed in you, faith value plus 200. Ding. Green Mountain Little Demon Sephora Ghost has believed in you, faith value plus 300. Ding. The Green Mountain Lesser Demon Tsubaki Tree Demon has faith in you, faith value plus 250. Ding. The Green Mountain Little Demon. A series of system beeps rang out abruptly. Run foam? A series of system beeps. It made Rin Feng's brain buzz. How did so many faith values suddenly pop up again? Ren Feng was suspicious in his mind, then his figure flashed and appeared outside the mansion. At this time outside, there was no trace of Mao Kai. Feng Linger, where is Mao Kai? Ren Feng asked softly. Feng Linger hurriedly trotted to Rin Feng's side, Senior, just now, Mao Kai suddenly took off in the clouds, I wanted to go and tell you. But I was afraid of disturbing you, so. Ren Fong nodded gently. Then he closed his eyes and his divine sense dispersed in all directions. A few moments later, an arc appeared at the corner of Ren Feng's mouth. At this moment, Mao Kai was rushing towards Ghost Head Mountain. And the location he had just left was exactly his previous cave. Around the cave mansion, there were also some tree cultivated elves and monsters coiled around and chattering. 
On the heads of most of the elves and monsters, there was a faint power of faith connected to themselves. At a glance, it was Maokai's handiwork. Maokai did not know that Renfong needed the power of faith. However, Maokai had now recognized Renfong as his master. Then those tree demons and tree spirits under him naturally also recognized Renfong as their master under Maokai's intimidation. That was why the relationship of faith was established between Renfong and these little demons. Not long after, a demonic cloud floated in the sky. Maokai descended from the sky and respectfully knelt beside Renfong. In his hands, he also held a wooden box. I didn't expect Master to come out so soon. I was afraid of disturbing you before, so I didn't explain the situation to you. Maokai was sincerely terrified. Deeply afraid that he had made his master angry by taking matters into his own hands. Renfong gently waved his hand, indicating that there was no harm. Maokai handed over the wooden box in his hand. Master, when I left, I first went to the stone demon cave. Although Stone Demon was usually ostracized by the other demons, he had a fetish for collecting strange stones from all over the world. Now that Stone Demon is dead, these strange stones are already ownerless. Maokai happens to go ahead and fetch them and offer them to his master. As Maokai spoke, he carefully opened the wooden box. Renfong glanced at it and his eyes stared. These strange stones, except for a small portion, were just strange in color. All the other strange stones had fluorescent light flowing through them, and a hidden aura appeared and disappeared, although they were not considered to be any top-quality formation materials, they could be dealt with for the time being. In this way, another portion of faith value was saved for Rinfong. The lad's path is getting whiter and whiter. Not bad, I'm satisfied. Rinfong nodded appreciatively. When Makai heard Rinfeng's appreciation, he instantly trembled with excitement as his body was covered in branches. Fonglinger, who was on the side, only had a strong envy in her eyes, and a little bit of loss. Although Mao Kai had just submitted. But the contribution brought to Renfong was far beyond his own. No, I have to find a way to please Senior as well before I can do so. Fonglinger's sexy purple eyes were filled with different colors. She had already begun to think about how she could brush her presence around Renfong. At this moment, Rinfong whispered to Makai again, go and absorb the dragon's heart crumb, when it's done, you'll be my second major mountain protection formation general. The dragon's heart scraps were the most young thing. Hitomi was a ghost, which was Zine. For Hitomi, I'm afraid that taking the dragon's heart scraps would directly explode her body when Ean and Yang collide. So currently, the dragon's heart scraps can only be taken by Maokai. After you take the dragon's heart scraps, then there will be no need for the Li Fire Ghost King to exist. Speaking here. Run Feng's voice steeply turned a few degrees colder. Although this Li Hua Ghost King hadn't directly offended him. But it had been secretly messing things up. For a small character like the Li Fire Ghost King, Rin Feng just didn't care to make a move. When the time came, it was just right to let Mao Kai go forward. Adapt to adapt to the strength. Yes, Master. Maokai respectfully bowed, Maokai will set his master to take out this bad anger and put the departing flame ghost king on the spot. A touch of grim murderous energy emerged from Maokai's body. Don't look at him respectfully in front of Rinfong. But don't forget. Before this, Maokai was the demon king who was in charge of a party within a thousand miles of this area. In this ghost head mountain. It is also Rinfong, Hitomi, Fonglinger can let him smile and welcome. Other small demons, small monsters, do not have that qualification. As for offending the hell? At this point, Makai was already fearless. Since he had already taken Renfeng as his master. In Maokai's eyes, Renfeng's enemies are naturally his enemies. Although following Renfeng, from time to time, there was the risk of being used as a firewood maker. But Maokai believed. As long as he performed well, he would definitely be pleased by his master. He himself would also get a greater chance. What's more, after absorbing the dragon's heart scraps, he would be directly promoted to demon emperor. Thinking of this, Makai became more and more excited inside. Under Rinfeng's care of a big stick and a sweet date. At this moment, even if Rinfeng ordered Maokai to go to the strongest Buddhist family's heavy ground to make a break for it, 
Mao Kai was fearless. After thanking Rin Feng for his reward once again, Mao Kai ran to the side of the mansion to put down roots and prepare to absorb the dragon heart scraps. At the same time, amidst the clouds, the tiger demon was furtively poking its head out, secretly observing. After observing for a short while, Big sister, this fellow, the tree spirit, I'm afraid that it has completely turned against us. A fierce light flashed in the tiger demon's eyes. A moment later, the tiger demon looked behind him, big sister, speak up. Behind him. That stunningly beautiful demon fox was lazily lying in the middle of the clean white clouds. However, the aura on her body now was several times stronger than before. After a long time. Only then did the demon fox Su Shaloyan speak softly, demons each have their own aspirations, and we can't force them. The tiger demon's eyes rolled. Big sister, now that you have become a demon emperor. In this thousand mile radius, which one dares to disobey you? This ghost head mountain has a deep aura. How about? We go down and slaughter that person and occupy this ghost head mountain. The tiger demon licked his scarlet tongue, a fierce light in his eyes. It was only when he went to Su Shan Yun earlier to discuss a plan that he realized. Su Shallow Yun had actually cultivated into a demon emperor, and her strength was several times stronger than before. In his eyes. Although Rin Fong was unbeatable. But at most, he was at the level of a demon emperor. If Su Shallow Yun had her own assistance, she might be able to directly drive Rin Fong away, and in the process, fix Mao Kai. Must not. Within the clouds, Su Shallow Yun gently shook her head. The exquisite pretty face was filled with a gloomy color, that great avatar, his strength is unfathomable, it is definitely not something that the current me can fight against. She had now become a demon emperor, and her strength was unfathomable. Perception, naturally, was also much stronger. But even so, Su Shallow Yun still couldn't see through Rin Fong. When the tiger demon heard this, he immediately sucked in a mouthful of cold air. Even the demon emperor was no match? How terrifying in existence was that so-called great avatar? Thinking of this, the tiger demon was about to open his mouth to speak. However, right at this moment, an extremely strong aura came steeply from the top of Ghost Head Mountain. This. This is the aura of a demon emperor. The tiger demon instantly rounded his eyes. This powerful aura was only a shade weaker than Su Shan Yun by his side. Even Su Shan Yun, who had always been very calm, had a flash of color in her eyes at this moment as she looked in the direction of the demon head mountain. However, the next scene. Both she and the tiger demon were somewhat incredulous. They had thought that the aura was emitted by Rin Fong. But now it seemed. It seemed like. The weakest tree spirit among the three sibling demons. The two demons looked in the direction where Mao Kai was. At this time, Mao Kai had already transformed into his original body. The entire tree trunk, which was hundreds of meters tall, covered the sky. The earth seemed to have trembled. The aura of heaven and earth was like a vortex, madly surging towards Mao Kai's tree trunk. In less than a moment, a bizarre rune appeared on Mao Kai's tree trunk. Steeply, the light of the runes flourished. Thousands of haze emerged completely wrapping up Mao Kai's hundreds of meters of body. My god. This, what the hell is going on here? The tiger demon was dumbstruck, unconscious murmurs coming out of his mouth. Makai was originally the weakest among them. But at this moment. In the tiger demon's view, the description of Mao Kai was also reduced to only four words. Unrivaled. At this moment, Mao Kai looked. It was like a divine tree in the heavenly realm, each branch was crystallized and emitted a divine luster. The tree's crown, which was already shading the sky, was wrapped in thousands of divine light, hardening and pulling up a full double. Demon Emperor, it's definitely the aura of a demon emperor. That fellow, the tree spirit, is clearly the weakest. How could he possibly ask for a demon emperor in a day's time? This is impossible. The tiger demon roared in shock in his heart. He suddenly felt that the world seemed to be filled with malice towards him. It was just that he couldn't compare to Su Shan Yun. Now, even the tree spirit was many times stronger than him. Same as a demon king, the difference was so big? 
The tiger demon felt his brain buzzing, a bit unable to turn the corner. Afterward, the thousands of haze dispersed. A particle filled with the breath of life blossomed from Maokai's body and scattered around the ghost head mountain. The trees in the mountain that were already dead. After absorbing a breath of life, new leaves hardened on the trunks of the already rotting trees, spitting out shoots. The withered trees were still sprouting again in the spring. This means of bringing the dead back to life, even Demon Emperor Su Shallowyun admitted that he was unable to do it. At this time, the silent demon fox Su Shallowyun, her pretty face changed slightly. In the middle of the sea of the ocean, there is the mountain of Dushua, on which there is a large peach tree, whose flexion coils 3,000 miles, and the northeast between its branches is said to be the ghost gate, which 10,000 ghosts enter and exit also. This is the fox clan's ancient documents, the record of the divine wood divine peach. In my opinion, the ancient divine peach, but so. The demon fox's plump lips lightly opened as she looked at Maokai. A pair of Jianchi-like autumn pupils fluctuated in waves, not knowing what they were pondering. A few moments later, the entire ghost head mountain was moisturized by the breath of life. It was already a lush color. There are a lot of trees that have been around for a long time, and under the nourishment of the breath of life, they were born with a consciousness and completely became demons. Although these tree demons were just born spiritually intelligent. But they also know. The fact that they were able to be born spiritually intelligent was all thanks to this heavenly tree in front of Makai. We worship my emperor. These tree demons who had been born spiritually intelligent, all of them knelt down in the direction of Maokai. You guys don't have to thank me. If you want to thank me, thank the master. Without master's cultivation, there would be no Makai today. Maokai, who had transformed into his original body, said in a jarred voice. At this point, the little demons on the ground realized. It turned out that behind the demon emperor, there was an even more powerful existence. In a split second, a tone of gaining faith value sounded in Rin Feng's mind. Rin Feng let out a joyful sigh, I didn't expect that there would be this kind of extra benefit. At this moment, he was still in a very good mood. Before and after, the faith value that Rin Fong had harvested had already broken 10,000 points. That seven-star god refining a ray could already be redeemed. Next, the formation is a done deal. No surprises, the quest progress can rise again. Rin Fong secretly said in his heart. It was at this moment that Mao Kai's torso gradually shrunk. It eventually returned to its original appearance before. However, the aura on his body was far from what it was before. Maokai prostrated himself to Rin Fong, a tree root rooted in the ground, and was unwilling to get up for a long time. Without the chance gifted by Master, there would be no Makai today. Maokai, many thanks to Master for cultivating me. At this moment, Maokai's respect for Rin Fong had long since reached a point of no return. The chance given with his hand had allowed him to directly ask for the demon emperor. Just how terrifying in existence was the master? Subsequently, Mao Kai thought of what Ren Fong had said earlier. The aura of life on his body faded, and a senile murderous aura emerged. Master, Makai will go and take down that departing flame demon king. Mao Kai's voice was low, and in just a breath of effort, he had already arrived in the belly of the mountain where the departing flame ghost king was located. In the belly of the mountain, the door to the departing flame ghost king's cave was tightly closed. Departing fire, you have repeatedly offended your master. Still not quick enough to come out and suffer death. Mao Kai's voice was like a thunderous tremor. Immediately. Rumble. The entire ghost head mountain let out a loud bang. Within the mountain's belly, the departing fire ghost king's mountain gate was completely turned into dust under Mao Kai's strike. However, when Mao Kai entered the mountain's belly, he was dumbfounded. Within the mountain's belly, there was no longer a single ghost shadow. Even the ground was full of wreckage. What the hell, ran away. Mao Kai's head was dumbfounded, then came back to his senses. This flame ghost king must have realized that things had been exposed and ran away early. Mao Kai didn't dare to be slow, and rushed back to the top of the mountain. He told Rin Fong word for word about the situation inside the cave mansion of the Ghost King of Separating Fire. It's just a small character in the district. 
If you run into it in the future, clean it up by the way. Run Fong waved his hand carelessly. Now that the faith value had broken 10,000 points, the formation cannon, 7 star refining god could already be purchased. Foreign Fong. The off fire ghost king was just a minor character and didn't care. After instructing Mao Kai to watch the door, Ren Feng returned to the mansion. Nightfall. In the belly of Ghost Head Mountain. The black and white two masters looked at the wretched cave in front of them, wide eyed. Looking at the appearance of this scene, the off fire ghost king should have. Run away? Black impermanence said with a confused look on his face. In his hands, he was still holding a warrant from the Hellmouth. After such a long time had passed, the departing Fire Ghost King hadn't even gone to Ghost Gate Pass to collect the warrant and City God Seal. The black and white irregulars could only come to look for the off Fire Ghost King again. But the scene at hand made the black and white completely dumbfounded. Judging from the mess all over the ground, the Fire Ghost King should have encountered some kind of danger, not even City God, directly run away. Now, this can make the black and white second master difficult. The fire away from the road. Who will the city god find to do? At this time, the white impermanent ghost eyes lit up. Why don't? We go find the one on the mountain and try our luck? As white impermanent spoke, he took the warrant in master black's hand. Makes sense. Black impermanence was also shaken, but a few moments later, he was a little worried. But the city god has always been appointed by a ghost, in case the one up there is not. White impermanence sighed deeply, the situation is urgent, we have no choice. Then it can only be so. Black impermanence also let out a long sigh, according to the news from Shimmy's side, I'm afraid there's going to be a big change tonight. In that case, let's find the one on the mountain and take our chances. As soon as possible, we will select the new city god's person, and then go back to hell to resume our orders. I think so. The black and white second master finalized. It was better to go to Ren Feng's place to take a look and then make plans. At this moment. Ding. Congratulations to the host for successfully redeeming the formation cannon, 7 star refining god. Deducting 10,000 points of faith value, currently the host has 1,024 points of faith value remaining. Accompanied by the system beep. A wave of ponderous memories surged into Rin Feng's mind. After a moment, these ponderous memories were sorted out by Rin Feng. Ding! Congratulations to the host for acquiring the Formation Codex 7 Star Refining God, current level, great perfection. Ren Feng nodded in satisfaction. Although he had returned to the pre-liberation era in one go. But this faith mall had an advantage, that is, as long as there were enough contribution points, the feats purchased would be fully leveled in an instant. This also saved Rin Foam a lot of trouble. Next, it's time to try the effects. I wonder just how powerful the seven star god refining with only two major mountain protection formations will be. Rin Foam secretly said in his heart. Seven star refining god, as the name suggests. If the seven array generals were strong enough, even a true god could be refined alive. Its power, it could not be said to be great. If measured by power alone, the seven star god refining was definitely worth more than 10,000 contribution points. However, according to the records, throughout history, there were almost very few people who were able to assemble seven great array generals with completely different attributes and great strength. That's why it was set at such a price by the system. Even the current Rin Fong. Together with the Golden Armored Corpse King who had yet to arrive, there were only a mere three Mountain Protector Formation Generals. Next, it's time to see the effect of the formation. Ren Feng secretly said in his heart. Afterward, Ren Feng's figure steeply appeared outside the mansion. At this moment, Mao Kai, Hitomi, and Feng Linger did not know what they were talking about. After seeing Ren Feng, they hurriedly gathered to Ren Feng's side. Ren Feng asked in a faint voice, what are you guys talking about? Senior, we're talking about the matter regarding the great tribulation of heaven and earth. Fonglinger softly said, just now, Hitomi said that ever since the blood moon came out, she felt that her body was strange. The speaker had no intention of saying it, but the listener had the intention of hearing it. Ron Fong immediately frowned when he heard this. 
today's Hitomi, combined with the Borer Monument. Although her strength was the weakest among them. But in terms of potential, I'm afraid that Mao Kai and Fonglinger would have to step aside. The Lacewing Monument was the most coveted treasure among those ghost cultivators. Previously, when the black and white irregulars passed by, they all had the idea of taking it for themselves. If not for the fact that they hold important positions in hell, they are concerned about face. I'm afraid that they would have already made a direct move to snatch it. But now. Hitomi, who was sheltered by the Borer Monument, had actually developed an abnormality because of the blood moon? Ren Feng's heart sank and he looked up. Because it was not long into the night, the blood moon in the sky had only just risen. However, the scarlet color above the blood moon was like a flood that had broken the dike and vented out. As far as the eye could see, the mountains, rivers, and earth were all coated with a layer of scarlet moonlight. Now even though the blood moon has just emerged. However, the effects brought to the earth are on the verge of catching up with the effects of the late nights of the previous days. Ren Feng secretly said in his heart. However, in a whirlwind, Ren Feng stopped thinking about the blood moon. The thing to do now was to lay down the formation and see the effects in the meantime. Hitomi, Maokai, come over here. Ren Feng glanced at the terrain of the mountain and then looked at the seven stars of the Big Dipper in the sky. The seven stars refining God, as a whole, was arranged according to the seven stars of the Big Dipper. The seven stars of the Big Dipper were strung together, and at first glance, it looked like a leaky spoon. If the formation was listed, the seven great formations would fall into place. Even a true deity could be indulged in the seven star refinement and be refined alive into a divine stem. The materials used to set up the corpse raising formation before, Ren Feng had already recovered all of them. But even so, together with the strange stones offered by Makai during the day, the formation materials were not enough. But the good thing was, Ren Feng's understanding of the seven star god refining had now reached the grand completion level. If the materials were not enough, strength would come to the rescue. Together with these formation materials, the formation could already be initially operated. Ren Feng glanced at the Big Dipper in the sky and recited words in his mouth. Mao Kai, Southwest Koen position. Hitomi, Northwest Burgundy position. Saying this, Ren Feng pointed at Mao Kai and Hitomi, pointing in the air. In a split second, Mao Kai and Hitomi suddenly felt as if their bodies were out of control, they suddenly floated, and then after floating in the air for a while, they landed in the position Ren Feng pointed to. After landing, formation materials appeared in Ren Feng's hands one after another. Ren Feng flexed his fingers and flicked them repeatedly. Da 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 da. Every single formation material was nailed in the corresponding position with precision. Just as Rin Feng's hand, the last odd stone was struck. Buzz. The sky astrolabe, the seven stars of the Big Dipper, shone brightly. The bright starlight even suppressed the scarlet color of the moonlight in this instant. The entire earth, under the illumination of the starlight turned into a crystal. A full three to five breaths passed. Only then was the crystal in the sky covered by the scarlet moonlight again. Subsequently, the two starlights slowly descended as if they had a sense, landing on Hitomi and Maokai's bodies. And this scene happened to be seen by the black and white irregulars who arrived. Surprisingly, the power of heaven and earth has been invoked. White impermanence looked at the starlight hanging down in the air like a pearl curtain in surprise. Above his naturally playful face, there was a strong look of shock. Invoking the power of heaven and earth, this was the means of an immortal. The one above, what kind of existence is it? Thinking about this, Ai Junyi's heart was secretly drumming. That great power has such means. Would he still look at city god, a small sesame official of the local government? However, before by impermanence could think more. The light of the Big Dipper once again flourished. Immediately, an unknown force slowly landed in the entire Ghost Head Mountain. And it covered black and white impermanence as well. And at this moment, the mountain. Hitomi, Makai, activate the Seven Star God Refining. Ren Feng softly drank. Hitomi and Maokai nodded solemnly. Having absorbed the power of the stars just now, the power in their bodies at this moment was simply as majestic as a river and a sea. 
Next, channeling this power into the formation. The Seven Star God refining was then officially activated. Hitomi and Maokai didn't dare to be slow, rushing to sit on their knees and recite the spell. One in, one wood. Two attributes of very different energy converge into a small arm thick colorful silk satin in their middle coil knot. Under the control of the two demonic ghosts Dharma decree, the two energies were channeled into the ground. Within the formation, even the air suddenly distorted under the scorching heat of the two majestic energies. Run Fong first placed a layer of defense on his mansion and Fonglinger. The entire person then removed the defense and entered the center of the grand formation. Activate the formation now and attack without discrimination. I'd like to see just how powerful this so-called seven-star god refining is. Ren Feng stood in the air as waves of sound rolled out. The black and white irregulars who were covered by the formation. The black and white irregulars were all shocked in their hearts. I Nima. An indiscriminate attack? How come it was this kind of treatment right off the bat? Before they could speak. A majestic aura enveloped the entire mountain. Activating their gong methods to resist. The black and white irregulars looked at each other. Although they didn't open their mouths to speak, after so many years of sharing the same mind, they understood each other's intentions at the first moment. Monstrous ghost chi suddenly came out majestically from the black and white irregulars. A gloomy wind coiled under their feet, and the overpowering ghastly wind directly split the stones on the ground hard into small pieces. The monstrous ghost chi directly wrapped them in layers. The two major ghost messengers waved their wailing rods in unison in their hands, drawing one bizarre pattern after another in the air. Immediately, the roiling ghost chi concentrated and assembled. A giant ghost shadow that was more than ten feet tall, with two horns on its head, holding a large shield and a wolf tooth stick, crossed in front of them. It seemed to have sensed the danger around them. The giant ghost shadow roared angrily, and the wolf tooth club struck the large shield fiercely, emitting an ear-piercing golden sound. A dark halo emerged from this golden sound. In an instant, these black halos enveloped the small world where the black and white irregulars were. Attacks came one after another. A streak of star power, accompanied by a blazing aura, swept towards the black and white impermanence. It was also filled with two attributes, one in and one wood. This was naturally Hitomi and Mao Kai's means. Ka Ching. A toothsome sound rang out. The star power of the two attributes collided on the giant ghost's large shield. The strong force directly shook the giant ghost back a few steps before it managed to stabilize itself. But even so, the large shield in the giant ghost's hand, under the pressure of the star power, also made an unbearable ringing sound. Not good. The defense is about to be broken. Black Impermanence exclaimed. Although the Yin Chi of the Earth was not as strong as that of Hell, the two of them were weakened to a certain extent. But even so, there were definitely not many people who could easily break their defense in the entire Yang world. But right now, the Great Shield was about to shatter. The black and white impermanence had to once again instill ghost power towards the giant ghost. Only then could they vaguely fight against the power of the stars. Now even if they wanted Renfong to stop, it was too late. Under the shroud of the giant shield, the sound had long been cut off. The black and white irregulars could only hope that Renfeng's test would end sooner. It's really lying down and getting shot. White impermanence sighed in his heart. However, it was fortunate that both of their ghosts were veteran Yin managers of the Hellmouth. Although their strength was weakened in the Yang world, but fortunately they had a strong ghost chi, so there shouldn't be much of a problem. Finally, a full half hour had passed. The attack of the star power suddenly receded. The black and white impermanent heart was relieved. The giant ghost shadow also burst apart in an instant, and after transforming into thick ghost chi, it merged back into the black and white impermanence's body. We'd better go forward as early as possible to explain the situation. Black impermanence said with palpitations. Any later, there might still be some kind of mothball attack that would befall them. At this moment, Renfong had already finished the formation test. In the case of his own personal test, Renfong had an understanding in his heart of the power of the grand formation. 
Currently, the Seven Star God Refining Formation, naturally, was still unable to harm him in the slightest. This could not be said to be because the Seven Star God Refining Formation was weak. It was simply because the difference between Hitomi and Maokai's strength and Rinfeng's was simply too great. Moreover, there were only two of the seven mountain protection formation generals at the moment. But even so, the power of the formation was still going to be at least ten times higher than the previous formation. If those demon kings came to attack now, I'm afraid that they wouldn't even have the chance to beg for mercy with Rinfeng before being directly blasted into slag by the energy of the formation. Not bad. When that golden armored corpse king comes, the power of the formation should be able to go up a notch. Ren Fong nodded in satisfaction. With this mountain protector formation, even if he was sometimes absent. If he encountered a strong enemy, he would not be reduced to the point where there was no one to defend the mountain. If the seven great formations would all come together. And if their strengths were all raised to a certain level. Even if they were to face the heaven and earth cataclysm, they would still be considered to have one more thing to rely on. It was at this time. The black, white, impermanence is visiting. I wonder if you can come out to meet me? The voice of the black, white, impermanent came out. H.M.? Black and white impermanence? Why did they suddenly come here? Ren Fong was puzzled in his heart. The last time the black and white irregulars visited. Ren Fong was in closed door cultivation, his divine sense had long been closed, and he did not realize that the two of them had come. For the visit of the black and white irregulars. Ren Fong was still slightly surprised in his heart. And at this time, the black and white irregulars were also a little confused when they saw the situation at the top of the mountain. It had only been less than three days, and the entire mountain looked drastically changed. The four-square matchbox from before had long since disappeared. In its place, was a mansion made of pure wood. The entire mansion was filled with elegance. Is this the same place? White impermanence said to black impermanence beside him with some bewilderment. Black impermanence was also confused. It was clearly a matchbox, how did it suddenly become so? How did it suddenly become so? Can't it be that it was the wrong place to go? But then black and white impermanence thought. The off-fire ghost king's cave was in the belly of the mountain. And the breath of the borer monument is also there. Then, there was only one possibility. That was that the buildings on this mountain had been knocked down and rebuilt. It was at this moment that an indifferent voice came from within the mansion. Since it's the two black and white masters, then come in and talk. The voice was naturally Rin Fang's. The black and white irregulars were considered managers in the hell. Their status was naturally not comparable to those mountain demon kings. It naturally had the qualifications to enter Rin Feng's mansion. Rin Feng dismissed Mao Kai and Hitomi and signaled for the black and white irregulars to enter. After receiving permission, black and white irregulars fixed their minds before walking into the courtyard. Inside the courtyard was a small three-story wooden building. Under the courtyard, a youth with a handsome face was sitting on top of a rattan chair. Next to him, stood a woman with an exquisite face, a pair of purple pupils that were glowing with divine splendor were sizing them up with interest. The youth sitting on top of the rattan chair was naturally Rin Fong. Two masters, looking for me but want to take me to hell as a guest? Ren Feng's voice sounded like a smile. How dare I not? White impermanence immediately put up a smiling face, I wonder what your name is. Ren Fong. So it's fellow Taoist Ren Fong. White impermanence's eyes darted around, and after a long while, he added, actually, we came because we have something to discuss with you, fellow Taoist. Oh? Ren Fong raised his eyebrows, what matter? White impermanence smiled and said, I don't know, would you be willing to join the post of city god of earth? When Ren Fong heard this, he immediately smiled without saying anything. At this time, he already understood what black and white impermanence was looking for him to do. He thought that the fire ghost king had run away, and there was no one to succeed the position of city god. This is why the hell temporarily thought of himself, want to let himself as. But then again. If the hell on the beginning to find Ren Fong, rather than away from the fire ghost king words, Ren Fong may consider consider. After all, 
there was also a benefit to becoming a city god. That was to quickly gain faith value. But now well. Hell spare tire? Run Feng was not willing to be. Run Feng's face remained unchanged. Regarding White Impermanence's request, Ren Feng neither agreed nor refused. The atmosphere was awkward for a while. Seeing that Ren Feng kept his mouth shut, the Black and White Impermanence was also too embarrassed to urge him, and could only wait awkwardly in place. However it was at this time. Master, Makai has something to ask for an audience. Outside the door, Mao Kai's voice rang out. Come in. After Rin Feng's permission, Mao Kai then entered the mansion. However, although the mansion courtyard was large, it couldn't accommodate Mao Kai's main body, so only that elm head, which was wobbly, floated in. Master, the small demons under my command have come to report, away from the fire. As soon as Mao Kai entered, he shouted with gusto as if inviting credit. Seeing the black and white irregulars next to him, Mao Kai blurted out his words and held them back. In his eyes, he looked at the black and white irregulars with a hidden vigilance. At the same time, outside the mansion, above Mao Kai's body, the divine light was vaguely flowing, already ready to attack. In his subconscious mind, Ren Feng had already made an enemy of hell by laying his hands on the departing flame ghost king. Even though he had been promoted to demon emperor, Makai knew. He was by no means a match for the black and white irregulars. However, Mao Kai was clear in his mind. The chance given by Rin Feng was like a rebirth for him. Even if he faced off with the black and white impermanent at this time, even if Mao Kai knew that he would not be able to defeat them, he would not hesitate to make a move. The black and white impermanents naturally didn't know what was going on in Mao Kai's mind. They were just thinking, this elm brain, why does it look so familiar? It was at this moment that the white impermanence suddenly had a flash of light in front of his eyes. To black impermanence, he whispered and beeped, isn't this the demon king Peachtree spirit, and the previous city god candidate, Su Shallow Yun, is his twin sister. I see. Black impermanence suddenly realized. However, after a moment, the black and white masters rounded their eyes. This Peachtree spirit, it seems like a breakthrough? According to the information from the hell, the peach tree spirit's strength was clearly a primary demon king. How did a day go by and it became a demon emperor? Moreover, the aura on his body was even stronger than an ordinary demon emperor. Can't it be that this peach tree spirit has eaten some kind of immortal elixir? The two irregulars secretly thought in their hearts. However, right at this moment, the two irregulars' faces changed in unison. They suddenly thought. Among the two breaths of theirs that attacked just now, there was a breath that was extremely similar to this tree spirit in front of them. And the hallowed demon emperor even addressed Rin Fong as his master? Thinking of this black and white impermanent looked at each other, both saw the thick color of shock in each other's eyes. Even they, who had been the Ying messengers in hell for an unknown number of years. There were only a dozen or so ghost king level subordinates. There wasn't even one at the ghost emperor level. They knew that Ren Feng had established himself in Ghost Head Mountain. It had only been a few days. The black and white impermanence suddenly felt that this long years, they had lived to the dogs. And there was another thing that made them think even more carefully. The peach tree spirit had been promoted by a large class overnight. Could it also be Ren Feng's handiwork? Thinking of this possibility, the black and white irregulars' hearts were even more shocked. This means, they definitely did not have. This Rin Fong, unfathomable. Whether it was the black impermanence or the white impermanence, the same thought bubbled up in their hearts. When looking at Rin Fong, even black impermanence, who always had a foul face, warmed up. This great avatar, must be pulled into the forces of hell. When the time comes, not only will you be able to do a marvelous job, but you will also be able to add a great help to the earth's government. In his heart, the black and white impermanence was thinking like this. The eyes that looked at Rin Fong also gradually became hot. That place in hell, the Yin Chi is too heavy. These two guys, they wouldn't have that kind of fetish, right? In Rin Feng's mind, he was thinking like this. Originally, the dress of the black and white irregulars was quite chic to look at. 
After being stared at so directly by them, Rin Feng was even more uncomfortable, secretly doubting whether these two mythical characters were old glass that had lived for tens of thousands of years. Fellow Daoist Rin Feng, this city god matter. No way. Before White Impermanence could finish his words, he was interrupted by Rin Feng. Ren Feng's such a fierce reaction really startled by Jun Yi. Could it be that he has offended this master in front of him? White Impermanence was puzzled in his mind. Ever since he came to Ghost Head Mountain, he had treated Rin Feng with courtesy. Even Black Impermanence, who usually always had a black face, did the same. But why did Rin Feng react like this? It didn't make sense. White Impermanence was a bit puzzled. However, thinking about the mission of the Hell, White Impermanence's face was still piled with smiles, fellow Daoist Rin Feng, you reconsider, the official position of city god is a bit low for you, but you can cut down quite a lot of merit value ah, whether it's for the cultivation or heavenly tribulation, it will be of great help. Merit value? What do I need merit value for? Ren Feng shook his head slightly. He was a drought demon, and heaven and earth were not allowed to do so. Even if his merit value was comparable to the three emperors and five emperors, once he was crusaded by the rules of heaven and earth, it would be the same result. The only thing that really made Ren Feng care was the faith value. And becoming a city god was indeed a good way to harvest faith value. Thinking of this, Ren Feng blandly said to the black and white irregulars, I will consider this matter, so please come back tomorrow. This black and white impermanence's face stiffened. But seeing that Ren Feng's mind was made up, there was nothing they could do. The black and white irregulars had no choice but to get up and ask for Ren Feng's resignation. In that case, fellow Daoist Ren Feng, we will come back tomorrow to intrude. Right. At this very moment, White Impermanence seemed to have thought of something and said to Ren Feng, fellow Daoist Ren Feng, there will be a big change at midnight this night, so you must be careful. After saying that, White Impermanence gave a wink to Black Impermanence. Immediately, he and Ren Feng marched their hands and took their leave. In their opinion, the reason why Ren Feng refused today was because they came too hastily. As the saying goes, a ghost with many gifts is not to be blamed. When they visited again tomorrow with thick gifts, they believed that Ren Feng would definitely not refuse. After the black and white irregulars left, Ren Feng sat on the rattan chair, pondering. Feng Linger on the side saw this and gritted her teeth as she stepped forward and said, Is senior thinking about the matter of the city god? Ren Feng gently nodded. Although he had never seen a city god. However, in the myths and legends of his previous life, he had also heard many legends about city gods. The criteria for choosing a city god was a loyal warrior who died a martyr's death, or an upright and intelligent historical figure. Before, the Hellmouth even sent the ghost king of departing fire to be the city god. Now that leaving fire has run away, he has come to me again, completely disregarding my identity. It seems that nowadays, there really is no one available in the earthly palace. Or perhaps. They know something about this heaven and earth cataclysm. But this might be an opportunity for me. Ren Feng's knuckles gently tapped on the desktop as he thoughtfully said. To speak of the Hellmouth. Its true power, even the heavenly court did not dare to underestimate it. Not to mention the earth store bodhisattva who had a Buddhist background. Tianxi Rin Shang, Feng Du Da Di, the Five Square Ghost Emperors, Luo Feng Six Days, Ten Temples of Yama. These, all of them, are the mainstays of the Hell. Needless to say, their tactics are by no means comparable to those of mortal sex. Even the Special Powers Bureau, I'm afraid it's a thousand miles away. If not in the way of the rules of heaven and earth. If it wasn't for the rules of heaven and earth, the great powers of Hell couldn't descend on earth. I'm afraid that in this world, there is no such thing as those sects and special energy bureau. But even the hell. Now also surprisingly reduced to the situation that no one can use? This time, the heaven and earth cataclysm might really be able to threaten one's own safety. Thinking of this, Ren Feng's heart sank. Into the night. What Shimian had said did not happen. However, Ren Feng was not optimistic at all about the current situation. Although nothing had happened. But under the light of the blood moon, the Yin Chi of heaven and earth was nearly dense to the point of no return. Even this side of the heaven and earth was uneasy. 
Feng Linger saw that Ren Feng was still pondering. She was also dryly anxious on the side. She had wanted to share Ren Feng's worries, but now it seemed that her own strength could not help at all. However, looking at Ren Feng, he seemed to be holding a grudge against the city god. Could it be that Ren Feng valued the position of city god? Senior, Linger hasn't accomplished an inch since entering the mountain. If Senior is willing, Linger is willing to share Senior's worries. Feng Linger said softly to Ren Feng. Ren Feng's eyes lit up when he heard this. The reason why he did not take up the position of city god was because of the attitude problem of the black and white irregulars. Another reason was that Ren Feng was worried that after he took up the position of city god, he wouldn't have any extra time to deal with the great tribulation of heaven and earth. It so happened that before, Ren Feng had seen a magic weapon in the faith value mall. This magic weapon only had one function. That was to transfer the power of faith. Perhaps having Feng Linger serve as the city god was a solution. People and ghosts had different paths, plus Ren Feng had secretly defined black and white irregulars as old glass. Feng Linger's personal safety was guaranteed. And while Feng Linger was absorbing the power of faith, he himself could still spare some time to make some more preparations for the great tribulation of heaven and earth. But right now, there was another problem. Ren Feng frowned and looked at Feng Linger. Feng Linger's performance had been commendable since she entered the mountain. The only drawback was that her strength was too weak. With this level of strength, she would serve as a city god? I'm afraid that she wouldn't be able to serve for more than a few days before she would be torn to pieces by those evil cultivators or severe ghosts. Ren Feng's mind was racing. A moment later, Ren Feng's face straightened and he looked at Feng Linger. Hand, give it to me. Ren Feng said softly. Feng Linger's complexion froze, her face slightly red. After hesitating for a moment, seeing that there was already a slight color of impatience in Ren Feng's brows, Feng Linger hurriedly handed out her palm carefully. Ron Feng received Feng Linger's soft and boneless palm. Regardless of Feng Linger's blushing face, he slowly closed his eyes. A wave of divine thoughts, following Feng Linger's hand, entered her tendons and veins. A moment later, Ren Feng opened his eyes. There was a hint of surprise in his eyes. I didn't expect that this girl child would be a divine spiritual root. Ren Feng was secretly surprised in his heart. From what he had sensed just now, Feng Linger was already considered a supreme genius in the world. Not only was she carrying a divine grade spiritual root. Even Ren Feng was somewhat unable to see through that pair of violet pupils alone. When he had just probed Feng Linger's physical condition, Ren Feng had a feeling in his heart. If one day, Feng Linger's violet pupils could be completely awakened. It would most likely become the strongest existence in the entire Ghost Head Mountain besides himself. Talent, fair. Run Feng murmured softly in his mouth. Spiritual roots were the foundation of immortal cultivation. Although Ren Feng did not know how to cultivate immortality, but in the system, there were quite a few immortals techniques and secret books, treasures and spirit pills for sale. If Feng Linger could do a good job as this city god. The amount of faith power that would be exchanged for such a small investment in the early stages would definitely be astronomical. Are you willing to become my apprentice disciple? Thinking of this, Ren Feng said indifferently. When Feng Linger heard this, she was first slightly stunned. Then, there was a buzzing sound in her mind, and she instantly froze in place. Senior. Wants to accept me as a disciple? Feng Linger froze for a full half a moment before she came back to her senses. Run Feng nodded his head blandly. After reconfirming, Feng Linger was so filled with excitement that even her body was trembling slightly. For her, it was undoubtedly a dream. It seemed that her conscientiousness all these days had not been in vain. Feng Linger was so excited that even her breathing became rapid. Although it was a trainee disciple. But for Feng Linger, it was considered a great gift. Linger has met Master. With a fluttering sound, Feng Linger bowed to Rin Feng. Linger will definitely redouble her efforts in the future to repay Master for his teaching. Feng Linger's tone was filled with determination. After saying these words, Feng Linger kowtowed to Rin Feng. If it wasn't for Rin Feng raising his hand and stopping Feng Linger with a soft force, 
I'm afraid that this girl would have to kowtow until the end of time and her brain would explode. All right, get up. You are also considered to be the first disciple of the master. Ren Feng said with an indifferent expression. Feng Linger nodded her head like a chicken pecking at rice, her pretty face filled with excitement. After spending so many days together, she still couldn't see through Ren Feng. Every time Ren Feng made a move, it made Feng Linger feel her brain buzzing. Miracle after miracle that was completely impossible in her eyes happened one after another. It is Linger's blessing to be able to worship under senior. Feng Linger said with an excited expression. Ren Feng nodded his head indifferently and said, Next, Master has one thing that he needs you to do. Master please say, Disciple will definitely go through fire and water. Feng Linger looked respectful and said, I need you to serve as the city god for me. Ren Feng opened the faith mall as he spoke, but while serving as city god, I need you to do one thing for me. What thing? A flash of color flashed in Feng Linger's eyes. Sure enough. Master was worrying about the city god matter. It would naturally be best if she could help Master share her worries. Thinking of this, Feng Linger secretly clenched her fists. No matter what Rin Feng needed her to do, she would find a way to do it. Immediately afterward, Rin Feng brought out a jade gourd. What Master wants you to do? It is to take this jade gourd and just hang it in front of the city god statue. Ren Feng handed it over to Feng Linger. Clam? Just this? Feng Linger was slightly stunned, not understanding what kind of medicine this master of hers was selling in his gourd. In fact, for her, the little merit value of being a city god was dispensable. With her divine spiritual root, a mere heavenly tribulation? Naturally, it doesn't matter. Only after Fonglinger became an immortal would she truly know how to use the power of faith. Before that, the power of faith she had gained would have gone in vain. But having this jade gourd was different. The power of faith in the jade gourd could be directly transferred to Rinfong. But before that, what Rinfong needed to do was to raise Fonglinger's strength. Thinking of this, since you've joined my sect, you can't be too shabby. Although your talent is still good, but this strength, it's too weak. Ren Feng said with a light laugh. Since now, Feng Linger had already worshipped under him. First of all, regardless of the teacher-disciple bond, even for the sake of future development, Ren Feng would not be stingy with Feng Linger Ren Feng. Ren Feng raised his hand and gently waved it. The open doors and windows of the room were instantly closed by a soft force. Disciple come here. Master will show you a treasure. Treasure? Could it be that Master wants to bestow me with a gift? Feng Linger secretly said in her heart. For her, being able to worship under Rin Feng was already a great fortune. Master worship gifts and whatnot, she even dared not even think about it. However, right now, Rin Feng's behavior caused Feng Linger to fail to control her emotions and directly cry out. At the time of her birth, Fengmen village had been exterminated. The only thing left in the entire Fengmen village was her mother. Unfortunately, the good times didn't last long. Within a few years, her mother was also infected with a vicious disease. She passed away not long after. It was only at the time of her death that her mother told her about the feud of Fengmen village, and at the same time, she also gave her a copy of the Fengmen village's fragmented technique, which had long since been half burned by the fire. Fonglinger did not know that she had the gift of a divine spiritual root. Fonglinger relied on half of the gongfu to cultivate, and with her superior talent she succeeded in building a foundation on her own, and hardened herself into the ranks of casual cultivators. So many years passed. The days of being alone and competing with beasts for food were still vivid in her mind. What she didn't expect was that her master would treat her so well. Fonglinger was touched in her heart. When she looked at Ren Feng again, a touch of strange feeling suddenly arose in her heart. At this moment, Ren Feng was browsing the system mall in his mind. System, help Feng Linger screen, the most suitable technique and magic weapon for her today. Ding! Screening complete. After the mall interface was refreshed, all the gong methods suitable for Feng Linger were neatly listed out by the system. Feng Linger's strength was only at the foundation stage now. 
The techniques and magic weapons she needed were simply at a cabbage price. Soon Renfeng chose the right merit law and magic weapon for Fonglinger. Renfeng reached out and made a move. A sword with a blood-red body and a technique appeared in Renfeng's hand. These two items added up to less than 500 faith value. Renfeng scrutinized the blood-red sword in his hand and flexed his fingers. Buzz. The sword in his hand suddenly resounded with the sound of a sword roar. At the same time, the sound of a ferocious beast faintly whistled out. Above the body of the sword, a scale was encrusted. A ferocious beast's aura was faintly revealed above the entire scale. Not bad, it's considered a treasure weapon. It's enough for the current linger. Renfone cupped the blood sword in his hand and nodded in satisfaction. Immediately, he remembered that this sword, surprisingly, was recorded in his previous life. The fire forest flame on top of the southern forest, the northern drinking mad sword snow drinking cold. Although the fire lin sword is an evil sword, but with Linger's skill, she should be able to easily manage it. Run Fong secretly said in his heart. The fire lin sword, although it was born in a middle martial world. However, in that world, it was a treasure that could be ranked in the top 10. It was already considered a qualified treasure weapon. Even the court children of those sects were not qualified to obtain a treasure weapon at the foundation establishment stage. For Fonglinger, it was absolutely sufficient until she advanced to the Jean Dan realm. However, right at this moment. Roar. In the sword, a roar came from it. Possibly affected by the baleful aura on Ren Feng's body, the entire sword body stirred uneasily. Hmm. Ren Feng frowned. He could feel that within the scales, there seemed to be a touch of the remnant soul of a ferocious beast. Fire Chilin? No wonder. Ren Feng said in his heart, and immediately, his body's aura emanated around him, exerting pressure towards the fire forest sword's body. Roar. Sensing the hostile intent around him, the remnant soul of the fire Chilin was even more restless and agitated. So that's how it is. Apprentice, you really picked up a great bargain. Ren Feng glanced at the dumbfounded Feng Linger and laughed lightly. No wonder in that world, every holder of the fire Chilin sword ended up becoming demonic under the influence of this evil sword, and none of them had a good end. It turned out that it was this fire Chilin that was the culprit. In that middle martial world, even the best of the best could not do anything about the remnants of this beast. But that didn't mean that Ren Feng couldn't do it. Soon, under Ren Feng's overwhelming suppression, the residual soul in the sword gradually stabilized. Then the entire fire forest sword steeply emitted a sword sound. A scorching sword intent spread out from Ghost Head Mountain in all directions. The sword accidentally released. Surprisingly. Surprisingly, it's a spirit weapon. Foam Linger's tiny mouth opened wide enough to stuff an egg into it. A treasure weapon was enough to make her dream. Unexpectedly, after Master subdued the remnant soul of the ferocious beast inside, he had directly made the fire forest sword rise a level. One must know that above a spirit weapon was an immortal weapon. Only immortals could use them. A spirit weapon was enough to make those deep-rooted clans grab their heads. Even Mao Kai, who was outside the house, sensed the aura of a spirit weapon and stood up with a surprised face. My god, it's actually a spirit weapon. What is Master doing here again? Maokai's elm head was filled with shocked colors. But fortunately, after following Rin Fong, he had seen too many unbelievable things and had long since developed a big heart. After a short period of shock, Maokai returned to normal and guarded Rin Feng's mansion with peace of mind. This sword will be yours from today. After your strength improves, Master will replace it for you. Ren Feng casually threw the fire forest sword to Feng Linger, full of care. Feng Linger. For me? Feng Linger was completely dumbfounded. This was a spiritual weapon. She had given up earlier after seeing that the sword turned out to be a spirit weapon. In Feng Linger's opinion, a spirit weapon was already considered a worldly treasure, and Ren Feng should not have given it to himself as a trainee disciple. But he didn't expect that he would really give it to himself? Moreover, it could be exchanged later? If he exchanged it again, then wouldn't it be any mortal weapon? 
The clueless triad kept circling around in Fonlinger's mind, and Fonlinger's breathing became more and more rapid, clearly having been excited to the extreme. Seeing Fonlinger's dumbfounded appearance, Ren Fong laughed lightly, What? If you don't want it, I'll give it to Mao Kai. I want it, I want it. Upon hearing this, Fonlinger came back to her senses. Trembling, she stretched out her hands to receive the fire forest sword, her face flushed with excitement. This is the burning amazing sword determination, with your enlightenment you can definitely cultivate it on your own. After combining it with the fire forest sword, the power is even multiplied by several times, take it and cultivate it. Ren Feng again gifted the gongfu in his hand to Feng Linger. Feng Linger hurriedly took it with joy, Master, I'll go cultivate it now. After saying that, Feng Linger, whose brain was still buzzing, trembled and left the room. The hallowed foundation establishment stage, surprisingly, did not let the threshold trip over. Outside the door. Feng Linger left the door in a daze. Casually finding a quiet place, she sat on her knees and cultivated the burning amazing sword determination. Mao Kai's elfin brain then curiously came up. Sure enough, it's a spirit weapon. After seeing the fire forest sword in Foam Linger's hand, Mao Kai's eyes lit up. It was at this moment. Foam Linger realized that the speed at which she cultivated the burning amazing sword determination could simply be described as divine. This was certainly the handiwork of the Faith Mall. Although it wasn't like Rin Foam, who could directly cultivate to the Great Circle after purchasing it. But Feng Linger's cultivation progress was sufficiently more than a hundred times faster than before. It took less than an incense stick of time. The aura on Feng Linger's body was several times stronger. Buzz. The fire forest sword suddenly resounded with a sword roar. A hidden flame emerged from Feng Linger's body. Good skill, ah, good skill. Mao Kai's eyes were wide open. At this moment, Feng Linger had already stood up, holding the fire lin, her purple pupils filled with solemnity. Shu. Hu. The fire forest sword in Feng Linger's hand danced. Along with the sword dance, a pure flame spread out in all directions. At first glance, it looked like a crimson flame flying in the air. Some of the large green stones that were attached by the flames were turned into magma in just a moment. Bullish ah bullish. Mao Kai exclaimed. Feng Linger's strike just now had been one tenth as powerful as his. An hour ago, Feng Linger was still a foundation establishment stage casual cultivator ah. How could the progress be so fast? However at this moment. Wow. Your head is on fire. Hitomi arrived just in time and pointed at Mao Kai and exclaimed. It's burning wonderfully ah burning. Mao Kai was about to make his daily exclamation when he steeply felt his elm head grow hotter and hotter. Then instantly rounded his eyes. It seems like. Was himself being burned. Mao Kai felt the burning heat on his head before he reacted. Just now, Feng Linger was practicing. It seemed like he had accidentally burned himself. Mao Kai was immediately like an ant on a hot pan as he hurriedly cast his divine ability, preparing to put out the fire. On the thick tree trunk, a moist breath surged out. A moment later, a clear stream of water flowed down from the trunk and poured over Maokai's elmwood head. Snort. Hot and cold collided, and a thick mist of water rose on Maokai's head. However, before Maokai could breathe a sigh of relief. Boom. The flames that had just been extinguished, burned once again. What a difficult flame. Within this flame, there is even a trace of the power of a ferocious beast. Mao Kai was stunned in his heart. If it was a mortal flame, that one just now would have long been extinguished. Looking at Mao Kai again. The fire on his head was running higher and higher. If Rin Fong was outside the mansion, he would definitely see it. The current shape on Mao Kai's head resembled the previous life's M78 Nebula's Inferno head Captain Zofi Aubergine. Scatter for me. On Makai's torso, demonic energy bulged out. The life breath reappeared, and these small green particles converged together, eventually forming a turquoise water droplet. Within the water droplet, the life breath was nearly dense to the point of substance. In a hurry, Maokai controlled the moisture that these life breaths had condensed into and poured it on his head. 
Only then was the flame on his head successfully extinguished. Phew! So close, so close, almost really became firewood. The arm condensed from the dense tree branches touched his elm head heartily. His own reputation in this life was not ruined in his master's hands. But it was almost ruined in Fonglinger's hands. At this time, Mao Kai already knew that Fonglinger had become Ren Feng's only disciple, so he naturally didn't dare to say anything more. However, this did not prevent Mao Kai from being impressed with Fonglinger. An hour ago, she had walked into the house. At that time, she was indeed a solid foundation establishment stage cultivator. But in just a short while, it had become so strong? Just now, Makai clearly felt that the flames carried the tyrannical aura of a ferocious beast. A true ferocious beast is many times more powerful than an ordinary demon king. It was fortunate that Makai had already been promoted to demon emperor and had awakened his life ability. Otherwise, the flames from just now would not have been easy to extinguish. Mao Kai retreated to the side and silently observed Fonglinger. It's not just the spirit weapon. In just such a short while, her progress is nothing short of miraculous. A brilliant light flashed in Mao Kai's eyes. Master is truly generous, casually striking out with a spirit weapon. In the future, I will definitely serve Master well. Maybe when Master is happy, he'll grant me a spirit weapon as well, then I'll be able to stand up. With a spiritual weapon, I, Mao Kai, will definitely be the number one demon amongst the demon emperors. Mao Kai thought beautifully in his heart. With his eyesight, he could naturally see that the reddish sword in Fonglinger's hand was by no means an ordinary magic weapon. But even so, if Fonglinger's own strength did not reach a certain level, then she wouldn't be able to catalyze such a heavy treasure. Seeing Fonglinger still in a state of cultivation. Mao Kai didn't dare to slow down either, and while keeping the seven-star god refining formation running, Mao Kai also rooted himself to cultivate. However, the location where he rooted himself was invisibly much farther away from Fonglinger. He didn't want to be lit on fire once again when he was cultivating. Dusk. The sun set in the west and the blood moon rose in the east. A small group of people slowly marched towards Ghost Head Mountain where Rin Fong was. At the forefront were the two black and white masters. A group of people with red lips and white teeth, faces smeared with blush, and dressed in birthday suits, carried one wooden box right behind them. If one looked closely, each of these people had no shadow. All of them were hellish brats. Old Black urged them to hurry up. White Impermanence urged Black Impermanence behind him. Black Impermanence had a dark face and raised the wailing rod in his hand. Immediately, those hellish brats were fearful, and their speed was much faster. I really didn't expect that nothing happened last night. It seems that there are times when Shimmy is unable to listen. Black Impermanence thought of White Impermanence's admonition to Rinfoam yesterday and said with some concern, Do you think the Taoist Rinfoam will get angry? After all, we're kind of giving him false information. Before leaving last night, White Impermanence told Rin Fong to make early preparations, that something big would happen tonight. But this whole day had passed and nothing happened. Now that they were begging Rin Fong, they were naturally afraid that Rin Fong would be displeased because of this matter. Hey, to be honest old black. I wish that something would have happened last night. Imagine, since endless years, which time has Shimeji been out of alignment? White Impermanence sighed heavily as he walked away. It just so happens that this time, the words are not prophetic. When Black Impermanence heard this, his heart sank. White Impermanence's words were not without reason. Ever since Earth Store King Bodhisattva moved into the earthly mansion, Shimmy had been sitting and lying at Earth Store King Bodhisattva's feet. Over the years, every single one of Shimeji's words had come true. Only this time, on the other hand, did it not come true. Such a situation could only prove one thing. In front of the great tribulation of heaven and earth, even Shimeji, who knew the past and the future, was unable to do anything. That kind of unknown powerlessness has been hovering in the heart of black and white impermanence. It could not be dispersed for a long time. Forget it, let's just go find Daoist Rin Fong first. Perhaps from fellow Daoist Rin Fong, we can inquire about some news. White impermanence said softly. He then raised his head and glanced at the blood moon in the sky. For some reason, today's blood moon always gave him a feeling of uneasiness. 
Half an hour later, Rin Feng's residence. Fellow Daoist Rin Feng, here we are again. This is a little token of appreciation, please smile. White Impermanence had a smiling face and said to Rin Feng with a smirk. Rin Feng raised his eyelids. Behind White Impermanence, there were a full six hellish brats, each two of them carrying a one cubic meter sized wooden box. Each box was painted with gold lacquer, looking forced. It seems that the hell, the lack of people has reached a very serious point. Ren Feng did not move on the surface, but in his heart, he secretly said. Ren Feng was clear in his heart. With the status of the black and white irregulars, if it wasn't for the matter of the city god, there was no need to be like this to himself. Thinking of this, Ren Feng said in a faint voice, I'm sorry Master White, I'm still not very interested in the matter of becoming a city god. Upon hearing this, a flash of disappointment flashed across White Impermanence's pale face. It seemed that it wasn't that they were not being courteous. Rather, Rin Feng really had no intention of taking up the position of city god. A flash of flesh pain flashed across White Impermanence's face. The things in those three boxes, although not considered to be any supreme treasures. But they were also worth a lot. Even though Rin Feng refused to become a city god. But with his status position, white impermanence, there was no reason to take back what had been given away. White impermanence pondered for a moment. Then with an awkward smile, he feigned generosity and said, People have their own aspirations, but I'm sorry to trouble you, fellow Taoist Rin Feng, to accept these things, as a right to make friends with the two of us brothers. Rin Feng didn't push back and gently waved his hand at Mao Kai who was standing guard at the entrance. Underneath the boxes, several small saplings suddenly grew holding up the three boxes and placing them in the mansion's warehouse. The black and white irregulars were about to get up and take their leave. The two of you don't rush first. Although Ren is unwilling to take up the position of city god, in Ren's case, there is another candidate. Ren Feng's faintly smiling voice came out. The black and white irregulars' feet lurched and subconsciously looked at Mao Kai. Can't it be that Ren Feng intends to make Mao Kai the city god? The white impermanence secretly pondered in his mind. Although Mao Kai was not a ghost race, his cultivation was considered outstanding amongst the demon emperors. Becoming a city god would naturally be a trivial matter. Thinking of this, white impermanence secretly breathed a sigh of relief in his heart. This city god candidate is finally finalized. However, at this moment. Linger, come in. Ren Feng said in a loud voice. Outside the door, Feng Linger entered in style, a pair of eyes secretly sizing up black and white impermanence. Are these the two old glasses that Master spoke of? No wonder Master is unwilling to serve as. Feng Linger's heart shattered. Fortunately, she was a daughter. Otherwise, even if she went through fire for Master, she would have to be careful in the future. The black and white impermanence was slightly stunned. Immediately, the white impermanence laughed slightly awkwardly, fellow Daoist Rin Feng, what you're talking about, it wouldn't be this little girl, would it? Precisely. Rin Feng nodded his head. This. A flash of difficulty flashed across white impermanence's face. In their eyes, the ghost race was the best candidate to serve as city god. It was a pity that there was a shortage of manpower in the hell nowadays. A city god was similar to a magistrate in the human world, and the ascending dragon empire was 10,000 miles in circumference, and the number of city gods needed was even more countless. And in the past, all the city gods were some of the respected people who had already died. Only after such a person becomes a ghost, can truly serve the people. But nowadays, the hell really can't do anything about it. The fire ghost king was an evil ghost who had done all the evil things before. Even so, the hell can only be hard to let the fire as. But now, God knows where the ghost king of fire has run away to. Finding other races to serve as, that is also no way out. But this woman. White impermanence shook his head imperceptibly. The last time he came, he could tell that this woman only had the strength of the foundation establishment stage. The duty of the city god, to eliminate harm for the people. The main targets were those severe ghosts that did evil on earth, or evil cultivators. A mere city god of the foundation stage? Not only is his own safety not guaranteed. Moreover, if those evil spirits know that there is no one available in the hell, 
sending a foundation stage cultivator to be the city god, I am afraid that they will laugh their asses off. White impermanence slightly difficult to push back, Renfong friend do not know, even if the cultivator is the city god, also need to have at least Jean Dan realm strength, but in front of this woman. Speaking here, Bai Wui stopped his mouth. Although he did not say it explicitly, the meaning was expressed clearly. That is, the Fong linger in front of her is not strong enough to serve. As for black impermanence, his speech was much more direct, I won't hide it from fellow Daoist Rin Fong, this woman's current strength is not worthy of the position of city god. He he, is that so? Ren Fong gently laughed and waved his hand. Inside the house, a layer of defense was immediately shrouded. Linger, let Master Hei see your strength. Fong Linger sniffed, and a brilliant aura flashed in her violet pupil. Choke. The fire forest sword suddenly came out of its sheath, a scorching sword intent that instantly caused the temperature within the entire house to rise sharply. The leisurely sword sound was even faintly accompanied by the roar of the fire chilin. Spiritual weapon. White Impermanence's smiling eyes instantly stumped as he looked at Fonglinger in surprise. Although he was a ghost cultivator, his knowledge was much broader. Naturally, he could tell at a glance that the blood-red sword in Fonglinger's hand was a true spirit weapon. At this moment, Black Impermanence also looked shocked and didn't react. Burning Amazing Sword Technique Fiery Blazing Sun Fonglinger steeply shouted delicately and slashed three swords across the air. In a flash, three hot flames erupted from the Fire Lin Sword. While attacking towards Black Impermanence, the three flames unexpectedly slowly fused together. Roar A ferocious beast's roar came out from within the fire. In an instant, a fire unicorn with flames all over its body attacked Black Impermanence with a breaking force. Good means. Essence flashed continuously in Black Impermanence's eyes. As a veteran underworlder of hell, no one had dared to make a move against him for many years. After seeing this scene, Black Impermanence's heart, which had long been dormant, actually felt a few moments of burning heat. Wow! Black Impermanence raised his right hand. The iron rope used to detain souls impacted on the fire chilin without any frills. Boom! There was an explosive sound. The originally majestic fire chilin was directly jerked apart by the soul detaining chains. After letting out an unwilling roar, it turned into scattered flames and dissipated into the air. At first glance, it was black impermanence that had the upper hand. However, black impermanence's face was slightly ugly. That attack just now, was it really something a foundation stage cultivator could send out? Even if he was carrying a spiritual weapon, it was never possible. Thinking of this, Black Impermanence released a ghostly chi to probe Fong Linger's situation without leaving any traces. However, not probing was fine. Once probed, Black Impermanence's face, which was originally white, suddenly changed wildly. Jean. Jean Dan Realm. It's only been a day but the cultivation refinement is so rapid. Between the foundation establishment realm and the Jindan realm, there was a difference of two realms. A Jindan realm cultivator was an existence that could completely rival a demon king. But this violet-pupiled woman in front of her, in just one night of unseen effort, had crossed two levels one after the other. Black Impermanence stated. This was the first time he had seen this kind of cross-level advancement. Looking at the soul detaining chain in his hand again, Black Impermanence's eyes sank even further. His current strength was not yet cultivated to Ghost Immortal. Although he couldn't use immortal weapons, the strength of the soul detaining chain in his hand was not the least bit weaker than a human spirit weapon. But now, the soul detaining chain that had followed him for tens of thousands of years had been struck by a single blow that made a gap the size of a grain of rice? If this girl's cultivation is similar to mine, I'm afraid that with this strike, not only will I be seriously injured, even the soul custody chain will be destroyed with one strike. Black Impermanence's heart was horrified, as if it was turning into a monstrous wave. With such a means, let alone serving as a ninth grade city god. Even if she was given an eighth grade in Yang Gong Chao, that would be more than enough. White Impermanence, who was on the side, was also shocked beyond words at this time. Having partnered with Old Black for so many years, he naturally knew Black Impermanence's true strength. 
Never in a million years did he expect that this partner of his had suffered a small loss in front of a young girl. I don't know if my disciple's performance is satisfactory to the second master black and white. Ren Feng's smirking voice came from behind the black and white irregulars. This. Naturally satisfied. When Black Impermanence heard Rin Fang's almost flirtatious words, his already dark face darkened a few more points. Fong Linger was not worthy of the city god position. These words, but a minute ago, came out of his mouth unceremoniously. Now. Slap. Although no one slapped him. But Black Impermanence still felt a fiery pain on his face. In his heart, he felt so ashamed. He couldn't wait to directly find a crack in the ground. With her ability, she can naturally serve. Black Impermanence stammered and held his tongue for half a day before saying in a slightly embarrassed manner. Fong Linger's current strength alone had already reached the standard of a ninth grade city god. If the spirit weapon in her hand was also counted. Although Black Impermanence was unwilling to admit it. But he also knew in his heart that he was afraid that Fong Linger's strength was the strongest of all the city gods. Although, the strongest city god was a non-ghost cultivator. But at times like this, an increase in the power of the earth's government was ultimately a good thing. In that case, I'll change the warrant. White Impermanent smiled and stood up. The little ghost messengers behind him hurriedly handed over a warrant. White Impermanent narrowed his eyes and reached out to gently wave his hand over the warrant. The warrant that originally had Rin Feng's name written on it, after a burst of Yin Qi, the name changed to Fong Linger. Little friend Fong. No, Lord City God. All you need to do now is to sign and draw your signature, and you'll be the 362nd City God of our Hell's Green Mountain District. White Impermanence handed over the certificate of appointment, his tone full of intimacy. Fong Linger was able to progress so rapidly. Without even thinking about it, it must be Rin Feng's handiwork. Getting on good terms with Fong Linger meant getting on good terms with Rin Feng. Moreover, taking a step back. Even if we don't consider Rin Feng's side, making friends with Fong Linger alone would do no harm to the Hellmouth. With white impermanence's eyesight, he naturally saw at a glance. This little girl with purple pupils in front of him, I'm afraid that it won't be long before she will shine in the entire cultivation world as well as in the earthly mansion. Fong Linger nodded and took the warrant. Finally, I've helped Master do something useful. In the future, I will definitely continue to work hard and help share Master's worries. Fong Linger thought in her heart, her large eyes suddenly narrowed and curved into two crescent moons. The test was passed. She could officially become the city god of the 800 miles around Castle Peak. This also meant that she could do more things for Ren Fong in the future. The matter of city god was finally finalized. Both sides were happy. The black and white irregulars had a long talk with Rin Feng's master and disciple in the room. By the way, Fong Linger was told some of the do's and don'ts of being a city god. Unconsciously, the blood moon had risen to mid-air and the earth returned to silence. However, just at this moment, in the middle of the sky, the blood moon, which was already red and dripping blood, suddenly blurred. A bizarre red pillar of light condensed like substance and spilled onto the ground. Buzz. The moment the red column of light landed on the ground. A ripple suddenly rose above the earth. The ripples didn't seem to do any harm, but after landing on the ground, they rippled rapidly in all directions. Foamlinger and the black and white irregulars were originally still discussing some details. However it was at this moment. Hmm. Run Feng's face suddenly changed and he stood up abruptly. Subsequently, the black and white irregulars also stood up straight as if they had sensed something and looked outside the room. Fong Linger looked at the three people whose faces suddenly changed drastically and was a bit puzzled. Just now. Could it be what Shimmy said? Black Impermanence shook the soul detaining chain in his hand, his face wary. Eight or nine is not far from it. White Impermanence nodded, then looked at Rin Fong, fellow Daoist Rin Fong, you felt it too? White Impermanence's originally innate smiling face was no longer half smiling at this time, and was replaced by a thick color of gravity. Rin Fong also nodded his head somberly, not bad, it seems that one or more of the heaven and earth prohibitions have been collapsed. 
although the black and white impermanence had also sensed the abnormality. However, compared to Renfong, it was a hundred thousand miles away. Renfong was now an evil god, and his ability to perceive heaven and earth was much sharper. He could feel it. One of the many heaven and earth prohibitions had now been collapsed. Although there was still a trace of coupling. However, Renfong knew that he was afraid that it wouldn't take long before the entire prohibition would completely crumble away. Master, something big has happened. Outside the door, came Mao Kai's urgent cry, the Yin Qi in heaven and earth is becoming sticky at an extremely fast speed, and there is not much aura left. Ren Feng's heart sank. Is it finally? Coming? This is still just a single prohibition in the district. Once the heaven and earth prohibitions are all collapsed and a great calamity descends. I'm afraid that this world will become an inferno in an instant. Run Feng secretly said in his heart. Immediately. Ding. The golden armored corpse king has lost contact, host faith value minus 500. Ding. Currently the host's remaining faith value 175 points. Ding. Please ask the host to obtain the faith value as a positive number within 3 days, otherwise the faith value owed will become 10 times what it is now. A series of voices from the system sounded in Ren Feng's mind. What a disaster. Ren Feng cursed in his heart. Now that the first prohibition had collapsed, could it be that the golden armored corpse king had already met an untimely end? Ren Feng's eyes closed slightly. Indeed, he found that his connection with the golden armored corpse king had been severed by an unknown force. It seems that in the future, I must leave a portion of my faith value to protect my bottom, or else the penalties for backdating are still a real head-scratcher. If it was usual, a mere hundred points of faith value would still be a breeze for Rin Fong. But now he couldn't figure out the situation outside. Without determining what effects there would be after the ban collapsed, Ren Feng would definitely not act rashly. Master Black, Master White, be careful around. Ren Feng said softly. The black and white irregulars understood and hurriedly stood behind Ren Feng on the left and right. The strongest ones on Ghost Head Mountain were the three of them. Now, besides uniting to carefully deal with the unknown situation, even Ren Feng had no choice. Time passed by minute by minute. Master, a brat is coming over. The seven-star refining god had long been activated, and Maokai hurriedly reported when he realized that there was a sprinting little ghost in the mountains. Could it be someone from hell? White Impermanence's expression moved slightly. Renfong slowly nodded his head, Maokai, don't attack first, let's see what happens. Maokai nodded heavily and allowed the little ghost to enter. Lord Impermanence, Speed Report Division Dwarf Foot Ghost seeks an audience. As soon as the words fell, the little ghost's voice rang out from outside the door. H.M.? Someone from the Speed Report Division? White Impermanence was slightly stunned and looked towards Rin Fong, fellow Daoist Rin Fong, let him come in, he is specialized in delivering messages from the Speed Report Division of Hell, perhaps there is some new news from Hell. Rin Fong gently nodded his head. Subsequently, a little brat with a height of only a foot or so entered. Lord Wujing, the hell is urgently summoned. Now that the Ghost Gate Pass prohibition has collapsed, please Lord Impermanent quickly report back to the Ghost Gate Pass. The little ghost fell to his knees and said in an urgent voice to the black and white Impermanent. What happened? Speak quickly and clearly. Back to my lord, the heaven and earth prohibitions have collapsed severely, and cracks have appeared at the Ghost Gate Pass. How is the situation? Currently the little ghosts can still be controlled, but some highly powerful evil spirits of hell have broken free from the ghost gate pass and returned to earth. The black and white impermanence and that speed division brat asked and answered each other, conversing at an extremely fast pace. When Ren Feng heard this, his expression moved slightly. It seemed that this crumbling prohibition should be the partition prohibition that prevented the hell from being separated from the earth. The major ghost gate passes were technically one of the heaven and earth prohibitions. Every year, on the 15th day of the 7th month, was the day when the ghost gate passes were opened wide. Nowadays, it seemed that after the collapse of the forbidden system, the ghost gate pass could no longer be closed. Although at the moment, this heaven and earth prohibition hadn't completely collapsed. 
But the influence of the heaven and earth prohibition had already weakened to the point where some powerful evil ghosts would already be able to break free. Fellow Daoist Rin Fong, the hell is urgently recruiting, so we'll take our leave first. The black and white irregulars arched their hands in unison. Ren Fong nodded. However, the black and white impermanent had just gone out the door. Senior Rin, save me! Roar! Outside the door, a familiar cry for help came steeply. Immediately afterward, a deafening roar came. Ren Fong frowned slightly. The cry for help was the voice of Qin Zijing of the Special Energy Bureau. What really made Ren Fong feel strange was the roar that gave him a feeling of blood connection. Where are the demons? The black and white irregulars are here. Iron Rope Execution of Evil Accompanied by the black and white impermanent stern shout, a fierce fighting sound rang out from outside the door. Ren Feng's figure flashed and went out of the compound. At this time, outside the compound, a black and a white figure jumped up high. The soul detaining iron cord in his hand was waving like a black python, and he was already fighting with a strong man covered in golden armor. As for Qin Zi Jing, he was sitting paralyzed on the ground, his face filled with the joy of surviving the calamity. Then he looked at the golden armored strong man. All over his body, he was covered in golden armor. Under the illumination of the blood moon, it reflected a bizarre blood red color. His height was more than a zhang, and his small arms alone were as thick as an ordinary person's thighs. His entire face was wrapped in a layer of scarlet aura, and on his shoulders, he was carrying a seven foot long bronze coffin. The bronze coffin had been used as a weapon by him, and he carried it in his hand to make a messy round. For a time, he was able to fight with the black and white irregulars. Pa! Snap! The chains in the hands of the black and white impermanence ruthlessly smacked on the body of the golden armored strong man. Two ear piercing golden chirps rang out, and two sparks of fire rubbed out from the golden armored strong man's body. Looking again at the place that had been drawn by the black and white irregulars, only two slight marks were left behind as well. What a terrifying defense! Black impermanence was shocked and shouted at white impermanence, old white, fight quickly. The golden armored strong man roared in anger. A pair of eyes were filled with scarlet light, as if he had lost his mind. However, right at this moment. Eh? This golden armored strong man, why does it have a familiar feeling? Run Fong secretly frowned. Roar. It was at this moment that the golden armored stout man opened his mouth and roared. Two golden fangs were revealed in his mouth. It was only then that Ren Fong realized, this strong man, it can't be the golden armored corpse king who broke his faith, right? Ren Fong scrutinized it, then frowned again. But aren't the golden armored corpse king's pupils and teeth all golden? Why are his eyes, however, the color of scarlet? It's hard not to. Ren Fong seemed to have thought of something, and his face suddenly changed as he looked towards the sky. Sure enough. In the midst of the looming blood moon. An imperceptible red halo was covering this golden armored strong man. Can't it be that it's because of the blood moon that he's lost his mind? Ren Feng's mind raced. The golden armored corpse king was no longer that kind of dull zombie. Although his brain was still not quite enough, he already had a simple sanity. Thinking of this, Ren Feng looked at Qin Zijing. Qin Zijing, how did you come across him? Qin Zijing didn't dare to be slow and hurriedly said, my junior was just about to go up the mountain to deliver a piece of information to senior, and before he even entered the mountain, he suddenly ran into him, but how could I know that he was just as crazy as he was? Speaking here, Qin Zijing winced with palpitations. Then before this, what color were his eyes? It seems like they were golden. Qin Zijing whispered respectfully. Ren Feng's heart was clear. Sure enough, it was like that. It was almost certain that the burly man in front of him was the golden armored corpse king. The gold armored corpse king had obviously come to find himself. It was only that he had lost his mind midway because of the blood moon, and Qin Zijing, the unlucky one, happened to stumble upon it. At this time, the battle had already entered its end. Wow! Clatter! The sound of iron ropes colliding rang out. 
The black and white irregulars, one on the left and one on the right, each used the sole detaining iron rope in their hands to wrap around the golden armored corpse king's arm. Although he didn't know why the golden armored corpse king had become much stronger. But in the case of black and white impermanent at the same time, at this time the action was also suppressed, can only roar angrily again and again. However, just when the black and white irregulars thought that the victory was assured, the golden armored corpse king suddenly seemed to give up resistance. The golden armored corpse king suddenly fell to his knees as if he had given up resistance. With a pair of scarlet eyes, he looked at the blood moon in the sky in a daze. When Rin Fong saw the scene, a familiar feeling suddenly arose in his heart. Not good. Ren Fong seemed to have thought of something and his face changed, Hitomi, Mao Kai, quickly subdue him. Not waiting for Mao Kai and Hitomi to react. Ren Feng's figure flashed and appeared in front of the golden armored corpse king. Both of his arms were spread out, shielding him from view. This action of the golden armored corpse king was more than familiar to Ren Fong. By fusing the memory fragments, Ren Fong also knew quite a few zombie cultivation methods. Zombie Moon Worship If it was just the usual, absorbing the essence of the moonlight, for a zombie's cultivation would only enhance a little. But now, what the golden armored zombie king worshipped, was the blood moon in the sky. The devil knows to what extent his cultivation could be strong after absorbing the blood moon essence. Roar Seeing the blood moon being blocked. The golden armored corpse king's power suddenly soared. Black and white impermanence were caught off guard and were both yanked backwards. But it was a good thing that at this time. Hitomi's in spirit chains and Maokai's vines followed suit, wrapping the gold armored corpse king tightly. Fix it for me. The black and white irregulars shouted in unison, and the soul detaining iron cord suddenly tensed up. Only then did the golden armored corpse king completely quiet down. Phew. Run Fong exhaled deeply. On the fingertips of his right hand, a touch of pure zombie bloodline appeared. Without waiting for the golden armored corpse king to react, Ren Fong pointed with one hand, and the power of his own bloodline was driven into the center of the golden armored corpse king's brow. After that, Ren Fong reached out his hand and the bronze coffin flew over. All right, let it all loose. When the blood moon descends tomorrow, he should be back to normal. Ren Fong blandly said. Hitomi Makai sniffed and hurriedly withdrew her attack. As for the black and white irregulars, they hesitated for a moment before withdrawing the soul detaining iron cord with a wary face. After the restraints were broken free, the golden armored corpse king levitated and laid into the bronze coffin. Crunch! The coffin boards covered themselves. Maokai, carry him into the side room. Run Fong waved his hand and said softly. The golden armored corpse king should have only let the blood moon mesmerize his mind. After sunrise returned to normal, the faith value belonging to the golden armored corpse king should still return to Rin Fong. After subduing the golden armored corpse king, the black and white irregulars also hurriedly took their leave. There are still matters to be dealt with in the hell. Fellow Daoist Rin Fong must be careful, perhaps this world is already about to begin a great change. White impermanence stood in the air and arched his hand at Rin Fong. Rin Fong slowly nodded his head. Nowadays, the Yin Chi on the earth had nearly condensed into substance. Evil ghosts with great strength escaped the ghost gate pass and would definitely plague the earth. After the black and white irregulars left. Senior, this is the latest intelligence from the Special Energy Bureau. Qin Zijing hurriedly pulled out a piece of paper from his pocket. However, because he was being chased by the Golden Armored Corpse King, the paper was worn out and tattered under all the rolling and crawling. Ren Fong waved his hand, if there's anything, just tell me directly. Qin Zijing hurriedly nodded. Senior, what I'm about to say is exactly the information that Senior Black and White Impermanent said. Not only the Ascending Dragon Empire, but even the other kingdoms, a similar situation has also occurred. There is one piece of information, however, that is very strange. Speaking of this, Qin Zijing was a bit puzzled, it seems like those stern ghosts were also mesmerized just like the one in the coffin. Oh? There's such a thing? Ren Fong raised an eyebrow. Qin Zijing hurriedly nodded his head, one by one, the cultivation of these evil ghosts has skyrocketed, but strangely enough, they don't seem to be laying their hands on the common people, but rather, they are directly running towards the major sects. 
H.M. The information has been delivered, so senior will leave first. Xin Zijing bowed and said. Ren Feng thought for a moment, it's dangerous out there, you'd better leave at dawn. Xin Zijing had risked his life to send him information. Ren Feng naturally wouldn't watch Qin Zijing risk his life either. Thank you senior for your kind words. But as a part of the Special Energy Bureau, compared to the safety and security of the people, what is a small life worth? Senior still has to return to the Special Energy Bureau to make preparations in case these ghosts strike at ordinary people. Qin Zijing bowed. Ren Feng gently nodded, and only then did Qin Zijing turn around and leave. Meanwhile, all over the world. Eagle Country, Paul's Cathedral. Rows and rows of candles had long since been blown to bits and pieces. The poor believers were curled up in a ball, and the cardinal not far in front of them was already their last hope. In front of the cardinal was a man with a pale face but elegant demeanor. At this moment, that man was smiling, walking towards the cardinal step by step. Save souls, stay away from Satan. Save souls from Satan. The cardinal tightly clutched the cross in his arms, although his eyes were filled with the color of holiness. But his trembling hands still betrayed the heart. Seeing the elegant man getting closer and closer, the cardinal picked up a cup of holy water and poured it on the huge wooden cross on the table. The next scene, however, nearly broke the cardinal. On the wooden cross, the god he relied on actually had two lines of blood tears flowing out of his eyes. Ah! Help me, help! No! Please, Eno! A cry of misery passed. The man took out a silk scarf, wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, and left the church with a graceful demeanor. In the church, including the cardinal, a total of more than 30 people had long since lost their lives. Dragon Tiger Mountain A ghostly shadow hovered over Dragon Tiger Mountain. The disciples of Dragon Tiger Mountain set up a formation and stood in wait. Heaven and Earth Xianzong, the root of all air. Cultivate widely for 10,000 kalpas and prove my divine power. Inside and outside the three realms, only the Tao reigns supreme. The body has golden light, reflecting my body. A golden light surfaced on the bodies of the disciples. The ghostly shadows that laughed strangely went forward and back, battling with the disciples of Longhu Mountain, and soon fell into a stalemate. Buzz. It was at this moment that an extremely bright golden light erupted from the top of the Dragon Tiger Mountain. The ghostly shadows that were covered by the golden light didn't even have time to scream before they turned into nothingness. It's Old Heavenly Master. Old Heavenly Master has struck. The disciples were pleasantly surprised. It was at this moment that a benevolent voice rolled out from the top of Dragon Tiger Mountain. The old ancestor has a teaching that in times of chaos, one goes out of the mountain, and in times of prosperity, one returns. Send someone to Wudong, now that the ban has been broken, it's time for my Taoist family to come out. The Great Xianghua Temple. Jie Jie Jie. Bald ass. Sealed us for thousands of years, now why don't you come and take your death? Above the Maharishi Temple, a hideous ghostly face covered the sky. Just by its hideous laughter, it made some monks with unstable Buddhist hearts shatter their hearts and lungs on the spot, and they died violently in the Great Hall of Treasures. Senior Uncle. Quickly take action. Otherwise, today, I fear that my Grand Prime Minister Temple will be in danger. Monk Ruoji looked at the Dharma phase in front of him, who had a calm face and was chanting sutras, and said in an anxious tone. Ruoji, the anger precepts. Dharma Faze abruptly opened his eyes and shouted sternly at Ruaji. Ruaji was roared at by the Dharma Faze like a blow to the head, the anxious color on his face disappeared and he sat down on his knees. The Dharma minister slowly raised his eyebrows and glanced at the Mahamudra temple. All the great Sangha temple disciples were sitting cross-legged. The eighteen bronze men held bronze sticks and stood motionless at the entrance. With the power of the great Sangha temple nowadays, it was naturally no problem to deal with that huge ghost face outside. However, F.A. Xiang had been waiting for a person. As long as that person made a move, the worries in his heart would completely disappear. At this time, outside the Mahamudra, there were still quite a few monks who hadn't had time to enter, surrounded by heavy ghostly shadows. Dharma Fei's bald ass. 
Do you really not feel sorry for these disciples of yours? Outside the door, Ghostface's teasing voice came out. It was followed by a chorus of miserable screams. Master Ancestor. Master Ancestor, save me. Ah. Master Ancestor, save us. Don't kill me, don't kill me, ah. Outside the door, several mournful screams rang out. All of them were those monks who didn't have time to enter the Maharishi treasure hall. Inside the Maharishi's treasure hall. As the monks listened to the mournful screams of their fellow disciples, they could not help but look at Dharma face with anxious expressions. However, the Dharma minister was sitting in meditation with his eyes closed like an old monk in meditation. He was waiting for someone. Finally, the ghost face seemed to run out of temperament and went on a killing spree. Just as it was having a good time killing. Rumble. Next to the great Sangoku temple, a floating pagoda, steeply shook. Demon. A big monk, naked on his bare fruits, flew out of the Faust Tower and stood in the air. Behind him, a green dragon tattoo danced with teeth and claws, looming. The ghost face was slightly stunned, and after seeing the green dragon behind the big monk, it steeply trembled. The previous hideous hostility disappeared without a trace. In its place, there was an intense fear. After hundreds of years in seclusion, you. You actually cultivated into a world-honored one. Ghostface looked at the great monk with a face of fear. Escape. Ghostface didn't dare to think too much and hurriedly prepared to wipe his feet. However. Aang. A dragon roar resounded through heaven and earth. The green dragon tattoo behind the big monk looked like it had come to life, easily piercing through Ghostface. Afterwards, it returned to the back of the big monk as if nothing had happened, turning into the appearance of a green dragon. The ghost face turned his head with difficulty. After opening his mouth to say something, flames rose from under the ghost face. In an instant, the ghost face turned into nothingness. Your body is not itself, this body is not a jade body, the fire burns this body, this body gets reborn. The great monk clasped his hands together and muttered the sutra under his breath. Pray that the Buddha blesses you to go on your way soon and be reborn to be a new person, Namo Amitba Buddha. At the same time, the Dharma phase inside the great heroic hall slowly opened its eyes. It seems that senior brothers killing sins have still not gone. In this way, I am relieved. Dharma phase secretly said in his heart, his face showing an expression of relief. Inside the Disyangui temple. With a single strike, the tattooed monk crushed the ghost face that was previously acting as a bully. The other crowd of little ghosts took a look at the boss being gone. They directly transformed into a ghostly shadow and fled in all directions. Inside the great monk's treasure hall, the crowd of disciples and the 18 bronze men saw the scene and were about to chase after them. However, right at this moment. It's just. F.A. Xiang suddenly waved his hand, stopping the other monks from acting. A burly monk at the head of the 18 bronze men was puzzled, why did you let these evil spirits go? Dharma Faze acted as if he had not heard and kept his mouth shut. Nowadays, Dharma Faze had the highest seniority in the Disyangwa temple. When the 18 bronze men saw that Dharma Sang was silent, they were also too embarrassed to ask further questions. And at this time, Dharma Faze was pondering in his mind. Now that the ban has collapsed, the chaotic world will begin. I'm afraid that the Taoists, too, should come out of the world. It would be better to let these evil spirits go out, and wait until the world before I, the Buddhist family, will then make a move, perhaps I can harvest a lot of believers. Thinking of this, a brilliant light flashed through Dharma phase's slightly closed eyes. The Great Sangha Temple was one of the most flourishing sects of the Buddhist family. What Dharma phase knew was by no means comparable to others. Through communicating with Buddha, Dharma phase knew. The power of faith might be the true way to deal with this great calamity. Afterward, Dharma Faze glanced at the tattooed monk in the sky, who looked like a divine Buddha, and snorted in his heart. So what if you cultivate into a world-honored one? Killing too many sins will not lead to Buddhahood after all. Just now, Dharma Faze had been hesitant to strike, just to wait for the scene. Seeing that his senior brother had not gotten rid of his killing sins, Dharma Sang knew that for now, he was still the monk most expected to become a Buddha. A few moments later. 
In the sky, the great monk slowly fell down. Amit Bab Buddha. Only then did Dharma Phase slowly open his eyes. The essence in his eyes had long disappeared, replaced by endless compassion. Senior brother, I haven't seen you for hundreds of years, goodbye. Dharma Phase folded his hands and bowed to the tattooed monk in front of him. The tattooed monk similarly returned the bow with folded hands. However, between his eyebrows, there was still a trace of a lingering murderous aura. It was only after the bow was given. The tattooed great monk then turned around and left the great hall of fame temple. It seemed that the heaven and earth prohibitions had collapsed, and he had completely dismissed the idea of seclusion. Ruoshi looked at the back of the great monk and said with some concern, Uncle F.A. Siang, senior uncle he. The words were not finished. Dharma Faze raised his hand and said with a lowered brow, let him be, after hundreds of years in seclusion, it's time for him to go out and see this new world. 18 Bronze Men The Dharma Minister turned around. In The 18 Bronze Men folded their hands and answered in unison. 18 Shimei Golden Rods were held in the hands of the 18 Bronze Men. The heaven and earth prohibitions have collapsed, it's time for my Buddhist family's true strength to be displayed. You all, go down the mountain. The Dharma minister gently waved his hand, remember, all demons and evils are the enemies of my Buddhist family. Yes. The 18 bronze men answered in a deep voice, then turned around and went down the mountain together. Meanwhile, all over the world. Whether it was a sect or some religious shrines, they all suffered attacks. Some of the sects were relatively weak and were quickly overrun by the lich ghosts. Subsequently. The stern ghosts that had nothing to do finally extended their claws to ordinary humans. At the foot of the Green Mountain, there was a fifth-tier city named Mountain City. On the outskirts of the city, there was a restaurant near an old neighborhood. This place was originally a branch of the Northeast Ma family, but the branch was weak and had already been occupied by ghosts. Those peripheral disciples of the Ma family had long since died tragically within the restaurant. Jiajiajia, the Ma family is nothing more than that. What should we do next? What to do? Can't you smell the rich young chi around us? Although the neighborhood was old, there were thousands of residents. The young chi emanating from it was simply beyond the expectations of these evil spirits. However, just as these evil spirits were about to move, Special Energy Bureau Lin Huarong is here, why don't the unjust evil spirits bind their hands? A stern cry came from outside the dining hall. Immediately afterward, under Lin Hualong's leadership, the people from the Special Energy Bureau fishtailed into the restaurant and battled with these evil spirits. The battle was a long one. At the cost of one death and one injury to the Special Energy Bureau, the evil spirits were finally eliminated. At this time, Lin Huarong's phone rang. As soon as he answered it, an anxious shout came from the other side, Boss, there are too many evil spirits over here, we can't hold out much longer. Lin Hualong said a few words and hung up the phone. Send the injured back for treatment. The rest of you, follow me to the city god temple to ask the city god for help. In the center of the city of Mountain City, there was a dilapidated city god temple. However, because of the reason that no one asked for it. This city god temple had long since fallen into disrepair. There were even some filth left behind by children in the remote corners. However, at this time, people didn't know. In the middle of the city god temple, a beautifully built silhouette was sitting upright. In her left hand, a blood-red sword emitted a soft sound from time to time. On her right hand was a broken sword. Seemingly sensing that the heaven and earth prohibitions were being crumbled, the broken sword's body was trembling unceasingly, as if something was about to break through the broken sword's bonds and break free. This silhouette was no one else. It was none other than Fonlinger. Today, she was already the official city god within 800 miles of Castle Mountain. A full six fifth-tier cities, as well as dozens of villages and towns, had been assigned to her jurisdiction. On the dusty table in front of Fonlinger, there was an ultimatum and the city god seal. Under the city god seal's enchantment. Fonlinger's surroundings already had a hidden hint of official authority. Nowadays, it's better to fulfill master's mandate first. The Ma family's revenge can only be avenged later. 
Feng Linger murmured softly and hung the jade gourd behind the city god statue as Rin Feng had instructed earlier. Outside the window, there were already ghostly shadows beginning to condense. Feng Linger raised her hand and bit her index finger. A strange light flashed in her purple pupil, and Feng Linger smeared her fingertip blood on top of the broken sword. Buzz. When the broken sword came into contact with the blood, it trembled rapidly. In the end, with a click, it directly turned into fragments. However, Feng Linger saw through her violet pupil. After the broken sword shattered, dozens of familiar figures floated out from the broken sword and stood on the left and right. These figures. All of them were villagers from Fengmen village who had deep grievances and refused to reincarnate. Only with their great revenge avenged would they perhaps be able to swallow this last breath. The city god is appointed at the point of view. Feng Jia is the head of the Department of Speed Reporting. Feng Hao is the head of the Department of Yin and Yang. Seal Kai is head of the Department of Picket Division. Seal Yu Xiao as General Shackle. Feng Changga as General Lok. Feng Yunlong and Feng Yun who was day and night wanderers. A command came out from Feng Linger's mouth in a delicate voice. These remnant souls of Feng Men village heard the words and received the city god orders then retreated to the left and right according to their respective positions. Although they were already resentful souls, they still had their own consciousness. Seeing Fonglinger, the last surviving descendant of Fongmen village, had actually become a city god. One by one, they were naturally incomparably excited. It was one step closer to avenging their great hatred. Whether it was out of kinship or for other purposes, they chose to cooperate with Fonglinger at the first opportunity. Not long after. Outside the city god temple, there were vague cries of alarm and cries for help. Feng Linger's complexion changed, then she opened a wooden box that she had prepared earlier. This wooden box was precisely one of the three boxes of gifts that the black and white irregulars had given to Rin Feng earlier. Inside were all some sinister things. For ordinary people, any one of them would be enough to kill a person. However, for the ghosts and spirits, it was undoubtedly a great tonic. It took less than five minutes. The box was already empty. Looking at those sealed gate grievous souls that had previously been appointed by Fonlinger, their strength had already risen several notches in unison. It was at this moment that outside the door. The injustice soul who had been appointed as the head of the Department of Speed Reporting came rushing in, Lord City God, Lin Huarong of the Special Energy Bureau has already visited as promised. Any news other than Mountain City? Lin Hualong said that Qin Zijing and several other backbones of the Special Energy Bureau have led men to defend the enemy in several surrounding counties. What are the casualties of the Special Energy Bureau? Casualties are not high, the situation can still be barely maintained. Feng Linger listened and secretly nodded in her heart. It seemed that Master's previous scheming was correct. By cooperating with the Special Energy Bureau, it might really be possible to raise the prestige of the City God's Temple in a short period of time. All generals, listen to the order. Follow me forward to exterminate the evil. Foam Linger tightened the Fire Forest sword in her hand and strutted out of the City God Temple. One night passed. Although the entire ascending dragon country appeared to be calm. But only those aberrants, cultivators, demons, and ghosts knew. How crazy this night was. Although there were quite a few ghosts that made their way towards ordinary people, but fortunately, the Special Abilities Bureau and the city gods from all over the Earth's capital reacted in time and didn't bring about much of an impact. But there were still a small number of people who had already realized the end. The next day, the people of Mountain City suddenly realized. A group of men dressed in Zhongshan suits were repairing the city god temple in Mountain City. The originally dilapidated city god temple was surprisingly refreshed overnight. Even the dilapidated gate was replaced. On both sides of the gate, two lines of big characters are written. It's useless to burn incense. What's the harm in not worshipping me when I'm upright in heart? Even more bizarre. At the entrance of the city god temple, some ordinary people with dark circles under their eyes and fear in their eyes. Surprisingly, they didn't know where to get incense and kowtow to the statue of the city god in worship. The myths about the city god temple have long been lost for generations to ordinary people. Those who can know it are either old men who have grown old. 
either those scholars who study history. The strange scene in front of them immediately caused many passers-by to stop in TSK and wonder. Although after a night of sound fighting, but the entire ascending dragon empire up and down the country still seemed to be filled with an air of tranquility. The other empires that were still immersed in panic and grief were all shocked at the ascending dragon empire's quick responsibility. At this time, Ghost Head Mountain. The sky was already bright, and the few surviving ghosts had quieted down and were no longer making a mess. In the middle of Rin Feng's mansion. Master, Linger is fortunate to be here. Feng Linger half kneeled in front of Ren Feng, her expression respectful. Ren Feng gently nodded his head, and a soft force lifted Feng Linger up. Linger, how is the situation outside now? Back to Master, the current situation is optimistic, but this is limited to within the Ascending Dragon Empire. Feng Linger blinked her large, slightly reddened eyes. Although she had currently crossed over into the Jindan realm, the continuous fierce battle for a night had made her a bit overwhelmed. After a moment's pause, Feng Linger continued. According to the intelligence from the Special Energy Bureau, the other empires suffered heavy losses last night. Some of the empires with weak strength are already on the verge of losing control. And. Speaking here, Feng Linger paused, the Special Energy Bureau just transmitted intelligence that they seem to have discovered the trail of the Off-Fire Ghost King. Off-Fire Ghost King? Run Feng frowned slightly and let out a light laugh, surprisingly still alive? What good dog luck. Feng Linger nodded, not only is he still alive, but he has also run away to a small island in the east. This, in turn, surprised Rin Feng. In the eastern part of the Ascending Dragon Empire, there was also a small empire called the Ascending Sun Empire. Although it was a small empire, its strength was not to be underestimated. The nationals of this small empire lived a good little life. However, the reputation of the Rising Sun Empire was not very good, and the many netherworld operations were secretly scolded by other empires for not wanting Billion. I can't imagine that the Off-Fire Ghost King has traveled so far? Ren Feng was slightly surprised, did he do anything? There is. Last night's Blood Moon also seemed to have an effect on the departing Flame Ghost King. Feng Linger hurriedly replied, the mysterious disappearance of the entire population of a 10,000-person town in that ascending sun empire last night was most likely the handiwork of the departing fire ghost king. Not bad, not bad. Ren Feng gently nodded his head, since that's the case, let's leave him alive for now and see how he behaves in the future. Ren Feng saw Feng Linger's slightly red eyes. Linger, go rest first. Tonight, there are still a lot of things you need to do. Feng Linger bowed and retired after hearing this. After Feng Linger left, Ren Feng secretly pondered in his heart. According to the information Feng Linger had fed back earlier, the city god temple already had a small portion of believers. It was thought that the jade gourd that absorbed the power of faith had also worked. It was only necessary to wait until tomorrow, when Feng Linger brought back the jade gourd. Ren Feng would then be able to absorb all the power of faith inside. In fact, at first, Ren Feng planned to let these severe ghosts go for a period of time before letting Feng Linger step in to solve the problem. In that case, the number of believers gained would definitely increase greatly. However, after careful consideration, Ren Feng still dismissed this idea. At the moment, the Special Energy Bureau side is still unsure if they want to publicize this news. Maintaining the current situation will also keep the balance between all parties. For me, it might be a good choice. Ren Feng secretly pondered in his heart. Now that the heaven and earth prohibition had begun to crumble, even without having to think about it, he knew that it wouldn't be long before all the major sects and clans would come out. At that time, what Ren Feng was facing would most likely be the top power of this world. The best thing to do at the moment was to stay put and develop steadily. After having some understanding of the top forces of this world, then he would make plans. But right now, there is another matter that needs to be dealt with in time. Ren Feng glanced at the bronze coffin not far away. The golden armored corpse king was still lying inside sleeping. Unlike Ren Feng, the golden armored corpse king was not a zombie naturally formed by heaven and earth. Instead, it was artificially refined. This kind of man-made zombies, the lowest level is the iron armor corpse. 
The strength of the Golden Armored Corpse King is already considered to be an outstanding existence among the refined zombies. These artificially refined zombies, the body's balefulness is much heavier than the natural formation of zombies in heaven and earth. The bane belongs to fire. Letting him be the fire-attributed mountain protector in the Seven Star God refining formation. It was undoubtedly the best choice at the moment. It's time to pull him out of his coffin. At the same time. In the northeast, the Ma clan. Inside the Ma clan's ancestral hall. The old ancestor of the Ma family, Ma Hongtao, was sitting upright. In front of him at the bottom of the steps, there were four more seats. The ones sitting on them were all old men with white hair. However, among the four seats, the leftmost seat was empty. The owner of this seat. It was none other than the Ma family clan elder who had been killed by Rin Fong earlier. Clan head Ma Hongtao had a gloomy face, last night, how were the losses of the various halls of the Ma clan? The Western Province lost three core disciples and 18 peripheral disciples. Lin Province lost one core disciple and 67 peripheral disciples. Liao Province is very close to the Ma clan's hinterland, the loss wasn't very big, only one peripheral disciple died. The people under the stage came forward to report. Alas! I didn't expect that just the first prohibition being collapsed would result in such heavy losses for my Ma clan. Ma Hongtao's face was gloomy as he listened to the losses everywhere. It was at this moment. Old ancestor, a messenger from Longhu Mountain is visiting. Outside the door, Ma Xingwen trotted all the way in. Seeing Ma Xingwen, the anger on Ma Hongtao's face increased. Pa! Ma Hongtao slapped his chair fiercely. The sudden loud noise startled all the people in the Ma family. Then why don't you quickly retreat? Do you want to disgrace yourself here? Ma Hongtao stared tightly at Ma Xingwen, his eyes gloomy and terrifying. Ma Xingwen's current appearance was too wretched. Missing an ear, it looked so comical. This was the biggest disgrace of their Ma family in the last hundred years. A core disciple, and several outer disciples. In full view of the Special Energy Bureau, they had their ears directly cut off. The key is that so much time has passed. The Special Energy Bureau didn't even have an explanation, didn't even let out a single fart. As the oldest ancestor of the Ma family, Ma Hongtao felt that he couldn't bear to lose face, and went to find the top management of the Special Energy Bureau. However, what he got in return was just a warning. Warning their Ma family not to offend that great power in Ghost Head Mountain. How could Ma Hongtao stand this kind of disgrace? Yesterday, he had already ordered the Ma family elite, ready to go to Ghost Head Mountain the next day to make a claim. But never thought that last night the heaven and earth ban collapsed. The various halls of the Ma family all had big and small problems. This was what caused Ma Hongtao to interrupt his trip to Ghost Head Mountain. Now that he saw Ma Xingwen who was missing an ear, the anger in Ma Hongtao's heart was even more like pouring hot oil outward. Old ancestor forgive me, Ma Xingwen will leave now. Ma Xingwen was startled and hurriedly slipped away. After about five more minutes. It was only then that a Taoist priest wearing a Taoist robe slowly entered the Ma family ancestral hall. Blessed Shang Infinite Heavenly Father. Longhu Mountain Zhang Yu, meet the Ma family ancestor. The Taoist priest gave a hand and fork salute to Ma Hongtao, who was in the high seat. Be excused from saluting. Ma Hongtao's expression was bland, I don't know what is Taoist Zhang Yu's purpose in coming here this time? Zhang Yu lightly laughed, I've come here to ask the Ma family ancestor to discuss matters related to the Taoist family's emergence. Out of this world? Ma Hongtao's eyes narrowed slightly, and his essence flickered. It seemed that the heaven and earth ban had collapsed, and the Taoist family had finally become unable to sit still. Their northeastern Ma family's immortal invocation technique had first evolved from the Ma Shan divine strike technique, which was also considered a branch of the Taoist family. For such a big event, it was only natural that Longhu Mountain would invite themselves to discuss it. Please go back and tell the old celestial master that I, Ma, will depart for Longhu Mountain later. Ma Hongtao still decided that he would go and attend. Although it was said that the Ma family rarely dealt with the Taoist sect anymore nowadays. But this kind of big event, it would be a bit hard to justify if they didn't go. Besides, there were quite a few benefits for the Ma family if the Taoist sect came out. 
After receiving Ma Hongtao's reply, only then did Zhang Yu arch his hand and salute to leave. After Zhang Yu left, Ma Hongtao's face, which was still full of smiles, suddenly turned gloomy. Third Great Elder In During the time I'm going to Longhu Mountain, the three of you will make a trip to Ghost Head Mountain to do justice to Old Four. I'll leave it to Old Ancestors' arrangements. The three elders glanced at the empty seats around them and hated it in their hearts. They were the internal elders of the Ma clan, and in terms of both strength and power, they were by no means comparable to those external elders. Other than Ma Hantao, the three of them were the strongest fighting force of the Ma family. How could they swallow their breath when they watched their clan brothers, whom they had been living with for many years, die? Don't worry, old ancestor. With the speed of the jets, it will only take an hour to reach Ghost Head Mountain. We will definitely avenge our fourth brother's death and raise my Ma clan's reputation. An hour passed. The golden armored corpse king had awakened from the coffin. The scarlet eyes had become a normal golden color. Seeing Rin Fong, the golden armored corpse king directly knelt down on one knee and placed his right hand on his chest. Ding! The golden armored corpse king has believed in you. Faith value plus 1000. Ding. Congratulations the host's owed faith value has been paid off. Two system beeps in succession sounded in Ren Feng's mind. Ren Feng's heart was slightly relieved. As expected. After the golden armored corpse king regained his consciousness, the faith value that he had lost earlier returned to Ren Feng's hands. Follow me. Ren Feng went out the door. With the strength of the golden armored corpse king, he had long since ceased to fear the sunlight. Ren Feng had just gone out the door. Tree spirit Mao Kai and Hitomi came up. This is our partner from now on? Mao Kai dragged his elm head in his hands and sized up the corpse king. Although the corpse king was currently free from the influence of the blood moon, Makai still felt that this corpse king's strength had unexpectedly increased by a lot. Soon, under Ren Feng's operation, the Golden Armored Corpse King formally returned to its position and became a member of the Ghost Head Mountain Protective Mountain Formation General. The moment the Golden Armored Corpse King returned to its position, the entire Ghost Head Mountain steeply trembled. There was a faint roaring sound that rippled out in all directions from Ghost Head Mountain. In the air, a scorching aura appeared. Not bad, it seems that the fire attribute has taken effect. Nowadays, although there are only three major formation generals, it can still be considered to have boosted the progress by a small amount, right? Run Feng secretly thought in his heart. As expected. Ding. Host's base camp defense level has increased, mission completion progress plus 5%. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a mysterious gift pack. Currently, because the power of the Great Tribulation is something that this system has never expected. Therefore, the task completion progress has been adjusted. For every 5% of progress the host completes, they will receive a mysterious gift pack. Current progress, 25%. Hearing the system's voice, Rin Feng was slightly stunned. Previously, every time the progress was completed, 10% would be added. I didn't expect that now, a modification had been made? It seems that even the system had underestimated the power of the Great Tribulation before. But this doesn't delay me from receiving the rewards. Ren Feng pondered in his heart. Nowadays, as long as he completed 5% of his progress, he would be able to obtain the mysterious rewards. The reward Ren Feng had just obtained had not yet been collected. From now on, in the dark, you will stay in the coffin. Ren Feng said softly to the Golden Armored Corpse King. If he encountered the Blood Moon again, perhaps the Golden Armored Corpse King would lose his mind again. The best thing to do nowadays was to let him come out by day and lie down by night. Here. The golden armored corpse king's right fist heavily knocked on his breastplate, his voice booming. The bronze coffin could effectively stop the red light of the blood moon. With the strength of the golden armored corpse king nowadays, even though he was in the bronze coffin, it did not affect his ability to run the formation. After Ren Feng returned to the stone house, Maokai brought Hitomi to the golden armored corpse king. My name is Mao Kai, her name is Hitomi, from now on we will be partners. Mao Kai walked forward with a warm expression. 
he could see that his master and the Golden Armored Corpse King were both of the zombie lineage. Befriending the Golden Armored Corpse King would definitely be beneficial. Plus, the seven mountain protection formations would have to work together in the future, so as soon as Rin Foam left, Mao Kai came up to talk. Mao Kai asked enthusiastically, Brother, what's your name? However, the Golden Armored Corpse King was silent, instead looking at his bronze coffin not knowing what he was contemplating. What a stuffy gourd! Hitomi said with a pout when she saw that the Golden Armored Corpse King was ignoring her and Mao Kai. The Golden Armored Corpse King still had a paralyzed look on his face. He was a zombie that was artificially refined, different from demonic ghosts like Mao Kai's Hitomi. Becoming a zombie, he had long since lost his seven emotions and six desires. Not to mention Hitomi and Mao Kai. Even if Tsun Lao Wet was stripped naked and thrown in front of him, he may not even have the slightest reaction. Other than Rin Fong, he wouldn't listen to anyone's orders and wouldn't interact with other creatures. Earlier, when he was rushing out of Ting Ting Town, there were more than a hundred bronze armored, iron armored, and silver armored corpses following behind him. When they broke the seal of Ting Ting Town, they fought with those Taoist priests who were guarding the seal. Except for the gold armored corpse king, all other zombies were ambushed. But even when they watched their brothers, who had been with them all their lives, being pierced through their bodies by those Taoist priests with their peachwood swords, the golden armored corpse king didn't even look at them. Gold armored corpse king did not have the slightest bit of sadness. This is the real character of a zombie. He only lives for his instincts. And the golden armored corpse king's instinct right now was to follow Ren Fong and clear all obstacles for him. The sound of the exchange between Mao Kai and the Corpse King naturally reached Rin Feng's ears. It's fortunate that I traveled from Earth. Otherwise, I'm afraid I'd have to die of boredom alive if I'm like Golden Armor every day. Rin Feng secretly thought in his heart. Regarding the current thinking ability, as well as the physical ability, Rin Feng was very satisfied in his heart. After becoming a drought demon, the most pleasing thing for Rin Feng. It was the fact that it allowed him to completely detach himself from the category of a corpse, and also completely inherited the corpse's abilities. It was at this moment. Rin Fong, why don't you quickly come out and suffer death? A bellowing cry came steeply from the bottom of Ghost Head Mountain. When Mao Kai and the other three major formation generals heard it, their faces changed in unison. This person is bold and fat. How dare he talk to his master like that? I'd like to see what kind of person is so bold. Mao Kai's face was furious. Hearing someone curse Rin Fong was harder for him than cursing himself. Soon, Mao Kai saw. In the distant sky, three old men stood in the air. Behind them, there was a silhouette of each of them, each corresponding to an animal. It seemed that they also knew that the clan elder had been killed by Rin Fang's sneak attack, so they had already invited the immortal onto themselves before they even fought. The horse clan invoked the horse immortal? It seems that the lesson that master gave them is still not enough ah. Mao Kai said in a gloomy tone. Having stayed in Ghost Head Mountain for so long, he naturally knew about Ren Feng's feud with the Ma family. He didn't expect that it hadn't even taken long for the Ma family to come to his door. I'll go meet them. Mao Kai said and set up his demon cloud to fly towards the sky. At the same time. Ren Fong also heard the drinking outside. However, he didn't care. In front of him, there was an exquisite gift bag. This was precisely the reward for reaching 25% mission progress. I'd like to see what goodies can be opened this time. Ren Fong secretly said with some anticipation in his heart. A few times before, Ren Fong was satisfied with the things that were opened out of the big gift bag. This time should not be bad either. Thinking of this, Ren Fong opened the gift pack. Ding! Gift package opened successfully. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the skill, Detaining Spirit Dispatcher. The system prompt sounded, and in less than a moment's effort, Ren Fong had already grasped the entirety of Detaining Spirit Dispatch. Detaining Spirits and Dispatching Generals? Interesting. Ren Fong murmured softly, the corners of his mouth arched. The Ma family, their ability was to invite the immortals to their bodies. As for the detaining spirit and dispatching general, it was also the same as utilizing the power of immortals and spirits. 
However, there was a world of difference between the two. Inviting an immortal to the body was all about the word invite. However, to detain the spirits and dispatch generals is to directly enslave these immortal spirits. Moreover, there is another drawback to the Ma families inviting immortals. A person can only serve one immortal spirit in their lifetime. Except, of course, if it was a battle spirit. But Rin Feng's detained spirit dispatch was different. As long as Rin Feng was willing, he could control multiple immortal spirits, elves, and war spirits at any time. And at Rin Feng's command, these immortal spirits must be unconditionally obeyed. Tisk, TSK, the Sma family. It's really a shadowy spirit. Ren Feng let out a light laugh. The Ma family drank talismans and recited incantations, wasted half a day's effort, and danced half a day's worth of big gods before inviting the immortals to come up to them. Ren Feng, however, had mastered the art of detaining spirits and dispatching generals, playing with the immortals that the Ma family had managed to invite with great difficulty. Wasn't this an international joke? Even Ren Feng found it hard to laugh and cry. The Ma family had really fallen into bad luck when they encountered him. Originally, because Rin Feng was a drought demon, he was unable to learn how to restrain spirits and dispatch generals. However, the good thing was that he had the golden dragon chi in his body. It was surprising that he could practice spirit restraining and dispatching general. And at this moment, Mao Kai was already battling with the immortals invited by the Ma clan. A hallowed exodus immortal, that's all you're capable of? Seeing that you guys are also 70 years old, could it be that you've lived all these years to the dogs? Mao Kai laughed out loud as he fought one against three. Some vulgar words, it even made the three clan elders of the Ma clan furious and blue in the face. Elder two and three, you guys be careful. This tree spirit, it should have reached the demon emperor realm. A Ma clan clan elder droned. Demon emperor realm. The other two elders froze in unison. The three of them were the strongest existences of the Ma clan besides Ma Hantao. The immortals that the three of them respectively served were only at the cultivation level of the demon emperor realm. No wonder it's so tricky. Everyone be cautious, this tree spirit is not easy to deal with. The three elders looked at each other, and the immortalists behind them did not leave their bodies. The three of them took a step back in the air in unison and chanted with their hands. Wonderful and profound methods are frequent in the world, checking words to cure illnesses and shaking the spirit altar. The Xian Guan opens to frighten the dragons and tigers, the Taoist behavior is not false. We invite the immortals to show their mighty spirits. Along with the incantations popping out from the three, the immortals' aura behind the three grew thicker and thicker. A flash of gravity flashed in Mao Kai's eyes. This Ma family was powerful in that they could draw on the immortal family's strength without loss. After the immortal family left their bodies. The price that the Ma family paid was just weakness for a while. If it was just one immortalist, Makai would be able to suppress it hard with his own skills. But if three immortal families struck together and each immortal family was only one step weaker than Mao Kai. Then Mao Kai would have no chance of winning. Hitomi, Golden Armor, activate the formation. Seeing that things could not be done, Mao Kai directly prepared to activate the formation. Before his master gave instructions, he first activated the defense formation. Once the Ma clan immortals dared to step into the formation, not to mention three, even if it was thirty, Makai and the other three major formation generals would have the means to pit them alive in the formation. However, just as Mao Kai was about to shrink into the formation, Mao Kai, stand down. Ren Feng's indifferent voice came from behind Mao Kai. When enemies met, they were all red in the eyes. The auras of the three elders of the Ma clan immediately skyrocketed. Kid, I will definitely kill you today to avenge my fourth brother. One of the elders said. However, Ren Feng suddenly reached out and made a move. Detain the spirit and dispatch the general, detain the spirit. Ren Feng's mouth recited silently and his heart moved. It was at this moment. The three elders of the Ma clan suddenly stared as if they were being strangled by the throat. They suddenly felt that the immortal they had invited seemed to be gradually getting restless. Damn it! What's going on here? My willow immortal is actually disobeying instructions and trying to forcefully leave his body. My fox fairy too, 
he said he senses an aura of danger. Silently recite the spell to forcefully stabilize the immortal. Today, the three clan elders of our Ma clan are all working together, I don't believe that this brat can carry it off. The three elders roared loudly. However. Collect. Ren Fong let out a soft shout, and his palms suddenly clenched. Puff. 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 The three elders, in unison, sprayed a mouthful of blood. The immortal family was hardened and withdrawn, instantly causing irreversible damage to them. Looking up again, the three stared at Rin Feng's palm as if they had seen a ghost. The immortal family that they had served for their entire lives had actually left their bodies at the same time. And was still in Rin Feng's hand. This Rin Feng, what on earth had he done? Rin Feng, you, what have you done to our immortalist? The three elders of the Ma clan were shocked and furious, staring at Rin Feng's palm in horror. This. This was an immortal family that they had spent their entire lives making offerings to fit so perfectly. Every day in order to make the immortal family fit. As long as the immortal made a request, they just had to give it a go in every way possible. To put it bluntly, they almost didn't kneel down as grandsons to the immortal. But this scene in front of them. It really made the three elders of the Ma family feel incredible in their hearts. In their eyes, those high and mighty immortals. Surprisingly, they were drawn out hard by Rin Feng. The three black immortal spirits were curled up in Rin Feng's hands. It was shivering as if they had encountered something unrivaled. Is this still my Ma family's invincible immortal family? The Ma family elders glanced at each other, all seeing the bitterness in their hearts. The three great elders appeared together. This stance could definitely easily exterminate a medium-sized empire. Under the hysteria, even those empires with deep roots were afraid that they would be in shambles after enduring the Ma family's fury. Facing the Ma family that was nearly pouring out its nest. Even those first-rate sects, I'm afraid that they would have to take out their back-of-the-box skills to fight against it. But what was in front of them? Yet, it left the Ma family elders with their jaws dropped. Heh, just this? This is the peak combat power of the Ma family? Ren Feng sighed with slight regret. At this point today, the road was completely dead. Since he had offended, he would offend to death. The Ma family? From today onwards, it was destined to become the first stepping stone for Ren Feng to become famous in the cultivation world. Sinner, release our Ma family immortal spirit, or else. It was at this moment that the second elder of the Ma family colored. He he. Ren Feng let out a light laugh and lifted a willow fairy in his hand. How could that willow immortal dare to say a word more at this moment, the shivering soul had long since betrayed the fear in his heart. As it was lifted into Ren Feng's palm, it seemed to feel its fate. Lu Xian's soul continuously struggled. But even so, it could not shake Rin Feng's two fingers. The usual prestige of being worshipped in the Ma family had long since vanished. The ignorant are in for it. Rin Feng gently shook his head and clenched his palm fiercely. No. Sinner stop. The Ma family elders, their eyes glazed over. However it was too late. ka -ching. A crunching sound. Z. In Rin Feng's hands, that willow fairy only had time to let out a miserable scream before she was directly crushed and turned into a green smoke that dissipated into the air. At the same time, inside the Ma clan's hall, a willow python immortal of the thickest size had already had its soul leave its body. The moment Rin Feng's grip tightened, this willow python immortal suddenly stiffened and collapsed to the ground completely motionless. One of the strongest immortals. Like a bedbug, it was crushed to death by Ren Feng, alive. Ren Feng, stop it. Count me as the Ma family begging you. It was at this moment that the oldest clan elder of the Ma clan stood out. Seeing the Ma clan immortal die, they were powerless to do anything about it. This Ma clan elder looked like a defeated rooster, hanging his head low with a hint of powerlessness in his voice. Boss, you. Our Ma family, how can we compromise with this kind of sinner? The other two elders said with unbelievable faces. The older Ma family elder sighed in dismay. It was us who were wrong from the start. 
This one, perhaps, is an unrivaled existence for my ma family. Instead of watching the immortals being crushed alive one by one, it would be better to just bow our heads and admit our mistakes, perhaps we can still retain a trace of the Ma family's Tao inheritance. The older Ma family elder said in a feeble tone. However, no one noticed. While he was speaking, an aura flashed through his eyes. Elder 2, Elder 3, stabilize this sinful obstacle first. I'll prepare the secret technique while he's off guard. The Grand Elder hung his head low and his two words were quietly transmitted into the ears of the second and third elders beside him. The two elders' faces changed in unison as they looked at the grand elder incredulously. Eldest. You. You have to think clearly. If you want to invite that. Person, I'm afraid that the backlash afterward will be enough to kill you. The second and third elders seemed to have thought of something. A color of sadness flashed in his eyes. That year, we subdued her in Sealed Gate Village. Even though she is extremely strong all over, even after so many years, her hostility is still there. It's backlash, even the old ancestor can't withstand it. The second elder was anxious in his heart, fearing that Renfoam would see the signs, he whispered to the great elder beside him. He he, it doesn't matter. Die for me alone, and leave the Ma family Dao lineage. This life is enough. Although the Grand Elder's voice was low, it revealed an intent that could not be refused. What he had just said was indeed partially true. That was that with the strength of the three of them, even if they added the immortal family behind them, they would not be able to defeat a single finger of Rin Fong. Now, Rin Fong and the Ma clan were already in a situation where they were immortal. In the absence of the old ancestor, the only means available today was only this. Such a period of time passed. The Grand Elder held his breath and secretly recovered from his injuries. Its purpose is to hold this big move. Even if he died afterwards. For the sake of the Ma clan, the Grand Elder didn't have the slightest bit of remorse in his eyes. It's now. Second, third. The Ma clan's Grand Elder raised his head abruptly and bellowed in a stern voice. For the sake of the Ma clan's legacy. We are not worthy of death. The second and third elders shouted sternly, biting their tongues and spraying blood to recite the incantation. Although, the immortal spirits that they had dedicated their entire lives to had already been detained by Rin Fong. But the Ma family still had battle spirits. Although the strength of war spirits was not as good as immortals, the good thing was that they did not have as many restrictions as immortals. Two pure energies bloomed on the second and third elders. A moment later, a sharp blade appeared steeply in the hands of the two elders, and they charged towards Rin Fong with one on the left and one on the right. The hallowed Exodus Immortal had chosen to physically fight. It was enough to show that today's my family elder had already reached the point where he was at his wit's end. Knowing that he would surely die. However, as long as they could buy a few seconds for the Grand Elder. For them, their deaths would be worthwhile. He he, it's really like that. Ren Fong gently shook his head. Not waiting for him to make a move. Wow. Wow. Two vines suddenly scurried out sharply from behind Ren Fong. Your current strength is a hundred thousand miles worse than before ah. Uh. Mao Kai's muffled voice came from behind Ren Fong. Oh no. It's actually him. The two elders of the Ma clan were shocked in their hearts. After a thousand calculations, they seemed to have forgotten that behind Rin Fong there was the demon emperor who was eyeing him. Previously, with the immortal spirit they were able to fight with Mao Kai. But now, with the battle spirit, they were only able to compete with the demon emperor at most. How could they be a match for Mao Kai? Poof. Poof. With two muffled sounds, the tough vines directly pierced through the bodies of the two great elders of the Ma clan. The two elders were directly hung in the air by Mao Kai wearing their shoulder blades. But even so, there was no trace of pain on the faces of the two great elders. There was only a strong sense of unwillingness. Even the Ma family's grand elder, who was preparing to cast a spell and recite an incantation, was shaken fiercely in his heart. Heaven has killed my Ma family. The grand elder cried out miserably in despair, and a mouthful of old blood spurted out under the rush of fire. However, just when they thought their plan had failed. Don't worry, I will give you guys a chance. 
Ren Feng's indifferent voice came out leisurely. With his eyesight, he could naturally see that. The Ma family was at least a great power with deep roots, so how could they be so greedy and afraid of death? The reason why they lowered themselves just now was just to hold back a big move. Sin. Ren Feng, is what you said true? The Ma family's grand elder's complexion moved. The face that was already as dead as ash was rekindled with a flash of hope. Even the way he addressed Rin Feng was changed to his name. Even if the two sides were immortal rivals. At this time, in the heart of the Ma family's grand elder, there was also a slight trace of respect. I will only give you three breaths of time. Rin Feng waved his hand indifferently, then glanced at the other two elders who had been nailed through, you, all of you, also watch well to see what your Ma family's strongest secret technique can do to me. In that case, thank you very much. If you're willing to give me this opportunity, then I'll let you see my Ma clan's strongest immortal. The Grand Elder arched his hand, a flash of respect in his eyes. Come on, show. Ren Feng stood with his hands in the air, his tone flat. The immortal hall burns a furnace of incense in a hurry, the incense transmits information to all directions. Something has come to invite this day, a Taoist immortal quickly comes to the hall. The High Taoist is not afraid of the distant mountains and rivers, and the Taoist spirit is really high at the altar. If you come here today to show your magic, you'll be famous all over the world in the years to come. Ghost Immortal Lin, come to my altar. The Divine Soldier is in a hurry. The Grand Elder of the Ma Clan's mouth recited the words, and along with the incantation, his face grew paler and paler. It seemed that this incantation was a great load for him. Ren Feng looked at the Grand Elder of the Ma family and secretly shook his head in his heart. The strength of this Ma family was not bad. But this immortal invitation spell had too long of a pre-shaking time. Ren Feng roughly estimated. During the time that the Grand Elder recited the incantation just now, if he made a move. I'm afraid that he wouldn't even be able to recite a single incantation and would just burp. However it was at this moment. Ka Ching. In the sky, a cloud suddenly converged. A shocking thunderbolt even directly cut through the clouds and ruthlessly split on the Grand Elder. In just an instant, the clothes on the Grand Elder's body directly vaporized. The monstrous hostile gas from the clouds converged towards the Grand Elder's body, and eventually condensed behind him. A ghostly shadow of more than three feet stood behind the Grand Elder. What a heavy hostile chi! A flash of surprise flashed out of the corner of Rin Feng's eye. Looking around again, it had long been covered by hostile chi. The grass on the ground withered at a speed visible to the naked eye, and the sky was even more affected by the hostile chi, with the wind and clouds inverted and the eight directions roaring. The hostile chi alone could actually shake a side of heaven and earth? It seemed that the thing that the Grand Elder had invited this time was not simple. Ha! Now the strongest ghost immortal of my Ma clan is here. Even if I die, it's worth it. The Grand Elder's figure trembled, and blood slowly flowed out of his seven orifices as he spoke. It looked like he was currently unable to harness this ghost immortal at all. I'm afraid that after the ghost immortal left his body, the Grand Elder would not have long to live. At this time, Foamlinger, who was still resting in her room, suddenly sat up straight. The battle took place high in the air not far from Ghost Head Mountain, and at first Foamlinger had not sensed it. But now, the monstrous hostile aura was enough to cover the entire ghost head mountain. It's Grandma Tai's aura. How could Grandma Tai's aura appear on ghost head mountain, could it be? It's the Ma family. Fonglinger's face changed. Last night had been too tiring, and if she hadn't been affected by the hostile aura, she probably wouldn't have been able to detect the battle in the distance. In just an instant, Fonglinger was much more awake. Given the current situation, nine times out of ten, it was the Ma family that had come to seek revenge. Moreover, the great-grandmother had even been invited to help. Master and great-grandmother wouldn't be fighting already, right? Fong Linger panicked in her heart and immediately rushed out with her sword. And at that moment, Ren Fong was already standing in the air, blindly looking at the hostile ghost immortal in front of him. Not bad, it is indeed stronger than those few immortals. But in front of the spirit detaining dispatch general, no matter what immortal, they all have to step aside. Soul, come. 
In Rin Feng's hand, a black light suddenly bloomed. An even more bizarre aura emanated from Rin Feng's body. Roar! The ghostly shadows behind the Grand Elder immediately stirred uneasily. No! The Grand Elder shouted miserably and couldn't help but take a step back. Why? Why was the Ma Clan immortal so, and now even if the strongest ghost immortal was invited, it was still this bad? The Grand Elder felt that the aura that Rin Feng was carrying at this moment was very similar to theirs. Yet it seemed to be just enough to restrain them. Although the ghost immortal had not yet left his body, the Grand Elder already felt that he was afraid that he would not be able to resist for long. Thinking of this, the Grand Elder's face showed unwillingness, and his eyes were wide with anger. Ren Feng, what exactly is the stance that you used? The words just fell. Who? Within Ren Feng's palm, the suction force steeply became several times stronger. The Grand Elder had painstakingly held on for so long, but in the end, he could only watch as the ghost immortal that had been so hard to invite left his body and flew into Ren Feng's hands. This time, the Ma family's strongest dependence was gone. Not bad, not bad. Ren Feng lightly smiled as he looked at his palm and gently nodded his head, waiting for half a day really didn't let me down. Just now, he sat and waited for the Grand Elder to hold back his big move. The purpose was to use this spirit detaining dispatch to bring the strongest immortal of the Ma clan under his command. With today's situation, Ren Feng guessed correctly. The so-called secret method in the Ma family's mouth was to have the strongest immortal invited. And nowadays, this strongest immortalist had been officially surnamed Ren. You. Well wow. The Grand Elder pointed at Ren Feng, trembling as if he had Parkinson's syndrome. Finally, a mouthful of heart blood spurted out. The body could no longer support itself and fell straight to the ground. The Ma family. Ma family is finished off. The Grand Elder, who had been dropped with only one breath left, completely turned ashen and swallowed his last breath. Death did not close his eyes. And the second and third elders who were stared at by Mao Kai and unable to move. At this moment, they were also as dumb as if they were stupid, staring at what was happening in front of them with their jaws agape. Although they still didn't know exactly what move Rin Feng had used. But at this moment, they could also see it. What Rin Feng had used was an even more brilliant means than their Ma family's immortal invocation technique. It didn't even need to drink the talisman and recite the incantation to easily deploy the immortals without any repercussions or repercussions. This technique, it was born to restrain my Ma family. My Ma family's proud heritage has fallen short? The hearts of the two great elders were as if huge waves were rising. He finally understood why Ren Feng had just allowed him to release the secret technique at his whim. One was invited and one was forcibly detained by Ren Feng. He felt that Ren Feng was playing borrowing arrows from a straw boat with them. But what about them? But on the contrary, they are still foolishly fooled, immortal as one after another please. It is the community to send warmth, do not bring such a Thinking about the foundation of the Ma family, but was actually played by Ren Feng in the palm of his hand. The two elders just couldn't help but tremble from the bottom of their hearts. It was too scary. This young man in front of them was truly too terrifying. What kind of power was this? The two great elders could not move as they were nailed by Mao Kai and could only look at each other. It was at this moment. Master, Linger is here. A dainty voice rang out, accompanied by the soft chirping of the fire forest sword, Feng Linger flew in from the distance. Before she could reach Rin Feng, Feng Linger shook the fire forest sword in her hand, and flames suddenly erupted from the fire forest sword in the sky. The moment it came, it was the strongest killing move. People of the Ma family, why don't you quickly accept? Feng Linger daintily drank and rushed in front of Rin Feng. However, before the words were finished, Feng Linger was as dumbfounded as if she had been dumbfounded, staring daggers at the scene in front of her. The shocking battle she had guessed. It seemed that. Hadn't happened? Feng Linger was suspicious in her heart and looked around. It didn't take a moment for Feng Linger to freeze in place with her jaw agape. Even the fire forest sword in her hand was hanging off and almost fell. The Ma family's grand elder, who was under one person and above 10,000 people, was lying on a large green stone on the ground with his buttocks bare. The clothes on his body had long since disappeared. His body was scorched black and looked as if he had been struck by lightning. Although he was no longer breathing, his eyes were open in anger and he was dead. Could it be that I was too tired last night and hallucinated? Feng Linger rubbed her purple pupils, a little confused. Ha, huh, the district Ma family is worthy of being compared to the master? Nowadays, the core strength of the Ma family is about to be wiped out in one fell swoop. Mao Kai said in a jared voice. Only then did Feng Linger come back to her senses and look at Mao Kai. However, it didn't matter if she didn't look, when she saw the two people staring from Mao Kai's vines, Feng Linger was instantly enraged. It's them. Back then in Feng Men village, it was them and Ma Hantao who did this. 
Foamlinger changed color explosively, and her originally watery almond eyes were even more vindictive. A thick murderous aura blossomed from Foamlinger's body. Even the fire forest sword in his hand sensed Foamlinger's murderous aura and buzzed and trembled. Linger, the blood feud you spoke of, was it them who did it? Ren Feng's indifferent voice came out. For some reason, after hearing Ren Feng's clear and cold voice, Fong Linger's murderous aura in her heart was thwarted, and in her eyes that were originally filled with anger, some clear color was restored. Yes master, it was Ma Hongtao and the two of them who did this. Saying this, Fong Linger slowly descended and knelt on the ground, please master, hand them over to my disciple, so that my disciple can avenge the more than 800 mouths of the upper and lower Fong clan in the presence of all the townspeople. After saying that, Fong Linger hurriedly cowed out like garlic. She was the one who even dreamed of revenge all the time. Now, when enemies met, they were all red in the eyes. If it wasn't because there was no order from Rin Fong. Fong Linger couldn't wait to get rid of them with her sword in hand. The two elders had been pierced through their shoulder blades by the vines and were unable to move at all. While being stared at by Fong Linger like this, the two of them didn't even feel the slightest bit of shame, instead, they laughed out loud. If people don't act for themselves, heaven and earth will destroy them. Back then, even if my ma family didn't make a move against your Fongmen village, do you think that your Fongmen village would be safe and sound? The only thing you laugh at when a sword or axe is at your head, do it, there's no point in talking more. The two elders were also honorable, directly closing their eyes and waiting to die. Fong Linger looked at Ren Fong with bated breath, waiting for Ren Feng's order. Deal with it as you wish. Ren Fong signaled for Mao Kai to release the two, however, you must remember one of Master's words. Please teach Master. Fong Linger's complexion was delighted as she hurriedly said respectfully, If you don't remove the roots of the grass, it will grow again in the spring. Nowadays, other than Ma Hongtao, the Ma family has no strong people left. Your strength has already reached the Jindan realm, and you are honored to be the city god of hell. Then, the survival of the Ma family, you see to it. Ren Fong looked at Fong Linger, who was kneeling long on the ground, and said indifferently. When Fong Linger heard this, her body couldn't help but shiver. Then thinking of the previous scene, her eyes reddened and two lines of tears flowed out. For so many years, in order to avenge the hatred of the extinct family. First in the mountains to endure humiliation for more than ten years, with the beasts to compete for food, the wind and food. Before coming to Ghost Head Mountain, as long as one closes one's eyes every day, the image of the blood flowing in the Fongmen village back then would appear in one's mind. It was only since coming to Ghost Head Mountain that this phenomenon had gotten much better. For in Fong. Fong Linger had nothing but strong respect. In her heart, there was also a special feeling buried. Thinking of the little bits and pieces in Ghost Head Mountain, the softness in Fong Linger's heart was once again touched. Such a great favor was like a reconstruction. Even though I die, I can't repay it. Fong Linger had already decided in her heart. After her revenge was avenged, all of her belonged to Rin Fong. Even if Rin Fong asked her to die, she would never frown. It was at this moment. The aura on this ghost immortal is similar to yours. See for yourself, who she is. Ren Fong gently waved his hand, and the ghost fairy detained in his hand wobbled and floated in front of Fong Linger. Great grandmother? Fong Linger froze slightly and held the ghost fairy in her hands. Although she could no longer see her face, Fong Linger still felt an aura of blood thicker than water. Thank you master. Fong Linger once again paid her thanks, biting her lips to death and forcing the tears from flowing out. Originally, she had thought that after the big battle with the Ma clan. The Thai Milk, as a Ma Clan immortal spirit, had already died in battle. But she never expected that Master would detect the scent and leave her grandmother alive. Although Fong Linger was shocked in her heart. How did Rin Fong manage to control the Ma family immortal with ease? But then again, this current result was cause for celebration for Fong Linger. The ghost immortal that had originally fallen into uneasiness seemed to have sensed Fong Linger's aura as well and stopped struggling. The hostile aura around his body instantly disappeared without a trace. In its place, there were bursts of sad sounds. Great grandmother, the great revenge will soon be avenged. Fong Linger said softly, carefully holding the ghost immortal in her hands in her arms, a flash of ruthlessness in her eyes. Master is right. If you don't get rid of the grass, it will grow again in the spring. Even though there are innocent people in the Ma family, which of the villagers of Fongmen village were not innocent in the first place? Master's grace of teaching is unforgettable. After the great revenge is avenged, disciple will definitely return to the mountain and serve for life. Fong Linger respectfully kowtowed three times. Withdrawing her body's defenses, Fong Linger's forehead was scratched by a fine, small stone, losing out a trace of blood. As for the two elders of the Ma clan, after hearing these words, the last glimmer of hope in their hearts was completely dashed. They knew. The Ma family would perhaps cease to exist from today. The tragedy that was done in Fong Men village back then, now it was even directly returned to their descendants. When it really should be that old saying. The cycle of karma and retribution. Ren Fong did not stop Fonglinger and accepted the gift openly. 
Where is Golden Armor? In. The Golden Armored Corpse King heard Ren phone call out and rushed forward. Unlike Makai Hitomi, he was originally a general in his life, and after being refined into a Golden Armor Corpse, he still retained his habits from his life. Zombie Devouring Spirit, both risk and opportunity exist. Do you know? The Golden Armored Zombie King nodded his head repeatedly when he heard this. Apart from sucking blood and worshipping the moon, zombies could increase their strength. There was also another risky move, and that was swallowing ghosts and devouring spirits. In the memories of the zombies that the Golden Armored Corpse King and Rin Fong had fused, both had the same memories. Among the memories. Back then, the renowned zombie King Xian Kuei had swallowed two evil ghosts. After struggling on the edge of life and death, his power had increased by more than ten times. You accompany Linger on her journey. As for those my clan's family immortals, it depends on whether you have the stomach for it. Ren Feng said to the Golden Armored Corpse King. Mao Kai had taken the dragon's heart crumb and his strength had jumped to become a demon emperor. Previously, the three boxes of gifts from the black and white irregulars, apart from one of the boxes for Feng Linger to increase the strength of the city god temple, the remaining two boxes Ren Feng gave to Hitomi. Hitomi has long ceased to be a mere ghost spirit. After the fusion of the main body and the lacewing monument, the energy in the body is overabundant and what not, it is not at all a matter for Hitomi to consider. After both boxes of the most in things were refined by Hitomi. Nowadays, although Hitomi's strength was still stuck at the Ghost King realm, she was already a lot stronger than the off-fire Ghost King before she ran away. The Golden Armored Corpse King had instead become the weakest of the three major formation generals. Golden Armor leads the way. The Golden Armored Corpse King led the order and stood behind Fonglinger. Fonglinger's hand raised and her sword fell and the two elders of the Ma clan were directly killed. Master, then I'll go and return. Feng Linger clasped her fists and bowed as she flew towards the direction of the Ma clan with her sword. Let's go back as well. I believe it won't take long for the news of the Ma clan's destruction to spread. Ran Feng left with Mao Kai and Hitomi. After a long time. On the three corpses, the souls of the three great elders emerged. Alas, had I known that day, I should have searched carefully. I didn't realize that the remnants of that time had brought about the downfall of the Ma family. That's just it. The souls of the three gathered together, and each other's tones carried a strong sense of remorse. They did not regret slaughtering the sealed gate village. What they regretted was why they didn't notice this leaky fish at that time. But now that they were already dead, even if they wanted to stop Fonglinger, they no longer had a chance. Soon, two underworlders appeared beside them. Yo, aren't these the three adults from the Ma family? How did they end up in such a state? The two looked at the souls of the three great elders and said with a smirk. The almost flirtatious tone caused the faces of the three elders of the Ma family to change in unison. When their Ma family was prominent, where would the little in differences dare to talk to them like this? But nowadays, the situation was stronger than others. Greetings to the two lords of the netherworld. The first elder hurriedly compensated with a smile, then glanced at the second and third elders behind him. We'd better go to hell and reincarnate in peace. Hee <laughs> hee, I'm afraid that won't work. The underworlder hemmed and hawed, in your lifetime, you have offended our city god of hell, is this reincarnation that good? The three elders were dumbfounded. City god? When did they offend the city god? However, just as they were puzzled. Wow. The netherworld chains shook and directly bound them firmly. Before they could react, the ghost beating rods fell on them like rain. Several hours later, Dragon Tiger Mountain. According to legend, in the middle of the Eastern Han Dynasty, Zhang Daoling, the founder of Zhang Yi Dao, used to refine pills here. Legend has it that when the pills were completed, the dragon and tiger appeared, and the mountain got its name because of this. An old man with white hair is sitting on the main hall. To his left and right, there were several old men sitting respectively. Although these old men looked like chicken skin and crane hair, but between their hands and feet, they all had the momentum of a great immortal. These people, all of them, were the heads of all the major sects of Taoism. This time, they had come to Longhu Mountain for matters related to the Taoist family's emergence. All patriarchs, do you have any objections regarding this Taoist family coming out? I second the motion. I second the motion. I also second that it's time for the Dao family to come out. The other patriarchs took a stand. Only Ma Hongtao hid in the corner and said nothing. What a strange thing. Why is it that ever since I left the Ma clan, there has been a feeling of restlessness in my heart? The more Ma Hongtao thought about it in his heart, the more irritated he became. It was at this time. Ma family master, about this Taoist family coming out. What do you think? Above the main hall, Longhu Mountain's old heavenly master Zhang Wei asked. However, Ma Hongtao was distracted at this moment and didn't hear it at all. Ma family master? Zhang Wei couldn't help but aggravate his tone. Ah, only then did Ma Hongtao come back to his senses. Family master Ma, what do you think about this Taoist family coming out? Zhang Wei asked patiently as he saw that Ma Hongtao was distracted. 
I'll naturally listen to the old heavenly master. Ma Hontao arched his hand and said perfunctorily. However it was at this moment. Not good. Old heavenly master, something big has happened to the Ma family. Outside the door, came the urgent cry of a young Taoist child. When Ma Hontao heard this, his face suddenly changed. No wonder he was disturbed. It turned out that something had really happened to the Ma family. Soon, a young Taoist boy came running in with a roll. What's so alarming? Old Heavenly Master Zhang Wei said indifferently. Old Heavenly Master, Ma family, Ma family. The Xiao Dao entered the door, panting heavily. After seeing Ma Hontao, the Xiao Dao immediately stuttered. What exactly happened to the Ma family? There's no harm in you saying it. A flash of urgency flashed across Ma Hontao's face, and seeing that the little Taoist was most likely concerned about himself, he hurriedly said. Hesitation flashed in the young Taoist's eyes as he looked towards the old heavenly master. The old heavenly master waved his hand, speak. Only after receiving the old heavenly master's permission did the little Taoist monk organize his words. Senior brother Zhang Yu's belongings were left behind at the Ma clan, but when he went back to retrieve it, he found. It's. Speaking here, a flash of fear flashed across the young Taoist's face. Ma Hontao stood up and said anxiously, discovered what, you are quick to say ah, found. The little Taoist clenched his teeth and stomped his feet, discovered that the Ma family, up and down, has been bloodied, there is no half alive ah. What did you say? Ma Hongtao sniffed, thump, thump, thump and retreated several steps, with an unbelievable look on his face. He had only just left a few hours ago. The entire Ma family had turned into this? Ma family master, don't be in a hurry. Zhang Wei slowly said. Not anxious? Not anxious my ass. Ma Hongtao was instantly anxious, my Ma family's foundation, can I not be anxious? Along with speaking, Ma Hongtao's breathing became heavier and heavier. His eyes were even gradually turning red, and he was already on the verge of losing control. Seeing Ma Hongtao's furious appearance, the old celestial master did not get annoyed, but instead advised, don't be anxious first, just in case Zhang Yu was mistaken. Only after hearing these words did Ma Hongtao quiet his mind. Right. This kind of thing was too ridiculous. Strictly speaking, it wouldn't happen at all. Other than the Buddhist sect, who had that ability to slaughter the entire Ma family in such a short period of time. The old heavenly master's words instantly caused Ma Hongtao's heart to slightly ignite so much hope. However, that little Taoist, however, shook his head like a rattle drum. No, this matter is true. The little Taoist priest hurriedly fell toward his bosom. Subsequently, a bloodstained cell phone was pulled out. This is the cell phone of a disciple of the Ma clan, senior brother Zhang Yu found it when he was surveying the scene, and happened to bring it back with him, and it contains pictures of the scene. With those words, the young Taoist was about to hand over the cell phone to the old heavenly master. However before he could make a move, the cell phone in his hand was snatched off by Ma Hontao with a split hand. Ma Hontao opened the photo album with shivering hands. It didn't take long. Grandson, my grandson. Ma Hontao held his cell phone and pounded his chest. On the cell phone screen, a youth in his early twenties was lying on the ground. There was also a faint trace of blood at the corner of his mouth. In the slightly open pupils, there was no half luster. Obviously, the vitality has been extinguished. After a long time, Ma Hongtao took a few deep breaths, his fingers lightly trembling as he flipped through the album. Only looked at a few. Ma Hongtao's face steeply turned flushed, and a mouthful of blood spurted out of his mouth. Ma family head, are you alright? Ma family master. The faces of the surrounding sect masters changed slightly, and one of the sect masters closest to Ma Hongtao rushed forward to assist him, even without looking at the album. Simply by looking at Ma Hongtao's face, the crowd knew. This matter, I am afraid that it is eight or nine. Looking at Ma Hongtao again. At this time he has fallen into a deep grief. After a long time. Huffing and puffing. Huffing. Ma Hongtao's chest continued to rise and fall. A hideous killing aura was released from Ma Hongtao's body. A head of white hair like snow was windless, and the whole person looked fierce. Who is it? Who the hell is it? A few short words popped out from between Ma Hongtao's teeth. Thinking of the tragic situation of the Ma family members, Ma Hongtao suddenly raised his head. Within his eyes, there was a crimson color. Seeing this scene, the Pama's dress's faces changed drastically. Not good, Mahonto is going to go off the deep end. Quickly do something to stop him, or he'll go berserk. Ma family master, wake up quickly. The sect master shouted out, hoping to wake Mahonto up. Each of them had unfathomable cultivation and extensive knowledge. Once Mahonto became demonic, I was afraid that he would sink in the midst of killing. However, Mahonto acted as if he didn't hear them. Kill, kill you all. Avenge my grandson. Ma Hongtao looked at the sect leaders as if he had lost his mind. Under his delirium, he had already taken the group of people in front of him as the culprits of the Ma family's destruction. It was at this moment. Tai Shang Tai Xing, strain without stopping. Exorcism and binding of evil, preserve life and protect body. 
wisdom and clarity, peace of mind. The three souls are permanent, the spirit is not lost. A mantra was recited from the old celestial master's mouth. The eight incantations of Taoism, the pure heart and spirit incantation. Just as Mahantel lost his mind, the old celestial master raised the duster in his hand. Swish. A shadow flashed by, and the old celestial master was already standing beside Mahantau. At the end of the duster, a bit of golden light directly pointed above Mahantau's brow. Mahantau who had already lost his mind. At the moment the golden light touched his brow, as if enlightened, his complexion cleared. The red light in his eyes faded, and the entire person settled down. Many thanks to the old celestial master for coming to the rescue. Mahantau arched his hand and said gratefully. Despite this, Mahantau's eyes still flashed with grief. At this moment, he hadn't thought about how Fong Linger felt back then, and his mood was no better than his. After a full hour or so, only then did Mahantau's mood finally calm down. Old Celestial Master, I won't participate in the matter of the Taoist family coming out of the world. After all, nowadays, the Ma family is no longer the same Ma family as before. Mahantau said with a saddened voice. When the sect masters heard this, a flash of intolerance flashed in their eyes. Although they knew that the reputation of the Ma family hadn't been very good all these years. But no matter what, the Ma family still belonged to a branch of the Taoist family, and this bit of sympathy was still there. Perhaps, if they knew, Ma family had done those heavily angry things back then, I don't know if they would still have this expression. At this time, Ghost Head Mountain. Master, my disciple has returned. Fong Linger bowed down in front of Ren Fong with a respectful expression. Get up. Ren Fong waved his hand blandly, why, are things done? This, is not, strange, what kind of person is it? Fong Linger's large eyes flashed with doubt. Ren Fong looked at Fong Linger in puzzlement. Seeing Ren Feng's gaze, Fong Linger came back to her senses. Master, the matter is like this. After my disciple brought the golden armor to the Ma family's hall, but I found that all of the Ma family's people had actually died. Saying this, Fong Linger was also a bit puzzled, and what's even weirder is that even though the people of the Ma family died, their family immortals were as if they had evaporated from the face of the earth, and they didn't even know where their corpses had gone. Oh, there is such a thing? A flash of surprise flashed across Ren Feng's eyes. Fong Linger nodded, after my investigation with golden armor, we found that these people looked like they had no resistance, and all of them were killed by a single blow. That's a bit strange. Ren Feng rubbed his chin and said softly. At the Ma clan's headquarters, there were at least thousands of disciples. Even if they were thousands of pigs, they couldn't be slaughtered without even a trace of struggle, right? Ren Feng thought in his heart. With his own means then, it would be possible. But then again. Nowadays, the heaven and earth prohibition had only collapsed one strip, and those great powers were still unable to manifest their saints. How many people were there in this world that could be compared to himself? What kind of weapons were they injured by? Ren Fong asked. Not sure, but it should be a sharp weapon. Fong Linger gestured at the right side of her neck, they seem to have been killed by the same kind of sharp weapon, and there is a shallow wound at the neck. Ren Fong slowly nodded his head, deep in thought. If it wasn't Fong Linger, the people of the Ma family, in the end, whose hands did they die in? Moreover, the other party didn't go earlier or later, and they happened to kill the Ma family before Fong Linger went there. Can't it be that they're doing it to frame them? Ren Fong said in his heart. From the current situation, there were only two possibilities. The first scenario. The other party knew that the Ma family was empty now, so they directly struck. If this was the case, it was most likely the work of the Ma family's enemies. Second scenario. The reason why the other party had struck was purely to frame Fonglinger. And behind Fonglinger was Rin Fong. If it was the second scenario, then it could be some people with ulterior motives. It was at this moment that Ren Fong suddenly thought of something and slowly said, Linger, after these my clan disciples die, they are also going to report to the hell, right? When Fong Linger heard this, she immediately brightened up. Right. She herself was a city god. Although on the Ma family's side, it didn't fall under her jurisdiction. But if she went to the hell and asked, it shouldn't be difficult to find the city god over there. When the time came, it would be easy to go to the souls of those Ma family children and ask them. Fong Linger was about to go to the hell to ask. By the way, how is that great grandmother of yours doing? Ren Fong suddenly remembered the hostile ghost fairy that the Ma family had invited earlier and asked. The Ma family's ghost immortal was different from a real ghost immortal. The former, was the Ma family's name for ghost immortals. The latter, on the other hand, was a realm. A true ghost immortal's cultivation was comparable to an earth immortal and could already use immortal weapons. Fong Linger's Tainan, although she was hostile and had deep strength, but it was still far from the ghost immortal level. According to Rin Feng's estimation, its strength should be quite a bit stronger than Mao Kai. Makai was now a demon emperor, which corresponded to the Yuaning stage of human cultivators. 
After Jin Dan, there would be Yuan Ying, transformation of God, refining of void, and Mahayana. After Mahayana, one could cross the threshold and ascend, and the true essence in the body would be transformed into a mortal essence. The strength of Fong Linger's great-grandmother should be one step away from being comparable to a Yuaning stage cultivator. Hearing Rin Fong inquire, Fong Linger's round purple pupil flashed with a touch of sadness, back to master, great-grandmother has been imprisoned by the Ma family for many years, and nowadays, her consciousness is weak, and almost only instincts remain. Ren Fong sniffed and nodded thoughtfully. That's fine, since that's the case, then let her work in your city god temple. Ren Fong thought about it and said, with Fong Linger Tai Milk's strength, it was more than enough for her to sit on Ghost Head Mountain as a mountain protector formation general. But after so many years of torture by the Ma family, her consciousness was on the verge of collapse. Although empty strength, but in the face of various crises, but like Hitomi, Mao Kai, golden armor to make the most appropriate judgment. For example, when they fought against the Ma clan today. When Mao Kai saw that he could not defeat the three great immortals of the Ma clan joining forces, he had the intention of introducing them into the formation to pit and kill them. If Mao Kai's IQ was the same as Fonglinger's Thai Milk, it wouldn't have used this method at all, and could only fight on with instinct until it died in battle. In Rin Feng's eyes, this kind of reckless behavior might be counterproductive instead. Fonglinger looked at Ren Feng pondering and bowed, Master, then I will leave first, when I go to the hell to explore the situation, I will come back to report to you. Go. Ren Feng waved his hand blandly, and Fonglinger left. After Fonglinger left, Ren Feng called the Golden Armored Corpse King again. Lord, I wonder what I was summoned for. Golden Armor knelt on one knee, his right fist against his chest. Ren Feng reached out and flicked his hand. The Golden Armored Corpse King subconsciously reached out and took it. In looking at the hand, two thumb-sized immortal spirits, cowering in fear, curled up in Golden Armor's dry palm. These two immortal spirits, both are of the Demon Emperor realm. Now that the Ma Clan's legacy has been broken, these two immortal spirits don't have an original body, their strength is greatly reduced, and they are no longer useful to me. The spirit devouring method, there should be a legacy in your memories, right? Ren Feng raised his eyelids and asked. Upon hearing this, Golden Armor hurriedly nodded his head. The spirit devouring method of the zombie king Xin Kue back then had long since been incorporated into the depths of every zombie's mind as a zombie's inherited memory. As long as a consciousness was born, the method could be recalled. Although this method progresses at a rapid pace, it is treacherous. The specifics of how to do it are up to you. Ren Feng gently waved his hand signaling the corpse king to retire. Golden armor retires. The golden armored corpse king bowed and left. When he reached the middle of the compound, golden armor secretly clutched the two large Ma family immortals. For some reason, a faint sense of humiliation always lingered in his heart. At this moment, Jinjia really regretted why he didn't meet Rin Feng earlier. According to the conversation between Hitomi and Mao Kai earlier, in the beginning, Hitomi's strength was the weakest. Mao Kai was second. The strongest, was he, the golden armored corpse king. But Hitomi and Maokai recognized Rin Feng as their master first, and their strength rose by leaps and bounds. Originally once the strongest himself, now even fell to the bottom of the existence. Although Hitomi and Maokai to him is still the same as usual. But a hidden sense of humiliation was born in the golden armor's cold heart. My lord, to shed a corpse into a drought demon is the supreme among corpses. Since I, golden armor, have followed my lord, how can I fall short and disgrace the zombie lineage? Golden Armor's dry hand slowly clenched. His heart, which was already cold, unexpectedly twitched strangely twice. He was originally a zombie, and originally had no feelings or desires. But after following Rin Feng, Golden Armor realized. The original zombie, the same can live very nourishing. In his impression, zombies can only hide in the shadows, but also always be careful of those who guard the Taoist, the slightest accident will be scattered. But since with Rin Feng, Jinjia only know. Zombie, even can live in the sunshine, hard to shake the major sex. Even the special energy bureau, have to give way for it. Such a way of living, how awesome is it? Isn't it spirit eater? Lord, golden armor will definitely succeed. Although the method of spirit devouring was a nine deaths in one life, in order to follow in Rin Feng's footsteps, the golden armored corpse king still decided to take a chance. At this time, the news of the Ma family's destruction had gradually spread. And after a preliminary judgment, Ghost Head Mountain Ren Fong, on the Ma family extermination, has a major suspicion. Above Long Hu Mountain, Ma Hongtao has not yet come out of the grief. Although the old celestial master used the pure heart divine spell to calm down, to avoid losing control. But in the strong fluctuation of emotions, Ma Hongtao was alive gas injuries to the internal organs, is currently closed eyes mediation. The other sect masters looked at each other in dismay. Everyone. A patriarch stood out, the Ma family is also considered to be a Taoist lineage of my Taoist family, and now that the entire family has been exterminated just like that, 
don't you all have anything to show for it? Daoist Master Chong Yang, if I'm not mistaken, the one from Ghost Head Mountain should be a zombie, right? Saying this, the sect master looked towards an old man with white hair. Daoist Master Chong Yang listened and nodded slightly. That sect leader continued, before the rumors were spreading about the Green Mountain succession poor Taoist also read about it, wasn't that zombie suppressed by your talisman sect? Not bad. Daoist Master Chong Yang nodded his head in acknowledgement. The moment the corpse suppressing talisman was broken, the talisman sect was aware of it. In this matter, the sin is not on my talisman sect. Daoist Master Chong Yang spoke eloquently, at the moment the corpse suppressor talisman was broken, we were aware of it, but then, just as we were preparing to exterminate the evil, the special energy bureau suddenly came to our door, and due to the pressure from the special energy bureau, we could only call it quits. Hearing these words, that sect master's face sank. His intention was not to raise an offense. After hearing Taoist master Chong Yang explain it like this, he also somewhat understood. Nowadays, even though the Taoist family was the state religion, they had to listen to the Special Energy Bureau. Since the Special Energy Bureau had stepped in to bail out Renfong, they couldn't say anything. But now, the situation was different. After exterminating the Ma family's entire clan, even the Special Energy Bureau couldn't quell the people's grievances. Just as the crowd was looking at each other in disbelief, the old heavenly master suddenly coughed and spoke softly. Ladies and gentlemen, now that Ghost Head Mountain has broken into a big mess, the balance between the major forces has been broken. The hatred between sex and sex, even the Special Energy Bureau can no longer intervene. Lords of the sex, what are your thoughts on this matter? The old heavenly master directly threw out the most pointed question. He wanted to ask the attitudes of all the palm sex. Those present, all of whom were the palm sectors of the major sex, were already at the very top of the Taoist pyramid. Their decisions would undoubtedly have a direct impact on the direction of the Taoist family in the future. After this question was thrown out, the entire parlor steeply fell silent. The crows were silent and a needle could be heard. It was only after a few moments that a few palmist masters sporadically spoke. In my humble opinion, the Taoist family's emergence is imminent, and now is the right time to take advantage of this matter to raise the prestige of my Taoist family. The Zhang Yi sect agrees, this Ren Feng is originally a zombie body, getting rid of demons and defending the Tao is the duty of my generation. Shangqing sect seconded, the Ma family was originally a Taoist lineage, now that they have been exterminated, my Taoist family won't even let out a single fart, and it will be easy to be laughed at by other forces. Seconded by the Chuanjin sect, if we really don't act, it will undoubtedly be a blow to the reputation of the Taoist family. With a few people taking the lead, the other patriarchs also seconded the motion. Their purpose was only one, and that was to uphold the dignity of the Taoist family and avenge the deaths of their fellow sect members. However just at this moment, I, Wu Don, will not second the motion for now. A lazy voice came out. The sect masters looked over. It was found to be a young Taoist priest with clear eyebrows. The entire person gave off a very lazy and drowsy look. In front of him, Wu Dong's sect leader Yu Xuanda was sitting with his eyes closed. It seemed that he didn't care about his disciples' behavior. Who are you? The Wu Dong sect leader has yet to speak. How can you allow your junior to speak? This son is so uneducated. The young man's lazy words quickly aroused the dissatisfaction of the others. Master and Disciple Etiquette, Seniority, and Inferiority. The Ten Precepts of Taoism. The first preceptor had to be loyal and unfilial, unkind and unbelieving, when one does one's best to honor one's ruler and relatives, and pushes into all things. If even this rule cannot comply with the words, even if the talent is excellent, gifted, but also the same cannot be reused. Seeing a young disciple, even openly interrupting in front of the crowd of master teachers, the crowd of sect leaders were instantly dissatisfied and frowned in reprimand. That's just it. The old heavenly master waved his hand slightly and looked towards the Wudong sect leader, Brother Taoist Yu, this son's words may represent Wudong? Hearing the old heavenly master ask. Only then did the Wudong sect master slowly open his eyes, and belatedly said, naturally, it is possible. The old heavenly master nodded gently and looked at the young man, in that case, you may come forward and speak. The young man stretched and stood out. Seeing this scene, the dissatisfaction in the hearts of the sect masters increased. What a shame, what a shame. Standing without standing and sitting without sitting, simply infuriating. Wudong Taoist Master Yu, do you condone your disciples and grandchildren so much? Brother Thousand Crane calm down, and listen to what this kid actually has to say. Facing the reproaches of the sect masters, the young man first yawned gently. Wudong Wang also, pay respects to the old heavenly master. Greetings to all the sect masters. The young man, also known as Wang Ya, lazily arched his hand. Although his tone was respectful, he still had a drowsy demeanor. However, these words caused the palm sectors to stare in disbelief. This son is Wang Yuya? I heard that he is the genius of the younger generation of Wudong. 
Not only has he obtained the true transmission of Wodong's cloud hands, even the art of Chi Man has reached the peak. To have such skills at such a young age, really impresses the old man. Oof. So what? Those who don't respect their teachers won't be able to serve dog meat at a feast after all. Wang also ignored the words of the crowd of sect masters. I'm afraid the words of the sect masters are a bit too arbitrary. Wang Yi also said to himself, although the Ma family and Ghost Head Mountain had clashed, what makes you all sect masters certain that the Ma family's extermination was the work of Rin Feng? The moment Wang Yi also said this, the crowd froze. Yes. Through Ma Hongtao's complaint, they knew. Before Ma Hongtao came, the Ma family's people had already gone to Ghost Head Mountain and had a conflict with Rin Feng. But even if that was the case, it could not be directly determined that the matter of the Ma family was Rin Feng's doing. To be so arbitrary, there was indeed a suspicion of being right. Although the masters are anxious to maintain the dignity of the Taoist family, but each one is not a generation of salt and oil. After hearing Wang Yuya's analysis, they stopped talking and quietly waited for the following. Do you all Dao masters still remember the falling dragon incident a few days ago? Seeing that the crowd had already been attracted to it, Wang Yi also continued, Previously, I, Wudong Ching Xuanzi, had crossed paths with the Ma family. Finished speaking. Wang Yi gave a wink to another young disciple behind the Wudong master teacher. That disciple understood and hurriedly stepped forward. Blessed Shang Infinite Heavenly Father. Late senior Wudong Ching Xuanzi, I have met all the sect masters. This Taoist priest was none other than Xing Xuanzi, who had gotten into an argument with Ma Xing one of the Ma family a few days ago when the dragon fell from the winning mouth. Facing the sect masters, Xing Xuanzi was not as casual as Wang Yuya. These, however, were the leaders of the major sects of Taoism. Being stared at by so many old monsters, tiny beads of sweat appeared on Xing Xuanzi's temples. Under this invisible aura, Xing Xuanzi felt like a thorn in his back. It wasn't until Wang Yuya gently patted his shoulder that he felt certain in his heart. After organizing his words for a few moments, Xing Xuanzi said all that he had seen and heard that day, word for word. Very quickly, Xing Xuanzi finished recounting what happened. That was the situation that day, and it was also the first time that my junior had dealt with Rin Feng. After Xing Xuanzi finished speaking, he hurriedly retreated to his original position. However, the crowd of pal mistresses were astonished. The Ma clan is actually going to refine the true dragon into a Ma clan battle spirit? This. Outrageous. The true dragon is the faith of the nation. How can it be touched by the Ma clan? If it looks like this, then Rin Feng isn't as bad as the Ma family master said. Qing Xuanzi, is everything you said true? Facing the questioning, Qing Xuanzi didn't dare to be slow. Hastily clasping his fists, he said, what my junior said is true in every word, if there is half a lie, I will die under the heavenly tribulation. Saying this, the sect leaders immediately believed Qing Xuanzi's words. After all, there was no cultivator who was willing to swear by the heavenly tribulation. For a while, the sect leaders were suddenly shaken by the crusade against Rin Feng. Just as the meeting was at an impasse. Ahem, all the sect leaders, can you listen to a word from the old man? Ma Hongtao, at some point, had already finished regulating his breathing and said in a weak tone. The palm sectors immediately quieted down, wanting to listen to what exactly Ma Hongtao wanted to say. This matter, is indeed true. But that Rin Feng, and my Ma family have indeed been harboring grudges for a long time, and the extermination of the door must have been done by him. My Ma family, in the end, also belongs to the Taoist Dao lineage. Today, Ma Ma thick this old face, in the name of the Ma family thousands of wrong souls, begging all of you. Put. Saying this, Ma Hongtao directly knelt in front of the crowd. His old face was filled with disheartened color, please, all the sect masters, on the basis that the Ma family is also considered as one of the inheritance of the Taoist sect, do justice for the Ma family ah. After saying that, Ma Hongtao's forehead, knocked hard on the ground. Thud. A muffled sound. The hearts of all the sect masters shook in unison. Looking at the ground again, there was already a blood flower blooming. Seeing this scene, the hearts of the crowd of palm sectors were very unfavorable. Ma Hongtao, no matter how you put it, was still in existence on par with them. Now, he was like a lost dog, kneeling down to the once equal people in a miserable manner. Looking at Ma Hongtao, he was already in tears. Without immortal possession, his body was just a bit stronger than an ordinary person. The strength of the kowtow just now. If the angle wasn't right, it was likely that he would have directly hit the ground alive. Seeing that Ma Hontao wanted to continue kowtowing. Who? The old celestial master waved the duster in his hand. Ma Hontao suddenly felt a soft forceful aura wrapping itself around him. When he wanted to kowtow, his body was no longer able to bend down. Looking at Ma Hontao again, above his forehead, he was already drenched in blood. Blood and tears were mixed together, and on the plain white clothes, they outlined channels of blood red. Seeing this scene, all the sect masters were moved, and a feeling of sorrow for the rabbit's death rose in their hearts. Regardless of how that Rin Feng is, he is ultimately a zombie incarnation. 
Not bad, my Taoist family's Taoist lineage is being bullied like this, how can we not tolerate it? I propose that the Taoist family go on an immediate expedition to crush the ghost head mountain sins. Seeing Ma Hantao in such a miserable state, quite a few pal mistresses wore a saddened expression. The information they had gotten was only one-sided. If they had known that the Ma family had done all those evil things, perhaps this was not the same expression at this time. Until now, this group of foolish Nubizi had been completely fooled and crippled by Ma Hantao's one-sided words. They were all filled with righteous indignation and were fighting for the Ma family. Seeing that the faces of the sect masters were all determined, the old heavenly master could only sigh slightly. Just as well, it is heaven's destiny for my Taoist family to come out. Three days later, all of you will come with me to Ghost Head Mountain in person to ask for an explanation from that Rinfeng. At the same time, inside the Buddhist family, the Great Shangwa Temple, inside the Maharishi's treasure hall. Oh, the Ma family was actually exterminated? Interesting. Listening to Ruaji's report, the Dharma minister clenched his Buddha beads in his hands, and a brilliant aura flashed continuously in his pale eyes. With the Taoist family's character of protecting their shortcomings, they will definitely take action against Ghost Head Mountain. With this kind of hilarity, how can I, the Buddha family, stand by and watch? The Dharma minister laughed in his heart, then asked, Ruaji, where are the 18 bronze men now? At the bottom of the mountain, preaching the Dharma. Where is my senior brother? After World Honored One left the Great Sunda Temple, he went straight to Suang City, a thousand miles away. Suang City? Dharma Faze's white eyebrows frowned, even though he cultivated into a World Honored One, he is still haunted by the events of that era. Although on the surface, he looked like he was sighing longingly. However, in the heart of the Dharma Faze, it was a cold smile. The so-called senior brother in his mouth was the tattooed great monk who had broken out the day before. Jinshan Temple's Great Power, Fahai. Hearing Ruaji say that F.A. Hai had gone to Suang City, F.A. Xiang's heart was even more certain. As long as F.A. Hai did not let go of his demons, the only one who could truly become a Buddha would be him, F.A. Xiang. Dum 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 dum. Dharma phase knocked on the wooden fish, the Buddha beads in his hand trembling slightly. After a moment's pause, Dharma phase slowly said, Ruaji. Monk Ruaji hurriedly bowed with his hands together. Go! Order the 18 bronze men to go to Ghost Head Mountain immediately. By the way, send another person to inform senior brother, informing him that a demon has emerged from Ghost Head Mountain, and that the local people fear for their lives. F.A. Xiang slowly said. Yes, disciple will head there now. Ruaji clasped his hands together and gave a deep salute, then with a few rises and falls, he went down the mountain. Kapotul. The headquarters of the Special Energy Bureau. Pop. The sound of glass shattering immediately startled the sexy secretary. Looking at the middle-aged man sitting again, after seeing the information in his hand, the celadon porcelain teacup in his hand was actually directly crushed. Chief, you. The female secretary's plump lips moved slightly, wanting to say something. However, just after opening her mouth, she was interrupted by the middle-aged man raising his hand. These stupid guys. At the time of the great catastrophe of heaven and earth, they are even engaging in a harbor fight? Don't they know that the safety of the people is the most important thing? The middle-aged man became angrier and angrier as he spoke. A pair of recumbent eyebrows knitted high on his dignified state-type face. The secretary had followed him for many years and naturally knew. Once the boss's brows knit up, it proved that at this moment, he was already angry to the extreme. Boss, the current situation, we have no way to stop it all. The female secretary whispered. Although she knew that her words might have angered boss. But the situation nowadays was likely to be irreparable. The core mission of the Special Energy Bureau was to constrain these cultivators and also the aberrations from striking out at ordinary people. However, the cultivators fought amongst themselves, on the premise of not endangering ordinary people. The only thing the Special Energy Bureau can do is to coordinate, not forcefully stop it. This was the Special Energy Bureau ban. Even the head of the Special Energy Bureau had to abide by it. In that case, let them fight as they please. The country-faced middle-aged man pinched his brow with a bit of a headache, anyway, no matter what, tell them that no matter which side harms ordinary people, my Special Energy Bureau will definitely strike with thunderous means. Yes. The secretary hurriedly nodded. The secretary then took out another document from the folder, head, there is another matter that needs your attention right now. The middle-aged man took the document and looked at it for a moment. What a fear of what will come. On the hell side, are there really no means left at all? The middle-aged man, as a hand of the Special Energy Bureau, had long since reached the peak of his strength. Yet now, he felt. He seems to be facing the risk of myocardial infarction. On the document, it was written about the losses related to the Special Energy Bureau after the collapse of the Ghost Gate Gates prohibition last night. Although all the city gods from all over the world actively cooperated and came to their aid, 
Some patriotic hidden and scattered cultivators, and decent elves and monsters have also taken it upon themselves to protect the safety of the masses. But the losses from all over the world added up to a very painful number for the Special Energy Bureau. And yesterday night was only the first wave of the offensive. According to the news coming from the hell side, the evil spirits that broke free from the ghost gate tonight might be even more terrifying than yesterday. Chief, should we publicize about the great calamity to the public? In that case, maybe the people will pay some attention too. As long as it's not all out of control, the burden of my special energy bureau will also be relatively easy, the female secretary suggested in a small voice. The middle-aged man was silent, seemingly pondering. Tick, tick. The clock on the wall continued to jump. The middle-aged man's mind was also racing, hesitating to make a decision. After all, at this time, one of his decisions, what affected, was the fate of millions of families. A full more than one clock had passed. Those people are fighting uncontrollably, the only ones who can fight next are perhaps our special energy bureau, the city gods around the world, as well as those patriotic loose cultivators, elves and monsters, and other aspiring people. Speaking here, the middle-aged man slowly got up. His face was firm, and his tone was decisive and resonant. Immediately draft a proposal on publicizing this great calamity. The name will be Dash. At this moment of crisis, all people are united. At this moment, all people welcome the age of terror. At this moment, Fong Linger had already gone and returned. Master, I just went and asked. Fong Linger placed the city god seal aside. Obviously, she had already taken a trip with the city god seal just now, and with the shelter of the city god seal, Fong Linger would be able to enter and exit the hellmouth on her own in spirit flesh form. Hmm. Run Fong nodded bashfully and waited for the following. Master, besides the three elders of the Ma family, the souls of the other Ma family children did not report to the hell. According to the underworlder who went to detain the souls at that time, when they rushed there, the souls of the thousands of people from the Ma family looked as if they had been detained by some special magical weapon, and there wasn't a single strand of residual soul at all. Fong Linger truthfully reflected the situation she had grasped. There's such a thing? Ren Fong frowned. Forcibly having one soul taken, it was definitely the work of an expert. All right, you go down first. Ren Fong waved his hand, and Fong Linger immediately got up and retired. It was at this moment. A terrifying aura steeply emerged from the top of Ghost Head Mountain. Oh, a breakthrough. The corner of Ren Feng's mouth arced. This aura was none other than the Golden Armored Corpse King's aura. Nowadays, the Golden Armored Corpse King's aura had become stronger and stronger, and had already vaguely surpassed Makai's momentum. The spirit devouring method, it really lives up to its name. Ren Feng lightly said, then his body moved and appeared beside the Golden Armored Corpse King. At this moment, the Golden Armor was already on the verge of a breakthrough. Around the golden armor, the thick fatal chi was like it had condensed into substance, and it kept circling along the golden armor's circumference. Serving two spirits in a row has actually produced a mutation? It seems that the golden armor is going to open up a cultivation path that truly belongs to itself, Run Fong secretly said in his heart. Those two immortal spirits, although they were only spirits and did not have a physical body. However, they were also solid demon emperor realm existences. They were much stronger than the golden armored corpse king from before. If Rin Fong had not suppressed it in advance, it would have been impossible for the Golden Armor to take the two immortal spirits. The Golden Armor was originally artificially refined, and unlike Rin Fong who had absorbed the essence of heaven and earth, the Golden Armor technically could not advance into a drought demon in its entire life. However, it now seemed that it was possible that the Golden Armor had opened up another new zombie cultivation route. Not bad, I would like to see how high your achievements will be in the future. Under Rin Feng's gaze, Golden Armor's entire body, began to expand continuously. Originally standing over 10 feet tall, under the constant expansion, his height soon exceeded 3 feet tall. Coupled with the terrifying aura around him, it soon attracted the others as well. Boy, how did he become so strong in a moment? Mao Kai held his elm head. In amazement, he accidentally pulled down the only green seedling that grew out of that head as well. Hitomi and Fonglinger, too, looked at the corpse king with shocked faces. From the aura alone, at this moment, the Golden Armored Corpse King's aura had completely overpowered Makai. Can't it be that it's a chance given by the master? Mao Kai quietly glanced at Rin Fong. The Golden Armored Corpse King's cultivation had skyrocketed in an instant. The only possibility was the master's handiwork. And at this moment, roar. The Golden Armored Corpse King let out a roar, and the roar was tinged with pain. Hmm. It seems that devouring two immortal spirits in one go is something that the Golden Armored Corpse King can't carry. Ren Feng's heart moved, and a trace of divine power condensed in his hand. Granting you a trace of drought, I hope you can open up a world of your own. Ren Feng said indifferently, sending that trace of native divine energy into the golden armored corpse king's brow. Instantly, the golden armor's aura surged once again. 
The facial expression, however, was no longer so painful. Roar! A hideous roar came out from the golden armored corpse king's mouth. Immediately after, the fierce aura around his body coalesced towards the back of the golden armored corpse king. The golden armor's already swollen body shape suddenly deflated, quickly turning bone thin and dry. Even the golden armor became dull. However, the aura around his body was getting stronger and stronger. The fury was quickly absorbed by the golden armor. Looking behind the golden armor again, a pair of pitch black bone wings actually grew. Golden armor, fortunately. The golden armor corpse king stood up and said to Rin Foam. The voice was as harsh as a stone scratching glass, and his already hideous face looked as dry and intolerable as the bark of an old tree. However, that strong aura made the crowd not dare to underestimate it. What realm are you in now? Ren Fong asked with interest. I don't know, either. The golden armor shook its head in some confusion. I feel that after absorbing that trace of origin chi from my master, my body has undergone a sea change. Perhaps. This realm I'm in now, from memory, should be called Nightmare. Golden armor thought about it and said to Ren Fong. Nightmare? Ren Fong frowned slightly. It was at this moment that Mao Kai suddenly changed his expression, it's actually Nightmare. The crowd looked at Mao Kai curiously. Without waiting for them to speak, Mao Kai explained. Before, Big Sister of the Fox Clan told me about the records of their clan. Nine devils and one nightmare, heaven and earth change color. What was said was none other than the corpse nightmare. However, at that time, she said that the records about the nightmare were only skimmed over in the book, and only told the Fox Clan's descendants that they must not make an enemy of it. Mao Kai pondered for a moment and explained to the crowd. Ren Fong nodded slightly. It seemed that he had felt wrong before. It wasn't that the golden armor had found a new zombie evolutionary route on its own, this route had existed a long time ago. It was only that there was not one in a million golden armored zombies that could become a nightmare. Therefore, even in Rin Feng's mind, there was no relevant memory. You go consolidate your cultivation first, Ren Feng said to the golden armor. However, it was at this moment that golden armor shook his head. Lord, I don't know why. After advancing into nightmare, I instead crave for blood more and more. The golden armor corpse king said to Rin Fong. It was at this moment. The golden armored corpse king suddenly inhaled his nose, then showed a tyrannical expression on his face. I smell the flavor of blood. Lord wait a moment, I'll go and return. As soon as the words fell, the golden armor flapped its bone wings behind it. At the time of looking the figure had already reached dozens of meters away. Roar. A roar came out. Immediately followed by. Crap. What kind of monster is this Tama? Senior Rin Fong saved me ah. A blistering cry came from the direction where the golden armor had gone. Fong Linger's complexion moved old Qin's voice? Ren Fong also heard out that the person coming was none other than Qin Zijing. Golden armor, stop! Ren Fong shouted loudly. In less than a moment, golden armor flapped its bone wings and flew in carrying Qin Zijing. At this moment, Qin Zijing was still in shock. The eyes that looked at the golden armor were filled with horror. Put. With a casual throw, golden armor directly threw Qin Zijing to the ground. This is. Qin Zijing asked as he glanced at golden armor with a palpitating heart. Mao Kai laughed out loud, he's the golden armor corpse king that didn't smash you flat in a good way a few days ago. Qin Zijing, how come it's him again? He was so close to not dying in his hands a few days ago, and then today? Qin Zijing suddenly felt that he and the golden armored corpse king seemed to have some bad luck. Senior Rin Fong, there is a very important piece of information here. After a long time, Qin Zijing slowly calmed down and said to Rin Fong, according to the latest news from the Special Energy Bureau, the people of the Taoist family have gathered the pinnacle of the entire Taoist religion and are coming to Ghost Head Mountain to seek justice for the Ma family. Oh, the Taoist family? Ren Feng's expression twitched. Qin Zijing nodded his head repeatedly, not bad senior, the Special Energy Bureau is here this time to issue a circular. What announcement? Given that senior and the Dao family are both special forces of the Ascending Dragon Empire, the Ascending Dragon Empire is not interfering in this fight, but there is a prerequisite. In the middle of the fight, no one is allowed to injure the common people. Saying this, Qin Zijing carefully glanced at Ren Fong. HM, I know. Ren Fong said in a salty manner. Qin Zijing, how come it was this ambiguous answer again? How was this going to make him go back and deliver? Just as Qin Zijing wanted to continue speaking. Senior Ren Fong, can you be here? A delicate voice came. Although no one was seen, the voice was like a yellow warbler coming out of the valley, causing one to feel tenderness and compassion. The crowd looked towards the middle of the clouds, only to see a graceful figure looming in the clouds. By the side of this stunning figure, there was also a dull-witted tiger demon standing. Big sister, tiger? What are they doing here? Mao Kai was slightly stunned after seeing the visitors. Amidst the clouds, the tiger demon and the demon fox were standing in the air, looking at this side. For the two demons, Mao Kai still had feelings. Afraid that Ren Feng would be displeased, 
Mao Kai hurriedly explained, Master, they are Mao Kai's former sworn siblings, I will drive them away. Instead of driving them away. Rather, it was because Mao Kai was afraid that the two demons would accidentally offend Ren Feng. Driving them away was to save their little lives. Let them come down. Ren Feng said blandly, These two demons should be here today for something. Ren Feng simply let them land and see what exactly the two demons were here for this time. Demon Fox Su Shallow Yun and Tiger Demon slowly landed. Fox Clan Su Shallow Yun, meet Senior Rin Feng. Su Shallow Yun owed her body to Rin Feng, and the three furry tails behind her floated gently. Gelatinous skin, fiery figure. Coupled with the furry tails, there were also small fox ears. Between her hands and feet, she was filled with a seductive aura. Suck it. Steeply, an abrupt gulping sound rang out. Qin Zi Jing was as if he had lost his soul, staring blankly at the demon fox in front of him. Bah! Feng Linger let out a light snort, looked at Su Shanyun, and then looked down at her own chest. A hint of inferiority complex vaguely arose in her heart. Looking at Rin Feng again, he still had a bland expression. Feng Linger couldn't help but secretly rejoice in her heart. Master is indeed a master, in this aspect of determination alone, it's not comparable to other men. Su Shanyun's charm didn't seem to be of any use to Rin Feng. Ren Feng just lightly glanced at Su Shanyun and lightly said, What are the two of you here for this time? Truth be told, it is precisely for the matter of the Ma family's extermination that I have come. Su Shanyun softly said, and then her delicate little hand spread out. In her hand was a fox immortal spirit. This immortal spirit, just escaped from the Ma family's side to my cave. There is some information that Senior should be very interested in. At the same time, a certain remote small city. Because of the remote terrain, there were only a handful of members of the Special Energy Bureau escorting this place last night. However, in this kind of remote small town, there were quite a few hidden experts. With the help of these hidden experts, it was only with the help of these hidden masters that the Special Power Bureau repelled the evil spirits that escaped from the hell last night. Because of the reason that people were running off to work in the big cities, there were hardly many pedestrians in this small city. However, a Chinese medicine store. However, it was overcrowded. On the street outside the medicine store, there were countless expensive luxury cars. Judging from the license plates, a large portion of these cars came from the provincial city. Inside the medicine store, a bad old man with thieving eyebrows, two eight-sided beards, and a glistening face was sitting upright. In front of him was a stunningly beautiful young girl. Judging from the way she was dressed, she should be an upper-class celebrity. Behind her were some wealthy merchants. However, it was these people of prominent status that were obediently lined up like grandchildren in the middle of this medicine store, and no one dared to make a sound. The rat-eyed old man was taking the famous woman's pulse. After a few moments, it's not a problem, it's just some uterine cold. The blood veins are blocked, that's what causes painful menstruation. Just drink more hot water. The old man pinched his eight-character beard and lazily said to the famous woman. Famous one froze slightly, then snorted coldly, Che, sure enough, this place recommended by her best friend is not reliable at all. Hot water? In the eyes of most women, it had become a perfunctory word. The rat-eyed old man saw the famous woman's disdainful eyes, and his rat eyes flickered. I'm a doctor, not your boyfriend. Love to tap on the drink or not. Famous hope. Next, the rat-eyed old man lazily ignored this famous woman and directly shouted at the top of his voice. However, right at this moment, Amit Bob Buddha, a Buddhist cry. Without waiting for the crowd to react, 18 muscular, shirtless bald men walked in. These 18 people had stalwart faces and solemn expressions. What attracted the most attention was that on these 18 bald men, it was as if they had been coated with gold paint, their bodies were glittering with golden light, which was extremely shocking. With every step, lotus flowers bloomed under their feet. In just a moment, they arrived beside the rat-eyed old man. Scholar, the poor monk's illness, I wonder if you can cure it? One of the monks folded his hands and asked, What disease? The rat-eyed old man's face changed, but after a moment, he feigned composure and said, The heart disease of subduing demons and eliminating devils. Bold demon. How dare you confuse the world here. Why don't you quickly reveal yourself? The 18 bronze men shouted in unison, fighting killing machines blossoming from their bodies. This time, the old man's face finally changed. 18 bronze men, why are you looking for trouble from me? I am a good demon, practicing medicine for many years to keep the party safe and helped the Special Energy Bureau retreat from the enemy last night. Why are you guys doing this? The old man was shocked and angry, and he immediately turned into a puff of black smoke. In the next instant, the old man fled out of the medicine store and directly rose up in the clouds in full view of everyone. A demon is a demon. How dare you show off in front of us? The 18 bronze men shouted in unison. Buddhist chi condensed above their heads, eventually condensing into a swastika Buddhist light. Under the illumination of the Buddha's light, the rat-eyed old man's body was surrounded by gusts of black gas, 
and he directly appeared in his original form. It was a one meter tall gray rat. The surrounding people, who had never seen this kind of formation, fled with a shriek. Under the light of the Buddha, the gray rat cried out in pain, you can't kill me, I'm a good demon, I have blessings ah. A demon is a demon. Where to run, suffer death. The gray mouse shouted, seeing that his death was imminent, he hurriedly transported his demonic chi to resist the stall. However, right at this moment, senior brothers, Ruaji's voice came from the distance. Ruaji? Why is he here? Can't it be that there's something going on in the Grand Primeval Temple? The 18 bronze men at the head froze after seeing the visitor. Seeing this scene, the rat demon was preparing to flee. Demon, where to go? 18 bronze men, swastika demon subduing. The swastika, which was permeated with vast Buddhist light, steeply flew towards the rat demon as if it had locked onto its target. Poof. The Buddha's light was fancy free and directly pierced through the rat demon's body. You, you guys can't. The rat demon felt his life drain away and cried out in sorrow. However, just halfway through, the rat demon suddenly realized that his perspective felt like it had been cut in half. Immediately afterward, the huge rat demon was directly split into four pieces by the swastika Buddha light. Pity that rat demon, who had done good deeds all his life. Healing the sick and saving people, driving away disasters and casting spells. In the end, it was directly blasted to death by the 18 bronze men, not even leaving a whole body. For the Buddhist sect. Many monks have the same mindset as the former F.A. High. No matter what demons and devils. There is only one word for what happens, death. They didn't care whether these demons were good or bad, whether they had a good heart or not. They only discerned whether the other party was human or not. If the other party had defected to the Special Energy Bureau, perhaps they would still give the Special Energy Bureau a few points of face and pretend not to see it. If it's not the Special Energy Bureau, then sorry, there is only one word for death in the end. The 18 copper men have killed many demons since they came down from the mountain. Among them, there are even Taoists sitting Roy beasts that were sent to benefit the people. And at this time, Monk Ruaji also managed to arrive and landed beside the 18 bronze men. 18 senior brothers, Dharma master uncle has an order. Ruaji bowed to the 18 bronze men with folded hands, three days later, the elite of the Taoist family will descend on Ghost Head Mountain, and Master Dharma Faze has ordered you to depart immediately and head to Ghost Head Mountain to propagate the Dharma. The 18 bronze men clasped their hands together, and the Buddhist light on their bodies dispersed. Understood, we will depart immediately. The bronze man at the head of the group said blandly, and then continued to rush on. The surrounding citizens, looking at the rat corpse that was split into four pieces, were stunned. Rats they had seen. Rats that could fly, they hadn't seen that at all. Moreover, this rat looked like it had eaten Popeye spinach, and was almost as tall as a human. Looking at the corpse of the rat, a group of citizens only felt their brains buzzing for a long time. One by one, their mouths were open wide enough to put in two eggs, plus a ham sausage. After a long time, was everything just now real? I wasn't dreaming, was I? I don't think so, I saw it too. You pinch me. Agu, it hurts. It was only then that the crowd realized that the scene in front of them was real. You guys look at those 18 monks, I've seen it before in Big Brother Jackie Chan's movie, it seems to be the legendary 18 bronze men. A martial arts movie? What's this bullshit? Have you ever seen a martial arts movie that can emit kinetic light waves? Let's not talk about this, look at that rat, why is it so big? It can't be a legendary demon. It's possible. Could those legends that were thrown away by the world be true? What legends? Holy shit, you can't be talking about those myths and legends, if they're true, I'd rather instantly become a monk and learn spells. The surrounding citizens, you spoke and I spoke. Shock and horror were written thickly on their faces. The situation in front of them, even a fool could see that those myths and legends that had been gradually forgotten were likely to really exist. Moreover, according to the myths and legends, the Buddhist family was the Buddha's infinite law, saving suffering and hardship. Isn't this scene in front of us the scene of a high priest subduing a demon? The citizens felt that their three views had completely cracked. The battle just now was short, but it looked extremely graphic. Just like a Bollywood blockbuster with top-notch special effects, it was exciting. At this time, a few bold citizens took out their cell phones and walked in front of the 18 bronze men, surrounding them. Masters, please stay. Masters, are you the legendary 18 bronze men? One of the bold citizens turned on the camera function of his cell phone and carefully said to the 18 bronze men. A bronze man was about to get angry when he saw the citizen pointing his cell phone at himself. However, he was stopped by the leading bronze man. Amit Bab Buddha. We are none other than the 18 bronze men. The leading bronze man clasped his hands together, bowed and saluted. The originally resolute face had long since been replaced with a kind expression at this time, and was simply a different person from when he had just exterminated the rat demon. It's really the 18 bronze men. 
That citizen took a deep breath of cold air and excitement, divine monk, can I ask you a few questions? Amit Babuda, please speak. The leading bronze man once again said kindly. He naturally saw the cell phone in the citizen's hand. His mission this time was to promote Buddhism, so naturally he wouldn't miss the opportunity to be on camera. And in order to leave a good impression on the people, he had to show the Buddha's attitude of being compassionate and saving suffering ah. Otherwise, at this time of great calamity, how can it fool? Oh no, attract so many loyal brainwashed fans? That citizen took a deep breath, divine monk, may I ask that rat, is that the doctor from the pharmacy before? Da Fu? Monk, he's a demon that harms people. But the monk don't worry, to cut down the demons and get rid of the devils is our job, my Buddha's compassion will naturally not allow these demons to go around. The bronze man said kindly. Such words immediately made the surrounding citizens feel much better about Buddhism. However it was at this time. What? You said that the rat on the ground is Dr. Zhang from the Hui Chun Hall? A slightly weak voice rang out. Only to see a beggar covered in pudding, scurrying out from nowhere, jaws agape as he looked at the four pieces of rat corpse on the ground. Behind the beggar, there was also a child with a demented face. After confirming that this rat corpse is the pharmacy doctor, the beggar instantly like crazy, with the child walked to the front of the 18 bronze men. Divine monk, you have wronged a good man. If it wasn't for Dr. Zhang, my child might have died ah. The beggar had a sad face. The children behind him, if it wasn't for the free ride from the rat demon back then I'm afraid that they would have died of the disease alive. Beggar so said, the crowd only remembered. This rat demon doctor's hand medical skill is really good. And, although the temper is strange, for the poor patient has never received consultation fee. Such a good doctor, is it really a demon without evil? At once, there were quite a few people who had doubts in their hearts. However, looking at the 18 bronze men full of muscles, and then think about the swastika Buddha light that was just as powerful as a breakthrough, they again held their doubts in their hearts. The has no idea. This rat demon in human form is nothing more than compelling you and others. The leading bronze man smelled the stench on the beggar's body and frowned without leaving a trace and gently retreated a step. This, alas, the old beggar sighed deeply and pulled the child to his side. Dr. Zhang once said that after taking a few more doses of medicine, this child will become smart, but now, Amit Bab Buddha. The bronze man clasped his hands together, if there is nothing wrong with the monk, please get out of the way, the poor monk and the others have to hurry. With his eyesight, he could naturally tell. That rat demon could indeed cure this dumb kid in front of him. However, what does this have to do with their Buddhist family? Demons should be executed, regardless of whether they are good or evil. As for rescuing that stupid child? Sorry, my Buddha does not help poor people. Surrounded by so many people's gazes are already with the color of piety, he does not want to waste time on a beggar. Facing the back of the 18 bronze men's greatness. And then look at the four rat demon corpses on the ground. Many citizens still favor the side of the 18 bronze men. There were even quite a few people who had already knelt down on the ground, paying homage to the 18 bronze man's back. Many thanks to the divine monk for cutting down the demons and removing the devils. Ah, think about it, my disease was originally incurable, but I was cured by this rat demon? It must have been cast with demonic spells. Years of myths and legends are now alive, it seems those religious rumors are true. Compassionate and mindful of the living, from today onwards, I'm a believer in Buddhism. It is said that there is something called incense, I must start an incense manufacturing factory and donate more incense money to the Buddhist family. I made a lot of ill-gotten gains in the first half of my life, so I must donate more incense money and build temples in the future. Most of the people here came to see the rat demon for medical treatment. Many of them were people with a lot of money in their pockets. At the moment, fully 80% of them had become devout followers of Buddhism. The 18 copper men had profound magical power. Even though they were separated by a great distance, the prayers of these believers still reached their ears. After hearing the cries of the believers, the 18 bronze men laughed in their hearts. This group of people, are they really so easy to fool? Although the myths and legends have been broken for nearly a hundred years, the Taoist family has also been hidden from the world. However, they, the Buddhists, still opened their doors. These ordinary people don't understand other sects, but they still have a certain understanding of the Buddhists. Plus, they just killed that rat demon. The divine ability displayed was even more unheard of and unseen by these flesh-eyed mortals. This kind of thing had been done several times since they left the Grand Prime Minister Temple. Each time, they would absorb a lot of believers. As for that rat demon? In their eyes, it is just a tool to absorb the believers, just kill it is not worth mentioning. I believe it won't take long. That person will spread the recorded image, and then the influence of the Buddhist family will naturally become stronger by one point. As expected, the 18 bronze men were not surprised. Soon, the video about the 18 bronze men once again broke the internet. 
Some of the little witches among the witnesses had captured the entire process of the battle between the 18 coppermen and the rat demon as early as the beginning. There was no need for deliberate packaging. There was no need for deliberate publicity. Because it was a close-up shot, plus the one who uploaded the video was a tycoon. In his hands, he was holding a Huawei Mate 40 Tractor Limited Edition, and the pixels had reached many thousands. Even the black mole on the 18 bronze men's brains was clearly visible, coupled with the special effects of the general battle scene. Although the entire video was less than two minutes, it quickly spread across the internet and made it to the Weibo hot search. Word heaven. This can't be a synthesized special effects video, right? Right. Whenever there's an event like this, the video pixels are crummy as hell. How come this time it's clearer than even my Lovecraft members? I'm a movie and television worker, I can guarantee that this video has absolutely no special effects components. So, the video content is true? Damn, so myths and legends really exist. Buddhism is awesome, love love love. As soon as the video was publicized, it even added a lot of believers to Buddhism. However, there were also some different voices. Do you guys still remember that video of Aoyama some time ago? How could I not remember? I reckon this video, like that one, will be 404 foot D in no time. Right. Is this kind of big event something that poor people like me can participate in? Only people with a monthly salary of 1000 will care about these arcane events. I'd better wash up and go to sleep. A mere demon wants to stop me from working at the crematorium? Dream on. Many netizens, upmasters, and big versus, also retweeted the video. Among them, one of the netroots on the slowhand platform, Old8, even stood out directly. Brothers, it's still the same time today, different toilet. If this video, is not 404 foot D within half an hour. I, Old8, will give you all a show, eating poop upside down plus firecracker avalanche eggs. Only what you guys can't think of, there's nothing my Old8 can't do. Please lock onto my live room. Ali give. The crowd of netizens said. Since this video was real, I'm afraid that it would survive for half an hour at most, and would have to be banned. However, half an hour quickly passed. One hour. Two hours. Several hours passed, and the video still showed no signs of being blocked, and turned more and more. It soon dominated the first place on the hot search list. The crowd of netizens had expressed their suspicions as to why this video hadn't been blocked yet like the previous one from Castle Peak. Soon, as time passed, the netizens didn't wait for news about the video being banned. Instead, they waited for A, by the Department of the Ascending Dragon Empire's Special Energy Bureau, to send out a message. The whole country, all people are united. Eight large red characters were printed in the center of the text. At the back, there was also a line of small words, at this moment, all the people are together to welcome the terrorist cataclysm. At the end of the copy, a bright red seal stamp was more proof of the authenticity and validity of this document. The netizens who had only just quieted down, instantly exploded again. Good lord, it really is true. No wonder it wasn't banned, now even the empire has come forward to speak ah. What does the document mean when it says that the ghost gate pass ban collapsed and the fierce ghosts came out? He he he, you don't understand this, do you? I've read a mythological book which says that there's a hell that specializes in the souls of the dead, and when the hell collapses these souls naturally come out white. No wonder, when I slept last night, I always felt a gust of cloudy wind on my neck, as if I saw my grandmother who died many years ago, so I really saw it. Coincidentally, I also saw my dead relatives last night and thought it was an illusion. The netizens were all of a sudden talking and discussing. However, soon after, they realized a problem. According to the document, these evil spirits were very dangerous, and one had to make sufficient preparations before the night. The unbelievable events one after another immediately made the netizens believe seven or eight points. Although many netizens had already begun to believe in Buddhism under the influence of the video of the 18 bronze men. However, the discipline and obedience of the people of the ascending dragon empire was displayed at the first time. People had followed the defense methods stated on the document and began to make preparations. Rich people directly melted their hoarded gold into gold water and brushed it on the walls. Ghosts were unable to penetrate a room that had been brushed with gold water. Those who really did not have gold prepared many of the anti-ghost paraphernalia described in the documents. Cinnabar, Andrographus, Willow Branches, and even Filth. With the people's unreserved trust in the empire, almost every household had saved many of them. At this moment, everyone held their breath waiting quietly for the night to come. At the same time, other than the Ascending Dragon Empire, the other countries, after receiving the intelligence that the Ascending Dragon Empire had announced the news, almost all of the empires were dumbfounded. What is the Ascending Dragon Empire up to? Aren't they afraid of causing panic and shaking their rule? I didn't expect the Ascending Dragon Empire to be so bold, they can't be crazy, right? Nearly all the empires were shocked by the operations of the Ascending Dragon Empire. This world was different from the rich, strong, harmonious, and democratic world that Renfong was in. 
All of the countries, all of them were all evil empire systems. There were quite a few empires that had decided to continue hiding the news in order to maintain their dominance, but all the same. There were also some countries that followed the ascending dragon empire's example and publicized the news. However, the repercussions were very different from the ascending dragon empire. Heh, the empire is deceiving us. Evil ghosts? What is that, made up to fool the masses? The evil Sam empire, the so-called evil ghosts are just a scam. I think so, they're just doing this to cover up their incompetence regarding last night's accident. Cries of opposition rose and fell amongst these empires, especially in some of the developed white empires, the people were scoffing at the news released by the empire. This piece of information, however, caught the attention of quite a few well-intentioned people. Surprisingly, it was announced. Interesting. An old man with a cross in his hand glanced disdainfully at the elegant man who had turned into ashes before him. This man was none other than the elegant vampire who had slaughtered the entire church that day. His strength was enough to kill a cardinal in seconds. However, in front of this old man, he didn't even have the slightest chance to resist. Without even making a single move, he was thrust into his chest with a cross by the old man and completely turned into ashes. The old man gently wiped away the dust on the cross and closed the Bible in his hand. He then pulled out an expensive cell phone, tell the churches over in the Ascending Dragon Empire to be wary of the movements of the cultivators in the Ascending Dragon Empire. At this time, the Ascending Dragon Empire. Not only Rin Feng's previously blocked video was released. There was even the winning mouth falling dragon incident, as well as last night's video of City God and the Special Energy Bureau fighting with the evil spirits that was captured by someone who had the heart to do so. There were also some netizens who liked to climb over the wall and actively browse through the study materials, but they had even stripped down the videos of other empires' tragedies and spread them online as well. These videos, as long as they were real, all of them were not blocked, and all of them were wildly circulated on the internet. Whether it was the Ascending Dragon Empire or other regions, it looked like all the winds were rising and the dark currents were surging. As for Ghost Head Mountain, Rin Feng was talking with the demon fox Su Shanyun and the Special Energy Bureau Qin Zijing. Senior, the bureau just called me. Now that part of the news about the Great Calamity has been released. After hanging up the phone, Qin Zijing told Rin Feng about the news being publicized. Oh, the empire is still really bold. Ren Feng was slightly surprised. This move by the ascending dragon empire, although it seemed a bit shocking but it was the most effective means to protect the people and reduce losses at the moment. Last night was only the first night, and it was as if the people of the Special Energy Bureau hadn't been exhausted alive. Even the city gods from all over the world were exhausted and left with half a life. According to the intelligence, the situation faced this night might be even more severe than last night. But if the people are prepared and can stop those demons for a while, it would be able to leave enough time for the Special Energy Bureau and the city goddess to rush to the scene to execute a rescue. Right. At this time, Ren Feng seemed to remember something and said to Su Shan Yun, you just said that that fox immortal spirit saw the slaughter of the Ma family? Not bad, let it talk to you about the specifics. Su Shan Yun spread her jade hand out, and that immortal spirit that had lost its own body looked at the crowd with trepidation. There were countless Ma family immortals, and its strength could only be ranked lower middle. Being watched by so many bigwigs, the immortal spirit trembled like a helpless chicken. Especially that guy with bone wings on his back and a dry body. Looking at that, it seemed like he wanted to eat himself. Seeing the golden armored corpse king licking his lips, immortal spirit hurriedly shook out what he had seen as if it were a series of shots. The thing is like this. At that time, I saw three handsome teenagers, and a monster. I don't know if it was because I was shocked by these bigwigs in front of me, or because I thought of the images at that time, immortal spirit's voice was tinged with a strong fear. Among those three handsome teenagers, there was a teenager who was holding a wine altar. I don't know what spell he used. The men and women of the Ma family were singing and dancing like they were crazy. Some were more like they lost their minds, and actually had public intercourse. Coitus. Immortal spirit recalled the images at that time, then behind those three teenagers, a monster that looked like a mouse and resembled a demon rather than a demon steeply transformed into a demonic wind. Every time this demonic wind scraped over a Ma clan child, an additional wound appeared at that Ma clan child's throat. But the other Ma clan children still indulged in joy, without a single thought of resistance. They are like a bunch of livestock, being mercilessly slaughtered. The immortal spirit trembled as he finished the story. A monster that resembles a demon and not a demon? Ren Feng frowned and looked at Mao Kai and the two great demons, this kind of monster, have you ever heard of it? The three great demons said that they had never heard of it. Although they had seen many rat spirits, but one with such special means of attack, they had never heard of it. There was also the teenager holding the wine altar. Although when the Ma family had not invited an immortal to possess them, their strength was just a hair stronger than an ordinary person. But a single spell in the area had allowed thousands of people to be trapped. 
This kind of tactic required at least Jin Dan realm cultivation to be able to do it. Yet right at this moment, Qin Zijing, however, frowned, three teenagers, a rat monster that cuts its neck, these seem like I've heard of them somewhere. After thinking for a moment, Qin Zijing still didn't recall. Senior, please wait, I'll make a call to someone in the bureau. Perhaps the people in the bureau know, it's not certain. Qin Zijing spoke and took out his cell phone to call the special energy bureau to explain the situation. However, not long after hanging up, Qin Zijing's phone rang. A brother from the bureau called, how efficient. Qin Zijing laughed lightly while picking up the phone. However, within a few seconds, Qin Zijing's smile froze on his face. After hanging up the phone, Qin Zijing's face was already filled with a gloomy color. Mao Kai was curious, how is it, have you found out the result? Found out. In Qin Zijing's eyes, a flash of anger flashed. That rat isn't a demon, but a ghost called a scythe. As for that handsome young man holding the wine altar, he wasn't human at all. Speaking here, Qin Zijing's eyes were full of cutting teeth, he is a ghost of the Ascending Sun Empire named Sake Swallow Boy. When the crowd heard this, they were instantly enraged. Even Rin Feng had a flash of anger in his eyes. Although now that he had been promoted to Drought Demon, he could have stood by and watched the affairs of the Ascending Dragon Empire. But as a soul who had crossed over from the Yin Huang Kingdom, for this place that had a nice little life and still didn't want a fucking billion, Ren Feng didn't have an ounce of good feelings either. It seems that the Ascending Sun Empire is trying to take advantage of the chaos to stir up strife in Ascending Dragon. Ren Feng pondered for a moment and murmured softly. At this time, he had also already seen it. The reason why this sake swallow boy had taken advantage of the present to strike. The probability was that its purpose was to stir up strife between Rin Feng and the Taoists and weaken the living forces of the Ascending Dragon Empire. Can I take this immortal spirit with me? This news is too important to the Special Energy Bureau. I must go back and react to the situation. Qin Zijing said urgently. Su Shan Yu nodded in agreement. Rin Feng didn't drag his feet and waved his hand. Only then did Qin Zijing take his leave and go. When Qin Zijing left, Ren Feng raised his eyelids, do you two have anything else? Just now, when Qin Zijing was there, Ren Feng noticed that Su Shan Yun wanted to speak. It seemed like she wanted to say something, but was in the way of Qin Zijing's presence. Senior is truly discerning. Su Shallow Yun covered her mouth and laughed lightly, Shallow Yun indeed has another important thing to tell Senior, but before that, I also hope that Senior will promise me a small request. What request? Ren Feng raised his eyebrows lightly, waiting for the following. Su Shan Yun owed her body, begging for an asylum. Without waiting for Ren Feng to speak. Now that the heaven and earth cataclysm is about to collapse, with all the great clans coming out one after another, my demon race will definitely be in crisis. I beg senior Ren Feng that he can keep my sister and brother three safe. Speaking here, Su Shallow Yun fluttered her large, heart-stopping eyes, staring pitifully at Ren Feng. Such a demonic fox with a hot body and full of seduction suddenly wagged its tail and begged for mercy. I'm afraid that even a curved one would be straightened out alive and then decisively agree, right? Although Su Shallow Yun did not use the charm technique, but between raising her hands and feet, paired with her pitiful posture, the invisible charm was enough to make those righteous men who boasted of being virtuous break in a second. Seeing Fonglinger, who was also a woman, looking at herself sympathetically, Su Shallow Yun's heart rose with a touch of small confidence. Even women could be charmed, she didn't trust Fong to not react. However, the ending was destined to disappoint her. Ren Feng just looked at Su Shan Yun blandly, without a trace of color in his eyes. Sheltering is not impossible, but it depends on whether the chips you exchange with me are right or not. Ren Feng said indifferently. When Su Shan Yun saw that she had failed to charm, a flash of surprise flashed in her eyes. His Tao heart, has it actually strengthened to such a point? Su Shallow Yun couldn't help but feel a flash of strangeness in her heart. She had once made a vow. If one wanted her to pledge her body and be honest, one needed to do a few things in order for her to truly fall in love with him. The first point to achieve was to not be charmed by her. But Su Shallow Yun nowadays, at least, is a demon emperor. After only a short period of surprise, her complexion returned to normal. Truth be told, my fox clan, there are three tails of orange and yellow, six tails of jade face, and nine tails of fox immortal, three great classes. Once one reaches the nine-tailed fox immortal realm, they can ask for the top of the immortal gods. Not only is one's means mysterious and unpredictable, one can even know the past and know the future. Su Shallow Yun's voice was soft. And then? Ren Feng raised his eyelids and asked. According to my fox clan records, it is rumored that as early as a long time ago, a nine-tailed great power in my fox clan had already predicted this great calamity. Originally this matter did not concern anyone, but after seeing that nowadays the heaven and earth prohibitions are collapsing one by one, I realized that the current situation is actually exactly the same as what my ancestor predicted back then. And, there is also a record on it about the method of repairing the heaven and earth forbidden system. 
Su Shenyun's pretty face was filled with certainty. Hearing these words, Ren Feng finally raised some interest. Earlier, the system had said that the power of this heaven and earth cataclysm was beyond imagination. Not to mention him. I'm afraid that even if he moved out those old monsters from the god ceiling list, the heavenly court, and the western heaven, it was very likely that they would all fall under the cataclysm. If there was a way to repair the forbidden system, Ren Feng was naturally eager to learn about it. Seeing Ren Feng come to be interested, Su Shan Yun continued, it is rumored that after the irradiation of the fishy red moon, unheard of exotic treasures will appear one after another everywhere, and these exotic treasures are the key to repairing the heaven and earth's forbidden system. According to the prophecy, the birthplace of the first exotic treasure is Ghost Head Mountain. When these words came out, the crowd froze in place. Good fellow. A foreign treasure that could repair the heaven and earth forbidden system, what kind of treasure would it have to be? One must know that the heaven and earth restrictions were, strictly speaking, the rules of the Great Tao an existence that could repair the rules of the Great Tao. Its degree of preciousness was far beyond that of a mere spiritual artifact or even an immortal artifact. I'm afraid that even the gods and Buddhas of the heavens would not be able to withstand the temptation of such exotic treasures, and would become red in the eyes. Ghost Head Mountain? Then wouldn't it already be surnamed Ren before it was even born? Ren Fong let out a joyful sigh, then where will the other exotic treasures appear? That I don't know. Su Shan Yun shook her head, it is said that that senior was discovered by the power of the rules after prophesying this one and was directly beheaded. Right at this moment, Su Shaloyun's pretty face suddenly turned white, and a mouthful of blood sprayed out. Immediately afterward, a tail suddenly snapped open. What happened? Run Feng's face changed slightly. Nothing, just said something that shouldn't have been said. Su Shan Yun waved her hand with a weak face, luckily for me, this third tail, what was born was the ability to save my life. No matter how severe the attack was, I was able to retrieve a life, otherwise the rule attack just now was enough to kill me. In the demon fox clan, for every tail that grows, there will be one more special ability. This ability was completely random, and no one knew what it would be. However, not good. Now this rule of heaven and earth has been leaked by me. Su Shenyun's face changed, both the Buddhist and Taoist families have means of communicating with the above, I'm afraid that it won't be long before the other sects will know about this news as well. It's not in the way. Ren Feng gently waved his hand. How many people from the Buddhist and Taoist sects could be a match for Ren Feng? In Ren Feng's opinion, this ghost head mountain exotic treasure belonging to him was already a done deal. Since this is the case, I wonder if what Shallow Yun shared, is Senior still satisfied? Su Shallow Yun's brows knitted lightly as she forced herself to endure the pain and said, This is natural. Ren Feng nodded, You guys can stay here. As for letting the two demons be their own mountain protection formation generals? It wasn't that Ren Feng hadn't thought about it. The attributes of the Tiger Demon and Su Shallow Yun were both different. Although Su Shallow Yun had suffered serious injuries and her strength had dropped drastically, the Tiger Demon only had the cultivation level of a Demon King. But in Rin Feng's hands, there were still enough Dragon's Heart Scraps left. Enhancing the strength of the two demons was naturally not a problem. But now do not know how the character of these two demons, Rin Feng decided to observe for a period of time. Three days passed with the snap of a finger. In these three days, the attacks of the evil demons were more serious than once. But the good thing was, the people of the Ascending Dragon Empire had already prepared in advance, coupled with the Special Energy Bureau and the desperate rescue of the city gods from all over the world, the losses weren't great. More and more people had seen the true colors of the malicious ghosts, and were even more convinced of the Empire's text. People were also becoming more and more active in dealing with this matter. However, during these three days, there was another very interesting piece of news. That anchor named Old 8. Because the video wasn't blocked, the bet was lost. Openly ate poop in the toilet. As a result, he accidentally encountered an evil ghost hiding in the toilet in broad daylight, and was so scared that he fell into the pit and didn't choke to death in the cesspit. Luckily, the evil ghost's power is greatly reduced during the day. The firecracker he had stuffed into the stall to break his balls exploded in time, scaring away the extremely weak evil spirits. In addition, volunteers from the private sector rescued him in time. Only then did Old 8 survive. But he never dreamed that he would catch fire. His comical video of falling into a cesspool amused the nervous populace to roaring laughter. The dreary feeling of being in front of a great enemy was instantly alleviated. Ghost Head Mountain. Ha ha ha. This Old 8, what a talent. Mao Kai learned to play with his cell phone under Fonglinger's teaching. Coupled with the fact that he had nothing to do in the past two days, Mao Kai directly rooted himself into automatic cultivation mode. Then dividing into two soft and delicate branches, he picked up his cell phone. Seeing the video of Old 8 falling down the dung pit, Mao Kai was even laughing and couldn't stop. Tiger Demon snuggled in the dense tree trunk, casually pulled a branch picking teeth. Seeing Mao Kai's joyful appearance, he was suddenly furious. Be careful. 
According to the Special Energy Bureau's intelligence, that gang of Nubizi is boarding the door for revenge today. Although Tiger Demon and Su Shallow Yun did not become Mountain Protector Formation Generals, but three days ago, after Rin Feng promised to shelter the two demons in exchange for the information provided by Su Shan Yun, the two demons simply stated Ghost Head Mountain as well. Although they were half doctors, they were currently barely considered members of the Ghost Head Mountain forces. The fact that the Taoist family had come to seek revenge was already a nail in the coffin. Although the Special Energy Bureau had come to specifically send someone forward to clarify, stating that the real murderer of the Ma family's matter was Sake Swallow Boy. But before there was any evidence, this group of stubborn Nubizi oil and salt. The Special Energy Bureau could only interfere with cultivators striking out at ordinary people, but it had no way to interfere with cultivator to cultivator fights. Seeing that this group of bull noses were so stubborn, the Special Energy Bureau could only give up, repeatedly warning not to hurt the innocent while actively searching for clues, trying to find evidence of Sakutan boy before both sides got into a big fight. Just come. This group of bull noses, they still don't know the master's true strength. Besides, our brothers are not vegetarians. Mao Kai said indifferently, Golden Armor, do you think I'm right? However, even though Golden Armor had advanced to Nightmare, he still had a paralyzed look on his face. What a stuffy gourd. Mikai felt that he was making a fool of himself, and in less than a moment, he was immersed in the joy of his cell phone again. At this time, inside the mansion. Feng Linger respectfully handed over the Jade Gourd in her hand, it's been three days master, as promised I brought the Jade Gourd back to you. Ran Feng nodded and accepted the Jade Gourd. These three days, Feng Linger's side had also harvested a lot. As for those evil spirits that truly had great magical powers, their first targets of attack were the major sex, not the common people. The ones that really made a mess of the city were some small stragglers. These little ghosts, Feng Linger was naturally easy to deal with. With the Fire Forest Sword in her hand showing its power, there were countless evil spirits that died in Feng Linger's hands. With the cooperation of the Special Energy Bureau, they had even harvested quite a few believers. The power of faith converted by these believers, a small portion was passed on to the hell. The majority, however, flowed into the Jade Gourd. Although there was a certain amount of loss, it was still considered an additional income. Ding! The host's absorption of the power of faith was successful. Congratulations to the host for obtaining the power of faith, 20,000 points. Run Feng was slightly surprised in his heart, so much? Sure enough, what he had considered before was right. Ordinary people had meager strength and provided less power of faith, though it was said to be less. But the victory lay in the fact that the number of humans was simply too great. With the support of a huge base, the speed of obtaining the power of faith was far from what Rin Feng could do to subdue those demons. After accumulating another thousand or so points of faith value, I'll be able to redeem disposable flying sword version 4. Zero. I really don't know this skill, how effective it is. Run Feng secretly calculated in his heart. According to the description of the system mall, once this skill was mastered, the sight of 10,000 flying swords could appear. How? How? The only flaw, however, is that the but the only flaw, is, comparatively costly wood. Thinking of this, Rin Feng couldn't help but look at Mao Kai who was holding his cell phone outside the room and laughing. Mao Kai seemed to feel something, his body steeply hit a jolt. Looking around, but found nothing unusual. What a strange thing. Why was there a feeling of uneasiness just now? Could it be an illusion? Mao Kai muttered to himself, secretly. After realizing that there was nothing unusual, he played with his cell phone again to himself. It was at this time. Ding. Detected that the host has obtained a stable method of obtaining faith value. Task completion progress plus 5%. Current progress, 30%. Congratulations to the host for obtaining a mysterious gift pack. Will you open it immediately? The system beep sounded again. Run Feng was slightly stunned, and then he was relieved. This quest progress was based on the level of defense against the Great Calamity. Having a fixed source of faith value also meant that one could buy more things in the mall to strengthen themselves. It was also equivalent to completing the system mission in disguise. Don't open it for now. Ren Feng thought about it and said in his heart. Previously, through the battle with the Ma family, Ren Feng had discovered a hint about the system. Perhaps it wasn't too much to describe it as a bug. This bug was that the system gift pack reward was directly related to the situation that Ren Feng was facing. For example, when he crossed the Golden Thunder Tribulation before, he obtained the Thunder Law in Five Thunders. After that, when he had just had the intention of setting up a formation in his mind, he obtained the Corpse Nurturing Formation Codex. According to the Special Energy Bureau's intelligence, that gang of Nubizi would be coming to seek revenge today, so opening the gift pack again at that time might be of even better use. Time flew by. Soon, sunset and dusk. Before the sun had even set, the blood moon had already risen from the east. Ren Feng, who was still cultivating with his eyes closed, had his eyes open abruptly. It's coming. There are still people from Buddhism? 
Interesting. Ren Feng let out a light laugh, and his body instantly appeared outside the mansion. In the east, a large auspicious cloud rolled in. In the west, there were 18 myriad lotus flowers, and on top of the lotus flowers, 18 monks doused in gold paint and with cold faces were sitting upright. However both sides had just stood still. Buzz. The light of the blood moon steeply flourished. Immediately afterward, a strong aura emerged from the foot of Ghost Head Mountain. What a strong aura. The head of the 18 bronze men's face changed, with this aura, there must be a heavy treasure coming out. Ren Feng also frowned. He could feel that this aura was unprecedentedly strong. It had even nearly caught up with his own aura. If nothing else, it should be the foreign treasure that Su Shan Yun was talking about. The people of the Daoist family also discovered the aura of the foreign treasure. However, before the crowd could make a move. Swish swish swish. A burst of air breaking sounds rang out. After an instant, the 18 bronze men had stopped in the center of the Taoist family, Ren Feng, and the foreign treasure. Amit Babuda, this object has a destiny with my Buddha. It's better for you and the others to decide first. The leading bronze man proclaimed a high Buddha's name, and his tone was filled with dominance. The meaning was obvious. You guys fight yourselves. What Buddhism sees, is Buddhism's. Anyone else, don't want to get their hands on it. The 18 bronze men coldly glanced at Ren Feng and the Taoist forces. From the very beginning, they hadn't put Ren Feng and the others in their eyes. Our Buddha had a saying, what the old man sees, is the old man's. The Buddhist sect prospered. Want to go against the Buddhist sect? Even the Taoist family did not have that qualification. If it wasn't for the fact that the Taoist family is the state religion of the empire and is under the patronage of the Special Energy Bureau, the Buddhist family probably wouldn't even have allowed the Taoist family to survive until now. Today is the right time to take this opportunity. Once there was a conflict, then it would be straightforward to strike the Taoist sect hard with a thunderous blow. Senior brothers, we only need to watch over the heavy treasures. Senior brother Ruaji said that he has already gone to inform the world honored one. As long as the world honored one descends, how can these people be a match for my Buddhist family? The leading bronze man shook the golden stick in his hand and said to the other bronze men, Buddhism had a secret realm called the Little Western Heaven. This Little Western Heaven was specially prepared for those Buddhist great powers. Other than those great powers in the Little Western Heaven, F.A. Hai was already the Buddhist world honored one, the strongest existence in the entire Buddhist sect. In the view of the 18 bronze men, as long as F.A. Hai made a move, whether it was these Taoist cultivators or Ren Feng, it would be like inserting a label to sell their heads. Meanwhile, Su Hang City, West Lake. Poetry says, failed to throw Su Hang to go, half hooked is this lake. Su Hang City, the treasure land of the people, has a long history. By the West Lake, a grand and magnificent tower, named Lefong Pagoda. At this time, under the tower, Amit Bab Buddha. After more than a hundred years of seclusion, my heart demon is still present. Even though I have cultivated into a world-honored one, in the end, I cannot escape the boundaries of my heart's demon, and I cannot enter the lesser western paradise? A tall monk with a resolute face murmured softly. The Leifong Pagoda was full of tourists. Seeing a monk who was half-naked and tattooed with a heavenly dragon, the tourists stopped to tisk in TSK. They had seen monks, but had never seen a tattooed monk. The blue dragon on his back, as if it had come to life, looked like it was swallowing clouds and spitting out mist, so powerful. This monk is precisely F.A. High. Now, he is looking at the Leifong Tower, long lost in thought. Eyes deep, seems through the Leifong Tower. See inside the suppressed demons in the non-stop struggle, roar. This time, F.A. High went out. In order to, is to completely get rid of the heart demon. Then enter the little western heaven and cultivate the right fruit. Senior. Senior. It was at this moment that a voice came from the distance. The tourists couldn't help but look back and were stunned. Only to see a lotus flower slowly floating in the sky. It eventually landed steadily on the ground, and from the lotus flower came down a large monk who bowed deeply to the tattooed monk. Senior, the 18 bronze men have descended to Ghost Head Mountain. I know, F.A. High said indifferently. Although he was responding, his gaze was staring straight at the Thunder Peak Pagoda, unwilling to shift. In his eyes, unless he had broken his heart demon, he would never leave the Thunder Peak Pagoda by half a step. At this time, the 18 bronze men did not know. The world-honored one in their hearts is not coming because of the Thunder Peak Pagoda. Ren Feng sighed. Master, the Buddha power on these vultures is so pure. Mao Kai looked at the 18 bronze men who were solidly defending not far away, and a glint of essence flashed in his eyes. A faint demonic aura was released from him. Even in the eyes of Golden Armor, Hitomi, and Fonglinger, a flash of icy killing intent flashed through their eyes. In their eyes, whether it was a Buddha or an immortal. As long as they were against Ren Feng, that was their enemy. And at this moment, Ron Fong, slaughtering thousands of my ma family's mouth, I will take revenge today. When enemies met, they were all red in the eyes. 
Ma Hongtao, as the old ancestor of the Ma family, had become a bare-knuckle commander at this point. Although he had no immortals to invite at this time, but after seeing Rin Feng, the whole person still couldn't control his rampage and couldn't wait to use his teeth to bite open Rin Feng's throat. He he, revenge? Ren Feng tilted his head to look at Ma Hongtao and laughed lightly. Stretching out his finger, he pointed at Ma Hongtao. You're my family, there's no need to stay. Zira. The words just fell. A thunder aura appeared in Ren Feng's hand. But the weird thing was, this thunder aura looked as black as ink, revealing a strong evil aura. Thunder Dharma. In five thunder. Be careful. The sect masters were on alert. Although this thunder on looked extremely weak, it was filled with an aura of destruction. Zira. The thunder on transformed into an arc of electricity and shot out with lightning speed. Not good. This kid doesn't talk about martial virtues. The crowd of old Taoists were shocked when they saw Ren Feng's sudden strike. However, by the time they reacted, the thunder mantle had already shot off into the distant sky. Ma, Ma family master you. The talisman sect sect master was stunned as he looked at Ma Hontao beside him. I don't know when. That thunder on had unexpectedly passed through Ma Hontao's brow. At this moment, Ma Hontao's eyes were dilated with an unbelievable face. The center of his eyebrows was already scorched black. There was only a tiny wound that could still prove what had just happened. Help! Help my Ma family report. Before the words were finished, Ma Hontao's pupils completely laxed and lost their vitality. Good guts! Zombies are really zombies. To be so despicable. The crowd of Taoist patriarchs looked at Ren Feng in shock and anger. To make a move at the drop of a hat? When normal cultivators fought, shouldn't they first complain about the other party's sins before making a move? This kid does not follow the rules at all. The moment he came up, he went straight for the kill. It really caught them off guard. But although they were angry at Rin Feng's behavior, however, the crowd of Taoist patriarchs were inwardly surprised. Fast. It was too fast. Even though they were unprepared, Rin Feng casually killed Ma Hongtao, who was surrounded by them, with a single move. This sinner, just what kind of strength is he? One of the sect masters muttered. Unfortunately, Ren Feng had no intention of talking to them. In fact, the real reason was that the author was afraid of being scolded for his hydrology, dog's head. The district was just a Ma Hontao. Just kill it, why need to talk nonsense? At the same time, the head of the 18 bronze men, a flash of light suddenly flashed in his eyes. What strong strength. Senior brothers, be careful of this sinister man's sudden strike. The crowd of bronze men, yes. Immediately. A vast Buddha power blossomed from the 18 bronze men. Eventually, this Buddha power converged above the 18 bronze men, forming a golden lotus of myriad dharma. Protect! The leading bronze man lightly droned. The entire myriad lotus flower instantly dissolved, transforming into a layer of vast Buddhist light that enveloped them as well as the foreign treasure behind them. It was at this moment. Swoosh! A sword sound rang out. Fonglinger was already riding the flame Lin sword and flew in front of Rin Fong and all the sect masters of the Dao family. Seniors of the Dao family, can you listen to me? The destruction of the Ma clan was well deserved. The house patriarchs pride themselves on saving the world and settling the nation, is it possible that they want to aid and abet the sin? Facing the might of the sect masters, Fonglinger's face remained unchanged as she chimed in a cold voice. Where did the little girl come from to turn black and white upside down here? Why don't you quickly retreat to the side? Today, we will definitely have a big reckoning with that sinner. The sect masters shouted in cold voices. Although their hearts were filled with anger towards Rin Fong, they were not completely swept away. There was a head for the grievances and a head for the debts. Although these Taoist priests were stubborn, they were clear in their grudges and were not willing to hurt unrelated people. Fong Linger didn't talk nonsense and raised her hand. A large seal flew out from Fong Linger's hand. On top of the large seal, there was a faint touch of official authority. Although this official authority was very faint, it caused the faces of the sect masters to change. The official authority they sensed was not something an ordinary person could have. Only people recognized by heaven and earth and who had a certain level of strength and a certain power could have it. City God Seal? Are you the city god of Castle Mountain? A Taoist patriarch asked, the anger on his face suddenly diminishing a lot. Although the city god was only a small sesame seed official in the Hellmouth. They, however, couldn't not give face. Not bad. Castle Mountain City God Foamlinger, meet all the palmistresses. Foamlinger was not humble, seniors, can you listen to me? When the palmistresses heard this, their auras were collected and they waited for the following. They couldn't not give face to City God. I, Foamlinger, live in Foamman Village. Foamlinger said softly. Foamman Village? But the Foamman Village where hundreds of mouths all disappeared overnight back then? A sect master heard this and asked in a shocked voice. Not bad, but the hundreds of mouths up and down my Fongmen village were not all vaporized. Rather, they were sealed and exterminated overnight. And the originator of all of this is Ma Hongtao, 
as well as the two elders of the Ma family. Thinking of the tragic situation of the sealed gate village before, Fong Linger gritted her teeth. Immediately, she told the whole story of that year. The crowd of Pal mistresses, on the other hand, gradually changed their faces. As the only survivor of Fong Men village, I think about revenge all the time. Speaking here, Fong Linger glanced at Rin Fong, if there was no master, there would be no Linger today. Although the matter of the Ma family was not our doing. But then again, even though even if we did it, we can only blame the Ma clan. Fong Linger looked at the sect masters and said firmly. Ren Fong didn't care about these Taoists. But Fong Linger, as a disciple, naturally had to look out for Ren Fong and did not want her master to set up too many enemies. Seeing that Ren Fong was being falsely accused, Fong Linger hurriedly stood out to defend Ren Feng's reputation. The faces of the sect masters changed wildly. Eventually, a thick voice rang out. Lord City God, is everything you said true? The old heavenly master who had been silent all this time slowly opened his mouth. Every word is true. Fong Linger pointed at the city god seal, I swear in the name of the city god seal. Hiss. The pal mistresses sucked in a breath of cold air. They could naturally see that although Fong Linger was an earthly city god, she was still a cultivator. A cultivator, once he made a vow, the heavenly Tao would then sense it. In that case, what Fong Linger said seemed to be true. In a flash, many of the pal mistresses' faces turned ugly. According to these grudges, the Ma family's extermination, even if it was really done by Ren Fong, it was just revenge for the disciple, and the Ma family was just to blame. But they listened to Ma Hongtao's one-sided words. The public came to ask for the crime, and gave the other party a trumped-up charge. Also mouthed, threatened to seek justice for the Taoist tradition. Now take a look. They are simply the first to complain, and then hit a reka. These old Nubizi, originally one of them recognized the dead reason. Now that they saw Fong Linger betting and swearing to tell the truth about what happened back then, they were even more good and ashamed to drill into the ground. This. The faces of all the pal mistresses were red for a while and white for a while, not knowing what to say. However just at this moment, Linger, stand down. Behind them, Ren Feng's indifferent voice came. Yes. Fong Linger sniffed, and although she didn't know what Ren Feng was preparing to do, she still bowed and retreated. Ren Feng took a step forward in the air, and faintly swept over the faces of all the Taoist sect masters. Apprentice son remembers. We act without the need to explain ourselves to others. When others come to the door, no matter what the reason is, there is no reason to let them go back. Run Fong glanced at Fong Linger and said indifferently. Although these words were said to Fong Linger, but in the eyes of the sect masters, it was a hard slap in their own faces. I honor master's teachings. Fong Linger hurriedly bowed. Master's lesson is correct. If you want to fight, then fight, my disciple will definitely fight with my master. Mao Kai, golden armor sniffed, and the aura on his body was gradually released. Behind the two major formation generals, Hitomi, Tiger Demon, and Su Shallow Yun, all released their auras as well. In this battle, one glory and one loss. We, we are willing to advance and retreat together with our master. Monstrous auras winded up from the two major formation generals. The intense demonic aura and the sky-charging baleful aura even caused the faces of the sect masters to change wildly. Choke. A fierce aura blossomed from the fire Lin sword as it was sheet. The biting sword intent even caused the swords on the backs of the sect masters to tremble unceasingly. The sword intent of the fire forest sword alone. It made them fearful. The crowd of sect leaders, who were already in shock, were even more shocked beyond words. They were all Taoist sect masters. The precious swords carried behind them could not be of mortal quality? But even so, the sword intent alone could make their treasured swords fearful? Spiritual weapon, it's actually a spiritual weapon. A palm sect leader exclaimed in shock. The crowd of palm sectors also felt the aura of a spirit weapon at this moment, and their faces changed in minutes. This girl, just a city god, how could she have a spirit weapon? Even the black and white irregulars, the weapons in their hands are only at the level of spirit weapons, right? Isn't there not many spiritual weapons in this world, how can? The crowd of pal mistresses felt the sharp sword intent of the firelin, and immediately exclaimed in shock, so much so that they didn't bite their tongues. Since that year, Lubo when chopped off the dragon vein. The aura between heaven and earth had become increasingly thin. Not only was the cultivation progress slow, even the heavenly treasures were much less. Not to mention spiritual weapons. The entire Taoist religion, all sects combined, spiritual weapons also exceeded the number of five fingers. But even so, these spiritual weapons are also enshrined by the major sects as the treasure of the mountain. Pressure did not bring. But now look. District a small girl, a sesame-sized city god. A random hand, and it's a spiritual weapon? All the sect masters suddenly felt that their brains were buzzing. However it was at this moment. Spirit weapon. Not bad. A brilliant light flashed in the eyes of the leading bronze man who was holding on to the foreign treasure on the ground. Even in the grand prime minister temple, 
there were only a dozen or so spirit weapons. If you can bring this spiritual weapon back to the great Sangha temple. Thinking of this, the leader of the bronze men declared a high Buddhist cry, Amit Bab Buddha. Although it is a spiritual weapon, this sword is too heavy with killing thoughts. This object is also related to my Buddha. Rather, it would be better for Lord City God to lend the spiritual weapon to the poor monk first, so that the poor monk can bring it back to the Grand Prime Minister's temple and chant and speak for more than a month in order to remove the killing intent of this spiritual weapon, and then return it to you. There was a look of righteousness in the eyes of the bronze man leader. He was indeed right about borrowing this spiritual weapon. But what he meant was, to borrow this spirit weapon forever. Return it? Think beautifully. On the bronze man leader's face, there was a business-like expression. The Buddhist family, but it is a famous sect. Even if you're robbing something, you still have to package it. Otherwise, once you lose your demeanor, is the Buddhist family still a Buddhist family? Although the 18 bronze men have disappeared and practiced for hundreds of years. But in the final analysis, they are still in the realm of mortals, and have not cultivated into the world honored one. Feeling the might of this spiritual weapon. The 18 bronze men all committed greed in unison. Although, the Buddhist sect emphasizes the purity of the six roots and the emptiness of the four major elements. But when one meets a treasure, one should still grab it. Seeing Fonglinger's silence, one of the bronze men couldn't help but speak out, Amit Babuddha, female monks, with your cultivation you can't handle this flying sword of fury, why don't you quickly hand it over to us to get rid of the fury? Later on, we will return it to you, and it will also be considered your good fortune. At the same time, the copper people's body, Buddha's light is even stronger a few points. Hearing the words of the bronze people. Apart from Rinfong, everyone felt their brains buzzing. Just now, it was just that that exotic treasure had a destiny with you guys. Now, the spiritual weapon in his hand is also related to you? Are you kidding me? This sword is sharp and sealed with a beast, so it's naturally overbearing. What's the point of having a fierce aura? You talk like you're so righteous, but you bunch of bald asses mouth corners of the haram, and how to explain? The crowd was really 18 bronze people do not want a billion spirit, to deeply convinced. Even the gang of Taoists, also by the 18 bronze people do not want billion spirit of thunder is not light, one by one are showing disdain. Although the Taoist family is now weak, but the minimum of loyalty, trust, propriety, righteousness, integrity and shame were still remembered in the heart of every Taoist. Although they were stubborn and a little more conformist. But, they want face. And then look at Buddhism, even don't want face. After a long time. What all things are related to you Buddha? What a laugh. Maokai laughed out loud. As a native goblin, he naturally had a deep understanding of the prestige of Buddhism. The phrase, this object has a destiny with my Buddha had become their mantra for forcibly appropriating treasures. Over the years, there have been many treasures that have been taken over by Buddhism. On the contrary, they still looked as if they were not in a position to speak righteously. Nowadays, this scene, it was even more happening in front of everyone's eyes. Maokai laughed as the branches of the tree trembled. I see that you Buddhists, what you cultivate isn't Buddhism, but cheek, right? This cheek, it's even thicker than my tree bark. Piss off piss off. Not only Mao Kai, even the array generals under Rin Feng's command, as well as some of the Taoist patriarchs, all revealed mocking expressions. However, the 18 copper men treated these gazes as if they were unheard of. Seeing that they were being targeted by the crowd, the 18 bronze men shut their mouths. Instead of making a move now, it would be better to sit on the mountain and watch the tigers fight, and when Rin Feng and the Taoist family fought to the death, the Buddhist family would then make a strong appearance. And at this moment, all sect masters, since it was the Ma family that was at fault first, you should leave this matter alone. The talisman sect sect master, Taoist master Chong Yang stood out, however, this corpse, was released by our talisman sect, so naturally, we have to take care of it. Speaking here, Taoist master Chong Yang looked at Rin Feng. Since it was my talisman sect's corpse suppressor talisman that went wrong, then it will be my talisman sect, who will put this matter to rest. After saying that, Taoist master Chong Yang reached out and waved his hand. Swish. A talisman seal that was more than three feet long suddenly appeared in Taoist Master Chong Yang's hand. The entire seal was engraved with complex patterns, and channels of golden light appeared faintly. Go! Taoist Master Chong Yang bit through his fingertip and softly shouted. The entire seal exploded with a bang, turning into a sky of golden light that flickered around Taoist Master Chong Yang. Immediately after, the golden light condensed. In the air, on the top were the four big words Xin Tian Renyu, underneath were the Big Dipper Nine Chen, and in the middle was a golden seal script that was faintly visible. Taoist Master Chong Yang's mouth recited, Canopy Canopy, the nine elements of the fate of the child. Five Ding Du Shi, Gao Jiao Bei Wang. Seven Government Eight Spirit, two on the Hao Fierce. The Long Skull of the Beast, the Hand of the Emperor Clock. The Three Gods of the Vegetarian Lords, the Kuei Long, 
the Kuei Dragon, and the Mighty Sword. The Mighty Sword Divine King, destroying evils. Buzz. The golden light suddenly exploded, and a pure power gushed out. Run Fong frowned slightly, Immortal Yuan power? He suddenly realized that within this power, it was actually the power of Immortal Yuan that could only be used by immortals. Nowadays, the heaven and earth ban was still in place, and immortals were unable to manifest their saints. But this talisman in front of him actually had immortal Yuan power? Ren Feng's heart also secretly raised his vigilance. However, in an instant, the golden light in the sky mixed with the immortal Yuan power, and a golden armor giant condensed and manifested. Looking at the giant again. Golden armor and Xian crown. Horizontally born three heads and six arms, holding the axe, battle axe, rope, bow, sword, halberd, the six divine weapons, the height of tens of Zhang more than a few feet, it is really through the heavens and through the earth. Divine Knight, Canopy Mantra. Great Canopy, listen to my command. Taoist Master Chong Yang reached out and pointed. Swish. The golden armored giant suddenly moved, the six divine weapons in his hands were heavy with spy shadows, as if they were a great mountain, and when he looked at Ren Fon, his battle intent was overwhelming. The three heads and six arms of the mighty face, transporting the seven governments and eight spirits of the torrential creation. The emperor's bell only shook, ten thousand saints came together. When the battle axe is swung lightly, the demons are shattered and destroyed. The great cave scripture of Shangqing and the mantra of the canopy, seems to know that Ren Feng is not to be messed with. Taoist master Chong Yang went straight to full strength. Three days ago, the special energy bureau has already evacuated the ordinary people in the castle peak scenic area, without mortals, Chong Yang Taoist master is even more carefree, and the first time to come up is a killing move. Facing such a majestic great canopy, even the 18 bronze men all changed their faces in unison. This Taoist really has some skills. The 18 bronze men's faces sank, it really deserves to be called the imperial state religion, even though it is now in decline, its methods are still strong. A thin camel is bigger than a horse. The Taoist family had, at one time, also flourished for a while. Its heritage was naturally deep. The canopy divine spell, once the talisman was released, summoned but the canopy starry night bodies. With a wave of the hand, it has the power of 10,000 pounds. However, just when Taoist master Chong Yang thought he was winning, he he, who do I think it is? If it's really canopy Bian Zhuang, perhaps I'll have to fear it three times. It's only a mere divine thought, what can it do to me? Ren Feng let out a light laugh, his face filled with indifference. It seemed that he did not place the great canopy in his eyes. At the same time, System, open the gift pack. Ren Feng recited silently in his heart. The gift pack obtained from completing the mission before, Ren Feng had never opened it. The reason why he didn't open it was because he was waiting for this moment. The small system bug that Ren Feng had summarized earlier was now just the right time to use it to try the real thing. Ding. Gift pack opened successfully. Congratulations to the host, obtaining the Divine Sky Starry Night Spectrum, mutilated version. The system's beep sounded in Ren Feng's mind. A moment later, a soft light flashed. A chart-shaped magic weapon then appeared in Rin Feng's hand. Divine Heavenside Starry Night Spectrum, crippled version, can accept Divine Heavenside Sex Starry Night branches for my use, and can accept Divine Heavenside Sex Starry Night true bodies after repairing it. Currently, the heaven and earth prohibitions have not collapsed, and the method of repair is unknown. The introduction of the Divine Heavenly Sky Starry Night Spectrum was also transmitted into Rin Feng's mind along with it. Indeed, Rin Feng was slightly happy in his heart. Now that he was up against the great canopy, the items he had obtained when opening the gift pack were surprisingly just the right amount of restraint. This great celestial canopy was only a doppelganger of Marshal Bian Zhuang. Against other people, it was more than enough. But with Ren Feng's strength, disperse this big canopy detachment, but also just a little bit of force. After all, it was only a canopy detachment, and Ren Feng's visual estimate was that it was at most the strength of the realm of the transformation of the divine. However, with this Divine Horizon Starry Night Spectrum, it was possible to incorporate the Great Canopy split into the Spectrum for Rin Feng to use. Recognizing the Divine Horizon Starry Night Spectrum, it seems like I have a lot more memories in my mind. It seems like the Rune Seal sect has only studied some of the skins of this Divine Sky Rune Seal. If this Great Canopy split, can be used for me. Thinking of this, a wry smile spread across the corners of Rin Feng's mouth. Collect! Before Daoist Chong Yang could command the Great Canopy to attack. Ren Feng's chart in his hand was displayed. In the next instant, the great canopy, which was still majestic and furious, it suddenly transformed into a stream of light and was incorporated into the Starry Night Atlas. At this moment, everyone in the Daoist family was dumbfounded. Even the 18 bronze people on the ground, also all turned into a retarded version of Pachinko, really some puzzled. Just now the big canopy that was still walking with a tiger's stride, how suddenly disappeared. Old Nubizi, this seal is not secondhand, right? Behind Rin Feng, Mao Kai couldn't help but ask. This. 
Daoist master Chong Yang was also confused. His own great canopy, why was it gone? Could it be that there was a problem with his own Shengqing talisman seal? Just as Daoist master Chong Yang was in a state of depression. The upper Qing talisman seal, it's nothing more than that. Let's show you all what the power of the real canopy divine spell is. Ren Feng let out a light laugh, and then he reached out and shook his hand. Wow! The astral spectrum in his hand suddenly unfolded. Immediately, in Ren Feng's mouth, he also recited the incantation. Only the incantation he recited was different from Daoist Chong Yang. Through refining the starry night spectrum, Ren Feng knew a very interesting thing. The canopy divine incantation was not as simple as what Daoist master Chong Yang understood. Its incantations were often read upside down or in a loop, meaning that one incantation became several incantations. Ren Feng read the mantra. Although it was the same as Chong Yang's, it was read backwards from the last sentence to the front. The canopy mantra suddenly changed into the canopy demon mantra. In a blink of an eye, a monstrous demonic aura swept through the starry night spectrum. The devilish chi covered the sky, surprisingly blocking out the sun, and the entire land was dim. In the midst of the demonic aura, the starry night spectrum hunted, as if there was something terrifying that was about to come out. In the next moment, the great canopy appeared once again. Only this time, it was very different from its previous appearance. Although it still had three heads and six arms, its face was incomparably hideous, and it exuded a monstrous demonic aura around its body, just like a murderous god returning from hell. This is, my great canopy? Daoist master Chong Yang looked at the tens of feet tall giant in front of him, and his lips couldn't help but shiver. This aura, compared to the one he had summoned before, was more than a little bit stronger. It was at this moment, behind the eighteen bronze men, a scarlet light rose up into the sky. It directly penetrated the monstrous demonic aura and shot into the sky. That foreign treasure has come out. Su Shan Yun exclaimed, looking behind the eighteen bronze men. At this moment, behind the eighteen bronze men, a red blood lotus slowly floated up. The moment she made eye contact with the blood lotus, Su Shaloyan's beautiful eyes shrunk and she forcefully shifted her gaze. Seeing the other array generals also looking towards the blood lotus, Su Shaloyun hurriedly exclaimed, Don't look. This blood lotus has an extremely strong power of seduction. The crowd was slightly startled and hurriedly withdrew their gazes. And at this moment, at the Taoist auspicious clouds, a few little Taoist priests who couldn't resist, already had their eyes glazed over, staring straight at the blood lotus. Quickly close your eyes, there's something wrong with this blood lotus. I don't know who shouted. However, these few little Taoist priests, as if they had never heard of it, their eyes were filled with the color of infatuation. The old heavenly master hurriedly cast the pure heart divine incantation. Only then did he save the few young Taoist priests. However, boom, a muffled sound came from not far away. Which of the people present were not the ones with bright ears and eyes? All of them looked towards the direction where the sound came from. In the direction they were looking at, a few mortals in hiking attire were staring at the blood lotus as if they were possessed. Mortals? How could there be mortals here? A few Taoists shouted in shock. Just now, one of them unexpectedly burst apart directly, turning into a cloud of blood mist. Immediately afterward, muffled sounds rose in all directions. The old heavenly master had wanted to come to his rescue, but before he could step out half an inch, several more mortals burst open in place. In the end, even with the old heavenly master's strength, he was only able to save two people. Damn it! Hasn't the special energy bureau already dispersed the green mountain tourists? How is it that there are still mortals setting foot here? A patriarch shouted in shock. Previously, the special energy bureau already knew that this conflict was inevitable. In order to avoid injuring civilians, it had directly shut down the Castle Peak scenic area and evacuated the crowd. The blood mist was quickly attracted by the blood lotus. Along with the blood mist entering the body, the scarlet color of the blood lotus increased, so red that it dripped blood. Senior Rin Fong, quickly collect this blood lotus. I feel that it's about to transform. Su Shan Yun hurriedly voiced out. When Rin Fong heard this, his heart stirred. However it was at this moment. Amitba Buddha, this object has a destiny with my Buddha, do not move it. The 18 bronze men turned their backs to the blood lotus and blocked it in unison. Just now, a few mortals were turned into blood mist, and the 18 bronze men felt even more in their hearts that this blood lotus was extraordinary, so they couldn't sit still at once. There's your mom's edge. A violent shout resounded through the sky. This time, the one who spoke was not Mao Kai. The voice came from the Taoist position, an old Taoist with a fiery red beard and hair. I've endured you bunch of vultures for a long time. Several people's lives have been victimized by this blood lotus, and you guys are still destined to have it, have a nigga. The old Taoist had a fiery temper and came up with a burst of tiger and wolf words. Watching the civilian population die, and this group of vultures and donkeys do nothing, the irascible old Tao directly spit Fenfeng. Moreover, the special energy bureau was surprisingly so unreliable. 
if there were other mortals around, I'm afraid that more casualties would follow. I don't care about Ren Feng's matter, anyway, it's also his old ma family that was wrong in the first place. Let's get these bald asses killed first. This red-haired Taoist priest, Taoist named Fire Epileptic, was notorious for his violent temper. At this moment, in the midst of his rage, his fire-red robes bulged, and a channel of true fire, as if it didn't need any money, fell down towards the eighteen bronze men's gilded heads. However, under the protection of the swastika Buddha light, before these real flames could touch the eighteen bronze men, they all burst apart. Taoist fire epileptics all-out strike had not even created a single wave. This Taoist fire epileptic was also a Jin Dan realm expert. The eighteen bronze men, however, were all at the Jin Dan realm, and were not injured at all. However, at this moment, the great canopy, whose demonic aura was monstrous, steeply moved. His right arm was raised high, and the axe axe in his hand ruthlessly chopped on top of the swastika Buddha light. Clang! The sound of golden roar was deafening. Before the two mortals who had survived the calamity could come back to their senses, they were shaken by the sound of the golden roar, their mouths and noses bleeding, and their ears going deaf. The Buddha's light only resisted for a moment. It shattered with a bang, turning into a sky of golden light. Poof! The eighteen bronze men sprayed out a mouthful of golden blood in unison. That attack just now, only they knew exactly how powerful it was. The eighteen bronze men had been cultivating for many years in one piece, plus they had the myriad lotus flower to add to it. The defensive Buddha light that they had arranged in unison, not to mention the Yuaning stage, even if it was a cultivator at the god transformation stage, it would take a lot of effort to break through. Now, it was shattered by a single blow. Eighteen copper face no longer calm color, a face of gravely looking towards the big canopy of the sins and demonic chi. The power of a single blow is as terrifying as this. And at this moment, Rin Feng's voice, which seemed to be laughing, came from the air. Exotic treasure, I'm afraid it has no chance with you Buddhists. Instead, it is the great canopy that has a destiny with you and others. The one who spoke, was Rin Feng. Compared to the grudge with the Taoist family, that foreign treasure was more important to him. At this moment, the eighteen bronze men still panicked for the first time. In their hearts, there was only one thought left now. That was, why hadn't the world honored one come yet? However, what they didn't know was that F.A. High wouldn't be coming today. Senior brothers, put down the evil with all your might. When the world honored one comes, we will definitely make this evil person face the law. The bronze man in the lead forcefully endured his injuries and shouted harshly. The other seventeen bronze men responded in unison, and immediately, pure Buddha power exploded in the eighteen bronze men. At this time, it was necessary to use all of their strength. Otherwise, I'm afraid that without waiting for the world honored one to come, they would have to go to the western heaven to serve the Buddha. Lotus flowers bloomed under their feet, and the eighteen bronze men rose up in the air. The powerful Buddha power, but also caused the heaven and earth anomaly, the clouds in the sky gathered together, forming a low-browed Buddha statue. Around them, under the influence of the Buddha power, a strong wind blew by, cutting the faces of the crowd painfully. Feeling this aura, the crowd had to admit. Although this group of vultures were shameless, the ones present who could truly defeat the eighteen bronze men. In addition to the mysterious and unpredictable old heavenly master, there was also Rin Feng. Including Rin Feng's subordinates, I'm afraid that amongst these hundreds of people, there are only a few more than five. In an instant, under the Buddha's blessing, the myriad golden light covered the whole body, and the eighteen bronze men's originally bronze-colored skin suddenly became golden, just like the eighteen golden men, and behind each of them, there were golden Buddha wheels, looking like the Buddhas of the western heaven, sacred and extraordinary. Seeing the eighteen bronze men ready to strike, Ren Feng's subordinate formation generals, as well as Tiger Demon, Su Shan Yun, and Feng Linger immediately stepped forward. You guys and back off. Today's you guys are not yet their opponents. Ren Feng said indifferently. If it was just one or two copper men, Mao Kai, Su Shan Yun, Golden Armor, Feng Linger, any one of them could fight against them. If eighteen of them came together, unless they were in the seven star god refining formation, they would have no chance of winning. Hearing Rin Feng's words, the crowd retreated resentfully. They had wanted to help Rin Feng, but at this moment, they also knew. Without the formation to rely on, if they rushed forward, they might instead become a liability and drag Rin Feng down. Buddha Dharma Vast. Today, I'll let you, the sinner, appreciate my 18 bronze men's strongest mastery. The 18 bronze men shouted in unison. Dao of Buddhist light gushed out from their mouths and merged into the sky. In the sky, the great Buddha formed by the clouds was as if it had come to life its originally white body suddenly turning golden. Looking again at the great Buddha in the clouds, with a slight movement of his lips, accompanied by a faint Buddhist sound, the aura of the great Buddha in the clouds was not even weaker than the demonized canopy split. This was the combined attack technique of the 18 coppermen. It was also their strongest killing move at the bottom of the box. 
Although the 18 bronze men were only at the Jindan stage, once they united to unleash this move, I'm afraid that the cultivators at the god realization stage would have to avoid the front line for the time being. Drink! The 18 bronze men drank in unison, and the golden light in their mouths suddenly flourished. In the sky, the great Buddha in the clouds also stopped chanting and gradually moved. The great Buddha then raised a palm, the entire palm, covering the sky. Along with the palm swinging, faintly came the sound of dragon and tiger thunder, the eight directions of heaven and earth roared in all directions, even if the sun and moon were to be dimmed at this time. A move to determine life and death. What the 18 bronze men thought in their hearts, as long as this move could injure and foam, they would have a chance to wait until the world honored one came. Sinner, let the poor monk come to overthrow you. Rulai divine palm. The 18 bronze men shouted in unison, and their auras around them skyrocketed several times. At this time, they didn't dare to be arrogant at all and they didn't skimp on their mana in the slightest, as the power of the Rulai Divine Palm was directly pulled to full strength. Under such a terrifying pressure, some cultivators with slightly weaker cultivation levels already felt difficulty breathing and their true chi was unstable. And at this moment, boom, the huge palm raised by the great Buddha in the clouds finally slowly fell. The lines in the palm were clearly visible, just like the Buddha himself, angrily slapping down a palm. Not good, these vultures are trying to take us away as well. Quickly set up a formation to resist. Old Celestial Master, please take action to retreat the enemy. The voices of the crowd of Taoist priests rang out in shock and anger. Once such a huge palm fell, not to mention them. I'm afraid that all the hundred miles in a radius would be devastated under this terrifying palm. However, no matter how much these Taoist priests tried to persuade him, the old heavenly master was as if he had never heard of it. With a pair of pale eyes, he just stared quietly at Rin Fong. Master, Shifu, we are with you. The golden armor completely transformed into the form of a nightmare and stared angrily at the sky. Mao Kai, on the other hand, directly appeared in his original form. Foam Linger raised the fire lin in her hand. Although, under such a terrifying aura, they knew that they had almost no chance of winning. But so what? To be able to advance and retreat together with Rin Foam. Even though they died, they did not regret it. However, right at this moment. Stand down, I don't want to say it a second time. Ren Feng's cold voice was indifferent as he stared at the huge palm that was getting closer and closer in the sky. In five thunder. Ren Feng shouted angrily, pitch black colored thunder light emerged from his body. In the end, it converged into a black lightning bolt the thickness of a small arm, pointing straight into the sky. Seeing this scene, the old heavenly master's face changed slightly. How could he use the in five thunder? It seems that his in five thunders have not yet come to fruition. Thinking of this, the old heavenly master had already secretly urged his power. Once Rin Fong was defeated, he was ready to strike and break this Ru Lai Divine Palm. In the old Heavenly Master's eyes, the highest level of Yin Five Thunder was to condense the water dirty thunder. However, what he didn't know was, water viscera thunder was not the highest realm of Yin Five Thunder. What Rin Fong had mastered, it was the Yin Five Thunder at the grand completion level. In this world, other than Rin Fong, there was no one who had cultivated the Yin Five Thunder to the grand completion realm. As the saying goes, the Great Tao is as simple as it gets. This seemingly weak thunder light was the strongest form of the Yin Five Thunder. Ka Ching, the black thunder light, like an electric snake, shot towards the giant palm. Seeing this scene, the 18 bronze men coldly snorted in disdain. The Rulai Divine Palm is an untold secret of my Buddhist family. Is it not something that can be broken by a single Yin Five Thunder? Simply daydreaming. The 18 copper men laughed coldly in their hearts, and it seemed that they had already seen the scene of Rin Fong and the Taoist elite being crushed by the Rulai Divine Palm. However, after a split second, the 18 bronze men were suddenly stuck in their throats, staring blankly at the sky. They couldn't believe their eyes. That mediocre in five thunder had directly penetrated the giant palm. Immediately afterward, thunderbolts appeared. In the end, the entire great Buddha in the clouds was wrapped in black lightning, turning into nothingness and dissipating between heaven and earth. Hiss. The 18 bronze men immediately sucked in a breath of cool air. This was a Rulai divine palm. Just a mediocre in five thunder could be broken so easily? However, right at this moment, the in five thunder that was still raging in the sky suddenly split into 18 channels and split towards each of the 18 bronze men. An intense crisis of death rose from the hearts of the 18 bronze men. No! How dare you! At this moment, the 18 bronze men were finally afraid. The crisis of death followed like a shadow. For so many years, they were accustomed to Buddhism's rampage, and they were the only ones who bullied others. The 18 bronze men never expected it. Ren Fong would actually dare to kill them. Before they could finish their words, the lightning had already descended. A few moments later, 18 charred black corpses fell from the sky. 18 bronze men, killed in a single blow. To the very end, the world-honored one that they had been waiting for did not come. Not far away. 
Qin Zijing, who had just run in, was seeing this scene. I've got to be good. Isn't that the 18 bronze men? How did it turn into the 18 nonce? Could it be that senior Rin Feng made a move? Qin Zijing was stunned. Then he thought of the purpose of his visit and his heart burst into ecstasy. Now that we've found the whereabouts of Sake Swallow Boy, with senior Rin Feng willing to help they definitely won't be able to return to the ascending sun empire. Soon, Qin Zijing arrived at Rin Feng and the other side. Actually, strictly speaking, for the Special Energy Bureau, and even the successive dynasties, the prosperity of the Buddhist family did more harm than good. In ancient times, monks didn't pay taxes and didn't labor. People also had to outflow a portion of their money to make incense offerings for the Buddhists. Intangibly, it would cause some losses to the feudal dynasty. But Taoist monks are different. Normally, they plowed their own land and were self-sufficient, rarely troubling the dynasty. Even if they come out of the world, it's only for the red dust experience. In ancient times, there were the three martial arts that extinguished the Buddha. Almost never heard of, there is the action of exterminating the Tao. Moreover, the poem says, The Bodhisattva does not ask questions in troubled times, the old lord carries his sword to save the vicissitudes of life. In the Yuan dynasty, the seven sons of Chuanjin came forth and united the aspirants of the Great Song dynasty to defend themselves against foreign enemies. In modern times, the Shangyang Empire invaded and the Taoist sect came out. After the war was quelled, there were even many Taoists who returned to the mountain with missing arms and broken legs, or slept under the mountain forever. Nowadays, although the Taoist sect is in decline, but at the time of the collapse of the heaven and earth ban, they also resolutely came out of the mountains. As a special existence of a semi-clan, the Special Energy Bureau naturally took the interests of the ascending dragon empire as its first principle. Now that Ren Feng had killed the 18 bronze men, although Qin Zijing did not say anything on the surface, but inside, was simply happier than the new year. But although inwardly, but Qin Zijing still feigned regret and said, AI, it's true that the fight is still going on, this loss is all the power of my ascending dragon empire ah, the bald donkey is dead. Next it's time for us to liquidate. Mao Kai laughed out loud as he saw the charred and blackened bodies of the 18 bronze men. Brush. Countless vines flew, vaguely surrounding the Taoist family members in layers. Although the 18 bronze men had fallen, but there was still the Taoist sect currently watching from the sidelines. And at this moment, looking at the Taoist family again, except for Taoist master Chong Yang, who was grudgingly upset because of the failure of the corpse suppressor talisman, the anger in the eyes of the other Taoists had subsided quite a bit when they looked at Rin Feng. Not to mention whether or not the Ma family's extermination was the work of Rin Feng. Even if it really was, it was the Ma family that was wrong in the first place. Although these Nubizis were usually stubborn, they were not as unreasonable as the Buddhists. It was at this time. I think this matter, let's forget about it. The Ma clan was in the wrong first, we are indeed considered evil. The old heavenly master's pale voice came out. While speaking, the old heavenly master looked deeply at Rin Feng. The Yin Five Thunders that Ren Feng had cast just now had truly shocked the old Heavenly Master inwardly. Regardless of whether it was the Yin Five Thunders or the Young Five Thunders, they were all Longhu Mountain's mastery. But this zombie in front of him, how did he learn it? For a time, even the old Heavenly Master felt that Ren Feng was mysterious. Qin Zi Jing saw both sides of the sword, still for the matter of the Ma family. Only then did he remember the purpose of his trip. Senior Ren Feng, seniors of the Taoists. Qin Zijing saluted Rin Feng and the others one by one, now that the Special Energy Bureau has enough evidence to prove that the matter of the Ma family was indeed not the work of senior Rin Feng. The palmistresses froze in unison at his words. The Special Energy Bureau had already approached them before to clarify this matter. At that time, however, it was because of the emotional shock, coupled with Ma Hongtao's preconceived notions. These stubborn old Taoists were unusually emotional, and without evidence, they instinctively still thought that Rin Feng was the real culprit. But now, the people from the Special Energy Bureau actually said that they had found evidence? This. Many Pomestress's faces changed, and then they became a bit uneasy. If once the Special Energy Bureau said it was true, then wouldn't they, in fact, have wronged a good person? The Palm Sectors couldn't help but secretly pray in their hearts, hoping that the Special Energy Bureau's intelligence was wrong. Although just now, Run Fong had displayed great strength, with their skills, against Rin Fong. Even if they won, they were bound to suffer heavy casualties. But for this group of old Taoists, face, that was more important than life. However, next, Qin Zijing took out a red-headed document from the Special Energy Bureau, which instantly made the faces of the old Taoists turn ugly. Notice from the Special Energy Bureau. After the Special Energy Bureau's investigation, the destruction of the Ma family was the work of the forces of the Rising Sun Empire. The evidence is now conclusive, and the Ascending Sun Empire's Sakutan child group has been rounded up by the Special Energy Bureau. 
It is also hoped that the forces of the major sects will put aside their prejudices and work together to deal with the heaven and earth cataclysm for the sake of the greater good. At the end, there was the personal seal of the head of the Special Energy Bureau, as well as the official seal of the Special Energy Bureau. This, it really wasn't done by Rinfong? With the cultivation level of the sect masters, they naturally had amazing eyesight. As early as the moment Qin Zijing had just taken out the red-headed document, they had read the contents on it. Instantly, the crowd of palm sectors were dumbfounded. Now, it seemed that it wasn't just the Ma family that was at fault first. Moreover, the matter of the Ma family's extermination had nothing to do with Rin Feng at all. He himself was even shy enough to come and ask for punishment. Thinking of this, quite a few sect masters blushed in unison. He was at least a dignified figure in the Taoist family, but he turned out to be indiscriminate. This kind of one-shot death move. What difference was there between it and the Buddhists? One by one, the palm sectors had been itching to find a crack in the ground to drill into, just as the palm sects were blushing and feeling ashamed. Qin Zijing looked at Rin Feng, Senior Rin, this time I'm looking for you, the Special Energy Bureau has something to ask. Speak. Rin Feng raised his eyelids. With all of the Ma clan exterminated, the Ascending Sun Empire has already violated the laws of cultivators. Nowadays, although Sake Swallow Boy has been surrounded by his brethren on the East Sea Island, there is only a special energy practitioner comparable to the Gene Dan stage sitting on the East Sea side. The Special Energy Bureau asks Senior to assist the Special Energy Bureau in apprehending the Sake Swallow Child Bunch. Qin Zi Jing said with a respectful expression. Although there were still two major children under Sakotani Boiko's command, plus the Sive. This strength was definitely not something that an adept comparable to the Gene Dan stage could deal with. But as long as Rin Feng made a move, Qin Zi Jing believed. Taking down the Sakutan child was simply a piece of cake. However, without waiting for Rin Feng to speak, a group of old Taoists yelled with red faces and thick necks. How dare the Ascending Sun Empire violate my borders? My Ascending Dragon Kingdom's matters, we will naturally resolve them ourselves behind closed doors. When was it the turn of the Ascending Sun Empire to dictate? It's really outrageous and infuriating. The crowd of Taoist patriarchs were blowing their beards and glaring. Back then, when the Rising Sun Empire invaded, many of these sect masters' brothers and sisters had died in battle. For the Rising Sun Empire, they didn't have much of a good face. Among the sect masters, the fiery-tempered fire-epileptic Taoist was even standing up with his eyebrows. This kind of thing doesn't need to be done by fellow Taoist Rin Fong, the old Taoist will go and return. A moment of quick tongue. The title, too, became fellow Taoist Rin Fong. Without waiting for the crowd to react, a fire cloud rose from under Taoist fire epileptic's feet. A few moments later, Taoist fire epileptic had scurried hundreds of meters away. Looking at that, it looked as if he was fleeing. When the sect masters saw the scene, they cursed Taoist fire epileptic in their hearts for not wanting Bai Lian. How could they not understand? Taoist fire epileptic was only using the excuse of catching the wine-swallowing child to escape from here. After all, now facing Rin Feng. It was too embarrassing. It would be better to go forward and capture Sake Swallow. By the way, escape from this embarrassing place. Thinking of this, the pal mistresses couldn't sit still. Aya, fellow Taoist fire epileptic wait for me, poor Taoist will go with you. Bold barbarians, how dare you violate our country's authority. I'll go and help. A mere wine swallow boy dares to come to my ascending dragon to cause trouble, see how the old me will subdue it. The sect masters shouted with righteous indignation to hide their inner embarrassment. Tang Yun's Tang Yun, Imperial Sword's Imperial Sword. First of all, it didn't matter what the chances of winning against Sake Swallow Boy were. If they continued to stay here, once Rin Feng used the previous incident to raise an accusation, it would be a real disgrace. They are all people who value face more than life. Apologize to Rin Feng? They couldn't pull this old face. In the face of Qin Zijing's teasing and Rin Feng's questioning, they had even less face. Besides, Taoism is all about doing nothing. Although there were defenders of the way like F.A. Hai, they were after all a minority. Now that the truth had come out, Rin Feng hadn't made a move against the Ma family. What reason did they, again, have to be enemies with Rin Feng? It wasn't long. The Taoist patriarchs who had originally come in force, ran away clean in a puff of smoke. Only the old heavenly master was left, along with a few elderly palmist masters. In terms of aura, these few palmist masters were just like the old heavenly master, like ordinary old men on the side of the road, without a trace of aura. Obviously, the strength had all reached the level of returning to the basics. The old heavenly master looked at Ren Feng plainly with a deep gaze. After a long time. Fellow Taoist Rin Feng, I apologize to you for my Taoist family's unwise actions. Old Heavenly Master's voice came out leisurely, I'm afraid you're long gone from being a zombie by now, right? At the Old Heavenly Master's words, Run Feng just let out a light laugh. I'm sorry, I don't intend to let you guys leave just like that. You guys indiscriminately came to Ren's territory to raise hell. 
Could it be, do you really take Rin Mao as a clay pinch? As he spoke, the aura on Rin Feng's body skyrocketed. It was not Rin Feng's character to just let them leave. However, right at this moment, the old heavenly master seemed like he didn't feel Rin Feng's aura, and with a flick of his long sleeve, a book flew towards Rin Feng. Rin Feng subconsciously reached out and took it. Thunder Law? Yan Five Thunder? Ren Fong looked at the words written above the book's cover and softly recited. Putting the book away, Ren Fong looked at the old heavenly master. At this moment, even he couldn't tell what medicine this old heavenly master was selling in his gourd. Fellow Taoist Ren Fong, this time, it is indeed my Taoist family that is at fault first. The poor Taoist doesn't know where you learned the In Five Thunders from, but the world's secret method is available to those who can, so the poor Taoist won't ask too many questions. This thunder law, which was originally an untold secret of my Longhu Mountain, will now be gifted to you, as a way to make amends for the Taoist's previous insolent behavior. The old heavenly master said without haste. Ren Feng let out a light laugh and was about to speak. However, right at this moment, Ren Feng suddenly looked to the side of the mountain forest. In the middle of the mountain forest, a hidden holy aura emanated out. Seeing this scene, Ren Feng's words changed, you guys go, I don't want the same thing to happen a second time. Who? After saying that, Ren Feng waved the astral spectrum in his hand. The great celestial canopy took a step out and turned into a stream of light back into the star destiny spectrum. At this moment, the old heavenly master also looked as if he had sensed something and looked towards the piece of mountain forest that Ren Feng's gaze was directed towards. Seemingly sensing something, a smile appeared on the old heavenly master's face and he made a hand fork salute to Ren Feng. Fellow Taoist Ren Feng, you are truly deeply righteous. In that case, we will take our leave first. On another day, we will come back to pay a visit. When these words came out, the crowd froze slightly. Deeply righteous? This word didn't seem to be appropriate to use right now. Ten minutes passed. Ghost Head Mountain finally returned to a silence. Only the corpses of the 18 bronze men on the ground seemed to still be telling of the previous great battle. And at this time, within the auspicious clouds in the sky, old heavenly master, why did we let that Rin Fong go? Daoist master Chong Yang asked in disbelief. To speak of losses, this time, Taoist master Chong Yang was undoubtedly hemorrhaging money. The canopy divine mantra was originally their sex town divine mantra. But he didn't expect that the great canopy split had only just come out and bounced around for a while before it was collected by Ren Feng. Fellow Taoist Chong Yang. Remember, it wasn't us who spared him, but him who spared us. The old heavenly master looked ahead and said leisurely. Taoist master Chong Yang was puzzled. After a moment's pause, the old heavenly master continued, that Ren Feng, looks no different from a normal person, you can't see half of a zombie's appearance at all, you talisman sex deal with zombies every day, can't you see the slightest hint? Daoist master Chong Yang sniffed and pondered for a moment. Old heavenly master, are you saying? Daoist master Chong Yang seemed to have thought of something, and his face suddenly changed drastically. Not bad, if the old immortal is not mistaken, this Ren Feng has already broken the back and is officially sealed as a god. The old heavenly master said softly. When Taoist master Chong Yang heard this, he became even more certain of what was in his heart and couldn't help but shiver. The strength of the drought demon might not be understood by others. But they, the talisman sect, could not understand it better. In this world, drought is a bug general existence. Zombies had already jumped out of the three realms and were not in the five elements. The influence of the rules of heaven and earth on them was nearly negligible. And now, Ren Feng's strength had advanced into a drought demon. Logically speaking, at this strength, one should be restricted by the rules of heaven and earth and not be able to manifest in front of people. But a drought demon was just like a zombie. It was not subject to the rules of heaven and earth at all. Zombies had a unique advantage against the rules of heaven and earth. There were also a few races that were likewise the same. Ordinary cultivators, the only way to avoid the great tribulation of heaven and earth. It could only be like the Buddhists, getting a secret realm like the little western heaven and then hiding in it. Since the dragon vein was broken back then, the connection between heaven and earth was severed, and all the great powers in the immortal world were unable to manifest their saints, besides some special races and people in secret realms, who can restrain Ren Feng. Thinking of this, Taoist master Chong Yang was worried. Fellow Taoist Chong Yang, you must remember. Ren Feng is not our enemy. The old heavenly master spoke leisurely, his tone tinged with celebration, just now, if those people hadn't suddenly appeared, with that Ren Feng's character, I'm afraid that even I would have to be seriously injured or even perish on the spot today. Taoist master Chong Yang froze slightly, them? Who are they? The old heavenly master continued. Didn't you realize? Ren Feng just now, originally had no intention of letting us go, but he then suddenly changed his mind. From this we can see that Ren Feng is definitely not our enemy. At least, not right now. Saying this, the old heavenly master seemed to have thought of something, and a smile spread across the corners of his mouth. 
On the other hand, the Taoist master Chong Yang beside him was clouded by the old heavenly master's words. Unfortunately, no matter how much he pursued the question, the old heavenly master smiled without saying anything. Not long after the old heavenly master and the others left. What a relief. Mao Kai couldn't get enough of it, just one strike and all 18 bronze men hiccuped, it's simply a great relief. Each of the 18 bronze men was a Jean Dan stage expert. And once they joined hands, it was the existence of the god transformation stage that had to avoid the front line for the time being. But even so, these 18 bronze men were easily killed by Rin Foam. It was simply like slaughtering a chicken. If only I had a tenth of master's strength. Foamlinger's pretty face was also filled with excitement. Just thinking about the great battle just now, Foamlinger's heart couldn't help but accelerate. I'm afraid that it wouldn't take long. Ghost Head Mountain Rinfeng's great name was about to resound through the ascending dragon empire's cultivation world. However, just as the crowd was immersed in joy, Ren Feng's gaze, however, was still looking at the corner not far away. A few of you, just how long do you guys want to meet out your lives? If you guys want to continue to be shrunken turtles, I don't mind pulling you out. Said here. The corner of Ren Feng's mouth flashed with a snicker. What? There's actually someone else? Where? On guard. The crowd was slightly stunned, and then they were secretly on guard. Their complexions were cold, and killing opportunities flashed in their eyes. The great battle just now had caused everyone's mind to be tense, and they hadn't even realized that there were even people hiding on this battlefield. The 18 bronze men were originally resolved by Rin Fong. The crowd of array generals had wanted to show off their skills, but as a result, that gang of Nubizi even ran away? This time in there was some kind of hostile force. Golden Armor, Mao Kai and other array generals would definitely charge forward and never bother Rin Fong to do anything. At this time, in the middle of a mountain forest that Rin Fong was gazing at, the air was strangely distorted. A moment later, a few blonde-haired, blue-eyed crooked people suddenly drilled out from within the ripples. God, the great battle just now was simply too intense. Oh, my, God. Is this the mysterious eastern cultivator? Incredible. A few crooked women in nuns' robes shouted, looking like mountain cannons had entered the city. However, a man in red at the head of the group looked at Rin Fong with a gloomy face, not knowing what he was pondering. After a moment, only then did a hint of a pandering smile appear on the red-robed man's face. I am Bishop Johnny, the Bishop of the Holy See in the Ascending Dragon Empire, here to pay a special visit. Senior strength, it's just too powerful. Outer Rue, cow beep. On behalf of the Holy See, I offer you my highest respect. Johnny had a wintry smile on his face as he gave Rin Fong a thumbs up. However, on the surface, he had a pleasing look on his face. Inwardly, he was like a river turning over, unable to calm down at all. Yesterday, he had received information from the Holy See that a great war would break out on this ghost head mountain. That was why he had brought his hidden holy weapon and came to see what was going on. If the Taoist family and Rin Fong fought a losing battle, Johnny would directly strike, with lightning speed to kill the remnants of the two parties, and then destroy the bodies and scavenge once to bring back to the Holy See. But never thought. The Buddhist family unexpectedly also intervened. What is even more horrifying is that this mysterious man called Rin Fong, even like slaughtering chickens and slaughtering dogs, the Shaolin Temple's 18 experts were easily killed. Although Johnny didn't know who those 18 experts were. But from the aura, taking out one person at random, they were all 50 to 50 with himself. Hasty. It really shouldn't have come so hastily. Johnny exclaimed inwardly, then looked at a golden beetle in his hand. This was the holy weapon of the church, extremely good at hiding its aura. On top of that, there were also highly unpredictable means of attack. But even under the shelter of the holy weapon beetle, Rin Fong still detected their presence. This expert called Rin Feng's strength is at the very least comparable to that of a pope. Sure enough the mysterious east is still as frightening as it once was. Johnny's heart was in turmoil. With his own skills, even if he borrowed the sacred weapon beetle, he would probably be killed by Rin Fong in a single move. He, himself, was a cardinal, on the same level as the cardinal who had been decapitated by the vampire before. At the same time, Johnny was also the head of the ascending dragon empire's holy sea. The holy sea was different from cultivators. The strength rankings of the holy sea, from low to high, were, cultivator, priest, bishop, cardinal, archbishop, archcardinal, and pope. Johnny was the strength of a cardinal, just like a master of the Jean Dan realm among cultivators. This realm was enough to be the head of a region. In the battle just now, Johnny had been hiding under the shelter of the beetles, secretly observing. Ren Feng's performance, in Johnny's mind, was definitely on par with the Pope. This is still picking up a fart leak. Johnny cursed in his heart. If it wasn't for the orders of the Holy See, could he take on a killing god like Ren Feng? At this time, being discovered, he could only flatter. In case Ren Feng was a grumpy master, coaxing him to be happy might even spare his life. However, golden armor. In. Blood of the Holy See. Feel it for yourself.
Run Fong waved his hand casually. Immediately after, Johnny suddenly realized that he couldn't move as if he was confined. In the midst of the screams of a group of oceanic nuns, a monster with bone wings flew towards them with its large, dried-up mouth open. Less than a minute. Johnny collapsed to the ground, wide-eyed. Behind him were several oceanic nuns, all of whom also lay bleary-eyed at the edge of the tree. On their necks, two hideous bloody holes were neatly made. Yuck! It's really hard to drink. Golden Armor quenched a mouthful and wiped the blood from the corner of his mouth, even the blood is filled with disgusting hypocritical holiness. Well, have their memories been read? Ren Fong asked. Golden Armor nodded, not bad, they simply came this time to take advantage of people. After being promoted to Nightmare, Golden Armor gained a new ability. As long as it was an object that he sucked blood from. In the other party's mind, it would create false nightmares and obtain the other party's memories. It's not polite to come and go. Ren Fong glanced at the several corpses and the corner of his mouth curved slightly. As far as he understood, the degree of the Holy See's thick skin was even worse than that of the Buddhists. Since the Holy See didn't have good intentions, Ren Fong would naturally prepare a big gift for them as well. Afterwards, Ren Feng's gaze was withdrawn from the bodies of the Vatican's personnel. At this time, the Blood Lotus had already fully matured and was red and demonic. The remaining rhizomes on the ground had long since all turned yellow and withered. Looking at the demonic red light emanating from the Blood Lotus, Ren Feng felt a shocking trance in his heart. Surprisingly, it can directly affect my mind? Ren Feng's heart then shook slightly. It seems that this thing, is really like what Su Shaloyan said, nine times out of ten, it can repair the heaven and earth forbidden system. Run Fong secretly pondered. As a drought demon, his mind could be said to be stronger than a rock. The fact that the blood lotus was able to shake his mind, from this point alone, it was already remarkable. First of all, regardless of whether this prohibition was repaired or not, the blood lotus, he had to get his hands on it. In that case, even if he didn't participate in the restoration of the forbidden system, the blood lotus in his hand was still a bargaining chip for Rin Fong. Looking at the ground again, even Rin Fong did not notice. At some point, the roots of the blood lotus had firmly entangled the bodies of the 18 bronze men. Nowadays, the 18 bronze men were not only scorched black all over their bodies. The originally robust bodies had also long since dried up and were absorbed by the blood lotus rhizomes for nutrients. Mao Kai and the other array generals glared fiercely at the old celestial master and the others before they followed Rin Fong back. The mature blood lotus slowly rose up from beside the corpses of the 18 bronze men and fell into Rin Feng's hands. The blood lotus had just entered his hand. Ren Feng felt a trace of coldness that penetrated through his bones from within his palm. Sure enough, this blood lotus has begun to take shape. I wonder what it will be like after it takes shape, Ren Feng secretly said in his heart. Those few mortals were turned into blood mist and absorbed by the blood lotus. Now that it had absorbed the corpses of the 18 bronze men, the energy accumulated was enough to transform. Ren Feng pocketed the blood lotus. At the same time, roar, a few hissing sounds came out. The Vatican personnel who had collapsed earlier, stiffened up. Without slanting their eyes, their bodies stiffened, and a layer of white hair grew from their bodies at a speed visible to the naked eye. After being bitten by the golden armored corpse king, the strong corpse chi directly catalyzed them. It was only a moment's effort. They had already turned into the lowest level white stiffs. A few zombies had lifeless eyes, but when they looked at the golden armor, a few moments of fear appeared in their originally lax pupils. They had now become golden armor's descendants. Even if Golden Armor told them to die, they wouldn't even frown. It was at this moment. Buzz. That sacred weapon beetle seemed to sense that Johnny had turned corporeal and kept releasing holy light. Even the cross on their chests trembled uneasily. Unfortunately, this thing still had a few effects against vampires. Against zombies? It wasn't a system at all. Ren Fong took the sacred beetle in his hands. Seeing that the sacred beetle was still struggling, Ren Fong gently smiled. Heh, this little gadget is really interesting. Back then, the Sam Empire plundered countless treasures from the Ascending Dragon Empire. Today, let's also plunder the treasures of the Holy See, so that they can learn a lesson. After saying that, dense corpse chi condensed in Rin Feng's hands. The Holy Beetle could barely release Holy Light to resist at first. However after just a moment, the Holy Light was breached by the dense corpse chi, and under the erosion of the corpse chi, the Saint Beetle let out a squeaky, strange cry. After a long time, the corpse chi gradually entered the body, and the saint beetle gradually quieted down. Although the holy beetle was still alive, it no longer had a divine aura. Instead, it was replaced by a thick, hideous aura. Looks like it will have to be renamed corpse insect in the future. Run Fong laughed lightly and threw the sacred beetle. Just as the sacred beetle left Rin Feng's hand, it unfolded the sheathed wings behind it and flew back onto Rin Feng's shoulder. By the looks of it, it had already thrown itself into Rin Feng's arms. Ren Fong looked at the several dull-headed clerics again. Golden armor, 
Let them go back from wherever they came from. Although it won't have much effect, it's still more than enough to be a shitstirrer. Ren Feng waved his hand at Golden Armor. Currently, these clerics were still the most elementary white stiffs, but their originator was the Golden Armor Corpse King who had already been promoted to Nightmare. The Golden Armor's corpse chi was naturally not comparable to ordinary zombies. These descendants were under the influence of the Golden Armor Corpse chi and the Blood Moon. It is believed that in two or three days at most, they will develop into a jumping stiff level. Once they become jumping stiffs, ordinary cold weapons and guns, their lethality against them will plummet. By then, on the streets of the Sam Empire, a cardinal with a cross and several nuns suddenly scurried out. Before people could react, they hugged and nod on people. This scene was exciting to think about. Golden Armor nodded and whispered a few words to Johnny. Roar! The zombie cardinal roared. With a group of zombie nuns, he left Ghost Head Mountain. Although they were in the Ascending Dragon Empire, they yearned for the Sam Empire. At this moment, they finally left this land under their feet, traveling to the land of freedom. Their name was Zombie. One hour later, Ghost Head Mountain Rinfeng's mansion. At this moment, Rinfeng had already returned to the mansion and studied the beetles and blood lotuses, and Mao Kai and the other mountain protector formation generals were laughing and talking outside. Ah, this time it's really a great success. It's still our master who's awesome, just one move and that 18 vultures were seconded. But then again, that cardinal's death was too suffocating. Suffocating? They aren't any good birds either. Haha, <laughs> no, after only saying two sentences, they were bitten by that stuffy gourd, golden armor. You guys guess. Guess what? When the news reaches the abbot and pope's ears, will they die on the spot? Very likely. Aside from the face-palmed golden armor, several other people had triumphant joy on their faces. This was originally a conflict between the Taoists and Rin Feng. As a result, both the Buddha family and the Holy See had to come over and intervene. The result? Instead, Rin Feng and the Dao family didn't have much to do, on the contrary, the Dao family owed Rin Feng a huge favor because of their misunderstanding of Rin Feng. In the future, even if they ran into Rin Feng again, these old Taoists who valued their face more than their lives would probably blush, their shame would instantly kick in, and they would find a place to go around. The real loss. On the contrary, it was the Buddhists who did not want to come to get a piece of the pie in the Holy See who was ready to play the autumn breeze. This news, once it reaches the ears of the Dharma and the Pope, that feeling don't need to think also no. Like a shoehorn smacking the face, snapping raw pain. But at this moment, you guys don't get too happy too early. First, Su Shenyun's soft voice came, I think that the Holy See in the Grand Prime Minister's temple will definitely not swallow this breath, perhaps it won't be long before they send their experts to come. When these words came out, the faces of the others immediately sank. They could naturally think of it. As the topmost forces in the world, the Buddhist family and the Holy See were usually used to flying around. Having suffered such a big loss this time, they were afraid that it wouldn't be long before they would make a comeback and break out into a big war. The atmosphere was suddenly dull. It was at this moment that Mao Kai suddenly spoke in a deep voice. Everyone. The 18 bronze men sent by the Buddhists this time are considered relatively weak amongst the Buddhists. Mao Kai stood up. But even if it's them, if there's no master to intervene, do you guys think we can win? When this question came out, everyone fell silent. Mao Kai's question was sharp. Once the 18 bronze men joined forces, without relying on the 7 star refined god, I'm afraid that there wasn't a single array general that was a match for the 18 bronze men. This time, the master beheaded the 18 bronze men and the cardinal. Not the slightest bit of face was given to the Buddhists and the Holy See, and the faces of the abbot and the pope were even pressed to the ground and furiously smacked. Do you guys think that they'll just let it go? Mao Kai continued to ask again. There was naturally no need to speak of the two sects heritage. After so many years of development and precipitation, Buddhism and the Holy See had become one of the most widely distributed religions with the largest number of congregations in the entire Blue Star. Once they got serious, the experts they sent would definitely be much more powerful than this time. For a while, the faces of all the people were a bit ugly. Even the 18 bronze men they couldn't defeat. In case the Vatican and the Buddhists sent even more powerful ones, how could they fight? Throw stones at them? Moreover, there was a sentence that Mikai didn't explicitly say. But in the hearts of the crowd, it was as clear as a mirror. Even the 18 bronze men were all salt by Rin Fong. They were just playing soy sauce on the side. In that case, what was the difference between a salted fish and a salted fish? Almost instantly, everyone thought of this point. For a time, in almost everyone's heart, they were filled with a strong sense of humiliation. I don't care what you guys think, but next time, I, Mao Kai, will definitely not drag my master's feet. Mao Kai said softly. Then, regardless of the crowd's reaction, he walked to the side and rooted himself to cultivate. Get stronger. The golden armor still had a deadpan expression on his face as two short words popped out of his mouth. 
Even Su Shan Yun shook her fox tail behind her, among our fox clan's canonical books, there are quite a few secret books that can forcibly enhance strength, so I'll see if there's a way to help everyone. Nearly everyone, their mood turned heavy. The joy of victory was like sand that had been washed away by rain, long gone. At this moment, in everyone's mind, only one goal remained. Strengthening their strength. Just as the ghost head mountain crowd made up their minds to enhance their strength. Su Hang City, under the Thunder Peak Pagoda. F.A. Hai didn't know where he had already gone. The tourists from before had also left, most of them were new tourists. Eh, why are you here, old brother? I'm fine, wandering blindly. Old brother ah, you just missed a good show ah. What good show? Just now I don't know where to come a tattooed big monk, after that there is another monk racked with a lotus flower flying from the sky, so I didn't stare the old man's eyeballs off. Crap? So magical? It can't be a scenic spot made to attract people's attention, right? I don't think so, I don't know why, standing next to that tattooed monk, I feel warm around me. The two tourists talked to each other. However, right at this moment, a tourist instantly rounded his eyes, crap, what a beautiful young lady. The other tourist looked in the direction he was pointing. Sure enough, a wonderful young lady wearing a green colored gauze was slowly walking towards her. The green colored gauze fluttered, and when paired with the slender figure, it instantly made the two tourists jaws drop. A special creature, a special thing on earth. This comment instantly popped up in the minds of the two. The long black hair paired with the green clothes carried a natural innocence, especially the water snake waist. Even those models walking the runway on TV would pale in comparison to her. There were also quite a few female tourists in the surrounding area who were dressed coolly and had pretty faces, but once they were compared to this green clothed girl, they all immediately fell behind. Their role could only be to act as a foil, setting the green clothed girl into the center of attention. At this point, she had already caught the attention of quite a few male tourists. A burst of sounds of sucking harangues came, and some tourists who had female companions took another look at their partners. Solemnly. Demon. Definitely a demon. A tourist swallowed his saliva, not caring about the murderous gaze of his girlfriend beside him. The green-clothed girl seemed to have long been accustomed to these gazes. Many men came over to accost her. She also politely rejected them one by one. Even though it had been hundreds of years since then, she still hadn't forgotten what her sister had taught her. Be a good demon. Cultivate blessings. Not to hurt people. Not long after, she had already walked to the bottom of the Lei Fong Pagoda and looked at it in a daze. Sister, I came to see you. The green-clothed girl's red lips slightly opened, this time may be the last time my sister comes to see you. I heard that F.A. Hai has already left the prison, and that there is a great avatar on Ghost Head Mountain, so with my sister's strength, I can only go to find that great avatar to cling to. Buzz. The Thunder Peak Pagoda gently trembled, hard to perceive with the naked eye. But the green-clothed woman still sensed it, and a smile appeared on the corner of her mouth. She knew. This was her sister, responding to her. I'll come back to see you after that bald-ass F.A. Hai closes his doors. After staying for a short while, the woman in green bid farewell to the Thunder Peak Pagoda. On her way out, a trace of hatred surfaced on the green-clothed woman's pretty face, don't worry, sister, I will definitely cultivate heart and one day kill F.A. Hai to release you. She, precisely, was the green snake Xiao Chang. Back then, it was also at this place. Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin joined forces to fight against F.A. Hai. The battle was fought continuously for an unknown period of time, the entire city of Suzhou and Hangzhou was flooded with water, the Jinshan Temple was destroyed, and the people were killed and injured in countless ways, which was extremely tragic. However, the strength of the two demons, after all, is still inferior to F.A. Hai a trace. In the end, F.A. Hai won slightly. Seeing the imminent suppression, Bai Sujin used her last resort to send Xiao Qing away. She herself was suppressed under the Thunder Peak Tower. Now hundreds of years had passed. Over the years, Xiao Qing came back to visit her sister every once in a while. For the hatred back then, she had also never forgotten. If she had enough strength, Xiao Qing believed. She herself would definitely kill all the monks in the world to take out this bad anger for her sister. Especially F.A. Hai. Her hatred towards F.A. Hai had long been deep in her bones. If it wasn't for the fact that there were so many high Buddhist experts in the Grand Prime Minister Temple, I'm afraid that she would have already gone forward to take revenge. Unfortunately, Xiao Chong knew. With her current strength, she can't see F.A. Hai at all. I'm afraid that if she just stepped into the territory of the Great Expeditionary Temple, she would have to be struck down by the crowd of Buddhist experts. Sister, I'm leaving. I just heard that the Buddhist family's 18 bronzes have died at the hands of that great avatar from Ghost Head Mountain. Little Chang must find the great avatar and seek his refuge. When I'm strong enough, I'll avenge my sister's death. Little Ching said softly. After bowing to the Thunder Peak Tower, she was about to leave. However just then, Amit Bob Buddha, Green Snake, long time no see. A voice came from behind him, and Ching's body trembled slightly. 
A murderous intent emerged from Little Green's body, and the surrounding temperature instantly dropped to freezing point. Hiss what kind of crap weather is this? So cold on my day, I just wear a short sleeve ah. This damn weather, we'd better go. The tourists were about to watch the fun when they saw the tattooed monk suddenly appear and still go for the girl in green. However, right at this moment, the temperature suddenly chilled, and one by one, they shivered and left. F.A. hi. Two words, popped out from Xiao Qing's mouth. Looking at Xiao Qing's face again, Frost had already covered it. She had dreamed of killing F.A. Hai, but now, F.A. Hai was right beside her. When Xiao Qing turned around, she was seeing the F.A. Hai she hated, not far behind her. F.A. Hai, I won't let you go even if I become a ghost. Seemingly knowing that she was no match for F.A. Hai, and since there was no hope of escape, Xiao Qing was ready to fight to the death. However, Amit Bob Buddha, F.A. Hai clasped his hands together, his expression bland and joyless. A pair of eyes gazed intently at Green Snake, Green Snake, I'm not going to kill you right now, on the contrary, I have a matter that I need your help with. What matter? Qing looked at F.A. Hai and sneered. Even if F.A. Hai didn't kill her, she definitely wouldn't run away this time either. Since she had run into it, perhaps dying in battle would be a relief for her. I have been in seclusion for hundreds of years and have cultivated into a supreme being, but the demons of the heart still follow me around. F.A. Hai's voice was unhurried, therefore, I need you to try my fixation. After saying that, F.A. Hai steeply pinched a spell with his right hand. Cam. Hula. The red robe that was tied around his waist suddenly floated into the sky. In an instant, the surplus was like eating a bulking agent, rapidly growing larger and eventually covering the sky. This scene immediately caused the tourists who were scattered and fleeing to look dumbfounded. The surplus could actually become so large? What kind of means was this? However, just as they were about to head to the vicinity of the Lafon Pagoda to find out, the surplus floating in the air slowly fell down. It surrounded the Lafon Pagoda, as well as Xiao Chang and even F.A. Hai. Just with this surplus, you want to trap me? Under the shroud of the surplus in the sky, Xiao Qing's delicate melon face was colored with a faint red color. However, at this moment, there was no trace of fear in her eyes. F.A. Hai still had ancient wells in his eyes. Amit Bab Buddha, monks don't lie. As long as you help me cultivate my fixation, help me remove my heart demons, and I will definitely not kill you. F.A. Hai's tone was flat, as if he didn't have half a mind to kill at all. Xiao Chang laughed coldly, he he, how do you want to practice? Although talking, but the demonic Yuan power in her body was constantly catalyzing, always ready to unleash the strongest strike. Charm me. A glint flashed in F.A. Hai's eyes, if I am moved by your skin, I will let you go. After saying that, F.A. Hai sat down on his knees. Green Snake was slightly stunned. Immediately, a wave of disgust flooded his heart. This F.A. Hai, couldn't be closed off and stupid, right? Surprisingly, he wanted himself to charm him? Nor did he ask, if he would agree or not. Oomph, delusional. Xiao Qing snorted coldly, her body's demonic energy bulging out. Since she started cultivating, thousands of years had passed until now. Until now, she was still intact, so how could she charm F.A. Hai? Unlike the original, this is a parallel world. Hiss. Under the agitation of the demonic energy, Xiao Qing's pair of pupils instantly shrunk into a needlepoint shape. The pretty tongue in her mouth steeply turned into a snake's letter and continuously gulped. After hundreds of years of bitter cultivation, I, Xiao Qing, am no vegetarian either. The words just fell. Little green hissed and directly transformed into its original form. The pupils of the snake were filled with icy killing intent. Oomph, don't know the heights of heaven. Seeing that Little Green held a death wish, F.A. Hai snorted coldly. He knew that it was impossible for Xiao Qing to help him get rid of his heart demons. But it didn't matter. There were plenty of beautiful female demons in the world. Since Xiao Qing was unwilling to cooperate, it would be fine to kill and find another one. Originally, remembering my old feelings, I wanted to give you a way out. But you are so stubborn. Since this is the case, then it's not my fault. F.A. Hai snorted coldly. For some reason, the killing thoughts in his heart that had already faded down suddenly became intense again. Facing Xiao Qing's 10 meters long, bucket-thick body, F.A. Hai did not put it in his eyes in the slightest. A soft Buddhist light entwined F.A. Hai, looking full of divine aura. Eventually, these auras coiled behind F.A. Hai's head. It formed a seven-colored Buddha wheel. Previously, the 18 bronze men had also surfaced Buddha wheels, only that they were all faintly golden in color. F.A. Hai's Buddha wheel, not only did the seven-colored precious light converge, even the color was much thicker than the 18 bronze men's. From this alone, F.A. Hai's power was far beyond that of the 18 bronze men. With every step, the ripples underneath his feet would transform into a lotus flower, and the entire person was like a living Buddha in the world, and the intense Buddha light even somewhat made Xiao Qing gasp for breath. And at the same time, F.A. Hai's green dragon full back, also exuded a strong light, 
The entire green dragon tattoo seemed to be alive, wandering around F.A. High's entire back, seemingly ready to break free at any time. Xiao Cheng captured F.A. High's killing chance and laughed coldly. Ha! Hypocritical bald ass. Seeing that things didn't work out, you're finally showing your true colors, aren't you? Today, even if I blow up my demon body, I will definitely not let you succeed. Xiao Qing's voice was cold, his demonic aura surged once again, a faint ferocious beast aura looming. Eh? The aura of a Jiao? F.A. Hai's expression froze. Snakes, carp, and other demons, after cultivating to a certain degree, they could shed their skin or leap over the dragon gate, commonly known as transforming into dragons. Only the dragon they transformed into was not a true dragon. At best, it's just a Jiao. After becoming a Jiao and then cultivate for an unknown number of years, it is possible to formally become a real dragon. At this point in time, Xiao Chang already has a trace of the scaly dragon's breath. I'm afraid that it will only take a hundred years to completely transform into a scaly dragon. However, very quickly, F.A. High's complexion returned to normal. It seems like you've progressed quite a bit over the years. However, even if you do turn into a scaly dragon, it's still useless. F.A. High looked at Xiao Qing blandly. Today, I will use Supreme Buddhist Law to suppress you. F.A. High's voice was loud and clear, like an angry Vajra. He, people of the Buddhist sect, what hypocrisy. Today, I won't rest until I die with you. Xiao Cheng drank coldly and choked her hand with a spell. A few moments later, the scarlet snake letter was like a giant double inserted spear that spewed out directly from Xiao Qing's mouth, stabbing down towards F.A. Hai's heart. Above the entire snake letter, it was wrapped in a thick demonic aura. This demonic aura alone made the people who were blocked out by the robe tremble. What the hell is going on inside? This surplus, why is it so big? Crap, I want to look inside ah, who has scissors? It always feels like something is wrong, we'd better go. It's really weird. I also have a feeling of palpitations. The surrounding tourists pointed at the huge robe, only a few felt that there might be danger next and quietly left. And at this moment, F.A. High looked at the rapidly flying snake letters and smiled disdainfully. Humph! How dare a small carving skill show off! Great mighty heavenly dragon! F.A. High laughed coldly, his expression was solemn, and his hand strangled the spell. As soon as he came up, it was the great mighty heavenly dragon, it was obvious that he had already moved to kill. Aang! A loud and clear dragon roar rang out. In an instant, the dragon's might was overwhelming. Those tourists who had already borrowed scissors and were preparing to cut open the surplus were the ones who bore the brunt of it. As the dragon's might swept through, these few tourists were directly shaken into a cloud of blood missed by the dragon's roar with a bang. My ears. What was that sound just now? My ears hurt. What did you say? I can't hear you. Ah, uh, call an ambulance. My ears are bleeding. The tourists who were farther away, although they weren't directly shaken alive, they were also shaken by the sound of the dragon's roar and their ears and noses bled, going deaf on the spot. Accompanied by the sound of the dragon's roar, the green dragon on F.A. High's back finally came to life completely. It directly broke through F.A. High's fleshly body and continuously circled in the sky. In just an instant, half of the space within the entire surmount space was covered by the green dragon. A further comparison. Little green, who had appeared immense just a moment ago, was like a small snake in front of the green dragon. Sure enough, he has cultivated into a world-honored one. Little Green's heart tightened. The terrifying dragon's might made it somewhat difficult for her to breathe, and even the snake's body couldn't help but tremble. It seems that I'm destined to die here today. Just as well. Xiao Qing's icy snake pupil flashed with a touch of ruefulness as she quietly stepped aside. Behind her was the Thunder Peak Tower. Even in the last moments of her life, Xiao Cheng did not want the aftermath of the great mighty heavenly dragon to injure her sister under the Thunder Peak Pagoda. However, just as F.A. Hai was about to strike Little Chang down, rumble, the earth, suddenly, looked like an earthquake had occurred. The Thunder Peak Pagoda shook non-stop. Sister, Xiao Chang was delighted in her heart and looked towards the Thunder Peak Tower. She could feel that White Snake's aura was getting stronger and stronger, and it seemed like it was about to burst through the Thunder Peak Pagoda. At the same time, F.A. Hai frowned slightly. He vaguely felt. The demonic aura in the Leifong Pagoda had suddenly become thicker. This demonic aura was more than familiar to F.A. Hai. To think that it could shake the Thunder Peak Pagoda? It seems that after all these years, White Snake has gained a few tricks up his sleeve. A sharp aura flashed in F.A. Hai's eyes. Obviously. Just now, Green Snake was in critical condition. The White Snake suppressed under the Thunder Peak Pagoda couldn't sit still and was ready to break through the seal and come out to rescue Green Snake. Oomph. At that time, I didn't have enough magical power and could only seal you. Now it's just right to let you sisters, just right to taste my means. Saying this, a flash of hatred flashed through F.A. High's originally sacred eyes. Green Snake hadn't let go of the knot in her heart. How had he, F.A. High, let go of it? In F.A. High's opinion, it was then that he mistakenly saw White Snake give birth. 
This is what caused himself to plant the seeds of the heart demon. Although this matter is debatable, but in F.A. High's opinion, it was definitely because of this matter that his Buddha Dharma monk phase could not move forward any further. The great green dragon was still hovering in the sky. It seemed to have sensed the aura in the Leifong Pagoda as well, and the dragon's roar continued. And at this moment, rumble, with a loud bang, the entire Thunder Peak Pagoda directly collapsed into pieces. A demonic aura then rose to the sky. After the dust cleared, a clear and beautiful silhouette had stood in the air. A white silk satin, beautiful face, bright eyes, skin as white as grease, slippery like crisp. Hundreds of years ago, White Sujin was imprisoned under the Thunder Peak Tower. Until she broke out of the tower, she still maintained the ancient dress of hundreds of years ago. Although the gaze is cold, but the body is permeated with a breath of unearthly flavor. Exquisite features, a near-perfect figure. Coupled with a pair of straight and delicate legs, I'm afraid that any man would be breathless and unable to stop looking at her. If she didn't have a demonic aura hovering around her. Just based on this aura and appearance, she would be considered a nine heavenly shin maiden of unparalleled beauty. By Sujin, you finally came out. F.A. High sneered. Just in time, new grudges and old grudges were counted together. On the other hand, Xiao Chang, who was on the side, suddenly transformed into a human body. A pair of beautiful eyes stared at by Sujin without blinking, thump, 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 retreating several steps. After a long time. Sister, is it really you? Xiao Qing's voice carried seven parts surprise and three parts incredulity. The seal of this Thunder Peak Tower was absolutely unbreakable with her ability. However, she didn't expect that when her life was at stake, her sister would break the seal easily? In that case, it seemed that over these hundreds of years, sister's speed of progress was definitely beyond her own imagination. Bai Sujin looked around blankly. Only after a long time did she speak softly. A few hundred years have passed, and the world has turned into this. Afterwards, Bai Sujin looked at Xiao Cheng again, the gloomy color in her eyes fading away, replaced by some gentleness. Sister, long time no see. Bai Sujin's red lips moved slightly as she lightly said. Hearing this familiar voice, Xiao Qing's body shuddered fiercely. A parting of hundreds of years. The onlookers simply didn't know how Xiao Qing had come over. Not only did she have to be careful of the Buddhist sex pursuit at all times, but she also had to bear in mind the great revenge and cultivate diligently. The bitterness of it, can't be said in a few words. Now hearing these two familiar words, Xiao Qing could no longer control her emotions and tears came out of her eyes. Sister. Xiao Chang let out a sad cry and flew to Bai Sujin's side. The two women, embraced each other tightly. After a moment. Bai Sujin cupped Xiao Qing's face, hundreds of years have passed since I've seen you, you've become steadier. Xiao Cheng nodded repeatedly, sobbing uncontrollably. Xiao Qing, don't cry first. Bai Sujin patted Xiao Qing's shoulder, then looked at F.A. Hai, it's time to make an end to the grudge from hundreds of years ago. Finished speaking. The demonic aura around her body rose up to the heavens. Rumble. The entire water of the West Lake, all surged uneasily under the ravages of this demonic aura. A mere lake, surprisingly, within a short period of time, it condensed several feet high waves. Sister must not. Seeing this scene, Xiao Qing hurriedly stopped it. The world today is different from before, the Special Energy Bureau has rules that fights between cultivators should never threaten the safety of ordinary people, otherwise even if we win against F.A. High, I'm afraid that it won't take long for us to be hunted down and killed. Thinking about the might and terror of the Special Energy Bureau. Xiao Qing spoke with a slight fear on her face. Nowadays, the Special Energy Bureau was only able to have a good face towards the major sects and Rin Feng. The energy it contained was definitely unimaginable to ordinary demons. Even if it was the long famous green and white snakes, the Special Energy Bureau wanted to exterminate them, it was only a matter of moving their fingers. Seeing the anxious color in Xiao Qing's eyes. Special Energy Bureau? It seems that the world has changed a lot in the hundreds of years that I was sealed. By Sujin's raised hand gave a slight lurch. In the middle of the West Lake, the huge waves that had condensed suddenly collapsed as if they had lost their support. Little Green, be more careful. Bai Sujin frowned. Although her talent was much better than Xiao Qing's, after hundreds of years of cultivation, she wasn't sure against F.A. Hai. If she didn't resort to the power of heaven and earth, she was afraid that the chance of winning would be slim. But once the power of heaven and earth was utilized, it would be a killing move that would destroy the heavens and the earth. If it wasn't an emergency, Bai Sujin wouldn't be willing to use this method. Sister, there is a mountain to the north from here, named Ghost Head Mountain. On Ghost Head Mountain, there is a great avatar named Rin Fong. I heard that that great avatar has a deep grudge against the Buddhist sect. The two of us sisters will join forces and trap F.A. High for a few moments, get out of the trap first to find the great elder, and then we will make a decision. Xiao Qing's beautiful eyes were filled with different colors. The information she possessed was much more than Bai Sujin. Great avatar? Good. Bai Sujin nodded gently. Currently, the two sisters had just gotten out of the trap, 
and even if they were able to defeat F.A. High, with Buddhism's degree of thick and darkness, it was feared that it wouldn't be long before they would still be hunted down and killed by other Buddhist great powers. As the saying goes, the enemy of the enemy is a friend. It would be better to trap F.A. High and go to Ghost Head Mountain first. The rest of the things would be decided afterward. Sister, do you have any ideas? Now that F.A. High has cultivated into a world-honored one, it's hard to trap him. Xiao Qing's beautiful eyes carried a slight look of sadness. He actually cultivated into a world-honored one? Bai Sujin was slightly stunned, but a moment later, she reacted, Don't worry little Chang, I have a way. Saying this, confidence flashed across Bai Sujin's soft face. He, F.A. High, thinks that his heart demon is the color ring. But I know what his heart demon really is. Thinking of all the things that had happened before, the soft and charming color on Bai Sujin's face suddenly went away. In an instant, a green and a white python circled in the air. Even if F.A. High had cultivated into a world-honored one, it would be a fool's errand to try to easily cut them down. However it was at this time, outside the robe, an old Taoist was passing by. Looking at the surplus that covered the sky, his expression was horrified. Another handiwork of the Buddhist sect. Su Hang, Thunder Peak Pagoda, surplus, could it be? F.A. High. Thinking of this, the old Taoist's face changed. Sundance character, listen to the wind chant. Immediately, the conversation between Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin was transmitted to the old Taoist. They're going to find Rin Feng? Could it be that they are familiar with Rin Feng? In that case, old Tao must help the scene. Otherwise, if I see Rin Feng again in the future, I'll really die of shame. At this moment, within the surplus heaven and earth, the two major snake demons were hovering in the air, confronting F.A. High's heavenly dragon. Little Green, trying to trap F.A. High. We must find a way to break open this surplus heaven and earth. Bai Sujin felt the crowd of onlookers outside, although the previous part had been deafened by the sound of the dragon's roar, but now there were quite a few newcomers. Xiao Qing secretly nodded her head and began to look for a break in the surrounding heaven and earth. With Bai Sujin joining her, Xiao Qing instantly felt the pressure on her, reduced by a lot. F.A. Hai looked at White Snake who had carried most of the pressure. Oomph, bold demon. I didn't suppress you hundreds of years ago, and today you're here to cause trouble again. I didn't realize that hundreds of years have passed and you still have a demonic aura about you, with no remorse at all. Today, I will definitely suppress you. F.A. Hai's mouth was righteous, like an angry Vajra. Hypocritical. Do you really think that your heart demon is just a precept of skin? Bai Sujin let out a cold laugh, and then she whirled around and swallowed her snake's letter, taking the lead. The tourists outside, because of the surplus heaven and earth's cover, couldn't see the faces inside at all. But it was human nature to like to spectate. They still gathered there, pointing in two tang. It was at this time. Great mighty heavenly dragon, world honored earth store, Prajna Buddhas, Prajna Bamakon. F.A. High's mouth moved slightly, and his hand strangled the Dharma decree. Vast Buddha light emerged from around his body, converging into a golden stream that flowed towards the sky dragon in the air. After receiving the golden stream, the green dragon that was already vaguely suppressing the two snakes, its aura was even more dabbling for several knots. Flying dragon in the sky. Go! F.A. High pointed in the air. Aang. A vast dragon's roar resounded, and the murderous aura in the eyes of the heavenly dragon surged. The aura around him even made the entire surmounting heaven and earth tremble. Little Chang, it's now. Bai Sujin shouted sternly and pushed Xiao Qing away. She intended to harden herself against the might of the heavenly dragon, and Xiao Qing also took advantage of the moment when the surplus heaven and earth trembled, and the snake letter in her mouth transformed into a divine weapon once again. Her purpose was to use her strongest strike to break up the surplus heaven and earth, which was already not too stable. The moment she struck the surplus, the entire surplus heaven and earth shook violently. Zira. With a crunching sound, the surplus heaven and earth was torn open. Sister, I did it. Xiao Qing shouted excitedly. And at that moment, Bai Sujin's main body, too, collided with the heavenly dragon. At that moment, heaven and earth changed color, and an aftermath blossomed in all directions like waves in water. It was a good thing that their battle was at a high altitude. Otherwise, the aftermath of this strike alone would have been enough to shake the civilians within a 10 mile radius alive. Sister, I'll come to your aid. Xiao Qing shouted, rushing to join the fray. And the moment the surplus ruptured, the entire surplus heaven and earth instantly collapsed. The surplus that enveloped the three of them instantly turned into its normal size. And at that moment, the tourists outside, too, got a good look at the scene inside. Seeing this magnificent scene in front of them, the tourists were dumbfounded in unison. Tattooed monk, green snake, white snake? Wasn't this the mural on the wall of the Leifong Pagoda tourist area? No wonder it looked so familiar. Although the myths and legends of this world were severely lacking. But this is Suzhou and Hongzhou. And it's still a tourist area. There were still some records about the great battle back then. 
Tourists saw this scene, in association with the relevant murals in the Lafon Pagoda scenic area. Isn't this the legend of the white lady that the tour guide talks about every time? Crap, so myths and legends actually exist. What's wrong with that? Have you forgotten the official document from some time ago? And how did we all get here these past few nights? Don't you have any idea in your heart? But who can associate these together? The tourists were talking at cross purposes. However, including F.A. High. All of them failed to notice the hint of a scheming smile flashing across by Sujin's face. Seeing some of the tourists lift up a sort of four-square object and point it at the sisters and F.A. High. By Sujin laughed coldly. F.A. High, your heart demon, is it really just the appearance of skin color? Since my sisters cultivated into human beings, they have saved people and helped the world, and they haven't done any half-assed evil at all. But back then, you had to suppress us, causing the water to fill the mountains and the people to suffer. To brew this great calamity for the rise of the Buddhist sect, its fundamental purpose was just to confuse the world. By Sujin's tone grew heavier and heavier, until finally she even roared out directly. Boom! F.A. Hai felt his brain roar and retreated several steps. Even the green dragon soaring in the sky was suddenly much dimmer. It was evident how sharp by Sujin's words were just now. No, it's impossible. I, F.A. Hai, am dedicated to serving the Buddha, getting rid of demons only to save the world, and I am by no means as bad as you say. Bold demon, how dare you believe what you say? F.A. Hai's body trembled slightly, and the Buddhist light in his eyes disappeared. In its place were streaks of blood. The Buddha chi around his body was also no longer stable, and a hidden demonic chi slowly seeped out. Seeing this scene, Bai Sujin's heart was instantly stabilized. Get rid of demons and save the world? Joke. My sisters have never harmed a single person, so how can I say that I have scourged the world? Back then, when I was suppressed in full view of everyone, it was just a play put on by the Buddhist sect in order to increase the number of believers. And you, F.A. High? In the eyes of the Buddha, your service is worthless. To put it bluntly, you are a pawn of the Buddhist sect. This is your true heart demon. By Sujin's words grew sharper and sharper, and in the end, she even vaguely used her mana, her voice directly stirring out in all directions, the sound waves stretching for a hundred miles without stopping. No, it's not like that. F.A. High retreated several steps in a row his eyes already filled with panic. At this moment, in his mind, it seemed like there was a 10,000-ton hammer that was constantly bombarding. What Bai Sujin said was not wrong at all. Regarding this point, he had already guessed it a long time ago. It was only because of his perennial faith in the Buddha that made him not dare to think about it much. Now that Bai Sujin had said this, the doubts in his heart could no longer be suppressed. No! F.A. High roared. The green dragon in the sky suddenly began to become violent and unexpectedly attacked the surrounding people. Not good, F.A. High is going crazy. By Sujin's face changed. These ordinary people should still be saved. However, it was at this time. Xian Koen can legion Burgundy Sun Tue, the four discs in harmony. Buzz. The earth suddenly trembled. Boom Ka. With a few explosions, the power of the five elements gushed out from the ground. Eventually, an earth dragon blocked the path of the green dragon. The power of the five elements followed suit, covering F.A. High and the heavenly dragon in place. Cohen character, Earth River Chariot. Jin character, Barricade. Jin character, Eight Directions Thunderbolt. Sun character, Xiang Tan Merit. The old Taoist continuously pinched his spells and came up with the Qi Men killing moves. It was only after several consecutive Qi Men techniques were released that the old Taoist slowly let out a sigh of relief. Many thanks to the Taoist for his help. Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin had already transformed into their human forms by now and slowly saluted the old Taoist. However, as soon as the old Taoist opened his mouth, it didn't make Xiao Chang and by Sujin's eyes fall out. Old man Juga super super super. Super fan. You guys may, may, may know Ren. Run foam? The old Taoist opened his mouth and spat out a few words with difficulty. Xiao Chang and by Sujin's pretty faces twitched in unison. Juga fried rice? What the hell? This Taoist master, was he even a stutterer? But just now, when he recited the spell, the speed of speech was a batch of six. How come once he spoke, he changed to stammering? Being stared at by the two women as if they were looking at a fool, the old Taoist's old face flushed and pulled out a pill from his canvas bag and ate it. Do you guys recognize Rin Fong? Once the pill was taken, the old Taoist's speech became much more normal. Xiao Cheng shook her head, don't really know, but was about to defect. Don't know ah. A flash of disappointment flashed in the old Tao's eyes, I was thinking of returning that favor, but as a result. Hey. Just. He, precisely, was the head of the Zhuge Wuho family. Juga Wuho's descendant, Juga Chao Fan. Juga family, the most skilled, is this strange art. A few hours ago, he also went with the old Tianxer and the others to find Rin Feng to ask for a claim. Later, after being clarified by the Special Energy Bureau, a big mess was made, Juga Chao Fan, in order to avoid facing the embarrassment of Rin Feng, 
the bottom of his feet directly run away, but although embarrassed, but he also knew that he was afraid that not only himself, but the entire Dao sect owed Rinfong a favor. When he heard Green Snake mention Rinfong, he thought that the two were acquainted with each other, and that's why he stepped in to help. It was at this moment. Boom click click. In the middle of the Qi sect, it suddenly trembled. Not good, run. Old Mi's Qi Men technique can't trap this F.A. high for long. Zhuge Chaofan said to the two snake demons. Bai Sujin looked at the surrounding uninformed Gua Gua crowd, and a look of difficulty flashed across her face. But what about them? F.A. High is out of his trap, and once the demonic him strikes, I'm afraid that the entire Su Hang city will be reduced to rubble. Bai Sujin said worriedly. Don't worry about this. Zhuge Chaofan pulled out an old man's cell phone from his pocket. I've already notified the Special Energy Bureau just now, and someone will soon come to help. Notify? Bai Sujin's brain was a bit confused when she saw the slate in his hand. What do you know? This is called Taoist modernization. Zhuge Chaofan's eyes glared. Why don't you go now? Sister, let's go. Xiao Qing also rushed to urge, the Special Energy Bureau's ability, you just broke through the seal, a lot of things are still unknown, don't worry the Special Energy Bureau will take care of everything. Bai Sujin sniffed and could only nod. They had just left not long ago. A group of men in Zhongshan suits rushed over. Evacuate the crowd, quick. There are quite a few deaf and injured people here, quickly let the medical team come to the rescue. Taoist master, please help us. As soon as the Special Energy Bureau arrived, they dispersed the uninformed eaters with lightning speed. However, at this time, there were already quite a few tourists who had recorded the unprecedented battle just now. Bai Sujin's words were also clearly recorded in the video audio track. Back then, the water had filled San Francisco, and the people had been devastated. Behind all of this, it wasn't catching demons to save the world at all. Instead, it was a Buddhist conspiracy? Could it be that the people who died back then, as well as the two green and white snakes, and even if a high, were all pawns sacrificed by the Buddhist sect in order to build up their image? This news, once it gets out, it would undoubtedly be a huge shock to the entire ascending dragon empire. At this time, Ghost Head Mountain, Renfang's residence. This beetle, it can actually absorb power? Renfang tried to release a dash of golden dragon chi in his hand, but as a result, in less than a moment, it was absorbed again by the holy beetle that had already transformed into a corpse insect. It seems that its value is definitely not as simple as the holy sea thinks. Run Fong secretly thought in his heart. Soon, the golden dragon's chi was completely absorbed by the beetle. The moment it finished absorbing the golden dragon's chi, on the back of the beetle that had previously sucked in the corpse chi and was pitch black all around, inscriptions suddenly appeared. In less than a moment, a translucent golden dragon pattern appeared on the beetle's back. However, the beetle crawled around as if it hadn't had enough to eat. After a moment, it seemed to have thought of something sheath wings spread and wobbled as it flew out. Hey, interesting. Let's see what you really want to do. Ren Fong let out a light laugh and did not stop it. Although the beetle's ability was special, now the two had established a trace of connection. Nowadays, the beetle had completely believed in Ren Fong. After contributing a full 2000 faith value to Ren Fong, his faith value accumulation had now reached over 23,000 points. It only needed to accumulate another 2,000 points before it could exchange for the secret methods of the Faith Mall. Not long after, the beetle then wobbled and flew back. On its eight pairs of feet, there were several strings of Buddha beads hanging. It was thought that they should have been scavenged from the corpses of the 18 bronze men. The beetle was too small. It took several full trips back and forth to pick up almost everything. On the tabletop, a Bible and a chalice. Both were holy vessels used by Cardinal Johnny. On top of that, there were 18 strings of Buddha beads lying around. The artifacts of the two major sects, although they both vaguely carried a sacred aura. However, they were mutually exclusive, and even if they were forcefully placed together, they would eventually form a repulsive force and disperse. Heh, a bunch of moralistic guys. Even the magic weapons are made so hypocritical. Ren Fong lightly laughed and shook his head. At this moment, he was even more curious about what the beetle would do next. Immediately afterward, the beetle wobbled and ran to the side of the spell and opened its mouthpiece. ka -ching. There was a crunching sound. The hard chalice was actually not out a hole in it. What hard teeth? Ran Fong watched with interest. In a short while, the holy beetle swallowed the Bible and the holy grail, which were several times bigger than itself, all clean. After about 10 more minutes, the 18 strings of Buddha beads were also all devoured. Not only did it have good teeth, it also had a good appetite. However, next. Even Ren Fong, who had always been unperturbed by events, showed some shock in his eyes. The palm-sized beetle stood up, and its two forelegs kept waving in front of its body. A burst of breath surged out from within the tiny body, converging between the two forelegs. This breath is a bit ponderous. Ren Fong frowned. At this moment, he was even more determined in his heart. 
the Holy See was definitely blind, letting the pearl go unnoticed. This Saint Beetle's true hiding ability was definitely not comparable to those so-called holy weapons. The Holy See really sent me a good thing. A derisive smile flashed across the corners of Ren Feng's mouth. It seems that this Saint Beetle's true essence is definitely not an ordinary insect. It was a pity that the Holy See would use such a foreign beast as a common holy weapon? Heh, what an eye without a pearl. Thinking of this, Ren Feng smiled faintly. Although he didn't know why, there wasn't any literature in the world that had records about the holy beetle. But Ren Feng believed. If there were any records, even among the Atlas of Exotic Beasts, the classic of mountains and seas, it could definitely be considered superior. As a result, the Holy See simply did not recognize the treasure. It was cheap for Ren Feng for nothing. After about less than an hour, between the beetle's two forelegs, a pill-like thing had formed. The entire pill looked like it was the size of a ping-pong ball, although it looked black. Inside, however, it was filled with various mixed scents. Holy, soft, cold, and majestic. These breaths corresponded to none other than the church, the Buddhists, the zombies, and the golden dragon's chi. It's actually able to convert all of the breaths it absorbed? Run Fong was slightly stunned in his heart. Let's not talk about the other breaths first. The golden dragon's chi alone, which the beetle had produced, was more than ten times more than what Rin Fong had infused into it. And at that moment, the beetle had already put down the pill, and it looked like it had completely condensed. Afterwards, the beetle strained to push the pill and crawled with difficulty. Clumsy appearance, looks like a push old eight happy pill of the shithead. And his destination was the blood lotus not far away. Could it be that it wants to help the blood lotus transform? Rin Fong was slightly stunned in his heart. Immediately, he hurriedly caught the beetle and put it aside. Although Rin Fong had vaguely guessed the beetle's purpose in his heart, he was still afraid of making a mistake. In case the beetle went over and nibbled the blood lotus in a couple of clicks, that would be a big loss. According to what Su Shan Yun said, there was a record in the Fox Clan's canonical books that this blood lotus was used to repair the heaven and earth forbidden system. In case it was eaten by the beetles, it would be completely ruined. Squeak squeak. After being pushed aside, the beetle raised its forelegs and squeaked strangely. But due to Rin Feng's majesty, it was only impotently furious. You mean, you want me to give the pill to that blood lotus? Ren Feng raised the pill in his hand and tried. Seeing the pill getting closer and closer towards the blood lotus, the beetle instantly quieted down. Only then did Ren Feng realize. It seemed that the beetle really just wanted the blood lotus to take shape. Since that's the case, let it be as you wish. Ren Feng let out a light laugh and flicked the medicinal pill with his fingers. The pill drew a beautiful arc in the air and landed impartially on the blood lotus's flower. The center of the stamen. In an instant, the blood lotus looked like it sensed the nutrients in the petals and greedily sucked it up. It was really craving for energy right now. After absorbing the two mortals before, it had absorbed the 18 bronze men. It was on the verge of transforming into a form. It just so happened that a few more blondes died, and just as it was about to go and absorb them, it realized that these crooked people were like they were back from the dead again and stood up to leave. It didn't let the blood lotus die of anger. Through contact, it felt the strong aura of Rin Feng's body, so it could only endure it first, waiting for the transformation before getting out of the trap. At this moment on its own flower, pure energy was faintly coming from it. This energy was enough if it was merely transforming into a form. The blood lotus rapidly absorbed the energy within the pill, and its petals became brighter and brighter red. Wow! New roots stretched out from underneath the petals and converged into two, looking like human legs. Skin like fat quickly condensed on the root system. Eventually, the entire blood lotus turned into a delicate little lowly. Carrying a delicate flower hoe in her hand, she also held a miniature blood lotus on top of her head. Her body was naked. The private parts, however, were all covered by red petals. The delicate lowly looked at the flower hoe in her hand and looked around blankly. It seemed like she had already transformed herself. However, just at this moment, she saw Ren Feng who was smiling on the side, and a flash of crisis suddenly flashed through her heart. This person, is dangerous. From her aura, she felt that she was afraid that she wouldn't be able to walk a single round under this man. Now there was only a way to get out first, and then make another plan. Thinking of this, the flower hoe in little Lori's hand was raised high. Rambling flower rain. Boom. In an instant, flower petals shot out in all directions. The rich fragrance of flowers instantly filled the entire wooden house. However, the flower petals flying in the sky also blocked Rin Feng's vision. Escape! Little Lori didn't dare to think too much and instantly turned into a stream of light, shooting towards the door. Mao Kai, who had just taken root, was cultivating. Before he could react, the stream of light grazed his tree trunk and flew past. Eh? Did a big pink rat just scurry past? Mao Kai scratched his tree trunk with a puzzled expression. However, before he could react, Rin Feng's figure also turned into a black aura and passed by him. It was a good thing that he had already taken root. 
Otherwise the sonic boom caused by the superfast speed would have been enough to topple him directly. More than 10 minutes passed. Huff, puff. Lori stopped in midair, saw that Ghost Head Mountain had disappeared from sight, and gasped for air. I can finally get rid of that guy. I just transformed into a form, and the power in my body is already depleted. It seems like I have to find a place to recover my strength first. The little lowly surveyed the surrounding mountains, her fluttering big eyes filled with a bewildered look. Originally, she didn't have much strength when she had just transformed into her form. Adding to that, she had just used a secret method and fled in a hurry. At this time, the energy in her body had been completely depleted, and if she didn't hurry to find a place to put down roots and recover, I'm afraid that even flying would become a problem. However it was at this time. Scurrying so fast, where are you going? A voice that seemed to be laughing came from behind her. The little lowly was instantly shaken and looked behind her in shock. Behind her, naturally, was Rinfong, who she feared in her heart. The little lowly was scared out of her wits and was about to flee. Suddenly, a large hand tightly grabbed her scallion white arm. Still want to escape? Rinfong let out a light laugh and firmly grasped the little lowly in his hand. This little girl, her original body was a blood lotus. It possessed the ability to repair the heaven and earth's forbidden restrictions. Before figuring out her ability, how could Rinfong easily let her go? Let go of me. The little lowly struggled desperately, trying to break free from Rinfeng's restraints. Rinfeng frowned slightly. Snap. There was a crunching sound. Little Lori's shouts came to an abrupt end. Feeling the fiery pain behind her, her nose soured and tears flowed indisputably from the corners of her eyes. You actually hit. Go back. Without waiting for her to finish, Rinfeng indifferently said. Oh. The little lowly was instantly startled and behaved like a little sheep. After about a few minutes. The blood lotus little lowly finally returned to Rinfeng's mansion unwillingly. The ass that was wrapped in petals. The buttocks that were wrapped in flower petals had already swollen to a great height. She grimaced as she rubbed her butt. Her buttocks. While staring viciously at the surrounding group of onlookers. In her heart, what she hated the most. It was still Rinfeng. Just now, Rinfeng had caught up with her and slapped her when he saw that she didn't listen. This body of mine is delicate. That guy doesn't show any mercy at all. Thinking of herself being held down just now, pouting her buttocks, it was a fat beating, the little lowly had tears in her eyes. At this moment, she was on the verge of hating Rinfeng. Hoomph, this girl doesn't have any power at all right now. As long as she is patient and recovers to her full strength, even if she can't fight, she can definitely run away. Thinking of this, a smile of triumphant intrigue spread in the little lowly's heart. However, carefully recalling the beating she received just now, her heart somehow had a very strange feeling although it was said to be hot and painful. But when she thought about it carefully, it seemed like there was a little bit of small comfort. Rinfeng spoke indifferently, what is your name? The little lowly coldly grunted, I just transformed into a form, how could I have a name? In that case, Rinfeng thought about it and said, from now on, you will be called Little Red. Her protective petals, as well as the blood lotus on her head, were all red. It would simply be better to just use the color for the name. The crowd of array generals. Little Red. After a moment. The master's level of naming is really too high. The Makai branches condensed and gave a thumbs up. Little Red is good, small family, big red, this name is good. The tiger demon on the side also scratched his head and grinned. As for the other array generals, they all looked like they couldn't help themselves. This name was simply like village flower, not at all forced. However, in order to curry favor with Rin Fong, they could only slap the horse's ass with a clear conscience. Xiao Hong didn't tea say anything on the surface, but in her heart she cursed good fart. One by one, two by two, they are all ass kissers. Thinking of this, Xiao Hong glared at Mao Kai and the tiger demon, and secretly wrote this hatred down in her heart. But although his heart was dissatisfied, but Little Red did not refuse. The main reason, was because she was afraid that Ren Feng would beat her up. Little Red, what ability do you have? Ren Feng then asked. Little Red grunted and said with extreme reluctance, I can use Red Lotus Karma Flame to attack, and I can cultivate the world's spiritual medicines, and I can also utilize photosynthesis to quickly recover from my injuries. Hearing Little Red's reply, Ren Feng was frowning. Although these skills, they were all very good, but the restoration of Forbidden Systems skill that he was looking forward to was not there at all. Thinking of this, Ren Feng suspiciously glanced at Su Shallow Yun. After seeing Su Shen Yun's certainty in her eyes, Ren Feng pondered for a moment and suddenly spoke. Don't you know how to repair the forbidden system? After saying these words, Ren Feng stared straight at Xiao Hong. Ah, the forbidden system. The sudden question, coupled with Ren Feng's eyes, caused Little Red to stiffen her expression. What forbidden system? I haven't even heard of it. How could I fix any forbidden system? Little Red slightly dodged a glance at Ren Feng and beeped in a small voice. 
Hearing Little Red's reply, the corners of Rin Fang's and the array general's mouths flashed with a faintly undetectable smile. How could they not see that Little Red was lying just now? This girl had just transformed into a form and was not yet deeply involved in the world. Wanting to hide it from them? It was as hard as heaven. The reason why she was hiding it was because she was currently on guard against them and was not willing to reveal it. However, Run Feng did not intend to force her. Right now, the Blood Lotus's ability was still unclear, so he couldn't let her go. However, Rin Feng also knew that since this Blood Lotus was an exotic treasure capable of repairing the Heaven and Earth Forbidden system, it must have special abilities. If she was allowed to hold a grudge, it would not be beneficial to anyone. In the future, you will stay here. It's estimated that it won't take long for news about you to spread throughout the great sex. If you were to leave at this time, I wouldn't be able to protect you in case you encountered any danger. Ren Feng said blandly. Little Red's expression twitched when she heard this. Although she had just come out of the world, she didn't know what a clan was. But she herself was transformed by a foreign treasure, and her perception of the outside world was naturally far better than other cultivators. Ever since she came out of the world, she felt. A faint sense of crisis always coiled in her heart, lingering for a long time. It seems that this bad guy was right. Since entering the wooden house, the sense of crisis in my heart has dropped a lot. As long as I don't reveal the secrets in my heart to the outside world, I believe there shouldn't be any danger to my life. Little Red's mind raced in her heart. As Rin Feng thought, her heart was hiding a lot of secrets. Little Red also understood at this time that if Rin Feng would not harm her, staying here was the best option at the moment. Okay, I can stay. But I need to find a place to put down roots and cultivate. Transforming before used up almost all of my energy, if I don't draw any more energy, I'm afraid I'll wither away in no time. Little Red rolled her eyes and said in a brittle voice. This is naturally possible. Ren Feng nodded indifferently, as long as it's within the seven star god refining formation, you can take root anywhere. After receiving Ren Feng's affirmation, Little Red began to look around. Upon seeing Mao Kai's elm head, Little Red's big eyes lit up, and a mysterious smile spread out from the corner of her mouth. Under Little Red's sinister gaze, Makai instantly had his tree torso shaken and his chrysanthemums. Flower tightened. A faint crisis bubbled up from his heart. What is this little girl going to do? It can't be because I flattered her and said her name was nice and she holds a grudge. Maokai was stared at with prickly scratches and thorns all over his body. The name Little Red, when Rin Fong had just brought it up, Maokai hung back and didn't laugh out loud. It had to be said. This name is really low enough. But the laughter just reached his mouth and was held back by Maokai. Fear of Rin Fong angry, so also can only conscience, open eyes say blind. But never expected. The effect of this ass kissing was not good but instead was hated by Xiao Hong. Born from the same root, they are too anxious for each other. Mao Kai couldn't help but exclaim in his heart. Sure enough, reality was as cruel as Mao Kai thought. Little Red reached out to Mao Kai's elm head, I've decided, I'm going to put roots on his head. The crowd of formation generals. Mao Kai. Sure enough, it's a big mess. Thinking of this, Mao Kai looked at Ren Feng with a resigned, begging gaze. At this moment, how he wished that Ren Feng would reject Xiao Hong's unreasonable request. The reality, however, made Mao Kai's entire being bad. Run Feng raised his eyelids and said indifferently, if there is no danger, yes. As soon as Mao Kai heard this, he hung back and didn't cry out. The last hope was instantly dashed. Five minutes later. My one life's honor. Mao Kai's miserable cries traveled a long way from Ghost Head Mountain. It was a miserable cry. At this moment, Mao Kai was holding his elm head to hide it. It looked like an aggrieved little daughter-in-law. Ha, Lao San. The tiger demon laughed not to mention, this look is quite chic. The other formation generals nodded with a look of approval as they heard this. Alas, Mao Kai sighed quietly. Now that Little Red had successfully taken root, it happened to be rooted on that elm head of his. I'm the number one warrior under master. If the others see this, they will laugh at me. A lifetime of fame will be ruined. Mao Kai raised his hand, and a water screen condensed in front of him. Seeing his own appearance in the water screen, Mao Kai's mouth was even more drawn and he didn't cry out. At this moment, on his elm head, is inserted a brightly colored blood lotus flower. It looked like a lady of the house. But then again, he was Rin Feng's number one general, the famous tree spirit Mao Kai. It was just that the previous aura of might was not there. Instead, because of the small red flower on his head, there was also a hint of girlishness. Mao Kai's heart was as stifled as it could be. However, the tiger demon didn't have an ounce of sympathy. I think that when the next time the Buddhist sect and the Holy See come, we won't have to fight at all the tiger demon said with a smirk. Hearing tiger demon's words, the crowd froze slightly. However, in the next second, the tiger demon hemmed and hawed, I reckon that the experts of the two sects, when they see our Damaokai's village girl look, they will probably die of laughter on the spot, so what's the point of fighting? 
The crowd of formation generals froze in unison at his words, then they glanced at the small red flower on Maokai's head and burst into laughter. You guys don't make any noise, I'm going to cultivate. Little Red's petals kept opening and closing. In the rooted state, Little Red did not take human form. However, because of the ability to take on a human form, at this time, even in her original form, she had the ability to speak. Maokai sat on the side with his head hanging down, as if he hadn't heard Little Red's words. Little Red also did not say any more and quietly began to cultivate. However just at this moment. Crap, this sweeper. Maokai's face suddenly changed wildly and he suddenly stood up. In a critical situation, he instinctively raised his hand, preparing to harden and pull off the Little Red on his head. But thinking that this was Rin Feng's order, Maokai's hand suddenly gave a start. At this moment, he felt. Ever since he started cultivating from Little Red, the energy in his body had unexpectedly started to drain at an extremely fast speed. Damn it! If this continues, I'll soon be sucked alive. Maokai's heart was suddenly in a great hurry. The absorption ability of the Blood Lotus was simply too terrifying. The rhizome was stuck on his head again. Maokai estimated in his heart that he was afraid that it wouldn't take more than an hour for him to dry up alive and die. No, I have to think of a way. Maokai's mind raced. At this moment, his intestines were almost green with remorse. If there was really no way out, Maokai could only go and beg Rin Foam. Thinking that not only was his domineering aura completely gone, but the energy in his body was rapidly depleting, Maokai secretly swore in his heart. No, I have to go beg my master to pull Little Red off my head. Thinking of this, Maokai's elm brain hurriedly scurried back into the wooden house. Master, please let her leave my head. With a sobbing voice, Maokai cried out to Ren Fong. Ren Fong slightly raised his eyelids, What? You dare to disobey your master's order? Maokai doesn't dare. Master, please. Feeling the accelerated loss of energy in his body, Maokai spoke sharply, If you don't give the order, Maokai will die. Ren Fong sniffed and a faint smile appeared at the corner of his mouth. Did you really decide to remove Little Red and won't regret it? Mao Kai nodded repeatedly. I, Mao Kai. Even if I'm killed by my master and made into firewood by my master, I definitely won't not regret it. The series of blows made Mao Kai nearly lose his mind. However it was at this moment. Wood. Little Red's petals opened and closed once again, you hurry up and find a place to absorb aura. Mao Kai froze slightly at his words. Ren Fong waved his hand impatiently, I'm busy right now, go ahead and follow Little Red's method. While speaking, Run Foam caught the sacred beetle onto the table. It was then that Maokai came back to his senses with Little Red's reminder. In the middle of the formation, the aura was more than ten times thicker than the outside world. If he absorbed the aura, he should be able to slow down the speed at which he was devoured. Master, then Makai will leave first. When you are done with the matter at hand, Maokai will come back to you. Maokai hurriedly gave a respectful salute and turned his head out the door. Hitomi, run the formation. Just as soon as he went out the door, Maokai turned back and drank sharply, then hurriedly rooted himself into cultivation mode. Soon, the formation opened. Who? The surrounding heaven and earth aura immediately surged in like a tidal wave. At this time, Maokai's roots had already been planted, and the spiritual chi of the heavens and earth crazily surged towards the trunk of Maokai's tree, at the roots. Soon, Maokai's trunk swelled up. It was already stuffed with heaven and earth spiritual chi. HM? There's surprisingly this much heaven and earth spiritual chi? Then I'll speed up the absorption rate. On his head, came Little Red's delighted voice. Immediately afterward, in less than a moment, Makai's swollen tree trunk instantly deflated. In just an instant, this heaven and earth spiritual chi was absorbed cleanly by Little Red. Feeling the changes within his body, Makai instantly widened his eyes, this. This is impossible, how could my progress speed be so fast? Makai was stunned as he felt the changes within the tree trunk. Because of the reason that the spiritual chi of heaven and earth was more ponderous, it didn't matter if it was a cultivator or a demon. After absorbing the heaven and earth aura, they all had to be quenched first. At this moment, Maokai suddenly realized. The ponderous spiritual chi that had just been absorbed within his body was actually directly quenched on its own under the influence of the blood lotus. It was just a blink of an eye. The ponderous heaven and earth spiritual chi was quenched beyond purity. Half of it, transferred to Little Red's rhizome. The other half, on the other hand, was absorbed by himself. Not long after. I feel that I can cast the Red Lotus Karma Flame. Little Red's surprised voice came from Makai's head. Maokai's heart was startled, and he immediately had an ominous premonition. Soon after. Boom. A sound. Little Red's body, the Blood Lotus, was suddenly surrounded by a demonic fire. Flames rose from Makai's head, and soon the surrounding temperature became blazing hot. However, probably under Little Red's influence, Maokai didn't feel a trace of heat at all. While this was happening, Hitomi suddenly passed by. Maokai, your head is on fire again. Hitomi shouted as she pointed at Maokai's large head. 
Mao Kai was slightly stunned and hurriedly condensed a water screen. Seeing that the brain was already wrapped in a demonic fire, Mao Kai's heart was instantly cold. It's over. It's all over again. Mao Kai's head was on fire, and the entire ghost head mountain was in a state of panic. At the same time, under the quenching of the red lotus karma flame, the ponderous heaven and earth spiritual chi also became more and more refined. It didn't take long. Buzz. Mao Kai's already burly body instantly expanded by another round. The aura on his body also grew stronger and stronger. In just a short while of work, Mao Kai once again broke through. Su Shan Yun, who was flipping through the Fox Clan's canonical books on the side, slightly raised her eyes. Eh? Mao Kai actually broke through? It seems that after being rooted by Little Red, I'm afraid that his rate of improvement can already be described as a thousand miles a day. Su Shan Yun murmured softly. It was at this moment that she again seemed to think of something and flipped through the canonical books at a rapid pace. In the middle of the oceanic sea, there is the mountain of Dusua, on which there is a great peach tree, whose bending coils 3,000 miles. Not bad, this is exactly the record about the divine tree divine peach. In Su Shallow Yun's hand, on the tattered tome, a large peach tree that covered the sky was clearly drawn. Divine tree divine peach, one of the ten divine trees in the ancient times. Although both in terms of aura, and in terms of thickness, Makai was a whole lot worse than the divine tree divine peach. But with Maokai's growth rate, Su Shan Yun was certain in her heart. I'm afraid that in less than a hundred years, Maokai would become like the divine peach tree recorded in the canonical books, reaching through the heavens and the earth, with vast divine abilities. And at this time, Maokai's head was still topped with fire. Feeling the change in his body's aura, Maokai was instantly confused. How did you suddenly break through? There's no reason ah. For a moment, Mao Kai forgot about the fire on his head and crouched on the ground in thought. It was only after taking the dragon's heart scraps last time that he had broken through to the demon emperor advancement stage. But it had only been less than a few days since then, and he had advanced another large rank. With Makai's strength today, in the event that he faced the 18 bronze men. Although it was said that he was only one rank higher than the 18 bronze men, the power of a demon itself had to be higher than that of a cultivator. Moreover, Mao Kai was also a peach tree spirit. His innate wood affinity and his means of attack were also very bizarre. Mao Kai was confident in his heart. If it was an ordinary cultivator against the 18 bronze men of the Jindan stage, even if it was a spirit transformation stage cultivator, he would have to avoid them for the time being. But one's chances of winning were definitely very large. At the same time that Mao Kai was pondering, his own strength was still rapidly increasing. Not long after, it surged out by a large margin. Seeing that he would be able to raise his strength by another level in a few hours at most, Mao Kai's mouth was almost smiling crookedly. As for the fire on his head? It had already been selectively forgotten by Mao Kai at this point. However, just when Mao Kai was expecting another breakthrough, Little Red suddenly stopped. Mao Kai was still desperately absorbing this heaven and earth spiritual chi. As soon as Little Red stopped, Mao Kai was caught off guard, and the tree trunk was once again bulging with heaven and earth spiritual chi. Why, suck it. Seeing Little Red stop moving, Mao Kai couldn't help but voice out. I can't, I've already sucked my fill. I need to digest and digest properly next before I can continue absorbing. The heaven and earth spiritual chi absorbed next time should be at least 10 times as much as this time. Little Red said thoughtfully. Hiss. 10 times? As soon as Mao Kai heard this, he immediately sucked in a breath of cold air. What was the concept of 10 times? This time, quenching his aura was enough to raise him by a large class. Next time, if it's 10 times as much. Thinking about this, Makai immediately felt his brain buzzing. Ten times the amount of quenching aura being absorbed, his strength would definitely be strong to an unimaginable realm. Although there were some small regrets. But the harvest this time had already satisfied Mao Kai. It wasn't just Mao Kai, even Xiao Hong had an excited look on her face. Although she herself could quench auras, her body was simply too small. If she absorbed it by herself alone, her speed was simply incomparable to Mao Kai's. With Mao Kai, the speed at which she could absorb Reiki would increase dramatically, and she would be one step closer to recovering to her peak strength. Hoomph. When I regain my strength, I must fight back. Little Red thought of the atrocities Ren Foam had done to her earlier. She glared fiercely at the house, thinking about the fact that soon in the future, she would be able to ruthlessly take out this bad anger. Little Red's heart was once again pleasurable. However just at this moment, inside the house, ding. Scarlet Exotic Treasure Scarlet Blood Lotus Mood Pleasure Value plus 20%. The system's beep suddenly sounded in Rin Feng's mind. Ren Feng was slightly stunned. Mood Pleasure Value? What is it? Also, what is the Scarlet Exotic Treasure? He had only heard of immortal artifacts, divine soldiers, and even innate and post-innate spiritual treasures. But this was the first time Ren Feng had heard of the term Scarlet Exotic Treasure. Ding! The Scarlet Exotic Treasure will only be born in an environment shrouded by a blood moon, 
an existence that transcends heaven and earth. If the host wants to take it in, he can't use the conventional method of taming it by beating it. Beat taming? Hearing the system's words, Ren Feng's face darkened. Mao Kai was the one he had beaten and tamed. As a result, he had now become the most active and meritorious member of the formation generals under his command. Hearing the system say that beating and taming did not work, Ren Feng could not help but cry out in pity. At this time, the system's beeps continued to sound again. Regarding the taming method of the Scarlet Exotic Treasure, it is as follows. Only when its mood pleasure value is raised to 100% can it be truly tamed. Each Scarlet Exotic Treasure has its own special ability and can repair the corresponding broken heaven and earth restraints. For every Scarlet Exotic Treasure that the host has complete control over, it will have absolute rights to repair the relevant prohibitions crumbled by the Great Tribulation. For every Scarlet Exotic Treasure that joins the host's camp, the progress of the Great Calamity's main quest can be doubled. The system explained the utility of the Scarlet Exotic Treasure roughly. However, right at this moment, Ren Feng's heart stirred slightly. The only way to tame it is to raise the pleasure value? It seems that the system's claim isn't necessarily right. What if beating can raise the other party's pleasure value? Ren Feng's mind raced. Immediately afterward, Ding, detected that the host has currently obtained the Scarlet Alien Treasure pleasure value, special side mission released. Protect the Scarlet Alien Treasure safely and subdue it. Complete the mission and reward A, Corpse Emperor Dan. Corpse Emperor Dan can unconditionally upgrade the host by one level. A side mission. Ren Feng's heart was slightly shaken. This time, the rewards were much more generous than ever before. When Little Red's favorability was raised to 100% to be completely taken in, there would be a Corpse Emperor Dan as a reward, and the strength would be forcibly raised by one level, although he himself had currently become a drought. However, because he had just advanced, his strength was still at the beginning stage of a drought. After raising one rank, one would be promoted to the intermediate stage of the drought grid. After Gu, it was the highest level form of drought Kuei. And Kuei, strictly speaking, was the true zombie originator, commonly known as Kuei Ancestor. Above the Kuei, one ascends to become a harvest. Once it becomes the harvest, then it is considered to be really completely out of the zombie sequence. So strictly speaking, Kuei is considered the top of the zombie. The author of the above information have checked, other novels may be different from this. Moreover, after completing the task, there is another benefit. That is, after subjugating Little Red, the progress of the main quest will double up. A direct increase of 10%. That is to say, two chances for the lottery. And coincidentally at this time, the terrifying aura from Makai's body also came over. Sure enough, it's just as I thought. Renfong smiled faintly, if a scarlet exotic treasure that transcends the heavenly Tao is just that little bit capable, then what's the difference between it and an ordinary magic weapon? Just now, when Mao Kai came to plead with him, the reason why he didn't immediately agree, it was that he had already guessed this possibility. Now, it seemed that it was not what Feng had expected. Thinking of this, Ren Feng's figure flashed and appeared outside the house. At this moment, Makai was trembling with excitement because of the increase in strength. Under the rapid shaking, the string of fire on his head, too, kept fluttering. It looked so comical. All right little red, come down. Run Fong said slowly to little red. However, upon hearing these words, before little red could say anything, Makai was anxious first. Don't 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 ah. Mao Kai waved his hands repeatedly, Master, just let her stay on my head. Oh, Ren Feng frowned and said in amusement, What? Didn't you just say that a lifetime of fame is ruined? Mao Kai's elm head shook like a rattle. Heroic? Is being wise as important as strength? Master, just now that wasn't. He he he. Mao Kai scratched the back of his head in embarrassment. In that case, that's just it. Ren Feng's hand gently waved, nowadays, your strength has greatly surpassed the other formation generals, before anyone's strength surpasses yours, from now on, you will be the captain of the seven formation generals. Saying this, Ren Feng looked at the other generals, in the future, if I am not around, all actions will be under the command of Mao Kai, got it? The rest of the formation generals nodded their heads in succession and led the order. Right now, their highest cultivation level was just the Jin Dan realm. Makai's current strength had already reached the Yuaning realm. And it wasn't just the early Yuaning stage. When he truly moved, he was even comparable to an expert of the god transformation stage. Strength over strength, the crowd of array generals were naturally convinced. I'd become a captain? Mao Kai was slightly stunned. Coincidentally, at this moment, the blood lotus on his head gave a bang, and another beam of fire flared up. Mao Kai looked at the water screen next to him. Hmm, maybe this look isn't so bad? True Captain Inferno Head. Later when those vultures and the order come. Red, you can't skimp on this Red Lotus Karma Flame of yours. While I'm fighting with them, you have to set fire to bear them while they're not paying attention got it? Maokai thought darkly in his heart. 
Confronting the experts of the Holy See or the Buddhist family, he was already in a state of tug of war. Steeply, a flame sprang out of his head and burned the other party's beard and hair and chickens flew. Whether it was to the enemy's spirit or physical body, it was a devastating blow. Soon, a farce finally ended. Under Mao Kai's bitter pleas, Rin Fong still didn't choose to remove Little Red. At this moment, Mao Kai, after having learned the ability of the Blood Lotus to quench his aura, was no longer willing to let Little Red go. In a nutshell, there were just two words. Emma, really fragrant. Ren Feng returned to the house. Looking at the Saint Beetles crawling around, Ren Feng pondered for a moment. Taking out all the remaining dragon's heart scraps from the last time he subdued the black dragon. After such a long time, I don't know where the black dragon is now. Earlier, Candle M.O. had said that it could only manifest itself as a saint after the heaven and earth prohibitions collapsed. Now, there was no way to reconcile the conflict between Ren Feng and the Buddhist clan and the Holy See. Although with Ren Feng's strength, even if the Pope of the Vatican and the Abbot of the Great Sangha Temple came, they wouldn't necessarily be his opponents. But in case he was not there, the underhand formation generals, even the strongest Mao Kai, would not necessarily be able to beat the true experts among the two sects. We have to think of a way to raise their strength as soon as possible. And that corpse emperor pill, it's also necessary to obtain it as soon as possible. There are transcendent powerhouses in the Buddhist sect's little western heaven, as well as in the Vatican's secret realm. These people, even if I go up against them, my chances of winning are not necessarily great. Ren Feng pondered in his heart. Currently, the heaven and earth prohibition hadn't collapsed yet. The powerhouses in the little western heaven and the holy sea's secret realm were not yet able to come out of the world. As long as they came out into the world, they would be sanctioned by the heavenly Tao and be turned into nothingness by the calamity. But nowadays, one of the heaven and earth's prohibitions had completely collapsed. According to the information sent by Fonglinger, the hellside has been in chaos, except for the city gods everywhere, there is no extra power to intervene in the affairs of the earth. If the next crumbling prohibition happened to allow those powerful people to ignore the rules of heaven and earth and forcefully manifest themselves on earth, perhaps even Rin Fong, there wasn't much of a chance of winning against a whole bunch of powerful people who already had the power of immortal gods. Strength. After ascending to the realm, the powerhouses in these secret realms are not worth mentioning at all. Only those gods and immortals who have descended to the earth are qualified to fight against me. Run Feng's fists clenched slightly. The situation at this moment was very critical. For his own realm, he only needed to finish the side quest and obtain the corpse emperor pill. It was imperative to raise the realms of the formation generals. Otherwise, once the realm gap was too large. Even with the help of the seven star refinement, the seven formation generals would be no match for those great avatars. Little Chang, come here. Ren Fong hooked his finger at the sacred armor corpse insect. Little Strong, was the name he gave to the sacred armored ghoul. Although it couldn't speak. But Little Chang still squeaked strangely and slowly crawled to Ren Feng's side after hearing Ren Feng shout. Little Chang, eat this. Ren Fong placed the dragon's heart scraps next to Little Chang. Little Chang's two small eyes instantly glared as he quickly crawled next to the dragon's heart scraps. It only took not too long before Little Chang's originally dried out stomach became bulging. Golden Armor, Hitomi, they weren't able to take the dragon's heart crumbs because of their attributes. If it has been quenched by Xiao Chang, coupled with the corpse chi I injected into him earlier, perhaps it can be taken. Run Feng secretly thought in his heart. It was at this moment. Senior Rin Feng, can I come in? Outside the door, Su Shenyun's soft, glutinous-like voice resounded. Enter. Ren Feng faintly said. Su Shallow Yun heard Rin Feng's consent, and only then did she hold the fox race tome in her hands and walked in. Just after entering, Su Shallow Yun owed her body, Senior, I just found some interesting things in the clan's secret codex. What things? Ren Feng raised his eyelids and said. Su Shan Yun walked to Ren Feng's side and gently flipped the cannon open. In the records of the Fox Clan, there is a small secret method that can dramatically increase strength. However, this secret method, the prerequisite for using it, is that it needs to be supported by a large amount of heavenly materials. As Su Shallow Yun spoke, she handed the tome to Ren Feng. Ren Feng raised his eyes and looked at it, and his heart was instantly enlightened. This secret method was not technically considered a secret method, it could only be considered a tip. This tip, too, required the support of elixirs and heavenly treasures. However, when a cultivator absorbed energy, the efficiency and quality of absorption could be increased by nearly 50% at the very least. After about an hour, under Xiao Chang's continuous efforts, seven or eight new pills had been neatly placed on the table. After fusing the dragon's heart scraps, a rich power escaped from each pill. These should be enough. You take them and go absorb them. Ren Feng handed the medicinal pills to Su Shan Yun and said. Currently, although Su Shallow Yun and the Tiger Demon had not yet become the warlords under Ren Feng. After the previous battle with the 18 bronze men, although the two demons had not performed very brilliantly, 
they had not flinched half-heartedly either. Before seeing Ren Feng's true strength, the two demons had already decided to live and die together with Ghost Head Mountain. From this point of view, the two demons could be completely trusted. You guys go ahead and ascend. After you finish upgrading, bring the tiger demon in to meet me. Ren Feng said in a faint voice, Su Shan Yun owed her body and hurriedly took the pills, leading the array generals to go and enhance their strength. And at this time, among the clouds near Ghost Head Mountain, Sister, slow down a bit, I can't keep up a bit. Xiao Qing's strained voice came out. After Zhuge Chaofan trapped F.A. Hai, the two sisters took the opportunity to escape. With full speed, it only took less than an hour to arrive at Rin Feng's Ghost Head Mountain. Xiao Qing hurry up. Maybe F.A. Hai has already gotten out of the trap by now. With his strength, I'm afraid it won't take long for him to catch us up. Bai Sujin said without looking back. In less than a moment, the two demons had arrived above Ghost Head Mountain. Feeling the terrifying aura at the top of Ghost Head Mountain, Green Snake and White Snake were instantly shocked. Heavens, this heaven and earth aura. If I were to cultivate here for hundreds of years, I'm afraid that I would have become a Jiao long ago by now, right? Unbelievable, is this the means of a great avatar? Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin looked at each other, both feeling their brains buzzing. The aura here was simply too dense. Cultivating for a day was better than ten days outside. Regardless of whether it was Bai Sujin or Xiao Qing, at this moment, their hearts were as sour as if they had eaten lemons. Such a heavenly paradise. If you let them cultivate here at the beginning, I'm afraid that in the past thousand years, the two demons would have already ascended to immortality by day. There are definitely man-made formations here. Otherwise, even if it was an ancient cave of heaven and earth, the aura of heaven and earth wouldn't be this dense. Bai Sujin exclaimed. After a long time, the two demons came back to their senses. Little Green, be careful, there might be attacking means in the formation. It's better for us to land first and visit the great powers on foot so that we can appear more sincere. Compared to the lively character of Xiao Qing, Bai Sujin's character was much more composed. Seeing that little Qing was preparing to fly directly to the Ghost Head Mountain, she hurriedly reminded. What sister said. Little Chang sniffed and hurriedly nodded. Their two demons' strength was profound, and with their spiritual sense covering down, they quickly mapped out the situation of Ghost Head Mountain. On the mountain, there was only one tree spirit with strength equal to theirs. However, seeing that there was a demon fox, the two demons still slightly raised their guard in their hearts. Although this demon fox was a level weaker than them, but the demon fox clan was favored by the heavens. Its bizarre means were endless, and even by Sujin had to be careful in dealing with them. Everyone else was a level weaker than them. Little green, you must be polite in a while. The strength of that great avatar is estimated to have reached the point of exaltation. Even my divine sense can't sense his presence. Bai Sujin reminded Xiao Qing. The two demons slowly landed on the waist of Ghost Head Mountain and walked towards it. However, right at this moment, buzz. Several terrifying auras in succession burst out from the mountain. These auras, are all those people just now? Bai Sujin was slightly stunned, and her absolutely beautiful face suddenly changed. Even Xiao Chang, who was on the side, was suppressed by this aura and lost her color. They sensed that those few auras that were originally weaker than theirs had actually strengthened at an extremely fast rate. In a short while, they could be on par with Xiao Chang. Two of those auras were even vaguely trying to catch up to Bai Sujin. And that tree spirit, it had already steadily suppressed Bai Sujin by a head. Great aptitude, truly great aptitude. Bai Sujin's red lips trembled slightly. Within such a short period of time, the strength of all of them had unexpectedly rapidly risen in unison. This was definitely a means that only immortals had. If we can attach ourselves to a great power, what is there to fear from a mere F.A. high? Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin looked at each other, both seeing the determination in each other's gazes. It was at this moment. Swoosh. A fiery red light flew through the sky. Who are you guys? After seeing Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin on the ground, a cry came from the sky from Fonglinger. In the next instant, Fonglinger landed beside the two. Fonglinger's eyes were on guard, and the fire lin in her hand trembled slightly. It seemed as if she was going to behead the two on the spot once she realized that they were abnormal. Hiss. Spirit weapon. Bai Sujin's face changed slightly, Xiao Chang, on guard. Although the girl in front of her was only at the Jin Dan realm. But in her hands, it was a spirit weapon. Those clans with a deep heritage possessed no more than five fingers of spirit weapons. Ordinary clans were even more pressurized to not have a handful. Bai Sujin and Xiao Qing is a lone practitioner. Not to mention spiritual weapons, even the lower level of Dao weapons, they cannot take out. If they really fought, I'm afraid that if they wanted to deal with this purple pupil woman in front of them, they would have to pay a certain price. Bold. Seeing that these two snake demons were actually preparing to strike, Phone Linger immediately shouted angrily. Mao Kai, Hitomi, Golden Armor. Someone is breaking into the mountain gate. Phone Linger's delicate voice traveled far towards the mountain. 
Rumble. On Ghost Head Mountain, a terrifying pressure suddenly came from the mountain. Bold, how dare you trespass the master's mountain gate. Seek death. Ha <laughs> ha, just elevated, and someone comes to break into the mountain gate? It's just right to let them see my methods. Several angry voices rang out. Swish swish swish. A silhouette flashed by. In the next instant, several great array generals, as well as Su Shanyun and the tiger demon, appeared in front of the two green and white snakes. Oops, two little pussies? Mao Kai laughed out loud, what fat guts. The big-waisted tiger demon also came up with a sardonic smile on his face. That body is muscular as an iron block, even if Mr. Bodybuilder looked at it, he would have to bow down. Tsk, TSK, two female demons? Just in time to use them to beat their teeth. The tiger demon stuck out its tongue with burrs and licked its hideous teeth. Behind them, the golden armor didn't speak though. But the negative, hideous, and terrifying aura rubbed off on his body, and coupled with his parched face, it was enough to scare little kids silly. Feeling a chi pressure. The two green and white snakes were instantly confused. Other than that tree spirit, if any other random person came, the sisters would be able to fight with them. But so many people together? Even if it was them, they wouldn't be able to defeat them. The tree spirit and tiger demon laughed strangely, like old rascals in the county. Bai Sujin was a little better, but Xiao Qing was so scared that she didn't cry out. This ghost head mountain, too scary. Or Bai Sujin is relatively stable. At this time she also understood. The purple pupil woman who was holding a spirit weapon just now was also someone from this ghost head mountain. Please don't misunderstand. We came on this trip to join Senior Rin Fong, Bai Sujin hurriedly explained. Although she appeared to be courteous on the surface, Bai Sujin inevitably had some drums in her heart. Originally, she wanted to worship the mountain gate. As a result, without even going in the door, she had caused such a big wave. This is good. The mountain gate did not worship, there may be a feud. Just when Bai Sujin was behind bars. You guys are here to find master? Fong Linger put away the fire lin and asked with big blinking eyes. When the two snakes heard this, they didn't die on the spot. Well, well, well. Just entering the mountain gate, he had offended the beloved disciple of that great avatar. This is still playing ah. Thinking about this by Sujin and Xiao Qing looked at each other. Both saw the heartache and helplessness in the other's eyes. It's just that. It seems like it's fate. Little Qing, let's hurry up and apologize to everyone and leave. By Sujin said miserably to Xiao Qing. However it was at this time. The fox ears of Su Shallow Yun, who was staying quietly on the side, moved. Xiao Qing? Are you the two green and white snakes under the Thunder Peak Tower back then? Su Shaloyun's pair of big, Jenshue eyes looked towards Bai Sujin. Not bad, it is precisely our sisters. Bai Sujin nodded, before, Xiao Qing came to Leifong Tower to see me, and ended up meeting Ifei Hai. Seeing the inquiring look on Su Shenyun's face, only then did Bai Sujin leisurely sigh and tell the crowd what happened. At this time, under the Thunder Peak Tower, special energy bureaus, your people haven't come yet? Old me just can't top it anymore. Zhuge Chaofan shouted at the members of the special energy bureau behind him. Seeing that his stuttering sickness was about to strike again, he hurriedly took out a pill from his broken canvas bag and stuffed it into his mouth. At this moment, rumble. The four discs set up by Zhuge Chaofan trembled steeply. The sound of the dragon's roar within the four discs also grew louder and louder. I'm afraid that it wouldn't take long for F.A. High to break the seal and come out. Zhuge Chaofan glanced back. Fortunately, after he had exerted himself with all his strength, he had already dragged F.A. High for a long enough time. The ordinary tourists around them had also been evacuated by the members of the Special Energy Bureau. Everyone, prepare for battle. If your experts from the Special Energy Bureau don't come, I'm afraid we'll have to die here. Zhuge Chaofan sighed long and hard. He could have walked away. But if he did so, it was estimated that none of the members of the Special Energy Bureau in front of him would survive. Seeing death is undoubtedly a torture to Zhuge Chaofan's moral heart. Just as Zhuge Chaofan was about to join forces with the Special Energy Bureau to fight to the death. In the distance, there was a roar of a motor. A domestically produced sedan slowly approached and stopped at the side of the road. The driver in Special Energy Bureau clothing hurriedly got out of the car and jogged all the way to the back to open the door. Bark! The heel of a leather shoe landed on the ground with a muffled sound. Afterward, a balding middle-aged man with gold-rimmed glasses and a blonde body slowly got out of the car. Cough! The blonde middle-aged man coughed lightly. The driver understood and said at the top of his voice, members of the Special Energy Bureau come here, the head wants a meeting. The members of the Special Energy Bureau, who were still standing at attention, heard this and a trace of embarrassment flashed across their faces. Toast chief, you first top for a while ah, there's a meeting. Dao master, you top at first, it's our chief's habit. After the meeting, we'll come back to help you ha. Huh? One by one, the members of the Special Energy Bureau scratched their heads in embarrassment and hurriedly closed ranks. 
In an instant, the members of the Special Energy Bureau ran away. Only Zhuge Chaofan was left, confused in the wind. Zhuge Chaofan. A meeting? At this time of crisis, what kind of meaning is there? I didn't realize that the Special Energy Bureau also likes to play this game? Meeting? I'll have a meeting with a twisted spirit. In the heat of the moment, Zhuge Chaofan directly spit Sichuan flavor fragrance. Now it's good, it's not good to leave, it's not good not to leave. At this time, next to the hairy middle-aged man, the members of the Special Energy Bureau had already stood in rows. Ahem, brethren have worked hard. Regarding this action, I will briefly say a few words. The bald man coughed lightly. Immediately afterward, blah 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 a whole bunch of words. However Zhuge Chaofan didn't notice. After the arrival of the hairy man, the panicked colors on the faces of the members of the Special Energy Bureau had long since disappeared. Instead, they were incomparably calm. It seemed that F.A. High was no longer a threat in their eyes. A full ten minutes had passed. The bald man was still delivering a long speech, with no intention of stopping at all. Still not finished? Poor Taoist can't hold it anymore. Rumble. Zhuge Chaofan's words had just fallen. The entire earth shook violently. In an instant, the water of the West Lake rose like a dragon, and the sky and earth suddenly changed color. Zhuge Chaofan's strange art. It had been broken by F.A. High. How dare you hinder the poor monk from subduing the demons? Great mighty heavenly dragon, go. F.A. High's eyes were covered in blood, looking at Zhuge Chaofan with hatred. Although he hadn't completely entered the devil yet. But at this moment, F.A. High was many times more terrifying than usual. Aang. A dragon roar resounded through heaven and earth. My life is over. Looking at the hideous dragon flying towards him, Zhuge Chaofan's heart instantly cooled halfway. What he was good at was this strange art. Compared to melee combat, even if there were a hundred of him, he would not be able to defeat F.A. High. However, just as Zhuge Chaofan closed his eyes and waited for death, buzz, the air suddenly fluctuated. Zhuge Chaofan opened his eyes again, only to realize that he was already standing at the place where the Special Energy Bureau had gathered. Rumble. A loud bang came. The piece of ground where Zhuge Chaofan was just now had been directly smashed by the Great Green Dragon. I actually didn't die? Zhuge Chaofan froze and realized that the bald man was grabbing his Dao robe and looking at him with a kind face. You saved me? Zhuge Chaofan was puzzled. The bald man smiled politely. Thank you, Daoist Zhuge. Let's watch our special energy bureau next. Speaking here, the amiable smile on the balding man's face grew even more, if all the cultivators of my ascending dragon earth can be like Daoist Juga, down to earth and willing to do practical things, do good things, and not be afraid of. Stop. I say, you put away the divine power. Seeing that the hairy man couldn't stop again, Juga Chaofan hurriedly said, right now, the most urgent thing is. Aang. A dragon roar interrupted Juga Chaofan's words. The hairy middle-aged man looked towards the great green dragon and pulled his sleeves up slightly. Alas, every time I speak, I can only speak half of it. What a bummer. After the words were finished, a flash of light flashed under the middle-aged man's gold-rimmed glasses. Such cultivation is not bad. Unfortunately, the Buddhists now, really don't know the score at all. As the words fell, the hairy man's foot stomped. Click. The marble tiles on the ground were instantly stomped into pieces, and even a deep pit appeared on the ground. Shoo. The hairy man's entire body, like a cannonball, rushed headlong towards the great green dragon. What a big dragon. The feeling of a monkey. Seeing the crazy green dragon, the man laughed out loud and swung out a fist. Boom. The power of one fist. The sky and earth changed color, the sun and moon lost their light. Without even uttering a single scream, the great green dragon was blasted into pieces by the middle-aged man and rejoined F.A. High's back. Seeing this scene, Juga Chaofan's eyes hung open. Worry. This is a ruthless man. And at that moment, the middle-aged hairy man had slowly descended. Showing a kind smile to Zhuge Chaofan, his glittering brain, under the afterglow, shook Zhuge Chaofan a bit unable to open his eyes. I forgot to introduce myself just now. My name is Su Fu Chiang, Special Energy Bureau, head of the southern region. Zhuge Chaofan was shocked in his heart. Every expert who used his fists had a shiny brain. Zhuge Chaofan's mind roared as he heard this. Su Fu Chiang? It's you! Hiss! Seemingly thinking of the background of the man in front of him, Zhuge Chaofan took a deep breath. In the Special Energy Bureau, there were the four heavenly kings. And Su Fu Chiang was one of the four heavenly kings. At the same time, these four heavenly kings sat in the four regions of the east, west, south, north and south of the ascending dragon empire. The screening of the four heavenly kings had gone through a strict examination. Not only are their positions extremely firm. Three of them are famous generals with loyal families. Their contributions to the ascending dragon empire were absolutely incomparable to those of others. This Su Fu Chiang is the descendant of a general. A strength that is unfathomable. So he's the head of the south. The strength is so terrifying. 
Zhu Ge Chaofan was horrified in his heart. Just now, Su Fu Chiang had just dispersed Fa Hai's great mighty heavenly dragon with a single, flat punch. Such power was enough to prove that Su Fu Chiang's cultivation was already at the top level amongst the cultivation world. Originally, I thought he was. I didn't expect that old me would have been mistaken. Zhu Ge Chaofan was appalled in his heart. Immediately, he didn't dare to be slow and hurriedly performed a hand fork salute, Juga family head, meet senior Su. Although Su Fu Chiang looked younger than him. But in the cultivation world, those who could reach it, there was no harm in calling him senior. Su Fu Chiang smiled kindly. He then looked at F.A. Hai, who was eyeing the tiger on the side. F.A. Hai, you dared to strike out at civilians earlier. Now immediately bind your hands and accept the trial of the Special Energy Bureau. Facing F.A. Hai, the look of compassion on Su Fu Chiang's face poured away and he said with a serious face, Amit Bab Buddha, making a poor monk tie his hands? I'd like to see if you have that ability. After saying that, F.A. Hai's Buddha Chi surged around him. The great mighty heavenly dragon behind him had just been dispersed, and it would take some time to condense. F.A. Hai's eyes were stern, and he took out a golden bowl in his hand. In a flash, the entire golden bowl was overflowing with precious light, and the sacred Buddha light was as if it had condensed into substance, making people look at it. Look at my Dala golden bowl. F.A. Hai shouted sternly, raising the golden bowl in his hand above his head. A streak of Buddha light condensed within the golden bowl, and his aura grew more and more majestic. Dangerous. Zhuge Chaofan let out a cry of alarm. The aura emanating from this golden bowl caused everyone to change color. However, right at this moment. AI, what an obstinate person. It seems like the Buddhist family, really needs to be fixed. Su Fu Chiang didn't seem to be moved by the golden mantle at all, and just sighed leisurely. In the next instant, the air around Su Fu Chiang, suddenly distorted, and his body suddenly turned into a residual shadow. So fast. F.A. Hai was stunned in his heart. However, before he could recover from his shock, a large fist had already appeared on his head. After the fist, there was a shiny brain. Thud. There was a muffled sound. F.A. Hai's entire body plummeted toward the ground in a hurry. Boom. In a flash, smoke and dust rose. On the ground, a deep pit had been hard smashed out by F.A. Hai. Looking at F.A. Hai again, the whole person became a big shape and fell into the deep pit without any fancy and the marble floor around him had already been smashed into flying powder by him. This blow not only broke F.A. High's stance, it also woke F.A. High up completely. What did I? Me just now? To dare to strike at the four heavenly kings of the Special Energy Bureau, F.A. High was inwardly shocked. Just now, he nearly became demonic, and he simply couldn't control his killings. Now that he had been punched in the head, it had instead made him much more awake. But even after coming to his senses, the shadow in F.A. High's heart still lingered. By Susan's words just now had really given him a big shock. Could it really be as she said? Whether it's me or her, are they all Buddha's pawns? Is the Buddha that my heart yearns for really so bad? F.A. Hai didn't care about the pain coming from his head, and kept asking himself in his heart. The moment he thought of this question, F.A. Hai felt that his Buddha heart was unstable and his breath was restless. It was at this time. The Xiangui Temple, F.A. Hai. You have violated the Special Energy Bureau's Article 432 of the Cultivator Safety Management Regulations. Why don't you quickly bind your hands and accept the sanctions of the Special Energy Bureau? Su Fu Chiang's righteous words came out. F.A. Hai was instantly shaken. Looking again at the side of the Lei Fong Pagoda, a few puddles of minced meat still reeked of blood. I did this? I actually struck out at an ordinary person? F.A. Hai was in a daze, he couldn't believe that just now, in the moment he lost his mind, he had killed humans. Among the monks, F.A. Hai was still considered relatively upright. Although when dealing with demons, there was no distinction between good and evil. But apart from that big battle hundreds of years ago, F.A. Hai had never harmed anyone. But today, seeing someone actually die by his own hand, F.A. Hai was somewhat unable to accept this reality. If I'm really a Buddhist pawn, then hundreds of years ago, those people who died and were injured, were they not the work of my Buddha? It was at this moment that F.A. Hai seemed to think of something, and his face suddenly changed wildly. No way. I have to go find White Snake and ask for clarification. F.A. Hai secretly said in his heart. At this moment, he had regained his senses. With great difficulty, he stood up from the rubble and folded his hands at Su Fu Chiang. I'm sorry, poor monk cannot go with you now. Without waiting for Su Fu Chiang to speak, F.A. Hai continued. The poor monk's heart demon has not been removed now. Just now, a sliver of a deceased person's words nearly caused the poor monk to enter the devil. Please give me a chance, Master Su, after I find her and ask her what happened, I will definitely go to the Special Energy Bureau to apologize at the door. F.A. Hai's eyes were resolute and his words were sincere. If the demon in his heart was not removed, for him, it was really worse than death. Su Fu Chiang thought for a moment and nodded, yes, thank you, Master Su. F.A. Hai folded his hands and bowed to Su Fu Chiang. 
Through the exchange of hands just now, F.A. Hai knew, he was definitely not a match for Su Fu Chung, one of the four heads of the Special Energy Bureau. The reason why the other party had given himself this opportunity was purely for the sake of Buddhism. F.A. Hai sat down on his knees and chanted scriptures. Only after a few moments did he slowly stand up. His eyes gazed calmly in the direction of Ghost Head Mountain. She's right there. Scholar Su, poor monk will take a step forward. When the demons of the heart are resolved later, the poor monk will definitely come to the door to be ordained. F.A. Hai softly said, and a lotus flower bloomed under his feet as he flew towards Ghost Head Mountain. After F.A. Hai left. This. Just let him go? Juga Chaofan was dumbfounded. Wasn't the Special Energy Bureau rumored to have strict laws? Striking out at ordinary people was even one of the Special Energy Bureau's three high-pressure lines that cultivators were absolutely not allowed to violate. But F.A. Hai just ran away in a dignified manner? Su Fuchan laughed and pushed up his gold-rimmed glasses. Daoist Juga, if the Buddhist sect doesn't even have this much integrity, perhaps the Special Energy Bureau should really talk to them. When Juga Chaofan heard this, he came to a realization. Su Fuchang coughed lightly and said to the driver, Xiao Zhang, prepare the jet. The direction that F.A. Hai went just now should be the long famous Ghost Head Mountain. I have nothing to do today, so it's a good time to take a walk. I'm curious about the one on Ghost Head Mountain, but I'm curious. Whether it was Su Fuchang or F.A. Hai, they all had the same destination, Ghost Head Mountain. And at the same time, on the internet, the conversation about White Snake and F.A. Hai had begun to circulate. The video had just reached the internet, and it had attracted the attention of the vast majority of people. During this recent period of time, the Ghost Gate Pass prohibition had collapsed and the ghostly Qi had revived. In the Ascending Dragon Empire, this matter was no longer a secret. However, it was fortunate that the Ascending Dragon Empire disposed of it in time. The Special Energy Bureau and the city gods from all over the world desperately tried to protect it, in order to keep the Ascending Dragon Empire from making too many waves up and down. But other empires, it was a different story especially some of the white races that usually boasted of their superiority. Under such a terrifying catastrophe, there had already been great chaos. Although the Sam Empire had a strong member of the Holy See sitting on it, but those white-skinned people didn't believe in the official words at all. Under the influence of the ghosts, the entire Sam Empire has become a mess. Some gangsters even openly robbed in broad daylight, with gun ownership being legal, even more happy shooting every day. All sorts of atrocities were constantly being staged on the streets of the Sam Empire. The people of the Ascending Dragon Empire, while watching the jokes of the other empires, began to deliberately pay attention to things about supernatural powers. Soon, with the Empire's intentional push, the video of Bai Sujin's conversation with F.A. Hai was directly topped by major websites. After people watched the video, they couldn't help but become skeptical of the Buddhists. I'm a native of Su Hang, I've heard these stories from my grandmother. Myths and legends have come down to reality? My goodness. But then again, don't you guys think what that white snake said makes sense? I think it makes sense. The Buddhists are really hypocritical. I'm not allowed to bring my own incense when I go to the temple? What a bullshit rule. Hee <laughs> hee, the great compassion mantra music charge to understand? Many netizens questioned it. However, there were also some diehard fans of Buddhism who came forward to defend the reputation of Buddhism. But it didn't take long for the remarks of these diehard fans to be drowned in the flood. And there was one message that caught the attention of many people. Everyone, let me say a few words about our county. Some time ago, you all should have seen the video of 18 great monks beheading a rat demon, right? I'm from that city, and the drugstore where that rat demon is located is right next door to our house. I don't dare to say much about other things. But every day that rat demon medicine to save people, I am witnessed, continuous for 10 years as one day, encounter poor people that rat demon also does not charge consultation fee. Such a good deed. But was that 18 monks as a demon to chase and kill? Previously, because I was afraid of cyber violence, so this matter has always been bottled up in my heart. But today, I have to come forward and say something. Buddhists are really hypocritical. After saying it out, my heart is much more comfortable, diehard fans of the Buddhist family, Lao Zi begs for a bar. Once this message came out, it was paired with the previous video of the 18 bronze men beheading the rat demon. Many netizens couldn't sit still. Right. Are demons just bad? Why were those good demons also beheaded by the Buddhists as demons? Is it really as White Snake said? These demons were just tools used by the Buddhists to spread their faith? At that moment, almost half of the netizens were nonplussed. If this was all true, then the Buddhists were really too hypocritical. At this time, the Grand Prime Minister's Temple. Although the Special Energy Bureau was not pursuing F.A. High's matter for the time being. However, the Special Energy Bureau still notified the Great Sangwa Temple of the crimes that F.A. High had committed. It was not appropriate for the Great Sangwa Temple to fall out with the Special Energy Bureau at this time. 
So it replied, expressing its willingness to accept the Special Energy Bureau's punishment. After all, after such a big event had happened, if the Buddhist sect did not even let out a single fart, then it would be too much of a disregard for the Special Energy Bureau. Senior brother is truly a failure to accomplish anything, but a failure to do anything. Inside the Great Sangha Temple, Dharma Siang was sitting upright on a futon, a glint in his eyes. The Special Energy Bureau had just called over to resort to F.A. High Sins. It was to give him the Buddhist family a kick in the pants. Even in the ascending dragon empire, Buddhist monks still didn't pay taxes and listen to tunes but not declarations. How could Dharma Sang not know that? The Special Energy Bureau was already very dissatisfied with the many behaviors of Buddhism. So what if you're not satisfied? When the heaven and earth prohibitions collapse, when the little western heavenly powers descend, when the western heavenly powers descend, what qualifications does he have to fight with Buddhism when he's special energy bureau? The Dharma minister thought darkly in his heart, and a flash of killing intent flashed in his eyes. Although the special energy bureau was strong, it was also single-handedly established by the ascending dragon empire, and had been established for only a hundred years, if it wasn't for the fact that the ascending dragon empire was helping it. It was absolutely impossible for the Special Energy Bureau to develop so quickly. Don't look at the present, the Special Energy Bureau can exert pressure on his Buddhism. But once the ban collapses, when the immortal Buddha reveals himself as a saint, the deterrent power of the Special Energy Bureau? In the eyes of the Dharma Emperor, it was nothing. Master. Uncle. Outside the door, Ruaji's anxious voice came. F.A. Xiang couldn't help but frown. This Ruaji, lately, was becoming more and more monkless. Not long after, Ruoji ran in in a hurry. Ruoji, what is the proper behavior for making such a loud noise? The Dharma minister spoke out and scolded. He suddenly remembered that it seemed like ever since the incident of the Ghost Head Mountains crossing happened, whenever Ruoji came to him every time, nothing good had happened. Sure enough. Senior uncle, it's not that Ruoji is deliberately making a racket. Something big happened over at Ghost Head Mountain Ah. Ruoji panted. F.A. Xiang's face changed slightly. With Ruaji's strength, it was surprising that he could be in such a hurry, so maybe there really was something big going on. What? Is there still no result from the 18 bronzes? Dharma phase raised his eyelids and asked. Hearing the Dharma minister ask, Ruaji's eyes flashed with grief, senior uncle, the 18 senior brothers, have all died. Ruaji roughly told what happened. When the Dharma minister heard this, his brows slowly tightened. The gaze was also much colder in an abrupt manner. With Dharma phase's current cultivation in Buddha nature, Ordinary things would definitely not cause his mind to ripple. However, the 18 bronze men had fallen. This matter had caused the Dharma minister to become truly angry. Normally, most things were resolved by the 18 copper men stepping in. Now that the 18 copper men had died, although it wasn't so much as to cause the Buddha family to break their bones, it was definitely a flesh wound. Moreover, those people clearly knew that the Buddha family's children had descended. How dare they make a move? It was simply like wrestling the face of the Buddha family to the ground and rubbing it hard. This ghost head mountain is truly not putting my Buddhism in its eyes ah. Dharma phase's lips moved slightly. The Buddha chi around his body also became furious due to his anger. Ruaji could not help but tremble as he felt the aura on the Dharma phase. However, the information he had was only half of the story. Feeling the anger on the Dharma minister's body, Ruaji still said stiffly, Senior uncle, recently there are still some unfavorable rumors about my Buddhist family in the community. Ruaji hardened his heart and told the whole story about the people questioning Buddhism and saying that Buddhism does not distinguish between good and evil. The Dharma minister's face, too, grew more and more somber. Click. A crunching sound startled Ruaji. Fixing his eyes, he took a look. It turned out to be that the Dharma minister, in the heat of anger, had pinched the Buddha beads in his hand hard. Ruaji was so frightened that he didn't dare to utter a single breath. He had never seen that his senior uncle was so angry. After a long time. Senior uncle. What should we do now? What to do? Humph. Aren't those stupid people questioning us Buddhists? Very well. Dharma phase waved his robe sleeve, dispatch the eight great Lohan, and then hire a specialized film crew with a heavy amount of money, and head to Ghost Head Mountain. These worldlings. How dare they question the Buddhists? Since this is the case, let's use the boundless Buddha Dharma to silence all these people. The majesty of the Buddhist family was not something that these ascendants could criticize at will. If it weren't for the constraints of the Special Powers Bureau, the eight great Lohan might not have gone to Ghost Head Mountain. Instead, they would first go to the homes of those netizens and transcend a wave. Right, there's also the matter about Shurfu F.A. High. According to the intelligence, under Shurfu's begging, the Special Energy Bureau didn't arrest Shurfu immediately. After hearing that the two snake demons went to Ghost Head Mountain, Senior Uncle F.A. High has now traveled there, and I believe it won't be long before he arrives. Ruoshi fed back all the information he had gotten, truthfully. He went to Ghost Head Mountain as well? 
F.A. Siang frowned slightly, go and call the eight Vidra to me, I have something to command. Ruoji sniffed and hurriedly trotted away. It seems that senior brother's Buddha heart has been shaken by White Snake's words. When Ruoji left, Dharma Faze pondered in his mind. His head could be more spiritual than F.A. High. F.A. High and White Snake, were they Buddhist pawns? Regarding this question, many people in the Buddhist family, all of them had no idea. But judging from the current situation, once F.A. High's Buddhist heart was shaken, it was very likely that he would enter the devil. Senior brother, next, consider this as your last bit of contribution to my Buddhist sect. The Dharma Emperor thought secretly in his heart, and the essence in his eyes flickered. Not long after, senior uncle, the eight great Vidra are seeking an audience. Come in. F.A. Siang gave a cry. Immediately afterward, eight monks with big bladders and tiger backs fishtailed into the room. Although they didn't look as golden and full of compulsion as the 18 bronze men, all over their bodies, they revealed an aura of unruffled authority. The wrath of Vajra, but nothing more. In terms of cultivation alone, they were far superior to the 18 bronze men. Dharma Faze lightly said, Ruaji, you should step back first. Ruaji sniffed and hurriedly nodded his head to leave. After Ruaji left, the Dharma minister reached out and waved his hand. Eight relics of majestic Buddhist power fell into the hands of the eight great Vajra. These are the greatest treasures of my Buddhist sect. You guys take them with you and head to Ghost Head Mountain immediately. The eyes of the Dharma Emperor calmly swept over the faces of the eight Vidra. The eight Vidra felt the thick Buddhist power of the relics in their hands, and were slightly surprised, Senior Uncle, the district of Ghost Head Mountain doesn't need this Buddhist sect's most precious treasure at all, right? With their cultivation level, they could naturally feel it. These eight Buddha relics, although they were only Taoist artifacts, but once the eight relics were combined together, they could definitely be comparable to a top-grade spiritual weapon. Against Ghost Head Mountain, to use a top-grade spiritual weapon? In the eyes of the eight great Vajra, this was undoubtedly a great use of their talents. A mere Ghost Head Mountain, of course you don't need it. It's not just the Ghost Head Mountain forces that you're dealing with. F.A. Xiang gently waved his hand, then his tone turned cold, there is also your senior uncle, F.A. Hai. Senior uncle. The eight Vajra's faces changed in unison. I don't know why. Is killing senior uncle? A Vajra asked apprehensively. In their eyes, if they were to ask who was the most loyal to the Buddhist sect. Aside from F.A. Hai, I'm afraid that in the entire Great Sangha Temple, they wouldn't be able to pick a few monks. But now, the abbot had actually ordered them to take action against F.A. Hai? This news was undoubtedly a heavy bomb for the eight Vajra. F.A. Xiang looked at the eight dazed faces of the eight Vajra, his face unchanged. He is no longer your senior. Dharma Faze told the eight great Vidra about what happened earlier, when F.A. Hai nearly became a demon. Hiss. Senior Uncle Im, it can't be possible, can it? Amit Babuddha, could it be that Senior Uncle really has doubts about the Supreme Buddha Dharma? With the level of faith that Senior Uncle has in our Buddha, once he becomes demonic, the consequences would be unimaginable. In that case, then we. The eight Vidra looked at each other, wide-eyed. F.A. Hai had turned his back on Buddhism? This news, for them, the shock was undoubtedly too great. You guys go. Remember, no matter what, you must promote my supreme Buddhism. The Dharma minister waved his hand and slowly closed his eyes. The eight great Vajra looked at each other. After a moment of hesitation, the color in the eyes of the eight Vajra returned to firmness, and a hidden murderous aura was released. Although, they were usually in awe of F.A. Hai. But if it was true that F.A. Hai had become demonic as F.A. Siang had said, then they could only suppress F.A. Hai and maintain the image of the Buddhist family in the eyes of the world. The loss this time. For the Buddhist family, it can't be said that it's not big. The 18 bronze men went and didn't even pick up a single bargain. The face of the Buddhist family was pressed to the ground and smacked by Rin Foam. Now, F.A. Hai had gone evil again and struck out at mortals. The reputation and prestige of the Buddhist family dropped directly to the freezing point. If something wasn't done about it, I'm afraid that the influence of the Buddhist family will really go awry. Yes, we will head there now. Destroy the Ghost Head Mountain Group and kill the division. To kill the Buddhist traitors. The eight great Vajra said in a deep voice. Sam Empire, Pope. What? Johnny was killed? Inside the cathedral, a burly turquoise-eyed man wearing plate armor and holding a two-handed greatsword stared at the visitor with an unbelievable face. Not bad, this is the latest intelligence, see for yourself. The visitor's voice was urgent as he handed over a scroll. The plate armor man took the scroll and looked at it for a moment. I'll go report it to Lord Pope. Inside the church, rows and rows of white candles, candlelight converged, illuminating the huge cross at the top of the church brightly. An old man with a holy crown on his head on the platform held the cross in his hands, a thick Bible cupped in his hands as he sat in meditation with his eyes closed. Although there were no believers around, but behind the old man, a holy light loomed. 
In his mouth, a sentence of obscure hymns sang softly, listening to the human ears but let a person's state of mind in peace, the aftermath of the sound in the ears, like thousands of angels, chanting in unison, holy, holy, inviolable. This was the first impression anyone had after seeing him. The plate armor man took three steps and entered the interior of the church. His holiness the Pope. Johnny, the head of the Ascension Empire, was killed by that man. The plate armor man gave a night salute to an old man with white hair in front of him. The old man sniffed and slowly closed the thick scriptures, slowly opening his eyes. A mere bishop. Dying was dispensable to the Holy See. Only, in order to probe the situation, the Holy See had given Johnny the sacred beetle, one of the three holy artifacts, and this holy artifact was still important to the Holy See. The Pope calmly looked at the plate armor man. Where is the sacred weapon beetle? It was seized by that man. What did you say? The Pope stood up at once, his dry and thin palms trembling slightly. A holy weapon, is it not something they can get their hands on? A flash of anger flashed through the Pope's sacred eyes. Killing people was nothing more than that. To also seize a treasure? Wouldn't this be killing to kill? There was a moment's pause. It was only then that the anger on the Pope's face disappeared and the color of holiness resurfaced. Go, send Archbishop John to the Ascending Dragon Empire. By the way, bring the angelic transmutation pool with you. The Holy See has been active in the Ascending Dragon Empire for many years, and should have captured quite a few sacred bodies as well. As for the side of the Special Energy Bureau, don't worry about it for now. The Pope's voice was indifferent. The heaven and earth prohibitions would collapse, and the people of heaven would descend. The Pope was thinking the same thing as the Dharma phase. Once the time came, the gods would revive. The Special Energy Bureau? It was no longer a threat to them. Ghost Head Mountain. After Bai Sujin explained her intentions, the crowd knew that she was the once famous, water-filled white snake. The hostility immediately tightened, and their attitudes became much better. Not long after, Bai Sujin was brought to the mountain by the crowd. Master, the two sisters are so pitiful. Why don't we let them stay? Fong Linger whispered to Rin Fong. The other formation generals, too, nodded in agreement. Although they knew that to Rin Fong, the two snakes under his command might not be of much use. But right now, they had offended two world-class sects at the same time. It was natural that one more point of power was one more point. Ren Fong did not agree to Fong Linger's request. A pair of eyes calmly looked at the two green and white snakes. Whether it was from the temperament or the appearance, the two snakes were both superior. Only, this strength. For today's Ghost Head Mountain, their strength wasn't very outstanding and could only be considered mid-range. Based on the principle of preferring the lack over the abundance, Ren Fong was not very interested in taking in the two snakes. After a long time, I, Ghost Head Mountain, do not keep idle people. Whether you can stay or not depends on your own destiny. Run Fong spoke indifferently. Nowadays, the Seven Star Refining God's Seven Great Mountain Protection Formation Generals had not been put together yet. If the attributes of the two snakes were just enough to make up for the Seven Great Formation Generals, it wasn't impossible to let them stay. Come over here, you guys, and put your hands out. Ren Fong said in a faint voice. The two snakes hurriedly and obediently came forward and after looking at each other, they gently shed their green and white gauze sleeves. The two arms that were as white as scallions were stretched out in front of Ren Fong. Ren Fong raised his hand, and without being told, slowly held the two snakes' arms. Two strands of soft divine power flowed into the two snakes, one on the left and one on the right. The green and white two snakes' bodies trembled slightly. Feeling the strange touch, a slight red color surfaced on both their cheeks. After a moment's pause, Ren Fong withdrew his divine power. You guys are lucky, you can stay. On Rin Feng's face, a faint smile surfaced. When Xiao Chang and Bai Sujin heard this, their hearts immediately became excited. In unison, they bowed towards Rin Feng and softly said, Xiao Chang, Bai Sujin, thanks senior for taking her in. Just at this instant, in Rin Feng's mind, two beeps rang out. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining white snake faith, faith value plus 2000. Ding! Congratulations to the host for obtaining the green snake faith, faith value plus 1500. 3500 faith value arrived. All right, get up. Actually, whether or not to take in the two snakes was optional for Rin Fong. But just now, Rin Fong realized. The attributes of both white snake and green snake were surprisingly different. Nowadays, the only ones that were truly classified as formation general establishment were Hitomi, Maokai, and Golden Armor. The seven star refining god, the seven attributes had already come up with three, Yin, Wood, and Fire. Although the tiger demon was also of the fire attribute. But its strength, however, was not as good as golden armor, so it was not able to be incorporated within the formation general. As for the green snake, it had the earth attribute. As for Bai Sujin, it had the water attribute. In Rin Feng's hands, there was also a spare 10,000 golden oil formation general. That was Su Shallow Yun. I have to say, the fox clan's talent is truly unique. 
Ren Feng turned his head and glanced at Su Shan Yun, who was beside the scourge, and secretly said in his heart, Every demon fox was undoubtedly a stunning beauty on earth. In the front seven tails grew out. Each tail that grew, would not only add one more ability, and it would also make the body, affinity towards a random certain attribute. Now Su Shallow Yun had already grown out three tails, while carrying water, earth, and a rare metallic nature. But now, there was still a question in Rin Feng's mind. Su Shallow Yun has performed well since submitting, though. But I didn't receive her power of faith. Is it hard to believe, that she came to my ghost head mountain for another purpose? Run Feng secretly thought in his heart. Su Shallow Yun had previously brought the tiger demon to submit at the same time. Now that the tiger demon's power of faith, Ren Feng had already obtained it. But on Su Shallow Yun's side, there was no half faith. But since Su Shallow Yun came to Ghost Head Mountain, she not only followed the generals to fight together, it had also provided a lot of very valuable information. Not only did she tell Ren Feng the secret of repairing the forbidden system, but she was also willing to share the secret method of the Fox Clan to enhance their strength, so it didn't seem like there was anything unusual. It's necessary to talk to Su Shallow Yun when he's free. Ren Feng quickly made a decision in his mind. As long as Su Shallow Yun was sincere in her subjugation, in, gold, wood, water, fire, and earth, the six attributes had been put together. As long as they didn't face the little western sky, the powerhouses in the secret realm of the Holy Sea, the seven star refined gods supported by the six attributes would be enough to sweep away everything. Unfortunately, Little Chang has a limited number of pills to produce right now, and the dragon's heart shavings have also been used up. If there were enough dragon's heart shavings, perhaps it would still be possible to increase the strength of the six formation generals by a large margin in a short period of time. Run Feng slightly regretted. And at this moment, Feng Linger suddenly looked puzzled and touched out a cell phone. After looking at it for a moment, a touch of joy surfaced on Feng Linger's face. Master, I just received a very interesting message. Feng Linger smiled as she walked over to Rin Feng's side, just now, the Special Energy Bureau's side sent me a video, I don't know which netizen posted the video of him as, by an FA high battling against each other online. The crowd froze at the words. Run Feng raised his head slightly. In the video, Bai Sujin had made some sharp remarks, directly talking Fai Hai into a Buddhist heart that was unsteady and fell into a frenzy. Good job, great speech. Mao Kai slapped his wooden hands and gave Bai Sujin a thumbs up. This is a good wow question. For so many years, I don't know how many fellow demons have been buried in the hands of the Buddhist sect. The tiger demon sniffed and also nodded with deep concern. They were all of the demon race. Naturally, they knew all about the evil deeds of the Buddhist sect over the years. It was at this moment. A vast Buddhist power suddenly swept across the entire ghost head mountain. Amitbha Buddha. In this world, there is such a place of demonic energy. The two green and white snakes, why don't you quickly submit to the law? A stern voice rolled out from the distant sky. The faces of the demons changed in unison. It's F.A. High, F.A. High is here. White Snake exclaimed. F.A. High? It just so happens that I boosted my strength, let me meet him. Mao Kai's elm head rolled back and forth on the branches of the tree, an evil smile flashing at the corner of his mouth. The other array generals, too, were stupidly excited. Previously, when the 18 bronze men came, none of them had a chance to perform. Now it was hard to come to a monster. Mustn't they go up and fool around a bit, and brush a good wave of existence in front of their masters, masters, seniors? All of them rubbed their fists and were eager to try. You guys better forget it, let this captain go. Mao Kai waved his big hand and arbitrarily said, with your strength, you guys are definitely not his match. Among all the formation generals, right now, Mao Kai was the strongest. He sensed the aura on F.A. High's body, definitely not weaker than himself. Ever since I followed my master, I've been crushed all the way over. I really want to have a hearty master duel. Mao Kai laughed cheerfully. The tiger demon, who had always fought with him, snorted lightly. So what if we can't beat them? Don't you know how terrifying the power of the masses is? The two brothers had known each other for hundreds of years, and their feelings were naturally deep, but daily fights were a common occurrence. Although Makai had become the captain now, the tiger demon still had seven disobedience and eight indignation in his heart. I think big brother tiger is right, we can't let Maokai take the credit alone. Not bad, in the past every time it was the captain who made a move, this time we also have a share. How about, guessing and deciding? The crowd spoke up and expressed their willingness to ask for a fight. Alright, don't argue. Seeing their positive appearance, Ren Feng lightly smiled and waved his hand, don't worry, this time all of you have a share. The words just fell. Another eight strong auras came. These eight auras, however, didn't seem to come with F.A. High. They were still a small distance away from Ghost Head Mountain. But were the major array generals idle? It wasn't long before they sensed these eight powerful auras. But they were ultimately weaker than F.A. High. Another person from the Buddhist sect? A full eight. Could it be the eight great Vajra? 
Feeling the vast Buddhist aura, the faces of the crowd changed slightly. Hee hee, this time, the Buddhist sect, it is also considered to have sent out its elite. Ren Feng let out a light laugh and waved his hand casually, these people will be given to you guys, just think of it as practicing. Nowadays, Ren Feng was also considered to have a strong army. The formation generals under his command, also reached the number of six, with the weakest being in the late Jin Dan stage. Even though they couldn't defeat F.A. Hai, but against the eight great Vidra, it shouldn't be a problem. Just think of it as letting the formation generals practice their tacit understanding with each other. However it was at this time. Wait. Golden Armor's hoarse voice rang out. Seeing that everyone was looking at him, Golden Armor inhaled and greedily said, for some reason, I can smell that there seems to be a hint of evil in that F.A. Hai's Buddha Chi. Evil aura? The crowd froze at the words. Nightmare, a variant of zombie. Nowadays, Golden Armor had become a nightmare, with many more unimaginable abilities. Golden Armor sniffed his nose and said with a hoarse voice, there is absolutely no mistake, this evil aura on him, even I feel a hint of scorn. The speaker had no intention, but the listener did. By Sujin, who stayed quietly on the side, suddenly looked puzzled. Could it be that F.A. High's heart demon? Xiao Cheng also nodded thoughtfully, it's possible, before he directly fell into a seizure because of his sister's words, if his heart demon wasn't deep, it definitely wouldn't be so unbearable. Heart demons? Interesting. Ren Feng sniffed and let out a light laugh. Drought and nightmare, evolved in different directions. The nightmare was more inclined to target the soul and spirit, so even Ren Feng did not notice the end. If that's really the case, maybe something interesting will happen as well. Ren Feng softly muttered to himself and slowly stood up, let's go. Follow me out to see just how much this F.A. High is capable of. After a split second, Ren Feng had already led the array generals to rise up in the clouds in unison, and stood opposite F.A. High. Sure enough, this F.A. High is already showing signs of being possessed. Today's F.A. High is like dried up weeds. Perhaps it only needs a single spark to start a prairie fire. It was only after arriving close that Ren Feng saw it. Although the Buddha's light around F.A. High looked solemn and sacred. However, in the close vicinity, there was a faint flow of demonic chi. It was at this moment that Ren Feng seemed like he remembered something. Apprentice, come here. Ren Feng called Feng Linger to his side and whispered a few words in her ear. Yes, master, disciple will go and return. When Feng Linger heard Ren Feng's words, a touch of cunning also surfaced in her eyes as she hugged her sword and performed a salute and turned to leave. At the same time, not far away, a helicopter flew in. On the body of the helicopter, there were five big words into the unscientific printed on it. Around the helicopter, there were eight shiny bald heads. When flying, the eight big bald heads had lotus flowers under their feet, surrounding the helicopter. Into the unscientific was a program group that had been specially established since the ascending dragon empire had decided to expose the great tribulation. Now, at the invitation of the Buddhists, the into the unscientific program group and the eight great Vajra traveled together. At this time, it was already not far from Ghost Head Mountain. In front of the camera. The host was dressed in formal attire and had a playful appearance. This face value alone could capture many male fans. Hello everyone in front of the TV, netizens. Welcome to Into the Unscientific, I'm the host, Xiao Li. Our program, the whole thing is live video, and there will be no censored behavior, please feel free to watch. The host said enthusiastically to the camera. The program just started broadcasting, and soon a lot of viewers flooded in. After all, Into the Unscientific broadcast are supernatural programs. And it's not like the previous Into Science. The previous Into Science is also a paranormal program. But at the end of the program, really cannot make up when, directly forced to use pseudoscience to explain a wave of pull down. Remember a certain episode. Said a certain village every day in the middle of the night there are strange screams, waking up the whole village. Even 10 miles away from the neighboring villages, sometimes can be heard. Everyone dared not go out to see it, and lost sleep with fear and trembling until dawn. Interviewed a large number of older villagers, the legend that this place is infested with demons and monsters, and every night to the village to make a monster, causing panic. Music with that horror. Also divided into two episodes up and down rendering. However, by the end of the program, it was said that it was a fat man in the village sleeping and snoring, whose snoring sound can be transmitted 10 miles away. Simply more comical than 800 miles away, a shot to kill the ghost machine gunner. In the face of this wave of forced explanation, the audience can only smile on the surface, in the heart of the hemp cell batch. Fools are not so fooled ah. There is also a time to tell is not afraid of electricity, hand holding 220V wire nothing. Finally sent to an expert to identify, said the man callous thick, so not afraid of electricity. According to this, all working people are not afraid of electricity. This kind of nonsense, who believes? In the beginning, people watched this program just for fun. But the longer they watched it, the more they realized that every episode was similar, and they gradually got bored. 
It wasn't long before the entire science program was scolded by the public until it was taken off the air. It wasn't until the ascending dragon empire announced the terrorist cataclysm. Into the unscientific program, only appeared in the public's vision. Compared to walking into science. Into the unscientific authenticity, as well as persuasive, have increased by an unknown number of times. Coupled with the fact that the heaven and earth anomaly is now a household name. The popularity of the program has been high ever since it started broadcasting. This time, the Buddhist family directly invited the walk into Unscience program team to come. It was sufficient proof. How urgent the Buddha family was to salvage its reputation. Just started broadcasting less than 5 minutes. The number of viewers has already broken 100,000, and only network users. Although the TV users were not as many as the network users, but with Shaoli's experience to judge, the TV users should have already broken through 50,000 people by now. This program recording is really too hasty. If the publicity and previews were done well in advance, the number of people should be at least three times what it is now, Shaoli secretly thought in her heart. Just now, the program team was suddenly invited by the Buddhist family, which was why they rushed here and didn't publicize it in advance. However, this did not affect the program's hotness. The program had just started broadcasting, and there were many netizens sending in pop-ups. Oops, it's on again? The cat-faced bossman incident was broadcast yesterday. I don't know what's being broadcast today. Don't mention it, that cat-faced boss look almost didn't scare me to death. But the part at the end where that Taoist priest fought the cat-faced boss was really enjoyable. Yeah, I really have to thank the program group for that. Without the program group, we wouldn't have known that there were so many people guarding us. At the same time, there were some attentive netizens who discovered. How is the live broadcast screen a bit reflective? Look again, it turns out that among the corners of the screen, there are occasionally a few naked back of the head leaks so small. See netizens have issued questions. Xiao Li would smile. I believe everyone has noticed. We're now exploring Ghost Head Mountain with eight senior monks. Ghost Head Mountain may be unheard of, but next to it is the famous Green Mountain Scenic Area. Saying this, Xiao Li paused. She was a professional host, and she was a good hand at driving the atmosphere. Speaking of Green Mountain, the netizens would naturally recall the sensational ferry incident some time ago. Interacting with the netizens, the effect of the program was definitely a hundred times stronger than her own monologue. As expected, the netizens sent out pop-ups. Xing Shan. My goodness, the program group has put up a big show today. I remember some time ago, there was a high priest on Castle Peak who crossed over. Are these senior monks going to go to Castle Peak and look for that senior person to fight? Under Shaoli's intentional drive, the netizens were all like extremely curious babies, constantly asking questions. Everyone be at ease, let's interview the senior monk. Shaoli smiled faintly and gave a wink to the cameraman. The cameraman instantly understood and moved forward holding the camera, which just happened to be aimed at a Vajra outside. It was then that people noticed. No wonder the scene was so noisy, it turned out to be in a helicopter. And, that high monk was actually stepping on a lotus flower and flying in the sky? At that moment, many netizens exclaimed that it was amazing. But fortunately, the program had been on the air for a few days, and many strange and weird things had appeared quite a bit. After a wave of 666, the pop-up screen returned to normal. Shali turned the microphone towards the Vudra. Senior monk, is it convenient for me to interview you with a few questions? Female monks, please go ahead. Facing the camera, Vidra said with a kind and pleasant face. I don't know this time, a few senior monks went to Ghost Head Mountain, what are they doing? Shali knew that this was not the right time to whet the audience's appetite, and directly threw out the question that everyone wanted to ask the most. Hearing this, a flash of sternness flashed through that Vidra's merciful eyes. Amit Bab Buddha. 18 of my disciples died yesterday at the hands of the demon head mountain demons. Although my Buddhism has no quarrel with the world, this demon, who dared to openly strike out at monks, is undoubtedly sightless of the Buddha. Although Buddhists have always been charitable. However, not only do Buddhists have compassionate hearts, they also have Vajra means. This kind of demon is bound to plague the world when he comes down from the mountain. I won't hide it from you, ma'am, this time I'm traveling with my seven brothers and sisters, naturally to subdue the demons and get rid of them. Jean Gang said without haste. Although the sound of the helicopter's propellers was loud, the netizens realized that the monk's voice could easily override the noise of the propellers clearly reaching their ears. Hearing Vajra explain in this way, many netizens were even more instantly boiled. The Buddhists had actually gone up against that mysterious master. Thinking of the intense scenes of the duel between the experts, the viewers were even more eager to drill along the netting and personally push the helicopter so that they could reach their destination quickly. Shali asked curiously again, I wonder how much chance the high priest has of winning? Hearing this, Vidra's eyes narrowed slightly. After a moment's pause, he then said firmly, the Buddha's law is boundless, 
and with my masters and brothers working together, there is still no demon that cannot be suppressed. The expression on this Vajra's face was deja vu. It was like the teenager who once threatened to starve to death and die outside. But what was different from that teenager was, while saying these words, Vajra secretly utilized his Buddha power. All of a sudden, behind him, a burst of muddy Buddhist light erupted. Originally, there were a few netizens who wanted to say that they were too puffed up, but before they could even type, they were flashed dizzy by this heavenly golden legend. After a few minutes, the crew finally saw, through the camera, a lone figure standing in the air amidst the heights in front of them. This figure was naturally F.A. High. Not far from F.A. High, naturally, was Rin Fong and his men in formation. The monks gave each other a wink and were secretly on guard. Amit Babuda, the female cultivator should stop here. If we enter any further, I'm afraid we'll be affected by the aftermath of the battle. A Vajra flew in front of the helicopter, blocking the way. Ray measured the distance, though it was a bit farther. But they had the industry's top-of-the-line cameras, and they could see the battle clearly even after zooming in. And there was also a set of specialized radios that could receive sound from a long distance. In that case, let's stop here. Although I know that you viewers would love to get closer, the program team is also responsible for their own safety. Shali looked towards the screen, an apologetic smile flashing across her pretty face. The crowd of netizens showed their understanding. After the helicopter stayed in place and flew, the eight Greg Vidra also came in their lotus flowers and stood behind F.A. High. Senior brother, senior uncle he. One Vidra was a bit hesitant. The Vajra in the lead hurriedly made a silent gesture, let's look at the situation first before making a decision. In his opinion, today's F.A. High looked normal. Perhaps Master Uncle F.A. Xiang had heard some rumors that made him so arbitrary. But even so, the cautious Vajra leader still kept an eye out and gave a wink to the other seven Vajra. The seven Vajra immediately understood with their eyes. Swish swish swish. The eight Vajra quickly spread out and formed an eight-star formation. The lotus flowers under their feet slowly rose, and under the wrapping of the vast Buddha Chi, they slowly rose to the top of the heads of the eight Vajra. Eventually, the eight lotuses came together. The vast Buddha Chi alone made some of the goblins in the mountain tremble. However, no one paid attention. Although the eight Vajra were arrayed in a battle stance against Rin Fong and the others, but F.A. High, however, was vaguely surrounded by them right in the center. Each Vajra was staring at F.A. High out of the corner of their eyes, and all of them were clutching the Buddhist sect's most precious relics in their hands. With the strength of the eight Vajrapani, they naturally did not see the hidden demonic aura around F.A. High. However, they were still on guard in their hearts, as long as F.A. High had the slightest tendency to become demonic they would instantly strike and kill the demonic F.A. High on the spot, maintaining the image of the Buddhist sect. Greetings, Master. The eight Vajra saluted in unison. F.A. High sniffed and slightly sidestepped. Only after seeing that the visitors were the eight great Vajra did he slowly nod his head. Seeing that F.A. High was not in a different state, the eight great Vajra just let out a sigh of relief. A Vajra at the head shouted angrily at Ren Fong and the others. Such demons have repeatedly defied the might of my Buddha's dharma. Don't you know that my Buddha has both a compassionate heart and the wrath of a Vajra? Senior, we've come to help you. The voices filled with a divine aura, and the myriad lotus blossoms, instantly left the netizens in front of the screen dumbfounded. Coupled with the program's professional grade cameras, it was simply more exciting than watching a Hollywood blockbuster. Just as the netizens were Tisk's king, the Buddhist Vajra looked at Rin Fong and the others, their gazes flickered in unison, and a flash of killing intent was suddenly released. Demon, return the lives of my disciples. Eight Vajra, prepare to catch the demon. The eight Vajra shouted in unison, unexpectedly forming a sound wave visible to the naked eye. Shaoli in the middle of the helicopter was still interacting with the netizens, but this sudden bellowing sound almost didn't scare her enough to throw out her microphone. Before she could react, a horrible sound wave followed. The entire helicopter, under the influence of the violent air currents, lurched wildly. It took a full few seconds before it regained its balance. Just a roar, and it had such a terrifying might? Shaoli instantly felt a wave of gratitude. It was fortunate that they had listened to King Kong and stayed at a distance. If they were any closer, perhaps the entire helicopter would have been shaken straight apart. Looking at the sky again, it was cloudless at this point. Under the impact of the rolling waves of sound, the wind and clouds in the sky were inverted, and in an instant, the white clouds were blown away. Seeing this scene, all the viewers, including the film crew, were stunned. If we only talk about the compulsion. This wave, it was undoubtedly a full Buddhist score. And at this moment, they didn't know. Not far away in the middle of the depression, a small jet slowly stopped. Among the jets, it was the head of the South, Su Fu Chiang, and three members of the Special Energy Bureau. As for Zhu Bi Chao Fan, in order to avoid the embarrassment of running into Rin Fong, after hearing that Su Fu Chan was going to visit Rin Fong, he ran away with his feet on the ground. Heavenly King Su, should we go forward to disperse that program team? 
A member of the Special Energy Bureau gave the helicopter a worried look. He he, no need. At this distance, nothing will go wrong. Su Fuchang smiled kindly and erected his glasses. Essence flashed continuously in his eyes, surprisingly, even the people who walked into the unscientific were invited, it seems that this time, the Buddha family is determined to get back in the game ah, and at this time, both sides had already drawn swords, even the netizens watching the live broadcast were shocked by the serious atmosphere in the middle of the screen, and even their breathing slowed down by several beats, however, right at this moment, he he, promoting Buddhism and preparing to catch demons, Renfon looked at the eight Vedra who were full of wariness and let out a light laugh, then he said to F.A. Hai, F.A. Hai, do you mean the same as them? F.A. Hai nodded. Amitba Buddha, since ancient times, good and evil are not mutually exclusive. But before that, I want to ask White Snake a few questions. After saying that, F.A. Hai looked at Bai Sujin behind Rin Fong with a hot light in her eyes. Bai Sujin's words just now had indeed brought a great impact on him. If this doubt was not resolved, F.A. Hai knew that perhaps it wouldn't be long before he would become a demon. He was too eager to know the answer. Was he, or was he not, a pawn of the Buddhist family? As F.A. Hai was in a hurry, Renfong saw. The Buddha Chi around F.A. Hai's body had trembled with some agitation. Renfong sensed that F.A. Hai's Buddha heart was unstable, and let out a light laugh without haste. Originally, with his sleight of hand, wanting to execute F.A. Hai and the Eight Vidra was as easy as a slap in the face. But now, the Buddhist family had actually made the momentum so grandiose. Even the media had been utilized. It was obvious that the Buddha family was planning to, in full view of the public, suppress all of themselves and the formation generals under their command, and take back around to export their grievances. Still really hypocritical. Ren Fong snorted lightly. Given the current situation, it would be a bit too cheap for the Buddhists if they were just suppressed and killed. Thinking of this, Ren Fong calmly gazed at F.A. Hai and indifferently said, F.A. Hai, you claim that the Buddhist teachings are limitless, I'm going to ask you three questions about the Buddha, can you answer them? You and tell me. When F.A. Hai saw Ren Feng's calm eyes, for some reason his heart was a little flustered. Then he folded his hands in feigned calmness. First question. The Buddhist sect preaches, put down the butcher's knife and become a Buddha on the ground. Let me ask you, why do ordinary people have to go through the cycle of suffering to become a Buddha, while evil people only need to put down the butcher's knife? Ren Feng looked at F.A. Hai and drank in a cold voice. This. F.A. Hai immediately sucked in a mouthful of cool air when he heard Ren Feng's words. Stammering, he didn't know how to answer. This question, indeed, was asked very pointedly. Strictly speaking this question, it was fine to ask in private. But to ask it in front of the media, this was undoubtedly questioning the most basic teachings of Buddhism. Not to mention F.A. Hai. Even the eight Vajra behind him were all looking thoughtful. For a moment, the myriad lotus flower became shaky without the support of its mana. Good guts. How dare you mess with my Buddha's heart. When the eight great Vajra saw this scene, they immediately shouted angrily. Buddha power gushed out around them which stabilized the myriad lotus flower. If the myriad dharma lotus flower collapsed away by the opponent's mere question, then it would truly be a disgrace. It wasn't just F.A. Hai and the eight great Vajra. This pointed question thrown out by Rin Fong was transmitted to the walk into unscientific sound recorder. Even the netizens were shaken by this pointed question from Rin Fong. Right. Why didn't I think of it before? According to the Buddhists, there's no need to do good deeds and accumulate virtue at all in order to become a Buddha? I'll become a Buddha by going out with a sword and slashing around, then throwing the sword away? It's too easy to become a Buddha, isn't it? Oh, what bullshit doctrine. It wasn't just the majority of netizens. Even Su Fuchang, who was observing from a mountain pass not far away, was shocked by the question asked by Rin Fong. Hiss. Something. Su Fuchang's eyes narrowed slightly, revealing a look of appreciation. The Buddhist family had made a big fuss, inviting the eight Vidra, and hiring a program team to follow. Originally, they were thinking of pulling back a game. But he never expected that Ren Fong would just casually ask a question and make the Buddhist family lift a stone to hit their own feet. Fate is born and destined, there is a heavenly number. Everyone's destiny is different, everything has its own destiny. In the end, F.A. Hai did not think of how to answer Ren Fang's question. He had no choice but to reply with this kind of universal statement. However, Ren Fong was keenly aware of it. After he had asked this question, F.A. Hai's Buddha heart, it seemed to have wavered even more fiercely. All right, this question is considered answered by you. Next, there is a second question. As soon as Rin Feng's words fell, the crowd in netizens became curious. 